the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Okay. <laughs> you got a joint? Uh, no. Not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> What they're talking about, atheists? Yeah, it's okay. You're nothing, it's okay. TJ. You're garbage. Okay. I just want to no, no, be no, no, light. No, 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 You're no, no, garbage, no, no, no. TJ. And now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Do it live. Thanks. So Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Drunken Peasants. Special Brett edition. King special edition. Yeah. And we're all in such a great mood. Because <laughs> Brett made us... Brett made us wait an hour before showing up. Don't worry. There was an emergency. That Brett uh, will not explain in we, any detail at all. It's, uh, yeah. We're not allowed to know what the emergency huh? was. Not, not even the most really, ba- really Not even bad. the most vague of terms. And, and we have Brett here uh, live sitting in front of a giant fan. Yes. Hey, Brett. How you doing? Uh, yeah. yeah. Guys, I'll go ahead and just tell you what happened. We get, had to get some family together to deal with it. Uh-huh. So that's, and you did that, that's And you did that in an hour? No. Yeah, yeah. In exactly one hour yeah, from the exactly time he one was hour supposed to show up. From the time he was supposed to show up, he got his family together to deal with this sick friend that, you know, there's a situation. Okay. Yeah. So there was a situation with some individuals, and that's what happened. So yeah. there's someone who claims to be Brett Keen, and he keeps trying to get us in on a group call, which we're not going to do. But we might try to call him by himself. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> let's let's just answer it. Okay. You want to do it? We're, there's some group of morons is calling us. Let's just answer them. Hour ago, or here's the link. I don't know. I, I, That's I, definitely I, really him. I can hear his voice. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Brett. How is it? How's it going, man? If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to do my little intro real quick. This is Brett Keen from the YouTube channel Brett Keen Hollywood. Oh yes. How you doing? <laughs> Pretty doing good. good. How are you? You always had a beautiful voice, Brett. Thank you. I appreciate that. So what? what's up? What's on your mind, buddy? Well, I wouldn't mind asking a couple of questions, get some topics going. Now, I don't want to get personal or nasty or anything like that. I would like to ask some philosophical questions. Sure. Let's, let's have philosophy. Okay. What is your theory on how it is that the consciousness came into being? The con- how did the consciousness come into being? Yeah, in a universe without God, how would a consciousness come to be? Um, well, we have a neural network in our brains, billions of neurons firing, releasing chemicals towards each other. I think consciousness arises from that process. And that's why you can see different levels of consciousness in different creatures based on their brain uh, to body mass ratio. Okay. Now, you wouldn't mind, I I hope that there's no problem with this, because I know that you've got some individuals over there. Do you mind that I have a couple Christians in the call? No. Okay. Paul wants to come. Oh, I'm... My... Bring... bring, Yeah, sure. Bring Paul on. I'm not sure if we can. Can we bring Paul on, uh, Ben? Uh, Not Ben. Brett. uh, Brett, that's your name. Me saying God did it. That's sure. all I'm saying. Uh, I don't mind. It's your show. It's your show. You can have anybody you like on there. I like Paul's ego. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How do we add him to the call? Whoa. Got the group. Bring Paul on, Bob, Bob oh, everyone. But but I, I would like true empiricism and you guys to be able to work out this particular equation and stuff. And then we've got G-Man. I don't know if you guys know who he is. Real good guy and everything, Christian. He'd like to ask some questions as well. If that's cool. We're trying to figure out how to add. Who? Why am I hearing myself? I don't know. There are might be, are you guys experiencing that? Because you want to hear it, mute your microphone. So one just just one quick question. Um, if there's no evidence for the existence of God, then why am I a Christian? Uh, because you choose to be one. You know, <laughs> it's because of evidence. Well, then, what are, do you believe that Muslims are Muslim because of evidence? Yeah, I'd like to. Respond. Yes. Okay, so how can there be evidence for both religions when they contradict each other? Well, for one thing, uh, if they're praying and their prayers are being answered. And their claim is a lot. So what about what about when they're 
Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's God, but it's also demons. What about when their prayers aren't answered? Is that proof that God doesn't exist? You guys think it's only gods, but it's also demons too. So when, when your prayers aren't answered, is that proof that God doesn't exist? Who says my prayers are never answered? No, no. Your prayers are answered every time? 100% of the time. Well, you have a better track record than most Christians. Yeah. And I don't know what you're doing here because I would have prayed for a few billion dollars a long time ago. And hey, why don't you pray for world peace or something, man? Yeah. You well, Use your gift a little more wisely. It works every time. It comes back. That's already coming. When oh, okay. Judge sinners. Jesus already came. <laughs> no, Jesus didn't come yet. When he comes back, all sinners are going to be tossed into the lake of fire. That sounds hot. I meant, you know, I know it's literally hot, but I meant figuratively it's hot. Be quite uh, torturous. I know. Please respond to this. That's why it sounds hot. No, you can't. Okay, so um, where where'd they go? Where'd our friends go, Ben? I was trying to get Paul in the room. Hey, Paul. Yes, yes. Okay, so they they keep, we hung up on them because I wanted you in the call. Right. And uh, I don't have all of them in my list. I only have Brett now, but maybe he can invite his cronies in too. So I, it, it probably won't let Brett into the call. I have a sneaking suspicion that he's the one that has me blocked. <laughs> yeah, he said he liked you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves me. <laughs> I just tried. We're trying to call him in here. Okay. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, it's it's not going to work. If he's got me blocked, it won't let him. We need to go. We'll go back in there and tell Brett to unblock you. Okay. <laughs> he's like, whatever. <laughs> he's just, yeah, it, it's just a, you know, a delay tactic. It's a, it's a Brett Keen tactic. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go and see what he's up to. Okay, so we're going to go answer his call again and let yeah. him know that he's blocked you and we want him to unblock you. That's fine. That's fine. All right. All so, right. Okay. Because he's going to deny it and it's going to be funny. All right. Yeah. All right. So hey. we're back. Sorry about that. We, we were trying to get Paul to come in. Paul seems to think that Brett has him blocked. Yeah. They, we no, think the re- no, we th- I don't. I, here, I'll try to bring him into the call myself if possible. Here we go. See, if I had him blocked, he wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. Well, how you doing? Okay. Okay. Hey, doing sexy. Hey, Paul. Hey, hey. Are you Rue, Paul? <laughs> no. Paul, I'm so Paul. Paul. I'm really high and drunk, so. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm and I'm. You guys. You pressed you me and yes. Brett Keen at the head of your little troop of misfit toys. I know. Do you realize that Brett Keen, like the biggest bullshit artist on YouTube, is the head of your little island of misfit toys? It's it's Dude, simple. are are you crazy? Like, how do you think? How do you think anybody in this thing call is going to take anything you have to say seriously with that mug staring at us? Like everybody here, everybody, everybody here. This was. <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute hold on hold order, on order. okay hold on order in so the court. let's let's let brett respond to paul really quick go okay. ahead now paul Just, i don't know if you got to see my video where i responded about coming on the show but i said i'm more than interested in having an intelligent conversation now, i understand we've got some guys here who are drunk who may feel the need to go crazy if it's just a matter of you'd like me to sit here like a circus clown while you guys throw balloons, I can do that. But are we actually going to have a topic? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Just sit there like a clown and shut up <laughs> okay, and let us I'll throw sit here like a clown and shut up and let us throw a clown and and like, there's no need to say, hey, but- I love that this room is filled with people that don't get the irony of a bunch of Christians asking, show me the proof. I know. Again. It's cute. I do it all the time. It's adorable. You're sticking your fingers in your ears. We're giving you proof and you're literally okay, give- working. All right, all right, hold on, 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 hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's take it down a level here. All right, guys, I I know everything's exciting and everything, but can we do things one at a time? Because I'm having a hard time hearing every one of these statements. Thanks for quarterback and Brett. We appreciate it, man. I know. Brett has been Brett has been downright morose during this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> he seems like a balloon guys, with the air guys, sucked out. I'm not going to I'm not going to make personal attacks against you, but the amazing atheist destroyed my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not going to make personal attacks, but uh, I never said how I was gonna I, make how am I making a per- hold on. I never said I was hold on a second, G man. How am I making a personal attack by asking Brett, him Brett, to honestly, the honestly, honestly, we're not going to get into this conversation. If you're going to sit in this room and tell me you've never made personal attacks against TJ, I'm going to laugh in your face and just be done. And I'm going to ge- I'm going to keep talking to G man. Okay. Because he's apparently not 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 the biggest idiot in the room. All right, at this then point. why don't you tell us how it is? It's a personal attack by asking if someone called me an N word. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the legions of videos that you've made, <laughs> exploiting uh, the video that was released of TJ, um, c- claiming that he has engineered your downfall on YouTube 15 different ways, 15 different times. You're and yet you're going to you're, you're going to sit here and play pious and pretend you're not going to make personal attacks to try and take some phony high road. It's ridiculous, now, now you're Brett. Basically, saying that I in- engineered a video of TJ. No, 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 no. I'm saying you used a video of TJ that was released without his consent to make personal attacks ag- against him again and again and again and again. <sighs> And now, and now, now wait a minute. In the here. Call. No, hold no, on, no, here. Hold on. everybody now knows that a the... woman did that to TJ. That had nothing to do with me. Right. Also, I know made... just like everybody that the You're video the is obtuse... out there. You're the most obtuse person I've ever tried to have a conversation with. I didn't say you released <laughs> the video, I said that you <laughs> took the video and used it over and over and over again to disparage TJ. And now you're sitting there like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Um, claiming that you have some kind of moral superiority because you're not going to get personal tonight. It's laughable and stupid, and please don't go down this road any farther. Okay, can you go to my YouTube channel and find where this video is? No, I can't, out? Brett. This is this is the Brett Keen MO right here, isn't it? No, I can't, Brett, because you remove videos. You've had channels flagged down over and over and over again for abuse of the terms of service. So, no, I can't find those videos, Brett, okay. because I don't keep an archive of Brett Keen videos. So it's your subjective opinion. I exactly. That. It's my subjective opinion. <laughs> my subjective opinion is that you're a douche now, and that you have guys, absolutely I, no, I make you, you have no authority to sit in this room and talk about anybody making personal attacks against anybody. You're the king. You're the king of making self-righteous assertions about people. OK, very anxious. I hear you. I hear you. Did I make you do a nasty video, TJ? Was that me? Did I force you at gunpoint? I, I think I think you're missing the point of what he's saying. I Brett. am I missing the point? Go yeah, ahead. you are. You are missing. No, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that there is no point. I'm just saying that you're I mean, I don't even think you're really missing the point. I think you're pretending to miss the point, but that's yeah, fine. That's exactly what's but going I, on. I am not the one that put that. No, up. no, you're not. No one's saying you are. No yeah, one is no, making that accusation. Paul is not making that accusation against you. What he's saying yeah. is that you have acted like a douchebag for your entire YouTube career and you pretending that you're on some moral high ground now is laughable. You have no credibility. I'm that's what he's saying to you. you not anything. I'm just talking to you. Calm and relax. I know. That's our point. This is not the real you. You're putting on a act. This is a pageant. This is a fake Brett Keen that doesn't actually exist. What What do you think that I should be doing? You should be your true self. Yeah. And what is vin, my true vin, self, vin, dude? A, vin, a vindictive, a liar, a, 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 a pathological vindictive liar. <laughs> yeah, those those three things should be coming out of your mouth right now. If if we were talking to the real Brett Keen, those are the things that would be coming out of your mouth. This let's play nicey nice guys. I don't want to make personal attacks tonight. You're going to upload 14 videos about TJ. That's Brett Keen. <laughs> no, That's not. the real Brett Keen. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, I'm you're going to make about 10 videos on this subject, <laughs> talking about how everybody in this room that disagreed with you ruined your life. <laughs> guarantee you it may not happen tonight but six months down the road this coming back up baby it, it's pointless to uh, make a video or talk about the issue everybody already knows this happened it'd be like talking about old news nobody cares okay well i'll hold you to that brett okay. i will hold you to that you will not make a video about your appearance on the drunken peasants today and in any capacity i can't talk about being on drunken peasants oh okay okay yeah you just I said what, what, what would be well, the point i'm going to and i don't care what, would what be you the point, say brett what would be the <laughs> point no, you go ahead, G-Man. I think it'll be awesome. Yeah, no, it's going to be hilarious. Uh, I, I thought you had a problem with the banana issue. I'm talking about you just stating that I was on the show with you guys. <laughs> Hold on a second. G-Man, you and I should do a rap together. Yeah. A rap? 
Yeah. Oh, awesome. I could do a verse. So you guys, would you guys be offended if I made a video and said that I had a nice conversation with TJ and Paul Zigo with uh, the other participant? No, Brett, we don't give what you do. We're just, yeah. we're, we're not even talking. We're not even saying you can't. We're just saying that you're going to, and we know you're going to. It, it'll be another video that I won't watch on YouTube. There, there are we'll millions be. of them. Yeah, that's true. Billions. Well, I, I can promise you there will be nothing in my video having to do with any fruit or vegetables at all. I promise. <laughs> well, can can I ask a question? Sure. Why do you guys care if Brett makes videos about you? We don't care. No, yeah, no, I no. Don't care. We don't give a. F we can. He can make okay. as many videos as he wants, yeah. saying whatever he wants. Paul. Paul was basically making a point about Brett's character. That has. No, we're not saying that he can't continue to be himself because we know he will. We're just saying Galaxy. that Galaxy. The, the, the persona that he's putting on now is the friendly, nice guy persona, but when he makes his videos about it later, it's going to be, you know, Brett Keen, the warrior that's going to burn everybody down. Right. <clears throat> Right now, guys, uh, so, we. So uh, I have a question. I have a question. Go ahead, G man. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Paul and uh, the drunken peasant. So what you're saying is people can't change, right? <clears throat> No, no, that's not no, true. I no one. What I I've said is like that, he, like, what I literally if you don't said mind. is that oh, Brett has no character, and Brett hasn't changed. I'm not saying people can't change. I'm saying Brett hasn't. Okay, I've watched a couple of Brett's old videos when okay. Brett used to uh, be a militant atheist, okay. and I watch his videos now. So, uh, can you explain to me how he hasn't changed? Can I explain to you how he hasn't changed? Because, yes, cause because I've seen him as a militant because atheist. he decided for the third time to become a Christian. Can okay, I explain to you how it that? hasn't changed? And where's your proof of this? This happened where's my, before. Where's my proof? Go go <laughs> look on YouTube. People have re-uploaded the videos, videos where Brett Keen has come out as a Christian before. Yeah, he kind of flux he kind of fluctuated between the two for a while. Yeah, first of all, guys, I've heard that. Guys, I haven't seen I, I've said in my videos, and obviously you guys haven't been listening, like you said, you don't care about my stuff. But I'm not referring to myself as a Christian. I'm referring to myself as a theist. I say that in almost all my videos. I was uh I was gonna say while I was waiting to come into the call, I uh watched a video of yours, Brett, just to see what you're up to. I went and found you. Mm -hmm. And you your your video opened up with a picture of Jesus raising his arms out. Yeah. Okay. So do you see why people might construe that as Christianity? But I'm not claiming to be. Christ. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're not claiming to be. You're just post you're just sticking pictures of Jesus all over everything. You you understand That's you understand difference? why that would be a little confusing. Okay. Do you Brett? understand why you're the difference? Resistant? Not if I'm saying I'm a theist in my video. Right, you're a theist who believes in Jesus, but you're not a Christian. Yes, even atheists accept that Jesus Christ existed. What's the issue? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean you believe in the divinity of Jesus, right? Yes. Okay, but you're not a Christian. I don't label myself Christian, but I do accept Jesus Christ, yeah. All right, well, let me label you for you. You're a Christian. <laughs> if that makes you more comfortable. Well, actually, fine. technically, no. Just no, it because doesn't. Because he, he believes in Jesus does not technically make him a Christian, my friend. Muslims believe in Jesus also, but they don't believe in They don't him. believe in the they divinity of Jesus. Jesus. Come on now, come on. Brent just said he believed in the divinity of Jesus. Yeah, Muslims do not believe in the divinity of Jesus. So what I'm sorry, true. I'm Jesus. sorry, true empiricism. But well, who would have thought you're fucking wrong? Um, <laughs> I don't know why you're back in this. But guys, just because you believe in Jesus does not make you a Christian. The point is that he you guys don't know what you're talking about. The point is that people that Paul, believe in tell Jesus, me what a Christian they is, Paul? Don't. They're not Christians. Uh, Paul, a Christian, a Christian is yeah, a person. Christian? Are you an ex-Christian yourself? Just out of, just out of curiosity. Uh, well, I, I, I used to call myself an ex-Christian, but I was so young when I would have called myself a Christian that I don't know that it really counts. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so because I wasn't, I wasn't old enough to, uh, hey, to look at the evidence and, and weigh the evidence. I was just kind of told that that's what it was. Probably kind of like you were. Okay, but what's a Christian? A Christian is a person who believes in the divinity of Jesus Christ. No, that's not a Christian, sir. Yes, if you believe that Jesus Christ was a god— then you uh, have uh, that would mean that I'm a person that believed that Jesus Christ was a god. No, that does not make you a believer. Why are we? Do you, do you see? Once again, it's I like can give you a definition. Against what? The I can give you the definition. I'm a Christian. I'll tell you the definition if you like. Oh, okay, Paul. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. All right, Paul. He you're know what he's talking. About. Paul, you're not a Christian. Lay it out for us, G man. May, may I ask a question? Is someone who believes in the life, death, and burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Okay. That is a Christian. Brett, do you believe, do you believe in the, the life, death? 
Brett, Brett, do you believe in the life, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Yes. Okay, you're a Christian then. Well, I mean, if that's what you want to label me, fine. Okay. That's what G Man just labeled. So you. why aren't you? No, I didn't label you. G Man just labeled me. Okay, well, that's fine. Cool with that? I'm fine with it if that's what you want to go with, but I label myself a theist. So once again, you're full of shit? <laughs> that's what. What is this, the that's... fifth time in 10 minutes you've been completely full of shit? Uh, no. Well, no. It's the only. T- it's the. It's the fifth time he's Everybody been demonstrably full of shit. I mean, he's he's perpetually full of shit at all times. I mean, even know what a theist. So it's just one continuous. No, no, I have no clue what a theist is. I'm not a grown up with a decent vocabulary. But I have no clue. <laughs> it needs well, work. I'm sure. True. Can you explain to them what a theist is? Because they don't want to hear my voice. Hello. Uh, is there? I hope not. What was the question, uh, Brett? Maybe I can do it. What is it? I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Would, somebody, okay, would you like to explain to them what a theist is? Because I think that Absolutely. there's a difficulty here. Absolutely. A, a theist, theism is the belief in the creator behind the influence of the universe that intervenes. There are subsets to theism, Islam and Christianity and a variety of other religions. Depending on how they would be interpreted, they would probably fall under a deistic category also. But if you call yourself a theist, you could believe probably in multiple of these, or one, or two of the other, but it, theism does not have a name attached to it. Well, thanks for the most boring explanation for something simple that I've ever heard in my entire life. Sorry, my bad. Have- I, I apologize. Oh. You know what? I, I, I feel bad. I apologize. True empiricism. That was a jerky thing to say. I apologize. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't apologize. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was waiting. Everything you all in drunken peasants, you guys talk about Brett Key's uh, character and how uh-huh. he attacks you guys and says all these things about poor old little old TJ, right? Mm-hmm. But that's then, not, that's not, that's I'm not. I'm not little. To be a hypocrite and attack true empiricism. I know, no, man. This is the reason that. why I've been raising my voice. I'm not a hip, because I'm not you a, have been rude since we've been in yeah, the car. I, I mean, have you noticed that I'm I'm the one person in this room that's not going to take your garbage? The hey. fact of the matter is, is you're being a hypocrite. You, how Thank dare you, you get that. mad at Brett no, King Hollywood for saying what he says about your boy TJ, but then you're saying all this stuff about true empiricism? You're a hypocrite. What did I say about true empiricism? Uh, both of you have been history. insulting him all night. Okay. And then you get mad because somebody's talking about TJ. So how am I? How am I? TJ hip- has said many things on YouTube I'm not about mad God, it, about Christians, and, and, See, and trust me, the only the, reason I'm not saying certain things is because of Brett King Hollywood. I can assure you. Misconception. Here's your misconception. Ain't no misconception. You're a hypocrite. How dare you? I'm not, you have I don't no care. right whatsoever to talk. You have no right. Let me tell you something. I'm right because I can yell over other people at all times. Yes, motherfucker. You know the truth if you realize that Jesus is the only way to the truth and the light and the destiny. Hallelujah, and the Lord done spoke to me and said... G-Man, do you have any idea what a ridiculous fuck you are? (laughs) Do you have any idea how fucking absurd you are? Do you know how... No, no, look. Look, I understand. Look, look. Sure. Fine. I'm I'm stupid. I'm the dumb one. I you're right. Myself in this call. I've been I've been rude to true empiricism and Brett and you and everybody else in this room since I got here. This is me. Okay. They are they, the assertion that I was making, and they are what, okay with that. Yeah, what I was saying was <laughs> that yeah, Brett the Brett mm. Keen that's in here yeah. right now is not Brett Keen. This is Paul Zigo that you're talking to. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Paul Zigo. Oh, I'm rude. Paul. I'm rude to people who are stupid. I'm um, TJ. Me it too. Makes me angry. And this is Ben. And I'm Ben. I pretty much just laugh in the background. Ben, <laughs> Ben's a lot. Ben's the nice one. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm the more polite one, and I laugh in the background. <laughs> ben, do you actually yeah. have your own YouTube? I'm, I'm a little disappointed for a guy that's got like a quadrillion views and a quadrillion. I, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Guys certainly don't got no opinion cells. I'll tell you, man. Well, how are we even? How can we even have a? How can we even have a real conversation with you when you're totally intellectually disingenuous about everything we try to say to you? Yeah. Sir, I got more brains in my pinky than you got in your whole body. There's actually, How, you, you yeah, there's no brains there's in no, your fingers. There's no brain. I don't know if you know it, my basic human anatomy, brain. but there's no brain in the pinky. <laughs> it is a shame that you guys have so many subscribers and viewers, and that you, the integrity of you, is what they are exposed to. You two, you guys are the problem of society, man. Me, we are the. Yeah. Wait, wait, We're you. T- are you saying me and Paul's ego, or me and Ben? 
I think all of us. Yeah. Can we, can all, like literally, they put, they put a they they put a you button on on, on, on every problem with society for not being able to be. You guys just just expose yourself for not being able to be reasoned to. You can't have any logical or reasonable conversation. I think that's a pretty good description of yourselves, actually. Guys, if we try to approach you guys in any sort of reasonable, intelligible conversation, what are you talking about? All you've done is berate. All right, guys. Can I? Can I? Yeah. Guys, I have can I ask something? Wow. Incapable of having intelligent Boy, this conversation. Is, you guys. What the yeah, fuck? yeah. Brett's trying. All, Brett's, I'm, all I hear you guys say about us is shit that should be that is way more applicable to yourselves. Like I think you guys are projecting <laughs> seriously. I, I was curious of something because I was. Asked, from the I was amazing amazing yeah, yeah. Let let Brett talk. Home. Let Brett talk. I'm at home. Can I? Can I? Yeah, that? yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Someone just asked me, is this being broadcasted or is this just a Skype call? We are recording it and we're going to put it up on our channel later because yeah, we've we had some issues. We had a lot trying of trying to do live streams at the moment. YouTube's been really shitty. I understand. Yeah, I seen it crash earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's been crashing left and right. So we're just recording this. We're gonna put it up on our channel afterwards. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> do you mind if I take clips of it? And put it on mine. Uh, no, that's fine. Whatever. Anyone in anyone involved in the call is free to use clips for this for whatever purposes they want. Yep. Cool. Right on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, you don't you don't need our permission anyway. But I mean, I have we have no issue with it, so that's well, fine. It's nice to ask, you know. <laughs> I uh, I do want to say to Paul Zigo, it is true what you said about the backsliding a while back. I admit that in my videos. If you ever get time to watch them, I tell people this happened to me. I backslid. I did an atheist thing for quite a while. I pointed that out. Okay, because it seemed like some of the other people in the in the chat here uh, that you brought in were not aware of that. Well, uh, some of them watched the videos. They probably heard me sit there and say that I had believed in God, and then I backslid, and I did the atheist bit for a while. So they knew that. G-Man said he even looked at some of my atheist videos, so he knew that. Do you, agree? Do, do, you, do you ever find it weird, Brett, that you have personally refuted every argument that you make for God? Is that a strange cognitive dissonance in your head all the time? That you have personally, like everything that you purport to believe in, you have personally refuted at some point? Well, the kind of videos I did was I talked about passages in the Bible and things that I had doubts with. Contradictions in the Bible. Yeah. Very specifically, lots and lots of contradictions, and you pointed out lots and lots of them. But even if someone were to find issues or problems or they'd have doubts, this doesn't necessarily make it to where there isn't a God because of that. Yeah, but would uh, so? But G Man was saying that there's no contradictions in the Bible earlier. Would you agree with him, Brett? Would you agree with him, Brett? Well, I've been doing a lot more studying since then. Do you agree with him, Brett? I don't believe that there is any issues. If you'd like to discuss it, we can. There are no contradictions in the Bible. If you None. Bring up one we can talk about. A person could spend their entire lifetime reading through all this theology. I'm trying to figure out my stance. I'm still all right. So, so this is uh, this is from 12 hours ago. On your uh, Facebook, you said Christians and atheists will disappoint you. They all suck. My advice: go straight to God. Cut out the middleman. Right. What does that mean? means go straight to God. Okay. How? How would you do that? How do you go about that? Prayer. 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 So you pray. But what God are you yeah. praying to then? <laughs> and you're praying to what? The God of the Bible or just some vague nebulous concept Gorge. of God? Usually when I pray, I just say God. Okay, but wh who in your mind is God? Is it the is it the God from the Bible? The Abrahamic God? Is it the Abrahamic God, or are you just speaking to any general sort of God entity that might exist out there? I believe that it is the God that created all humans and life forms. Right. Is that the God of which is the God of the Bible or no? Yes. Yes, it's the God of the <laughs> That's Bible. So hard. Okay. So how do you go directly to that God? And how does that God respond to you? And how does, well, like, when you pray to him, what, is, what kind of response do you get back from that? <laughs> <laughs> what? It depends. Depends on what? What, you're changing your diaper right now? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, he's changing his depends. I get it. Yeah. Okay. I see. Depends on what I ask for. What are you, what, you ask for things. Okay, so give me an example of something you'd ask God sure, for. Sometimes I, uh, I pray, a majority of my prayers are usually to thank them. 
Okay, so usually you're thanking God for being an agoraphobic guy. No, not agoraphobia. Okay. That's so what are you thanking him for? I ask you. Okay. Say, God, can you give me the strength to be able to get over this psychological issue I have? Uh-huh. I guess the answer is no. And the answer God has given you so far has been no. No, I, I, think, that, uh, I think that he has helped me, as you all have read and researched this. There's a lot of people who are stuck in their home. I can actually go outside, sit on my deck, and... And do but things. God has the power to, to Look, totally heal you. Uh, God has the like power, that. according to you, to just rip the agoraphobia right out of you and say, "Nope, Brett Keen doesn't have agoraphobia anymore." Now Brett Keen can wander the earth and and you know he search for whatever good. comforts he wants. Well, oh, he might still do that. Okay, it so still may happen. So God, he's cooking something up, is what you're saying. Did God give you agoraphobia? No. 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 Well, where'd it come from? No. Was it the devil? It's probably uh, abuse. Abuse that God allowed yeah. to happen to you, that God let happen, yeah, no, because God, of free will. Yeah, God knew it was going to happen before He created God. you. Okay, yeah, God knew it was going to happen and allowed it to happen and allowed Brett to be abused. Yeah, all right, Brett. I don't even know, dude. I just I don't even know, man. Is there anything else? Yeah, he said he had some questions. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Go ahead, Brett. You, you, you want to uh, give us some questions? Is it, you still have those questions, Brett, that you wanted to ask us, or uh, or no? Sure. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. Well, let's do that then. Let's let's now. It's time for Brett to turn uh, the tables. All right. I want to pull up the dictionary of keenisms here. I want to ask you about some verbal peculiarities that you kind of exhibit. And this is on. This is uh, some of those uh, those little bastards uh, over at the the wiki. Yeah, that that oh. dastardly DP wiki. I think that's it. Let's take a little look. Yeah, uh, overused. Let's make the font a little bigger on this. Yeah. So we have here overused words and phrases. So here's some things that apparently you say too much, Brett. Mm -hmm. Attack my family, which that definitely is you. Mm -hmm. uh, as you say as well as Christians, as well as atheists, as well as pagans, pagans as well yeah. as instead Jews. of and. So you could say like you know yeah. Why? What is with the as well as? Thing? What's the yeah. Why is it Christian? Why why can't you say Christians and Muslims and pagans? I mean, you don't even need to say and between those. You can say Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews. Yeah. But he says Christians as well as pagans, as well as Muslims, as well as Jews. Every time. Every time you've Country ever said it. And I suppose the Missouri slang. So that's, the, you're, you're claiming as well as is a Missouri thing. We all have our favorite words and ways that we construct things. Okay. Next one is check out. Whatever. Yeah, he he, yeah, he constantly whatever. says check out every fuck. Yeah, check Come out. On. Check out my gaming channel, games you love, and all that. Come on. Yeah. Orn, yeah. We've already kind of grilled him on that Christians, shit. Muslims, pagans, Jews. Yeah. Why is it always in that order? Christians, Muslims, pagans, Jews. Well, I think one of the issues that happens with me, I know a lot of people on YouTube, they write down their ideas and their thoughts. Me, I just hit record and and I say my piece or whatever my thoughts are. Don't so, really spend a whole lot of time going, gee, how can I say this without cause, getting my ass? Yeah, because I'll, so I'll tell you what, research. If, I, if I was making a video, <laughs> if I was making a okay. video and I said... Zeo de Dawn. If I said the rind of Zeo de Dawn, that video would never ever be uh, fucking uh, published uh, to YouTube. Uh, 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 TJ, there's always, maybe you, maybe there's you always would. always a reason or explanation. She used to want to used to want to hear the reason. All right, uh, the, it's, like, the, it's like Donald Trump. The basically. commonly used stuff is not as interesting if you go down a bit and look at the th the thing the words that just don't even exist. Well, guys, okay, so, before I continue, and I'm yeah, going to have to do that. Can you guys make sure that you take this thing off the of hold that you, uh, I keep getting this pop-up saying that you got it on hold on PayPal. All right. <sighs> I mean, I'm going to sit here through the whole thing, and as long as you guys want to have me. All right, me, well, well, we're working on that, but let me just grill you on some of these while we're, while we're waiting for that to go through. All right, so instead of, uh, I don't even care about the bean thing, because whatever, we could just attribute that to accent, but What's the fact the that you call, what is the Muslim holy book, Brett? Yeah. The Quran. <laughs> okay, you've you've improved. That's better. Very good. Very good. Because you used to say the Quran. Yeah, the Quran. Yeah. So you're be you've gotten better at that. Uh, you say you apparently say the word contradict often as counterdict. Yeah. Can you say can you say contradict for me or no? Contradict. 
Good. Okay. All right. There Counterdict. Wow. He's improving. So apparently you also for the word double ed- for double edged sword, <laughs> which apparently you don't even understand the meaning of anyway, <laughs> you call it a double ad sore. Double ad? That's double what ad it said. Sore. Double, double ad sore. If it's here, that means that it's been observed. Words. I don't remember screwing up that one. Double what about, ad sore. Oh, Brett, this, one of my favorite words from you is duplicious, Ever. dude. Duplicious <laughs> is the fucking best fucking word. If if Brett ever That's made a Paul's rap word. album, that would be what it would be called. Dude, yeah, please. If That's if you Paul's ever become word? a rapper, oh, that's a Paul word. No, oh, it's absolutely not. No, not. no, no I don't think so. Sorry, buddy. Duplicious, dude. Duplicious, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Say can't ho- uh, say can't hoven for me. Can't hoven. Okay, All you're, right. you're yeah, pretty close, close. Hoven. Because for a while you were saying Hovine. I feel like. I feel like Brett, we're we're helping you out here. Yeah, we're helping you out slowly but surely. Is You're learning how to. S- here? Yeah, it is. Quander is definitely on there. Quander, yeah. though. <laughs> what about literally? That's a that's a real word though. That's often used. But he, literally, he says it literally. Oh, he yeah, he means like, it figuratively. He says oh. he says it like with, with a D sound. I hear him use literally a lot when he actually means figuratively. Uh, pawn. Oh, that's that's another thing, Brett. Let me just help you out with this one too. All right. The people who are on your Patreon are not called Patreons; they're called patrons. Patrons of the art. Yeah, the website is, is Patreon. Patreon. the website is called Patreon, but the people who called the people who actually patrons. give to you are called patrons. They're they are not called Patreons. Also, what's mind quoting? Yeah, I love that one. Mind quoting. <laughs> mind quoting. Do you understand what's wrong with mind quoting, Brett? Uh, it's kind of like what you guys are doing right now. It's kind of like okay, but do you understand what's wrong with mind quoting as a term, though? Do you do you know why that's wrong? Uh, pronunciation. No. Okay, it's called. It's the the actual term is quote mining. mining. As yes. in, we're mining for Quote. juicy quotes that, oh, <laughs> if we use this quote out of context, it'll sound like this. <laughs> yeah. So you have a good understanding of what quote mining is. At least so he, he it seems like he maybe <laughs> kind of understands that. But you just you just didn't know it wasn't mine quoting. Uh, another thing you said, Muslam, Muslamic turbine. Yeah, wearing a tur. Uh, Apparently yeah. you said that in your debate with Straight Dope in 2011. Yep. You called... Uh, uh, it's an Islamic turban, which is... They don't even wear turbans, I don't think. I think they wear... Uh, the well, I also called it ninja suits and mummy wraps. Okay. okay a turbine. Okay. Old timer's disease. <laughs> 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 Unironically, talk about Alzheimer's, Brett has called it old timer's disease. Old timer's. Which I've heard children do. Yeah. He's got the lung my one of my favorites is working on all cinder blocks, which is like a, I think would be a good title for a Brett Keen biography. <laughs> He's trying to say firing on yeah, all cylinders, on but he says blocks. working on all cinder blocks, dude. It's working on all. What a thing of beauty! As the wiki points out, this is stroke victim levels of retardation. Yeah, website, <sighs> website. Zayo, and of course, Zayo Dadong is Zayo there. Dadong, we covered that. He was We've just joking. Talked. Slander and liability, self-depreciating humor. Uh, the humor's going down in value. There you go. Here's some <laughs> grammatical errors. A diploma mills. Yeah. Yeah, that diploma mills is plural. So my dad ran a diploma mill, Brett. Not a diploma mills, a diploma mill. As uh, the uh, if he I ran, seen, oh dude, the I seen thing is a big one for I him. I seen this, yeah, Brett. Even in your writing, I've noticed that you rely on the word "seen" in weird ways. And then Detective Resner seen Golgothica <laughs> appear in a puff of red fire. Stalker gas. <laughs> Stalker seen the gun laying on the table. He seen a way to get to it. I'm sorry if we're being insultive right now, Brett. Yeah. I just... <laughs> So uh, a lot of these you actually have gotten better on. So do you feel like maybe uh, us um, mocking, I'm sorry, insulting the piss out of you has maybe improved your your grammar See, situation are, a little better? We are educational for See, you. See, I think we've educated you more than you're you're letting on, Brett, because some well, of these you've improved on. You know, going back oh, to I that. Never figured, I never figured anybody would give us about the way I talk. Really? Oh. 
Why not? Why would they? Because you're because, because, because you, you make spent so the last errors. fifteen years yeah. of your life trying to be a person who makes money from talking. I mean, like, well, also just, yeah, but I've made it clear in my videos I, I'm not a professional. I'm right. That doesn't matter. The guy who hits record and runs his damn so mouth. What? But I mean, like if okay. you can't if you can't effectively use language, then how do you expect to convey ideas? That's a well, fine in a useful you guys way. Understand what I'm talking about when I speak? Uh, not always. Occasionally, we do. Sometimes it really does get to the point of being so backwards and weird that it just doesn't make a damn lick of sense, but... Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Just My like name is Brett Keen, as you all know. And I wanted to let you all know out there that I am going to be um, leaving the account up, but I'm going to completely disconnect the internet. <gasps> uh, by tomorrow morning, no! the internet's going to be turned off. I will no longer be using Facebook, Twitter... <laughs> YouTube or any of the social medias or services out there. Oh, um, wow. That's so sad. I thought for a moment with my wife that maybe I would come check out YouTube and maybe try to do a return. Come check and out. And that was actually How many uh, returns a very short while ago. Where How many channels? Like 25 or something like that? <laughs> who even knows? <clears throat> like, who, it's beyond <laughs> counting at this point. He, at one point, he was the stallion. The stallion. I am the stallion. How, like, I wonder how many uh, just YouTube accounts Breckin has created in his life. Probably, I would say in the thousands. Would you say so? The stallion. Well, is yeah. I mean, if you if you factor in all the fucking his sock, sock accounts, accounts he yeah. used to have back in the day to fucking go upvote his own videos with, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, this dude's so pathetic. <coughs> <coughs> And it's like, he keeps coming back to be like, he's I'm like, leaving again. It's like, dude, you're fucking crazy. You keep I coming love back how he opens his video with like, I decided to come check out YouTube again. Like, what do you mean? You've never left. Yeah, it's You've like, come on. You've never left. <laughs> You've literally never Just left. Just like he's disconnecting his internet connection. Yeah, right. Except when he's back a month later, like, I, I got my connection back up, guys. Is, is he already back we from this? concluded that we either were going to turn it off or we were going to give stuff a, another try. So what I did was I went ahead and I contacted some of the people that I hadn't talked to for a long time, like J-Dubs, G-Man, Richard Brasberry, Adam Lohr, and uh, atheists as well as religious folks that we had talked to before. Wanted to try to see if there was any reason why I should continue doing anything no. on the internet whatsoever. No. So I talked to everybody, and as usual, it was nice talking to Adam again. It was nice talking to J Dubs. Um, had a nice talking to J Dubs. I noticed it wasn't nice talking to G Man. G Man <laughs> and the masters of stupidity. There was no like. It was nice talking to G Man. He should have couldn't talk to me. I'd have set him straight. Yeah, Brett, you should leave and never come yeah, back. Yeah, Brett, what you're feeling right now is correct. You should Run, never... Brett. Run. Brett, Conversation with Brett was a caged bird, and now he's free. What What is his overall objective every time he comes back? Like, what is he trying to accomplish? To be annoying as stupid is as that, possible. Is that no, just it? To no, be no. annoying and as stupid as possible. No, no. In the back of his mind, he's like... This is the time where I retake YouTube, where I, where I, where people see my true glory. First YouTube, so why then does he, the internet. Oh. Why does he do such like shady stuff? Because he's a shady guy, and end, and end up getting you know suspended. I think it's because he can't help himself. He just he think he always he continuously makes the mistake of thinking he's clever enough to get away with it this time. <laughs> That's so true. It's like he doesn't learn from past experience at all. And he just thinks like, man, the same shit that's got me banned from YouTube 500 times before. <laughs> this time it's not going to. This time it's going to work in my favor. He's like the gambling addict that keeps going to the casino. It's like, this is the time I'm going to win the mortgage back. You know, yeah, it's the, uh, <laughs> this is the time I'm going to win that car payment back. You know, yeah, not going to happen. It's doing the same thing and expecting a different uh, yeah, result. Precisely. Man and G-Man um, almost immediately wanted to... Immediately? Immediately? immediately. <clears throat> almost <clears throat> immediately. Immediately wanted to run away from you throw me into uh, situations where he wanted me to go on the Drunken Peasant show to deal with the Amazing Atheist and other people. What? What he said? As if you could just invite yourself on the show like, G-Man just said, come on the show. It's like, 
If, if you would have tried to bring Brad Keat on, we've been like, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, we've we have been a, there, done that. We have a ban. I'm surprised we're even playing this. Yeah, I thought, you know, it's been several, several months. That's true. It has been a long time so. since we heard from him. The only way I'd have Brett Keen back on here is if he'd actually agree to come on by himself. No, you're going to ambush my TJ. Nope. You're gonna I, no, his No, because I do. I want to ambush him. You're going to attack his family. I want. Oh, there you go. He not, now he has ammunition against you, TJ. I no, but I'm, the I'm, I'm admitting it. even said he wanted to ambush me. I do. And what I want to do... And attack my family. I didn't say oh, that. But you what, attacked my family! What I, want, what I really want to do with Brett Keen is I'd really just like to get him to show his true fucking self. <laughs> Like, stop with the bullshit. I think stop it would take... The, I'm a nice guy. No. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I think it would take Show for that to happen. Show us the real Brett Keen. You know what it would take for that to happen? Okay, if you've seen Dragon Ball Z, there's a thing called the Namek Saga. We basically have to, like, we, TJ or someone would have to be Goku, and Brett Keen would be like Frieza, and it would have to go that long and that drawn out so, to reveal the true Brett Keen. How many, yeah, and a how planet many would forms? probably end up being destroyed in how the many process. Different forms of Brett Keen. Yeah, are exactly. Before be like, he reveals his true ultimate form. I know that's what I'm saying. You know, it's <laughs> there's like, got to be at least five forms, and then even when he reveals his true form, he can only use one percent of his power at first, and then he'll go up to like ten, and then like fifty, and then like sixty, and then eighty, and then ninety, and then a hundred. So it's going to be basically like it's going to be a long, shit. drawn out saga. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay though. But it's all—it's only going to be five it's, minutes it's worth long it. though. It's it's worth it though because we're going to see Brett King. It's going to take true form. It's going to take eight and, hours, uh, but it's Richard only five Raspberry, minutes. Richard Raspberry—he um, was still going on about how he has problems with, you know, atheists on the internet, and it was—I felt like I just—it was like, as all of you know, I've been gone for months. I lost my YouTube account a while back, and. I stayed away, Why'd you lose and it, I Brett? figured that maybe there was a little spark of hope that I would come on and I would find that like people I'm would be stallion. somewhat different, or there would be like people would be different. At least Look in, at yourself, Brett. The fucking common he, factor in this situation is Brett Keen, not other fucking people. <laughs> he wants to. <laughs> he wants to stay the same. And exactly. have everyone else change for him. Exactly. I mean, he's so illogical. It's just unbelievable. It's what so is absurd. this thing? What is this logo that we see here? God Talk, TV radio. And it's not even aligned properly. Talk comedy news, metal rock, country blues rap alternative, industrial indie. Wow. I'd like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> he might have one of those like free I radio like, station accounts. I like how it's just very tightly focused on that one thing, you know? Yeah. As long as you're into talk comedy news, metal rock, country, blues rap, alternative industrial indie. It's the comedy Brett Keen's <laughs> life. Does he tell you about his life? You're like, ah, I'm sorry, I, sh I shouldn't laugh. Is no. That, is that what the comedy Brett is? Brett Keen's life has taken the turn where it, it went from being so sad it's funny to just being so sad it's sad. Wow. 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 Yeah. You're going there with that, huh? Right. I have to. I have to at this point. Just listening to him talk, it's like, I mean, like, I've just come to the point where I'm like, man, this poor son of a bitch really just can't help it, can he? He's just, this is just the way nope. he is, and he doesn't even right, see what's wrong with it. definitely not help it. So I don't even, like, I, I don't even feel like attacking him, because it's like, he's just, he just fucks himself. Like, he's just, the way his personality is, he will perpetually fuck himself forever until he just dies, which will yeah. be a blessing in his case. So I'm just, you know, sad but true. I just, I mean, you know, so you just want to move on. Yeah, I want to move on. But you, we can, we can watch the rest if you guys want. I'm cool with sitting there. In the God Believer Department, there'd be this kind of idea that we need to do things differently, Shit. or there needs to be a different way of handling non-believers, or a different way of <laughs> producing our videos. But it's still the same nonsense, and it feels like. God believers that on should the be internet, when um, Brett inevitably comes back with his next channel. That should be uh, his uh, motto. Still the same nonsense. Yep, <laughs> it'd be accurate, man. New Brett Keen, still the same nonsense. Same Brett Keen, same bullshit. <laughs> Are not like the ones in reality. Uh, what? It seems like there's a lot of people out there. How shall I put it without offending folks? But it seems like God believers that are on the internet are on the internet for the same reason that atheists are, uh, which is 
neither one of them are about God. They're about um, self entitlement. They're about why the fuck would atheists be about God? Right. That's such a weird criticism. That's such a weird thing to say. Like you guys aren't about God. It's like, do you know what the definition of an atheist is? But he's saying that the, even the God believers are not on there about God. Oh, that. Well, I mean, yeah, he's they are. Like, oh, it's for them. It's just like a competition. They just want to self aggrandize. Brett Keen is the ultimate like armchair warrior. You know, and the thing is, like, even the people he's supposed to agree with, he's still like taking issue with them. Like I talk to them and they're good, but fuck him still. He's yeah, he's always been. But you know what? The funny thing is, he wants to be that way. Exactly. The only thing he's pissed about is that they're that way, but he can't all, be because he always gets kicked off. Of all he YouTube. has to do is not fuck around. Just have your YouTube channel and upload videos, Brett. It's not hard. Quit playing all your stupid fucking games and little scams and like. Yeah. Just stop being a fucking fuckwit and fucking do it like everyone fucking else you know, does, it, you stupid motherfucker. He was he was coming on our show regularly and getting exposure for that, and then he was like, right, talking shit with look, his well, buddies. Look at look at our, look at it, like the drunken peasants yeah. with uh, with Tim, right? Or G Man. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I actually heard someone in the comments one time comparing the drunken peasants and our rivalries to Dragon Ball Z. How sometimes the people that we rival with end up joining us, right? In the yeah, end. and that's that's because we're cool, and if you're cool, we'll make amends and shit. But Brett Keen is such a piece of shit. Yeah, there's no way to do that. There's just no like you can't if you extend the olive branch to him, he'll try to shove it up your ass. He's a fucking asshole, and he can't help it. He's just a natural asshole and, and he's horribly manipulative i mean he's not good at being manipulative but he's horribly manipulative oh no he, Every, is, he has ve uh, manipulated quite a few people very well but you know what the problem with his manipulation uh, isn't that it's not yeah. effective it's that it's so short reach because like oh yeah yeah he everyone fucks sees over. through his bullshit <laughs> that's what i'm saying so, like if he was really good at manipulation he would string people along forever i'd still be saying brett keen's a great guy yeah but the problem with him is, like, he's good at fucking tricking you into thinking he's a nice guy for five minutes. But when the five minutes are up, you realize, like, yeah. holy shit, this guy's a manipulative, that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, asshole. Yeah, I mean, like, he's doing it for such a short period of time. And, like, literally gets back to you almost instantly. Like, Brett Keen, who just said you're a great guy, is, you know, told me in confidence you're a piece of shit. It's like, that, it's like, why are you telling me? Like, well, it just seems kind of, like, hypocritical of him. It's like, oh, well, that's not much of a shock. Brett Keen literally, like... You, are you saying when Brett Keen is like being watched, he acts a different way than he actually is? Like <laughs> that's so surprising. I never would have pegged Brett Keen to be like that. They want to be the next big, you know, Reverend Jones or the next big Richard Dawkins, and nobody's Dawkins. actually doing anything for God. I don't feel like the, uh, why, God has. Why would a place why would atheists do anything for God? Why would the do anything for God? Like why? Why does he keep Why does he keep talking like that? Okay, this, this, this is what Brett Keen needs to do. Brett Keen, fucking go to dictionary.com and look up the word atheist, atheism, any, any variation of atheist. Just go ahead and do that, please. And then think about what you're saying with that definition in mind. And the funny thing is he was a YouTube atheist for nearly a decade. Yeah, for nearly a decade, and he's just... Atheists aren't doing anything for God. It's like we do not believe in the existence of God or Did deities. <laughs> I mean, doesn't he understand that? Wasn't he an atheist? Right. You know, like he, you think he would understand atheism a little better than the average Christian having yeah. been one for so long. But it seems like he's just as fucking ignorant as everyone is any other fucking crazy Christian fuck on YouTube talking their bullshit. Like, how can that be? Uh, <laughs> Did he fucking give himself a lobotomy? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he did. He was praying on a park bench, and God cut out part of his brain. It's fuck. He must have. Yeah. Because it seems like he's totally lost his memory. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> it's like someone was a fucking serial killer for 50 years, and then they repent and see the light, and then the next time they're fucking... Like, how do I defend myself? I don't know. I can't figure out how to kill this person. <laughs> it's, so it's like it yeah. doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, unless you're if you're a fucking baker, you don't fucking forget in a week how to cook bread, just because you fucking take a, some time off or something. Yeah, you don't get back into the kitchen like, man, how the fuck do I bake again? What the <laughs> shit? Oh, is there olives in it? <coughs> oh. Look for 
historical evidence of Christ, or you're wanting to find, oh, you know, online all right. Bibles or some kind yeah, of... Yeah, all right, Brett. I, you know... I thought, I thought we'd listen to him again no. just to see what he was up to. No. Fucking it looks like Bread Queen made a um a, a movie trailer. I don't a know if it's movie a movie trailer. I don't know if it's a where movie. Where he destroys atheism. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Atheism will be defeated and destroyed so, and dismantled all in one trailer. Wow, yeah, yeah, wow. I don't know if he's actually going to make this movie or if he was just having fun making the trailer. It looks like he just... Like his fucking lazy, fat ass can make a movie. (laughs) He's got health problems. Oh, by the way, Brett, your family sucks. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck. Your family sucks. But I would be willing to take military action if necessary to prevent them from becoming a nuclear threat to the world. I don't believe at this stage that we need to have war powers approval or a special uh, authorization. These are the people your parents warned you about. You can tell it's Brett Keane's voice. <laughs> He's like, the parents warned you about. The parents warned you. Are you guys familiar with Brett Keane at all? Never. I'm not. Well, we'll we'll do a crash course in Brett Keane yeah. for you. Okay. I'm pretty excited. So, a long ass time ago, there was an atheist YouTuber called Brett Keane. Once upon a time. Long time ago, back in the early days of YouTube, and he was quite popular. And he got into shit because he basically would repeatedly um he'd plagiarize stuff and claim it was his, like classic poems and songs and shit. Okay. And uh, he would, you know, like he'd get, in, yeah, he'd like docs, <laughs> he'd like doc drop people and shit. And uh, he got, he's basically been kicked off of YouTube at least a hundred fucking times on her <laughs> different names. And at this point, he's now a Christian who hates atheists and says that we're shit. And this is his atheist movie trailer. He's the hardest working troll. <laughs> Yes. Hellbound Solus Primate Productions presents. You, you, uh, you hear that song though? <laughs> Brett Keen actually wrote that song just for this trailer. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure he <laughs> That's did. That's Brett. Brett did Don't that kill shit. Yourself. They love watching others suffer. Oh wow. Oh, by the way, uh, I I don't know if we told you guys this, but he was an atheist, and now he's a uh uh. He's, he says he's not a Christian, even though he believes that Jesus, he believes in the whole Jesus thing. But uh, he's. Does he know the definition of Christianity? I no, apparently, apparently not. I don't think so. Because we've had him on here before. He's a little confused and about his sayings. He says he's a theist. He's not a Christian. He's a theist. Yeah. His his little conversion little story is beautiful too. He, his family was in financial distress, so he took a walk, and he's like, "Man, I should e-bag." So then he e-bagged, and people gave him money, and he's like, "God exists." And, well, he said that they were mostly Christians that were donating money to him. Okay. So all of a sudden, he becomes a Christian So he YouTuber. e-bagged and Christians gave him the most money. There and you he's go. He's like, I need to be a Christian He's now. just loyal to whoever if it was Muslims, If it was Muslims, it would have been, he'd be, you know, Muslim. If it was Buddhist, he would have been Buddhist. You know, whatever. By the way, visit audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasant. <laughs> Peasants, that w- rather. That was by no means forced or uh, out of context. I have a great yes. idea for a website now, though. Hold on uh, now! It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like the eBay of religion. I can be like, hey, whoever donates more, I'll convert to your religion. <laughs> that oh, my is God, amazing. we'd probably be really popular. And like, we, like people mind. who are YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't steal that idea. I'm stealing it. Yeah, we've already, we've already made the channel yeah, already. The, the domain name is registered. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because if you were standing here right now, I it's would Coughlin. They're not happy unless they you. kill someone or they're something. They're not happy unless they're hurting someone. <laughs> what? He sounds. He sounds like someone who who's like a perverted phone caller. <laughs> oh, what are you hearing? Would you like me to take my pants off? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> you want to stroke my big hard meat sausage? Yeah. Meat yeah, sausage. Tasty. As opposed to my veggie sausage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, there is veggie sausage. And and here's the they play the tip uh, the clip of TJ here. Finger that says fuck your god, nigger. Fuck your <laughs> god, nigger. He he plays it twice just to hammer it home. This is fuck your god, nigger. Oh, racist they have TJ. No morals. The amazing, amazing racist strikes again. You are fucking retarded. You on the other hand should fucking kill yourself. Okay? Oh. He endorses suicide. 
War and destruction. They have no morals or no mercy. Nazis. Killing. <laughs> it feeds them. <laughs> Atheist. <laughs> the movie. For, uh, later. Get a machete because we're going to an orphanage. Hide your children before it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's I've, fucking... I've said that many times, in fairness. <laughs> yeah. Hate they hate anything that is intelligently designed. Yes. <laughs> Too late. I am a fucking idiot. Oh. I took Atheism, someone out of contact. the most non-trusted awesome. group in America. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're burning the American flag. Woohoo! They're American. the most non-trusted group Time to in kill America. America. America, fuck yeah. So as you can see, uh, Brett Keen is a renaissance man. Oh, yes. yeah. He's Basically. Brilliant. He's talented. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty fucking... I bet you guys wish you were as smart and, uh, yeah, whatever. It's from Butt King. Oh, my God. TJ. Now, the only reason why... why the only reason this? is because he talks about you in the video. Why are and you he, doing and, this, man? And he spews utter bullshit. Oh, my God. And I just why want you, you doing to... This? <laughs> Why are you doing this, Please man? Please subscribe. No! Please no one wants to subscribe to you, you fat, evil piece of shit! He changed his intro. There's no more final countdown. I wonder if he got flagged for it. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Now we're gonna skip that. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah, Hello, yeah, ladies yeah. And No one gentlemen. cares My about all that. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio Show. God TV Radio. Make sure you up has always is it been TV or is it radio? Supernatural to the unknown. All of us... Immediately, whenever we look at our Immediately. universe, we can see the the appearance of design. Even non-believers point this out, even atheist scientists. Eventually, he's going to get to you and talk about our show and how we're full of shit and everything. But Right. But then they want to try to go down one of these philosophical rabbit holes in order to try to, you know, fudge it all up and say, well, uh. if the universe was designed, then it could have been designed better. Well... Sometimes we drive cars and we don't think a lot of them seem. But I discovered that he had to have, like the oh, atheist boy, go. had that. I've been challenging a lot of non believers out there on YouTube, and a lot uh, of them seem very afraid. All right, here it comes. I've challenged Shaking Darren in Roth, my boots. I've challenged the atheist voice. I've challenged Jacqueline Glenn. Uh -huh. I've challenged the amazing atheist. The amazing atheist had me on his show, uh -huh. and I did that. But I discovered that he had to have like four or five other individuals with him. He couldn't do it on his own. You can't uh, fight hold your on. own battles. Today. Hold on, hold on, stop. The the that's the premise of the show. There's always like a few people on here. It's usually at least me and Ben. Right, the hosts of the show. Right. I mean, that's the whole thing of the show. And usually, like, uh, not so much this month because of fucking uh, his girlfriend. But usually, Scotty's on here too. <laughs> So there's usually like three people on the show just by default. And then sometimes we have a guest or something, too. But there's no it's not like, oh, we're afraid to face Brett Keen. I mean, and, and if anything, no. if anything, he's the one who does that because he's actually never come on the show by himself. He always brings a little posse of people. <laughs> and then he. Yeah. And then he never even fucking talks. He just fucking sits back yeah. while his little posse fucking talks anyone who's new to the show go back and watch the religion debate video on our channel and you'll see uh that brett just kind of randomly called us one day and he had like three or four guys with him and it was just me and tj at first and then we brought paul's ego into the mix and yeah but we'll let's play a little more it's it, it gets even more ridiculous and I kind of let him get a pass on that because I realized that he's not smart enough to run the podcast and run the technical stuff all on his own. Right. But he also had suggested that um, when we talked, I asked him if he would be willing to actually debate me on my turf within one of my live hangouts. There's no turf. This is the internet. This is YouTube. It's a all the same section place. section of the internet. Right, really right. Owns... Come to our side, the dark side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, it's like, fuck Well, I mean, you. there is like the that turf. part of YouTube, you know, the weird part of YouTube. Oh, yeah, you got to watch your back. 4 a.m. And... <laughs> yeah. It doesn't involve 10 people to operate a system in order to... It doesn't involve 10... No, no. Brett, it's one person. It's one person much? operating... Yeah, Ben Ben operates the technical aspects of the show. 
pretty much 100 percent for it to work the amazing atheists have still yet and refused to actually show up have any kind of discussion or debate having to do with his own worldview. Apparently, he just wants to do his podcast where he gets drunk all day and insults people, and that's all he's got. Yeah. I love how he just makes these, like, definite statements. Like, he 10 people the, drunk all day, you know? He is, he is the ultimate YouTube con man. Well, I guess he's not ultimate because he never really went anywhere with it. But He's the ultimate exaggerator. The, the funny thing about him is, like, he used to be an atheist, then he was a Christian, then he was an atheist. Now he's what he calls a theist because he won't take a, a particular position on theism. You know I what? almost never believe people who are currently Christians and say they used to be atheists. You know, I think they're I, just trying to make it look like you can become a Christian after being an atheist, and I just <laughs> find that difficult to believe. But, well, I mean, in his case, there's some, you know, he actually did make atheist videos on YouTube for a long time. Oh, He's really? actually okay. He actually inspired TJ to start making videos. That's, That's true. the odd part. Well, yeah. Um, but, Brett, you know, I'm actually the one that banned you from our show, not TJ. <laughs> because you started we uh, we were polite to you we had you on our show we uh, there's actually there actually is one instance where Brett came on by himself and it was towards the end of a show uh and and we were cool with him we actually treated him with respect and even though we think he's full of shit you know we were nice to him but I'm the one that banned you from the show, Brett, not TJ, and it has nothing to do with TJ not being able to run the technical aspects of the show. <laughs> so if you want to come on, Brett, come on by yourself, and you and TJ can just talk, and I'll just mute my mic the whole time. There you go. And you guys can have at it. That's a fair offer. And, 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 you, and you'll be like, well, why don't you do it on my channel? Well, Brett, we get 4,000 people watching our show. Yeah, and then and then like <laughs> and then like sixty to a hundred thousand viewers after the video posts. Why would we want to go to your channel? That'll probably end up getting, you know, suspended and terminated off of YouTube <laughs> it's eventually. It's a waste of time. And uh, you know, yeah, yeah, and for your audience of like two hundred people, exactly. If that, I need to interject though, Ben. You and I have something in common: the small bladder thing. Oh fuck! Yeah. So. <laughs> I got to do it too, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, we, can, we can do it together. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> people, people already think I just proposed to you earlier. Yeah, I know. I read that. Yeah, read that. so <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> if it pleases the court. This is Buck King. I learned Please you're told. subscribe. Please and subscribe and to my thing. Boss. Atheists can never win a debate, no matter what they do, no matter what they try. No matter what they say, no matter how much they cry. Stop. It's a poem. I wonder if you wrote it. I can't. This is so... Brett Keen is now a low-rent Dr. Seuss. <laughs> who's writing... This, this, this a is so he's sad. writing a poem about how atheists can't win a debate. What is their obsession with, like, winning, winning a debate? Right. Yeah. Like, that doesn't even matter. I like, challenge you to a moderated debate, amazing that, atheists. That's what they want. They, they almost want, okay. they want a debate in front of an audience. Everyone raise their hand if you think G-Man won. I, I vote for G-Man. So, first yeah. of all, like, okay, so first of all, I'll just give you an example here. Look, look, Christopher Hitchens debated Tony Blair. They took an audience poll before and after the debate to see how the audience felt about the position of, like, religion's a force for good. More people... uh at the beginning, more people said religion was a force for good than believed it at the end because Christopher Hitchens had won the debate. There was another debate. It was Christopher Hitchens and Stephen Fry versus uh, two uh, Catholics, one of whom was like a major um, uh, cardinal. And they had a thing that was basically, is the Catholic Church a force for good in the world? And more people said it was before the debate than after the debate because the atheists won the debate. They convinced more people. Um, and then if you just go through YouTube and watch debates, like I watched a debate just yesterday. It was uh, Lawrence Krauss versus uh, some Muslim. Um, I don't remember. And then I watched another one that was actually Lawrence Krauss versus, um, oh, God, what's that that dubious creationist fuck? Uh, yeah, what, Psy 10? No, no, no. Psy 10 is not a creationist. <laughs> Oh no, not not the guy that makes the animation, Cy, uh, like Psy Ten Bruggenkade. I've never that. heard of that person. Oh no, this was a uh, um, 
I'll, I'll remember his name later, but I've, I've seen, I, I've watched so many atheist Christian and atheist Muslim debates on YouTube. And I've, I mean, I've seen ones where I think that a better job could have been done by the atheist, but I've never really seen a debate where I was sitting there saying, you know what, the atheist clearly lost this debate. Um, and even if they had, I wouldn't attribute that to, well, the atheist obviously had the less true ideas. I would attribute it to, well, the atheist obviously was not as good of a uh, rhetorician because a debate is really a contest of rhetoric. No matter where they run, no matter where they hide, atheist and atheism will simply die. It doesn't really rhyme. There's no Pascal's wager here, ladies and gentlemen. If there isn't a God, then every atheist on this planet... So I have a suck. question. If he's trying to be like this big Christian, why does he have like flames engulfing him? And why there, is he like wearing like a black, like everything about him is like he's almost trying to like convey like this ambience of evil. It's almost like the great and powerful Oz or something like that. Right. Like, like floating head. He, he's, he's, he's almost presenting himself in like a very like satanic context where he's wearing like this black hood and he's got this echo effect on his voice and there's flames in front of him. But he's saying, like, God is good. Yeah, he put your name in the title of this video. Brian Keaton's burning in hell. For heat death from the universe crashing, imploding in on itself. If the atheist <laughs> is right, Wait, then... that's not heat death, though. Heat death is not the universe imploding on itself. Heat death is the universe it's ripping itself apart. Yeah, and... It's when it, when it stops expanding and starts going back. Uh, Sounds to me uh, like you're attacking his family. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah. it. He is simply an unextraordinary well, bottle no, like, of Windex it, chemicals. Heat death, it never contracts. It just keeps going. It until it, like, basically rips nothing itself apart. Oh, I thought you were just talking less. about something else. It's supposed to, I mean, like, the current, pr the prevailing model is, I mean, like, no one really knows, but yeah. um, the prevailing model is that, it, you know, it rips itself apart even on the atomic level to the point, because there's, like, it's total, it's the end result of total entropy, basically. But that's a, many trillions of years from now, so. Objective morals and ethics. The atheist doesn't stand a chance according to his worldview, according to his structure and imaginary value system. Uh -huh. If God believers are right, whether it be Muslim, Christians, Jews, pagans, deists, okay, then how do you know? or all how above, you know right? at the same time, the same God, just different culture, different languages, speaking okay, of their own that? perception of the same one true God. You know, th th this is just ridiculous. Oh, well, maybe they're all right. Maybe one of them is right. Well, how do you know? And how can you just say, oh, well, they're just it's just a different way to worship God, you know? You even include deists, like, which are like, that doesn't even make sense to include deists. Like, they're, they, because if, if they acknowledge as a God, it does not interested in, in yeah. anything with us. Deists would be closer to atheists than to theists, really. Because <laughs> the God they believe in is inconsequential to human existence. Ben is dying. Ben is dead. Ben's well, dead. You need an exorcism, Ben? Yes. The power of Christ compels you. 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 Okay, I'm better. Okay, good. Ben's Thank good you. now. Thank you, power of Christ, for compelling me. It compelled him to be well. Oh, you know what? How many subs does this channel have? Seven. Really? Something know. like that, or maybe like two hundred at the most. I don't Why know. Why does he he disables the ratings? He claims that atheists use bots and shit like that. It doesn't. To, why why would we need bots to <laughs> downrate his videos? Brett and Keen, shit? I have a serious question for Brett Keen. Why do you keep making the same stupid shit over and over again? Like obviously, you know, you're insane because you keep doing the same thing over and over again, expect different results. You false flag people. You lie. <laughs> you're. I mean, you're a duplicitous person, even to people like you're aligned with. Like. Just you, you really you really should just give it up. I mean, like I, mean, I hate to say that to anyone, but like he really is a hopeless case. And he's, he's not even entertaining. I mean, yeah. furthermore, I mean, like you can say it's subjective, but he's really not. I mean, just, this terrible poem, these terrible effects. You know, the the one millionth fucking Brett Keen channel, which we know after three months either she's gonna fucking shut it down or YouTube is. You you weren't here the last time we played one of his videos. He was like, Well, I know TJ can't debate me alone because he needs like ten people. What? It's also because he's not smart enough to run his channel by himself. Or his podcast or whatever. You, you know what, Brett Keen? I'm sure TJ would debate be happy to debate you yeah. one on one. 
Oh yeah. And if you want to come on, I mean, would, would you do it, TJ? One I'll on be one? quiet the whole yeah, time. Yeah, we won't say anything, Brad Keen. If you're so afraid of us jumping in, we will say nothing because we just love to. We don't. We don't even need to jump in. TJ can rip you to shreds by himself, <laughs> yeah. dude. I, not only that, I'll tell you what. I'll go one further. I will get so obliviatedly drunk that I can barely think straight, and I will still whoop your ass. In the <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Butt Keen. The Butt Keen. I don't see anything else to say. Sorry, state of denial. You suck. You couldn't even get past round one. Round one, fight. All right, so uh, here's a video that Brett Keen made specifically about TJ. Good. <laughs> oh, shit. This will be better. <laughs> TJ attacked my family. Here we go. Please and me. subscribe, comment, and rate. No, thanks. Yeah! He plays... He plays... Da -da, da -da, da -da, Atheists! Da -da. Seek out God believers and use vote bots to downvote our videos. Bullshit. Please support believers by thumbing this up. Ladies and gentlemen, ah! Brett Keen. <laughs> oh, God my God. TV radio. A lot of people have been coming over to my comments board stating, Hey, Brett, are you going to go on the Drunken Peasant Show again? Are you going to go talk to the amazing atheist what is this? who claims the fucking... that he's willing well, wait, the this is like the manatee camera yeah. angle or something. <laughs> the drunken peasants is Ben, TJ, and Dude, me. I want not, pause not this, TJ. Let's. I want them to off. screen cap this and fucking Photoshop him into a manatee. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Make Butt Kane a manatee. There he is. Make him a manatee, folks. Five, four, three, Pe two, one. People have asked if I want to be on that podcast again. Let me guess. His answer is going to be no. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let's see. You, and, and by the way, there was an annotation on this video saying, I'll go on the show if I get a thousand likes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, he's so pathetic. There was an annotation on this video basically saying, if I, if I I'll go on their show if I end up getting a thousand likes for this video. Which, by the way, if you like this video that you're watching now, feel free to hit like. Yeah, not his video. Fuck no. That shit. <laughs> All right. God TV. Dude, he'll show. come. How, how many likes does it have out of curiosity? Oh, I don't know. It was a while since I looked at it. Was it 12? <laughs> 12. That's too many, man. He's trying to use, like, reverse psychology. <laughs> I'm going to make you guys like my videos. Right. Against your will. Just to get on, yeah. That's it's, almost like being like, if you hate my guts, give this video a thumb up. He's trying to be a dude. heel. <clears throat> dude, if you ever brought Brett Kane on again, you know he would, do, he would try to bring a bunch of people on, and then if he said no, he'd be like, okay, but then, then everything else would be, you guys ganged up on me. That's why I'm not going to say a word. I, I'll just turn my mic off the whole time. But anyway, let's yeah. let's get on with this. Yeah, let's actually hear what he has to say. Talk to you one on one. It's not going to be three or four guys against you. So, is this something you're interested in? Well, it's something I've been contemplating. A lot of what's going on inside of me says yes, do it. Another part of me says no because the amazing atheist is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate, TJ. Yeah. Sure, he mixes some truths here and there with his lies, but well, you have to. all in all, he's Look, a liar. Look, hey, shh, Brett, all right, come on. First of all, we're both liars, so none of this, like, he's a liar, I tell the truth. I mean, that's the biggest lie ever fucking and told. And he's kind of using the, well, he's lied about one thing, he'll lie about everything kind of argument, like... I mean, I, oh, slippery slope. Fuck, fuck, if he told one lie, he'll tell a million. Who the fuck isn't a liar? Everyone fucking <laughs> lies. The question is, what Brett Key does not lie. What was lied about? Factual. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, what the fuck? What? What? I mean, Brett Key, you're gonna fucking say someone else is a liar? I mean, you're the biggest fucking liar, goddamn, on YouTube. It, didn't he post like you're a notorious liar? Yeah. You're known for being a liar. Didn't he post like lyrics to a bunch of like popular band songs? And he's like, I wrote these. Yeah, he plagiarized poems. He plagiarized song lyrics. He, he was demonstrated to do these things. I haven't seen the episodes with him in, like, what, I guess he got on the show and just got annihilated by you guys. Oh, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll well, no, I mean, well, like, he's going to talk about, he, 
He's going to talk about when he was on here, and All some right. of the things he says aren't very consistent with what had actually happened. And what? The, the, You're lying. I, the videos the are fuck, up. Man. The videos are up so people can watch them. So basically, he misrepresents a video that people can actually go watch for themselves. You know, right. Brett's memory is kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of bad because he's so used to changing all his channels and deleting all his videos, so he knows <laughs> he can get away with shit, and then he just, he does it with us, and it's like, well, dude, we don't just delete our channels every week, so hey, you there's, know actu what? there's actually a record. Sorry. <laughs> You know what? I, I, I think it example. is actually. I don't even think it's that. But, uh, I think you know it's like the episode of South Park where Cartman and um, well Jimmy writes that joke. Uh, oh, okay. And Cartman steals it yeah. and then gives him like in the fla in the flashbacks gives himself progressively more credit. You know, I think Brett Keen has a similar uh, psychology where he, you know. He's not even lying. He just rewrites history instantly. Like if something, even if something just happened, like it'd be like, oh, well, it actually happened like this. By the way, the video has twenty-two likes. Is what the chat room says. Hashtag Brett Kane is Cartman. Anyway, let's get through this fucking video. Before I do that, I'll give you an example of something that I was a little shocked about that he was actually forthright with. I asked him on his live show, "Did you make fun of rape victims?" And he said, "Yes." I read off his comment that he made towards a rape victim on Twitter, and he admitted that it was true what he had said to her. Horrible comment, basically stating that she got what was coming to her. Then I ask him, you're the one that made racial comments to people, right? You're the one that made the racist video towards me attacking me over and over and over. And he said no. Okay, so what, what he had actually did... Uh, did was he came on and gave us this recording that came to him scrambled that he claims he somehow figured out how to unscramble to get the real voice behind it saying that it was tj he he asked us to play it on the air um we we were able to play it but not everyone was able to hear it uh we were able to hear it and on the video everyone that watches the video can hear it yeah. i don't really think it sounds that much like tj whatever is it? He's still harping on about this thing where TJ threatened me and my family. He's really, he's still really trying to sell this line of bullshit. But he's going to claim that we couldn't play it. We we could play it. It was just they couldn't hear it while we were playing it, um, because at that point it was so early in the show we didn't have that capability at that ah, point. I see. So, so he's kind of shooting. Even though I showed him the record, like his big foot essentially. Oh yeah, yeah. They were not willing to play it over the show live for everybody to hear and most likely be that's bullshit We did play it. You couldn't hear it. It's still there for people to hear and you said the yeah, I mean every, You said you would apologize if it wasn't him and I think you I think you did apologize I don't yeah, you, he, he did he's, he accepted every it. Like, every single thing he's saying here is Rebutted simply by going and watching that video. Yeah, I mean what he, his, it's a total distortion. It's a typical Brett Keen, I'm the victim, you know, selective memory. I'm going to cobble together some half truths into my own fucked up, deranged narrative that anyone, anyone can go watch. It, Our actual encounter with Brett Keen right now, it's available on this channel. It's on called this very Religion channel. Debate. Right. I'll even I think post it, it on Facebook after the I show. I think it was something like episode, uh, it was in the 20s or 30s. Yeah, something like that. It was one of the earliest episodes. I think it was actually the first appearance of G-Man, in fact. It, actually, it was. Um, so anyone can go watch that and see for themselves that Brett Keen's full of shit. Because they didn't want to violate terms of service, but number two, they didn't want their audience realizing that the Amazing Atheist is, in fact, racist. So... Since you lied on your show stating that you never made those remarks, not only am I going to show audio of you saying the crap that you did. No, 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 no. See, what, what he's about to show is not the same thing as what he was talking about back then. Uh, he was talking about an anonymous. Originally, he was talking about this anonymous audio that he got that was yeah. scrambled. Um, what he's about to play is something from one of TJ's videos. But I'm going to show video as well. You're going to have a damn hard time trying to convince people that it's nonsense. You're going to have to make it vanish like that of a banana. All right, here it is. <laughs> Boom. Seriously. And a big, big middle finger that says, fuck your God, nigger. That says, fuck your God, nigger. 
Yeah. So that is literally nothing to do. I mean, he's he's basically just trying to revise history for people who only casually look into something. So they go to his video and say, "Oh, well, actually." And that's taken out of context as well. Yeah, I mean, um, well, that clip is taken way out of context. The funny thing is, is that I know he's not really this stupid, so you'd know. No, no, he's he, just yeah, right. He's just being disingenuous, right? right. He's just trying to paint TJ in this in this evil, it's uh, funny. evil atheist that just hates everyone, is racist, misogynist. He just every every you know pejorative you can think of. TJ fits the you know the criteria. Now, even though you've been exposed, my wife even pointed out that most likely your audience of little atheist minions are probably not going to care. Look, look so, at yourself in the mirror, Brett. Can you talk about exposed? How many times have you fucking lied? I mean... I would literally just like to compile a list of all the times Brett Keen has been found to be a fraud or a liar or a piece of shit. I mean, the list would fucking go out the door. Well, well now he's talking shit about all of our fans. Uh, like all the like, you I, know, I mean, like thirty three hundred people watching this video right now. Every everything he want, he <laughs> says is like he's just bold faced lies. God, this guy's such a liar. And it's not like shit. it's not even good lies where people. This is why Brett Keen's channel is continuously fucking are shut down because it's not like he covers his trail in a clever way. He just does this like very superficial, like amateurish PR job. That anybody can just go... It's transparent. I mean, you could just go look. You could just go look and see that he's distorting the facts. Also, this guy is a false flagger. I mean, so, I mean, this guy is one of the worst possible people to call bullshit on anyone. Personally, I don't think they would care if you even went out and murdered someone because atheists uh, don't have any kind of moral line oh, in the boy. sand. You could be racist. You could stick bananas up your bottom. You can sit there and pound on people all day, lie all damn day, and nobody you know will even care. You'll yeah, let's Brett, just drop. Bring up the Gate thing. Uh, they just constantly do. Like it actually the, matters. What the fuck? The f the funny thing is, like, I remember an old Brett Keen video where he was doing this like joke where he pretended he was sleeping, and he had this internal monologue running. And in his monologue, he, he started having, like, a fantasy about his wife fucking his ass with a strap-on. And, I mean, like, you could say it was just a joke, but, I mean, at least back then, he yeah, apparently man. didn't have a problem with that. It was just, like, humorous. But now it's like, oh, that's immoral. Right. Well, yeah, an atheist are for murder and anything. Yeah, we have no morality. I mean, I've only murdered He's five or six people. In my entire <laughs> life. The same lame, tired And arguments. I felt bad almost half the time. <laughs> so, I, anything else you want to say no. about him? Okay. No, just I want to see the manatee uh, pictures, the little Photoshop. Yeah, Brett Keen manatee contest. The Brett Keen manatee contest to see who can do the best Brett Keen manatee. Okay. And the winner gets nothing in particular. Nothing. <laughs> The beauty of being Brett Keen is this. No matter what happens, I will be considered irrelevant, insignificant. I will go down in a big ball of flames. Everyone knows that. Guys like me absolutely have no contribution to society, nor in the visual world of YouTube. I would like to say just a few more things, ladies and gentlemen, about myself. I'm not a sheep, so I don't like to be a team player. I don't go along with the group. I have discovered long ago that there are many people who are jealous and envious of my talents and my skills. But they can't. They can't because they just don't have the fucking mojo, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the size of Florida since the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. I was the first fucking atheist YouTuber. <laughs> All right, here we go. These are the submissions uh, for the uh, the Brett Keen Manatee Drawing Contest, uh, for which there is no prize at all. No. So here we go. He's a Sith, apparently. I don't think Scotty can see it, can he? Yeah, he might as well I'll comment on it here. Yes, move it up to the Brett Keen's. That's a good oh, one. Oh, it's sexy. 
There's Brett. I think TJ's popping a boner right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brett's stone. He's a stoned manatee. All hail the manatee king. All hail. That's, oh, man. That's an that's actual awesome. manatee. With just, with glasses and Brett Keen they, hair. That's more cre- I like that. By like, the way, Brett took down that video with all uh, uh yeah, because yeah. it was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that who is the squid there? That's that woman that uh Fox on News. Fox News is like, We need to kill <laughs> them. Oh right. That's that's not good. That one's garbage. You're garbage, sir. Mm. That might have been good if that was the first one we saw, but the standard has been raised. Slightly better, but almost the same. Almost the same, and it's kind of lame. I like that one, because they went through the trouble of altering his face and putting little manatee whiskers on him. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. And what am I stabbing there? Is You're that killing like, a manatee. I'm actually killing a man. I would never do that. <coughs> Stop attacking my family, TJ. That's a good Why one. Why would you do that? I would never fucking kill a manatee. Oh, that's awful. <clears throat> Is that some, like, underwater Jesus statue? Oh, the Illuminati, Brett King. It's got uh, Shani uh. as me and, and uh, J-Dubs. There's some sort of like cold going around in, in here where Yeah, everyone's fucking cold <laughs> happening right now. Sudden cold syndrome. Oh my god, this cough just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Don't know why it's happening. Strange cameras go off, the cough and start. <coughs> oh, man, I've been afflicted by it. <coughs> oh man, poor Scotty. I think he's got it real bad. Stop attacking my family, TJ Senpai. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. Makes you want to fuck Brett in the eyes. Oh, the that, I don't even see Brett in that one. I see his hair. Yeah, they just put his hair on top. That doesn't work. It's yeah, not close bail. enough. Oh, that's horrible, Ben. Did you I do d- that? You did that no. one. Ben did that one. Yeah, I did all of them. Ben did them all. You got steadily better. Uh, oh, yeah. he put Cena in it. I love it. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I am the butt king. <laughs> bow to my jowls. You gotta love that. Yeah. The Photoshop job is pretty bad, but that's pretty funny. The caption makes whoa. Okay, this is terrible. That's almost like that looks. Like if you just zoom in a little more, it's like a Nine Inch Nails <laughs> album cover. Yeah, you know. Zoom in a little more, turn it upside down, put another fucking Photoshop. A lot of people on. just went to Google and grabbed the first like high quality image. I think we've seen this image about ten times. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <coughs> I think, Best one of all. I think this has run its course, Ben. Okay. If your drawing wa- or Photoshop wasn't featured, we're sorry. Blame TJ. We're so fucking sorry. Hashtag blame TJ. <laughs> Please subscribe, uh, comment, and rate. Ow. TJ. Yeah, Brett TJ. fucking King. Before the starts, TJ, please do not attack Brett Keen's family. Okay, buddy. I would never attack Brett Keen's stupid, worthless family. All right, thank you. I appreciate that, TJ. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. I just got done watching. Is it about TV or is it fucking radio? A video of Jacqueline Glenn talking about suicide and depression. Suicide She's basically is sharing that is there's painless. a loneliness, a bleakness, and emptiness within her. It's amazing whenever you look at her channel because there's literally tons and tons of videos where she's asking for donations. At- oh, okay. Oh, hold on, hold whoa, on, hold whoa. on, hold on, hold on. And the, pat, and the pot turned to the kettle and said, you one black ass motherfucker. <laughs> TJ, what? R- remind me why Brett Keane became a, a theist. Uh, was it? Huh. Because he um, asked huh. for donations, and more Christians gave him donations oh, wait, wait. than atheists. What's, what was that? What was the key word there? You said donations. Yep, donations. Oh, huh. Donations. That kind of makes Brett Keen. Oh, what's that word? A fucking hypocrite. Oh, I can't believe that. Huh. Maybe. 
I don't know. I don't think Brett Keane has such a short fucking memory. He literally calls people out on shit that he does himself all the time. I wouldn't be surprised to see Brett Keane, like, finding one of his old videos and being like, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> Asking for people to go to her different sites and buy her clothes and all this buy her stuff. Clothes. Tons oh. of videos having to do with attacking Something's and wrong belittling with her. Christians. Oh. Doesn't seem oh. to care about the okay. depression or the sadness uh -huh. that a God believer might be going through, just as long as she gets paid. Yeah, uh, she only makes her that callous fucking how bitch. Sad life is. Even though she's got like 200,000 subscribers. Oh, oh, hold on. How transparent, man. Wow. Even though she's got all these subscribers, well, jealous much? Okay, well, I thought these Brett, people hey, wanted to Brett. subscribe to her. It's an optional thing. Brett, uh, I'm going to familiar, you know, we were just watching a video about the Ten Commandments. Uh, Thou shalt not covet. Um, you know, it's, it sounded pretty bitter what you just said. How is she depressed? She has 200,000 subscribers. Like, oh, wow, because all you need for happiness in life is a high subscriber count on YouTube. All your other problems just vanish into the wind once you get that high subscriber count. <laughs> Show TJ, like, I was classically depressed. Then I got a ton of subscribers and yeah. everything. It's fine. People always ask me, TJ, how did you get over your depression? It's like, well, I just got a bunch of subscribers on YouTube. The more subscribers you have, the better and more happy you are. I can honestly testify she has not been sad one time. Never. Since getting a lot of subscribers. All of the YouTube. problems in my life just, just gone. fucking vanished. Nine out of ten psychiatrists agree that getting hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube is the cure for chronic depression. That's why Brett is so bitter because we've, you know, by flagging his channels and stuff, we've kept him from getting the hundreds of thousands of subscribers he needs to feel good about himself. I didn't, I didn't well, that's why, you know, uh, me and Ben and TJ are on this channel because, you know, Ben's like, you know, we're talking to TJ. Like, TJ, how would you get over all these problems in your life? He's like, well, if you guys were on a channel with over 100,000 subs, maybe you'd understand. So we're hoping we get there soon so we can understand, you know, what true happiness is. Paid daily by atheists who are foolish enough to watch your videos. And then on top of that, we're pretty fucking videos foolish about for watching pornography your shit. and sexual deviancy and has young children who are watching this kind of stuff. She's no different, really, than all the other non-believers out there. Okay. They all do these videos where they act narcissistic, they act like they're smarter than everybody, they act like they're... Um, what? I'm not a huge fan of her channel. I've seen some of her videos, and I've never gotten the impression she's like, I'm better than you, Brett Keen! I just <laughs> think that's, that's more... You know, okay. pot calling the kettle black there. But, you know, and another thing is... He projects everything onto other people. It's so obvious. I mean, like, it, it, anyone who says, like, I'm better than Brett Keen, like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it doesn't, matter, <laughs> so who, it doesn't yeah. matter who it is. Am, uh, you know, like, if, if I went to the zoo and, you know, somehow that one of the monkeys knew sign language and it signed to me, I'm smarter than Brett Keen. I, I would, would agree. I would sign back, you're right. Yeah, you're right. He's so petty. They're superior God. over anyone that believes in a God, but then there's that one day, there's always that one day, at least once every few months, where they do that video. You know the video I'm talking about. My life is miserable. It's horrible. Because you, and, right, and Kane, you've that's never that's done almost that? every video he makes. I know. It's how he's a victim, how these atheists on YouTube make I've, fun of me. I've been so put upon, and I'm so sad and miserable. Oh. I have I have health problems. This, got health this problems. dude is the biggest I hypocrite. Problems, and I need money to help me out. He's got health problems, but he's smoking cigarettes yeah, he, all the time. That's what I'm saying. He, he has health problems. He smokes. He obviously just eats fucking fast food all the time. Look how fat he is. Like, uh, maybe if you fucking change your lifestyle a little bit. No, it's nothing to do with me. Don't make fun of Brett. He's awesome. Make fun of fucking Brett all day long. It's so fucking easy. It's like fucking taking candy from a baby. Which you do all the time. That's true. I don't know why I do the things I do. I don't know why I commit the evils and the sins against the world that I do. Oh, can I have a hug? It's always the same thing. They will sit there and I've rock never and done roll. that. If or a Christian I think were to make a video stating that. that they were depressed or suicidal or hurting, hell, the <laughs> atheists out there have been known to make videos and comments suggesting that someone actually killed themselves. No, um, I've actually no, got a, a full no, 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 no. 
Uh, the, the, the kill yourself comments are normally troll comments. And another thing is like... And I'm sure Brett knows that because he's been around Brett the internet is, long enough. Brett is sitting there making fun of her for making a video about being depressed while saying that it's atheists who do that. I mean, that's just nonsense. <laughs> I've downloaded from APS Don't attack Radio. my family, TJ. Stop attacking me, TJ. Brett Keen's family me. is well, garbage. Meant for me, though, telling me to go kill myself. Hm. It was probably trolling. But get they over have it. their it's moments. The fucking internet. I know. He's doing, like, Anita Sarkeesian shit with this. You know, it's funny because wasn't he just, like, a few minutes ago complaining about atheists always making themselves out to be the victims, and now here he is. Yeah. Just... I'm so put upon. Poor Brett Key. It's funny, man. That that last video that he put out that was such utter bullshit, he ended up taking down. Of course he did. Because the next day on Facebook, I posted the video where we played the fucking scrambled audio and all that shit. So even that was, was bullshit alone. You know? I don't know. I, I guess he just doesn't think these things Brett through. Brett Key is a fucking coward, too. He does this all the time. He makes these ridiculous videos, and then when he's called on it, he just removes them. <laughs> it's like, no one forgot, dude. Our memory sh uh, fucking span is not that short. We know what you fucking did. Yeah. I guess that's why people now, they, they archive his channel. They should. Yeah. Yeah, because Brett Keen, there, there's so much shit that Brett Keen can deny now uh, because the videos that proved certain things are no longer around. So anyone who wants to archive Brett Keen's I, uh, channel, you know, I think feel the, free to do so. I have a fan theory. Yeah. I think sure. the Beast is actually Brett Keen's son. Oh. Look at him, you know. <laughs> you a know lot what? of similarities. Yeah. That's probably, it was probably actually some fatherly advice. You know, the Beast was like, Dad, no girls want to fuck me. And Brett's you're the like, beast. Come on, Listen buddy. here, buddy. I'm the Stallion and you're the Beast. And you just need to tell girls they need to lower their standards. Just Look, like I told your mother, and I had to lower my standards too, but... I had to promise her a lot of money. You know, she believed it, but by the time we were married, I told her I was a broke-dick motherfucker. And then she was, <laughs> she was disappointed, but, you know, I just threw some shit about God and marriage in, so she's sticking around, even though I beat her. Which I think I think the reason Brett Keen and his wife are together is because Brett Keen has like the hookup at Golden Corral or something. <laughs> <laughs> he nods. They're like, "Oh, extra rolls for them." One time he pushed the manager at Golden Corral out of the way, and guy the guy's like, "You can eat here for free for the rest of your life," you know. And every time his wife thinks about leaving him, she's like, "Oh, but that Golden Corral." Hmm. Yeah. And also, Brett Keen has like an unlimited McDonald's card. He just sued McDonald's and was like, you know what? In lieu of payment, just give me an unlimited McDonald's card. And they were just like, all right, that seems fair to us. All right, so we're going to move on to the next video, I think. Oh, man. No more Brett Keen. Unless you want to hear more of it. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, no. Um, I was being by the way, this. people that are just now uh, tuning into the show, uh, Anthony Fantana will be on in a little bit here. Okay. But so. TJ's going to kill him, so, unfortunate. Needle drop. You're going to drop the needle on him, huh, TJ? Yes. So, we're done with Brett Keem. That's enough of that guy. Please subscribe, comment, and rate. Out of the frying Hello, ladies pan. and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keem from the God TV fire. Radio. If you're is it in his bathroom or something? What's with all the echo? He's taking a shit right now. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, guys. Oh, oh, he takes a second. shit by candlelight. Oh, it's butt king. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I had taco. Oh, hey, TJ. I actually do have a question for you. Yep. Uh, what do you think about Brett Keen's family? You know, Brett Keen's family is probably one of the worst families in yeah. history. I feel like they should just all be fucking punched. And Brett Keen does do that sometimes. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. See, so you definitely want to insult his family. Yeah, his family sucks. Uh, I feel like Brett Keen's family is probably one of the worst families yeah. In the history of the human race. <laughs> All right, good. Just want you know. Just I was just wondering about that. Thank you, man. I'm just yeah. Just to yeah. clarify, yeah. Brett, Brett Keen's family is shit. Okay. Brett Keen's entire family. They're all garbage. Every last okay. one. Total garbage. Total pieces <laughs> of shit. I t I know that's going to be used eventually. Uh, Brett Keen himself is okay, but Brett Keen's family. They're all garbage. You're an atheist. Every last then one. You cannot believe in free will. You cannot believe that if you, you are have are a choice or purpose it's of so echoey. In the universe. In fact, your entire existence 
is predetermined, sure. predestined according to your own worldview. Uh -huh. If you believe that Wrong. you have no soul wait, 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 and that wait. there is no God, wait, 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 there wait, wait, is wait. no... He just said, according to your worldview, but how is that a choice? So you're saying I'm choosing my worldview, but then I have no free will. How does that make any sense? Well, he's saying that if you're an atheist, you believe you have no free will. Only Christians can believe in free will. <laughs> no, I understand that, but I'm saying... But it's not even true. His, his anyway, whole argument but... doesn't even follow is what I'm saying, though. Yeah, no, no, no. It's Brett Keen. What do you expect? Okay, I just wanted to point that you out. You want shit to make sense? Go elsewhere. Yeah, yeah actually, I do want shit to make sense. No. I, that is what I want. You want Brett Keen to make sense? Sure, I wish Brett Keen would become more enlightened. Well, then you're mm. living in a fucking fantasy world. Well, I don't think it's going to happen, but I said that, that, that I would actually would be glad for him to actually be, you know, get some fucking knowledge and actually be able to critically examine the world. Like, he, he used to be able to understand all of these things, and suddenly, you know, he got some money, and now he's retarded. You know what I mean? He was retarded even I mean, before, he was retarded but... even then, but I mean... You know, I, I I don't think anyone is beyond just total redemption. I think even Brett King could turn his life around. I'm not about saying just be, he had to become an atheist, but I mean, just stop lying would be the first thing. But that's neither here nor there. Man. Beginning to the universe. Lies are like oxygen to Brett Keane. With a conscious Fourth decision. Then you have to believe that you're simply a chemical without a soul. A soulless hamburger, I might add. Uh... Just simply reacting to your environment. Chemicals reacting to okay. chemicals. What is this weird shit? This I don't know. There's some Joseph music happening, right? Atheist killed <laughs> over 62 million people. He didn't actually kill anyone or take any life. He simply erased or removed chemicals. 62 uh, million chemicals to Okay, so no one says that humans are like you're making it sound like there's some like a human is a chemical. <coughs> they just say human beings are chemicals. I am a chemical. <laughs> Which chemical are you, Scotty? I guess I'll be carbon. Okay, I'll be iron. What do you want to be, Ben? You can be zinc. You want to be zinc? Zinc is fine. Ben is zinc. From A to zinc. Fuck. I can't even continue with him. I try to give him a chance. <coughs> but uh, it's like... You have to just believe you're it's a giant chemical. Yeah. You're a chemical. It's Fuck like, you, Brad no, King. Brad, Brad King, you This is a more element. You have chemicals. no understanding of biology. Yes, they are. It doesn't matter. All right. Uh, here's the next uh, video. All right. So hold on. Now that we're about to watch Brett Keen, I think you'll be more amenable to my whole killing people is okay. <laughs> Argument. All right, I'm going to skip this. It's looking more... You notice that like, this Christ intro is getting more satanic as time goes on? Like It's starting to look more and more evil. I thought for a second it was, it was, Brett Keen was going to put himself behind the image of Jesus or something. <laughs> yeah. Brett, you should just superimpose your face onto Jesus. They didn't shit, do it. I was like, that oh. That shit was darker than the, Undertaker, the Undertaker's entrance at right, WrestleMania. Right, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brett Keen is like, you know, he's becoming... like When it first started, it was kind of like friendly looking. Now it's just getting meaner and meaner. I think he's evolving into a darker character, you know? Fuck, man. How long is this thing? It's forever, Ben. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how long is his fucking intro? You know what, Brett? Let me just explain something to you. When you have this, like, big epic intro, like, the thing that it's an intro to should actually have some quality to it. It is kind of a cool intro, too. I'll right. give him that. It is. And then it's like, it's this big epic intro for this fucking very mild... Do it on, do it on a I, 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 It's like explosion! It's, okay, he, he, Pyro like, and Bally! Pyro and Bally! Hi, this is Brett Kane. You got, like, Jesus right rising hey. from the grave or some shit. Dude, he, he's Lightning not. and thunder, and then, you know, the actual delivery is then, then you cut to a fat guy with gray hair <laughs> sitting in front of a fucking webcam going I'm Brett Kane <laughs> that's like how is this an intro to that fuck oh by the way uh, one of the fans of the show told me that we've ruined manatees forever for them because they thought manatees were cute but now when they look at them they see Brett Keen. I'm sorry you know, it's just the risk you take. You know, when you listen to people make jokes, <clears throat> eventually a joke is going to ruin something sacred <laughs> yeah. in your life. It's just the fact of if you want to be amused, you got to fucking just live with the fact that certain things you love will be destroyed through sheer mockery. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio, and I have to say that I'm extremely ashamed of myself. I am disgusted with myself. That's good. I wow. can't tell you how many times I sat with Christians in private as well as hangouts where I supported LGBT rights. I even did videos on my God TV Radio YouTube channel where I stated that, hey, we should be more liberal, more open about homosexuality and lesbians. We should be more liberal towards transgenders and transsexuals. And I stated repeatedly, these are good people. They're people who deserve to have their rights. But then something crazy happened. Some so what do you think it was? I mean... Something crazy happened. Like uh, gay people that hate gays started paying him more money or I think, something. Uh, I think the the evil uh, gay squad broke into Brett's house and uh, for yeah attacked his family and sodomized Brett. And he's like, "Oh my god, I see the true dangers now." No, I think what happened was Brett was in an airport restroom and he was uh, tapping, tapping his, foot, his foot under the stall. And then the guy's like, "Yeah." And then they he came in the stall and saw Brett and he's like, "Never mind." <laughs> he's like, and then on, Brett dude. was so like. Brett was so sad from being rejected even as, like, a, a cheap bathroom fuck that he just hates gay people now. ...thing that's been happening repeatedly, and I think I'm about damn fed up with the nonsense. The LGBT decided, as well as the atheist community, to attack Christianity in a really disgusting, horrible way. Oh, and no. I can see from the comments, as well as the video that they did recently, that... They have no respect whatsoever for <laughs> Christians, Muslims, pagans, or Jews, or anybody. No one. I don't think that there's themselves. any reason anymore why I should be liberal or open to any of these individuals with stuff like this. Hi, I have this problem that you guys can help me out with. I have this sexual attraction to Jesus Christ. Every time I see his hot body, gorgeous face, I get sexually aroused. Do you think when he comes back, he can come over my house and have sex with me? I want to suck on his godly cock as I cradle his <laughs> godly balls. I want to feel his godly cock up my tight asshole. I want to feel him thrusting in and out of my ass. I want to serve Jesus as my master and be his sex slave. Just thinking about it makes my cock rock hard. <laughs> guy likes jesus yeah well you i know, don't understand he really likes jesus you know what there there have been people even christians that have admitted being sexually attracted to jesus sure jesus is sexy well i mean he's like half naked yeah i mean like it's a very the cross can be a very sexual image i mean yeah. you know jesus is is you know up there he's all like light you and uh shit. you factor the cross a lot don't you John? yeah you know and you know, you know, he's up there and he's all tortured and shit. And he's like, uh, "Touching me," you know. I wonder we get to eat Jesus. Jesus is pretty sexy. <laughs> so this is the reason Brett Keen, Brett Keen hates this gay guy people because this guy who doesn't even totally seem serious doesn't really seem very serious yeah. at all. Yeah, not at all. But um, you no, know, Brett Keen hates him because this guy. But the thing is, like, oh, uh, these gay people are attacking Christianity. I'm like, I think Christianity kind of started it. I mean. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Nah, get it. what are you talking about? Just because they're, you know, their holy book just tells them to basically be assholes to these kinds of people. That doesn't mean anything. I get so horny just thinking about it. If I could have sex with Jesus, that would be the best thing that has ever happened to me. You see this banana? Oh, God. <laughs> that's what, uh, that's what I did. Uh, with it. I gave it to this guy. It'll never end. But, you know. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, like, uh, um, I've, I've known plenty of gay people who are Christians. So, I mean, he's saying, like, oh, gay people are all, you know, disrespectful of, of religion and shit. There's, there's gay people who are religious. I don't understand the, uh, the idea of, like, oh, the LGBT people are inherently opposed to religion. No, there's plenty of them that are religious. Also, he finds one guy and he, and he says, atheists lack morals and ethics. It's like, okay, because one guy made a video you don't like, that means all atheists lack more, uh, any morality or any ethics. What like, is... Yeah, sort of ethics. What is he doing that is lacking in morality and ethics so he's so he's jo he's he's joking or pres presumably joking about it seems like he's joking this is sick yeah. behavior tj presumably joking about fucking jesus or jesus fucking him or whatever 
And that's why is that? How is that a lack of a moral? How is that a lack of ethics? Who's that hurting? Hurting Brett Keen. You know, like, God like, believe it, it's not like he's out there like stealing or fucking raping or murdering or actually doing something that he probably is somebody. He probably is. I'm going to pretend Jesus is big rock hard cock. Watch <laughs> my suck on it. And also, this guy obviously appreciates Jesus a lot. Hey, he loves Jesus. <laughs> he really loves Jesus. Damn. I mean, didn't doesn't the fact that Brett Keane played this mm, so tasty? Yeah, he played like the whole fucking thing. Like, dude. you know, was it even really nest? Like, if he finds this so <laughs> reprehensible, why would he sit there and play the whole thing out? Oh, how I want to fuck Jesus! <laughs> Jesus in the worst way. You Christians love Jesus, well, but I really love him. This I want him to take me from behind and feel his garbage seat filling my ass. <laughs> would you fuck Jesus? I would fuck Jesus. Brett Keen is literally playing this entire thing. I think we get the idea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's funny because, like, I'm about to skip over it. It's almost at the end. Does, does he even, Brett Keen even come back in this fucking video? I don't know. Let's see. Mm, look at my sexy man. My name is Don Keen. No. No. His wife so, comes back. Brett Keen literally made a video. I mean, that's like, he, he basically just stole that dude's video then. Because <coughs> all he did was he played his intro. Then at he, Revenue. Brett Keen. At Brett, Revenue. Brett Keen did that with you. At Revenue. Right. There's so, a video on his channel that says the Revenue. Amazing Atheist loves Brett Keen, and it's just one of your old videos. Oh. The you whole guys, thing. God TV radio show is an international network. No, it's not. Come on, international network. It, it's an international. How is it international? Because it's on the internet, and that's international. Okay, that's, yeah. I, I, I guess in that PJ. sense, yeah. sure. But I mean, look, Brett Keen literally just he. Yeah, where's the commentary about he this? He played his intro. He came on camera, talked for like uh, you know I don't know thirty seconds to a minute, Please. and then played in its entirety some oh. guy's video. I'm a god believer. I am tired. I'm fed up. I have no reason to be liberal anymore. These he, these faggots are just destroying our country. He doesn't even oh. he doesn't even talk about the video. Yeah, where's the commentary on this video? This is not even I, fair I, use at this I, point. He's just using, he's just like, look at this. Yeah, okay, you just stole it. What does Brett Keen possibly have to say about this, though? Nothing. Exactly. That's why I'm saying that. That's why there's nothing, because Brett Keen has no ammunition. It's just like, this is this is disgusting and sick, and I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, like, anytime we play a video, we comment on it. We stop it several times and comment on it. Yeah, and if We're, we don't have anything to say, we usually just like, okay, let's go to something else. Right. The only time we'll play a video all the way through is if it's like Psy 10 Atheist, like an animation, and we have permission... <coughs> You know, from the content creator also, to play the whole thing. Yeah. How is this a show? What about this says show to you? It's just random shit that Breaking finds, and usually has sub commentary. But this time he doesn't even have any. His commentary was just like he said some shit beforehand, showed it, then he didn't react to it or say anything else. Just like there you go. TV radio. It's it's it should be like God TV radio telegraph <laughs> carrier pigeon. You know, fucking movie smoke signal book show. I like every 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 medium you can think of. You know, yeah, just every every communications tool, every entertainment tool. Let's get the phonograph in there. You know, phonograph, a a music box, a Victrola, (laughs) yeah, which I think is a phonograph. He'll put like a fucking. He'll he'll put the uh, show in a (laughs) bottle and throw them out to sea. Yep. Oh, like he'll take the two like. Tin soup cans and tie them together with oh, a string. Oh, with a string, yeah. yeah. That's old school. Fuck yeah, man. What is that even called, though? Two uh, cans and a string. Yeah. Two cans and a string communication. So we got God, TV, radio, phonograph, two strings and a can show. Basically. Tele- I also like telegrams. Telegram, yeah. Or what about, you know, snail mail? That should be what in there was too. that? Well, it's just like you know the colloquial term for like you know the what just like mail basically. What's, what's that? So you mail <laughs> sn- snails. I hate you. And the snails will tell you what the you know show is about. Oh man, someone's gonna come to my house and deliver me a mail. That'll be awesome. Ew. <laughs> All right. So next you can only one. Dream, Hopefully man. the mail is not Brett Keen. <laughs> uh, what were your other two Kenny wishes? Rogers. <laughs> 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 what were your other two 
Just Scotty, imagine Brett Keen with like whipped cream on his nipples, like rubbing his Blech. man tits in your face. Blech. I would attack him and try to kill him. You would try to kill him? Yes. You wouldn't believe the sick shit that I get on Facebook that I just delete. You have no yeah, idea. Yeah, sure I would. You're oh right. God, TJ gets horrible shit all the time too. Do you do you get like shit that's like Scotty on TJ, like incestual bullshit? Sometimes I get that Not, all the time, and I just like delete it. Like, ah! oh god, why? <laughs> I've gotten that a few times. I've I don't not really that often though. I'm surprised you're. I've seen, having I've a, seen a few of like you and Ben. Uh, like people send you a few. You have you and Ben hooking up, and then Dude, they'll, they'll be like just random crazy shit. Like TJ. I hardly ever see that. Why don't they send that to me? Back when I was in, Two I don't know. Maybe they're embarrassed too. Maybe that's why I don't. Because I get you two guys all the time. That's weird. I know it is weird. But um. No, but I, 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 someone once sent me a thing where there was like a, someone had written like some fan fictions about me and Cody back when we oh were shooting God. videos oh together. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! All right, moving awkward. on. Awkward. All right. Uh, awkward. Awkward. awkward guys. Yeah. Awkward. All right. So next one is an old Brett Keen video. It's it's one of the times he quit making videos. Oh, oh no! Yes. Hello, my Hold name on. is Brett. Pause Keen. it for a second. I want everyone to just, I, there's no way to verify, maybe someone out there is pathetic enough to know, but I just want everyone to take a guess how many times Brett Keen has quit YouTube. I'm going to guess like seven or eight at least. Really? I was going to go with 14. Yeah, I'm going to go with might... 12, TJ. 12? 12 times. That might, be, that might be the smart guess, yeah. Double did this. <laughs> And I regret to tell you all that this is going to be the end of Brett Keen doing videos. <laughs> wow. My videos will stay up. <laughs> this is such a fucking joke. <laughs> this, is, this is the last video, guys. <laughs> it's like the, this is the last kiss tour every fucking year. Oh, since yeah. Like n- the mid 90s. The last kiss Motley Crue tour you'll ever see this year. Up on the different channels that I posted them on, but I think that I have done more than enough of my share to entertain. Yeah. There are several reasons why I'm not agree. going to be doing not even video. Frame properly. <laughs> <laughs> He's like fucking. It's like what is he? What kind of framing is this? Like it's, it's like half of the, like, actually three fourths of the screen is his fucking giant head, and it's off to like the fucking left. It's like what are you doing? If you were a fucking tripod, you fucking moron. That, well, like fixing fixing the camera would require he get off his couch, oh, which yeah, is a good point. Just, it's just not something Brett Keen does. It's so pointing in his general direction. That's yeah. Good. One, I'm tired. I don't have it in me to do this shit anymore. Two, I think that a lot of you understand. God, I wish, I wish I'm tired. You know, Brett Keen is such a cock tease because you know he's always saying he's going to quit and he never fucking does. Yeah. It's like, come on, just quit. It would be so beautiful if you just quit and never came back. He's like, he's like a fucking heroin junkie. I'm going to quit this week. I'm going to quit today. It's like, come on, dude. You're, you're never going to fucking quit. He can't. To me that yeah. Oh, he only quit really when he's dead. Point. That's about it. Uh, three people haven't been keeping up with viewing this or checking it out. Oh, so no, it's the, the, the people's fault. Videos if I'm not affecting anybody's lives or changing anything. You don't That's a very important point. Right? I wish I, I want to fucking get Brett Keen to me. answer I'm that question now. It. You know, like why are you? Why do you continue to make videos when you've been doing it for years and literally no one is watching you? So spitefully, you guys aren't watching me, so I'm quitting. It's like then just fucking quit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like what, what more of a message do you need? No one wants to watch your shitty content. I guess I'll quit. It's like thank you, finally. One of my friends, uh, we we were going in and, and uh, into Brett Keen's hangouts. He was having a bunch of hangouts a few weeks ago, and one of my friends like snuck in and pretended to be a girl and <laughs> led led Brett on for like you know a good twenty five thirty minutes, <laughs> and then uh, he goes, Brett, I have a question for you. And Brett goes, okay, well, what's the situation? <laughs> what, with with what, these individuals. Wow, well, with these individuals in the situation. And, 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 and uh, my friend goes, uh, yeah, uh, can I fuck your wife's fat cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Attacked his family, dude. Holy shit. Attacked his family. 
Wow. <clears throat> you know what? Breaking has every reason to be defensive of his family when I hear mm-hmm. despicable things like that. Yep. Nothing more. I don't see the point. So hopefully my videos before this will entertain you and you can no, be happy. No. If any new people come across the site, just check it out. There's a lot of videos worth a lifetime to watch. And, uh, it was a pleasure a for my fans and friends content. out there that I did videos for. But this is the end. This is not like before when I said goodbye. <laughs> This is the end. This, this is the is real the end. This no. is not like the other times I've it's left. Exactly, it's fucking cancer or something. This is the end. <laughs> this is the end. Beautiful friend, the end. <laughs> There's a song I wrote, by the way. It's called This is yeah. the End. <laughs> Thank you, this has been talked about and thought about for a long time, and my wife and myself and my friends and my family friends, believe huh? that the best thing for me is to quit. To quit stop. it. So I think it's the best thing for you, too. All right. only he'd fall this through. was like 25 quit attempts ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good old Brett. Yep. Coming up next, I have an, a Brett Keen video from a few months back. We uh, it's it's uh, uh, it, it's entitled "G Man" and why I'm not a Christian. So Brett Keen's going to oh, tell wow. us why he's not a Christian. I can't believe I missed this. One. Breaking news! But this is an old video. I, it, we must have missed. You know it. what? I don't think anyone in the Drug Dependence fan base even brought this to us. Did I they? know. No, nope. that's crazy. They failed us. No one. Me. No one even cares. No one saw this. <laughs> it was all bots. Here we go. Please subscribe, comment, and no, rate. No one's doing that. God TV Radio Show. I'm going to skip this part. I'm at the Foul Countdown. Hell yeah. Or that I am. Oh, my God. What? Oh, God. What am I looking at? And it shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. From God TV Radio. And I'm going to be telling you about some things that uh, make it to where it is not possible for me to be a true Christian, a true Muslim, a true pagan, and why it is one of the big reasons why why I refer to myself as a theist. I have tried for the past couple of years since being a God believer, a theist, explaining and describing to Christians why it is that I don't call myself a Christian or state that I am affiliated with Judaism or paganism or Islam. But for some reason, some people, I guess they just didn't want to hear me out. They didn't want to listen. They just don't want and to I listen. I understand Ignorance. also there's some confusion with atheists out there trying to understand and wonder what it is I actually believe or what I have issue with. Okay. G-Man, he recently did a 34-minute video to me, and he said, Brett, let me let you in on something. And this is from something someone told me, because I haven't watched the entire video. But apparently, he looked at the screen and said, you are a Christian. Okay. Well, after I do this video, G-Man, I'm sure you'll be scratching your head, and if you decide you want to respond and try to debunk or refute anything I'm about to say, so Okay, be it. so um, one time we had Brett Keen on our show, a long time ago, and we asked G-Man, what is the criteria for being a Christian? And G-Man said that, you know, basically you have to accept Jesus. Best way to would boil down to and, and not be Catholic. And we asked Brett Keen, "Do you accept Jesus?" And he said yes. And we're like, "Okay, Brett Keen, you're a Christian." He's like, "No, I'm not. I'm a God believer." But he could never. He could not articulate why. So apparently now he has a Jesus intro, but he's not a Christian. He believes in the divinity of Christ. He believes everything about like he believes yep. that through Christ he will be saved. So yep. how the fuck is he oh, not a Christian? He's a, he's a Christian. I'll tell you because what. I believe if, religion's bad. If you got into YouTube because of TJ, TJ got into YouTube because of Brett Keen. Yep, so Brett Keen is responsible uh, for Brett YouTube. Keen effect. <laughs> Brett Keen Brett, effect. Brett Keen is my daddy. I got it. Never seen this guy before. Good to know. He kind of looks like me. Looks like a fat older version of me. He used to be he used to be an atheist and now he's a god believer. I'm a god yeah. believer. That, that sounds like bullshit, but okay. Yep. Uh, everything about him is bullshit, yeah. so. It's not surprising. He's on like his twentieth channel, you know. 
20th. I think that's underestimated. Really? I, literally, I, yes. Yeah, I would literally say that is actually an underestim- uh, underestimation. But I guarantee What, what happens to the channels? Uh, he gets terms of use violations. False flagging. Bots. Yeah. He's done it all. Oh, what a prick. Actually, it's atheists. They false flag his channel. Oh yeah, yeah those atheists. And we yeah. they they also they also use uh, vote. There's a warning on his newer videos. Atheists use vote bots to downrate our oh, videos. Oh yeah, but the videos only have like 150 views on them. Yeah, no one gives a shit. So if they're gonna use vote bots, wouldn't you have like 5,000 down votes or something? <laughs> yeah, exactly. After this video, after you have watched and listened to it, ladies and gentlemen, you'll clearly understand why it is that I do not call myself a Christian wow, we'll or any of understand. these other names. Finally. Yay. Clearly understand. G-Man, one of the things that you've been arguing about for the last, I don't know, three months about slavery, you make some okay points about it. No. However, the eighth he does not. <laughs> yeah, what? G-Man's been destroyed on <laughs> slavery so many times. <laughs> Dusty's destroyed him on slavery. We've destroyed yeah. him on slavery. Matt Dillahunty annihilated him on slavery. I don't even like Matt Dillahunty, I know. but I still yeah, agree. He, he destroyed G-Man. He wiped the floor with him. Oh, yeah. No contest. I know Dusty just I, really hopes we would bring G-Man on the show. That would be awesome. <laughs> I miss him so much. I figured you guys would. He's on every time I'm on the show. G-Man, where are you? Let's see if he's on. No, really? Yeah. G man, G man, G man, G man, G man, G man, G man. Okay. See if actually, he's on. I actually had a conversation with Matt Dillahunty about you one time. Really? What did he say? I'm a yeah. Pretty much. He said he didn't like you and for various reasons, and I took up for you. I, I told him that you're in real life. You're a very nice guy. You're very smart. You're very respectful. And I don't like him either, know though. you. He doesn't know you well enough to say that stuff about you. Well, his wife me. was pretending like she hated me, but no offense. Like, I know this is going to get me in trouble, but his wife wanted to fuck me. I, I, she did. She was acting oh. like she didn't like me. This but... just in. Dusty <laughs> says that Matt Dillahunty's wife <laughs> wants to fuck him. You know what? If I was wow. married to Matt Dillahunty, I'd want to fuck every other guy I met. I'm just so. saying. I'm just saying. That's the vibe Let's I got. She pretended on like Dilla, she hated honey. me, but I've had girls behave that way before when they actually like me. It's the little... You know, the little high school girl thing where you act like you hate the guy that you like. And she's yep. kind of totally doing that shit to me. How did you realize that she liked you? Was it when she gave you the hate blow job in the bathroom? Uh, <laughs> well, just like her coming, walking up to me to, after she already pretended like she didn't like me. She would come up and talk to me for a long period of time, even after Matt had already left. Ooh. I could just, oh, wow. just kind of tell. Did she rub her ass or titties on you at all? No, she didn't. But, I mean, I, I wasn't interested, to be honest with you. Doesn't matter. You should have just done it just so you could have one <laughs> I on done one it Matt Dillon. I, no, I actually like Matt, so I wouldn't fuck Matt's white against his will, which is, you know, he might be into it, might let me. I, I got, <laughs> yeah, for I all those, for, maybe for all, for, for all know. you know, he was whispered into her ear as he left, like, bring him up to the room later. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, he kind of walked away while she was talking to me and left her alone with me, so I kind of got that feeling that maybe they have something open going. I don't know, you know. Neat. But, this rampant speculation but, about but Matt Dillahunty is fun. <laughs> but they're both nice. I, I don't have anything against Matt. He was cool, except for the shit he talked about you, which was unnecessary in my opinion. Yeah, why are you so mean to me, Matt Dillahunty? Fucking piece of shit. I'm it's a because nice guy. You, you cuss too much, and you're too hardcore, and some of the stuffy atheists don't think that's the right way to get a message across. But You know, that's not an impossible name for two people to have, Ben. Uh, here's an excerpt from the Shimmering Sea. Oh, don't you don't you want to hear Brett Keen's explanation? Oh, oh I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, gonna, he's, he's, gonna he's pretty t- forgettable. He's going to tell us uh, if we can manage to stay awake why he's not a Christian. Dude, he, 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 he's not even staying awake. Look, he's falling to fucking sleep in the middle of his own video. He's so really boring. point out that there are passages. Where it hungry, talks hungry about hippos. Using the slaves, later years, where it actually endorses the very concept <laughs> of taking slaves in and captives and doing what you will with them. I'll give you an example. Numbers chapter thirty-one, verse example. seventeen through eighteen. It says, "Now therefore, kill every man, woman, and child." Kill all the pregnant women. <coughs> keep all the virgin girls for yourself. Yeah, sweet. This is clearly an act of slavery. This is clearly an act really? of endorsing something such as rape, as well as murder of children. 
To me, I've never been able to reconcile that, even whenever I was a Christian, whenever I was a kid. The first time I read the Bible was between 12 and 14 years old. You know, I actually, right. I actually kind of respect this reason for not calling himself a Christian. No, but Brett Keen has a problem with the Bible? Yep. That's strange, but he doesn't have a problem with Jesus. No, Jesus is cool. Okay, so, but God ordered, um, what was it, Moses? Yep. To do those things. But, but it's okay, but so God, he has no problem with that, because he has no problem with Jesus, who is the Son of God, so that's okay, but then that when the, it does something he doesn't like or thinks it's immoral, he suddenly is against it. Yeah, he's, huh. you can't stand in moral judgment of God. Just, hmm. got to pick and choose what he wants to believe. That's what all Christians do, though. Who, who, who doesn't do that? I know, that makes him a Christian. The very fact that he's doing that <laughs> makes you a Christian. So anyway, uh, we can move on. Brett's boring. Is God obligated to love you? Yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett. Uh, oh, my God, God. It's Brett Keen. It's a cat. Make sure you check out God. The TV real creation is cat. As well as our gaming channel. Oh, my God. I, gotta sh- love, I forgot I got to share where this Where we Paul. play the latest games and we talk about the latest tech. And keep you up to <laughs> mods and patches and all kinds of good stuff. With games, right, play this is like naming things that are remotely about the internet. Well, today we're going to talk about something. <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, yeah, so we got, mods, so we got mods and we got mods. A lot of people patches. Ask if there's a God and why we got situations with different individuals. Uh, we got mods and patches and that type of situation. I know, you know we, keep up on the, we keep up on the latest tech, ladies and gentlemen. We got hey, uh, talking uh, cat situations. My girlfriend had a nightmare about Brett Keen yesterday. Was he oh, doing no. her in the in the nightmare? <laughs> no, he wasn't. He he came, <laughs> he drove up to her and offered to take her to softball practice. And then he took her to, like, some weird, like, warehouse on the outskirts of town. And then he, she overheard him talking to someone like, yeah, I'm, I'm about to take my girlfriend to softball practice. And she's like, oh, shit, I don't want to be this guy's girlfriend. And uh, I guess she tried to escape or something. So she tells you, TJ. Yeah. In real life, she probably it was, was actually like, a Ooh. heavily erotic dream with yeah, Brett Keen. She, she basically <laughs> dreamed the plot of the first Twilight movie, but with Brett Keen instead of Edward Cullen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he can, you imagine, can you imagine Brett running through the woods in his <laughs> trench coat and wife beater, dude? Can you imagine him sparkling in the sun and shit? The fucking gold chain swinging behind his back is <laughs> nestled into his chest hair. <laughs> Running up trees and shit. <laughs> why does he do that? Or why his does black on do black that, Oakleys, <laughs> just absolutely, just you know, his neo glasses. The just world fucking... doesn't understand our love, baby. <laughs> <laughs> why doesn't he do that? Damned if he do, damned if he doesn't. He either does too much or he does too little. According to the non-believers, <laughs> can't win for losing. The question that I have that I never hear anybody ask is why should God do anything at all? Is God obligated? Here's why he would be obligated. If he created us and created the conditions of the world, then yeah, I would say he's like accountable to us, just like you're accountable to your children. You know, I'm sure that you actually don't provide that great of a household for them, but you should. And uh, so should God, if such a being did in fact exist, but he doesn't. So it doesn't really matter. In our society, we (laughs) hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Brett Keen does not provide a very good household for his children. TJ 2015. (laughs) <laughs> world, we hey, no you know what I just realized? I attacked it. his family. I shouldn't, you did. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> you attacked his fucking I, family, you piece of shit. I apologize to Brett Keen's little water-headed idiots and oh his, my God. his giant, bulbous, Indiana Jones boulder of a wife. And I also apologize to yes. <laughs> that living tumor that is Brett Keen as well. I'm so sorry for what I said. Um, I was out of line, and uh, can you ever forgive me, basically? Brett Keen has turned into a cat now, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, he, you know, I don't understand why he's a cat. Is is there a reason for him to be a cat here? I don't... And, and, and I gotta be honest with you, why this specific cat? 
why would somebody see this cat and go, yeah, you know what? I want to sound like that. I, you know, I, I don't, and when I look at that cat, I, I just don't understand why he thought that would be the right cat to have his voice coming out of it. You know, mm-hmm. it seems like if you want a Brett Keen cat, you should get one that you find in like a dumpster somewhere, you know, a cat that nobody wants. If we create a child and we don't want it, we can simply give it off to family services in which that child will be put in either a residential home, a foster and what the home. Fuck, like, okay, what, why the fuck, uh, why the fucking, you know, gateway to Narnia in the background? Like, why the fucking high fantasy doorway in the primordial forest? Like, that what means- are we supposed to... In- what are we supposed to infer from this? I don't know. It's, you know, it, it, through God, anything is possible? I don't know. Is that the There's... forest that Brett Keen crawled out of one day in 1997 and, like, the first tree he carved to, to make his home <laughs> that would later house his first internet connection? Like, is that, is that what we're looking at here? No, only only the cat version of Brett Keen lives in this treehouse. Or adopted off to some kind of family, or perhaps all three. Who uh-huh. knows? And we state that that's perfectly fine if a parent doesn't want to be responsible for their child. No, we don't. We say that a person Hold on. can be... Who the fuck says that? Oh, you want exactly, no one. Right, exactly. No one right, has an answer. Right, yeah. No one fucking says that. I've not heard one person in my entire life say, you know what? People aren't responsible for the kids they bring into this world. I say, you know, you bring a kid in this world, leave them their own fucking devices, and if they can't figure shit out, fuck them. Survival of the fittest, bitch. Good and caring and all that, and still get away with killing over 400 million fetuses, which is a human baby. Meanwhile, as Brett's day. recording this, his uh, child is uh, sh- shoving a fork into an electrical outlet <laughs> just behind him. I care about my kids. Some, that? some individuals out there don't care about their kids. He smells his f- kids frying flesh. He's like, oh, dinner. Oh, smells like bacon. Smells good in here tonight. Oh. Of every <laughs> single week, of every single month, of every single year, it's okay to murder it's justified in our society. We have stated that it is moral and ethical to completely commit genocide just simply because we don't believe a life is developed enough to be able to have a choice or even an opportunity for potential. Does he, does so he, why is it that... Does he, does he know what genocide is? No. Well, I mean, you clearly can see just by what he just said that he doesn't, so... <laughs> I mean, it's self-evident. He does not know what genocide means or is. This is so. just this. This is like what Brett Keen does, though. <clears throat> this is why he he sits down for like you know I don't know three minutes before he starts recording, and he thinks he says, "I got to talk about a situation." <laughs> so wait, wait, with individuals, I got to talk about. <laughs> I got to talk about a situation with some individuals here in the situation. So the what real, I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about life and death and um, <laughs> and like uh, how abortion being genocide. And then hey, I you guys wrote, noticed the lizard in the background? I just noticed it. I wrote a poem. I wrote it myself. It's called Riders on the Storm. <laughs> well, started out. <laughs> Riders on the <laughs> situation. <laughs> Fires <laughs> on the situation. I Individuals my... don't change the station. <laughs> I check Riders out my wife, out. Dorn. <laughs> she looks at me. <laughs> she looks at me with scorn. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> When we hold these standards for ourselves, we think it's here. The uh, the the thing about his kids being water headed idiots is actually something he said about his own children. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So I just want to say it's, that's not something I just said or pulled out of my ass. He said that about his own kids when he was trying to write a fake hate email from fake Sagan to himself. <laughs> 
so those are his words. I try to get some ass, and she tells me that I'm crass. Time to watch more porn. <laughs> <laughs> There's a break on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Even have to create this universe and this life and every resource known to man. That cat sounds like it has respiratory problems. Yeah, somebody need to take that cat to the vet to get put down. Some health problems. We need to (laughs) genocide those cats. That we use and take for granted every single day. You know, I've had non-believers out there ask me, what was the true sacrifice if Jesus is God or is simply the Son of God? then what is he actually doing whenever he dies on the cross? Because a god cannot die, according to them. Well, he died and came back. Of course, they claim not to even believe in God or even accept that he has power in the first place. Uh-huh. But they just can't understand why would a god do that for. And it's interesting, because even though parents are not obligated to take care of their children or be there for their children or be benevolent for their children. Uh, Hold on. They are. There's like shit tons of laws that say that you cannot neglect your child or abuse them or any of that shit. So you're wrong. As usual. That's all I got. You want to move on to the next one? Yeah, it's very hard to watch Brett Keen for too yeah, long. Yeah, it, it really is. It, it's hard to make it more than a minute or two. Yeah, because, you know, what it really is, is he's committing genocide against the brain cells of anyone who watches his content. <laughs> and that's the genocide we really need to put a stop to. Yeah, <laughs> that is the truth. That is the truth. Uh, oh, I want to read you some of the reviews on Amazon.com oh, okay. first. Okay. They're all Just to give legitimate. you an idea of the caliber of uh, <laughs> the caliber of literature you're about to hear. This is an actual picture of Brett Kane. <laughs> yes. The <laughs> most the most helpful customer review is an awesome sequel to Eternal Undying Love. The storyline will keep you in suspense from beginning to end. Watch as the war between good and evil grows. Capture the development of each character in their struggle to stay alive in the face of adversity. A great book. Five stars. Wow. Five wow. stars. That, that definitely was not Brett Keen. No. That, it, that was not Brett Keen that wrote not that. Not Brett yeah. Keen at all. It was actually a Brett Keen hater. I will also tell you a little piece of trivia of about literature. the Eternal Undying Love series. The lead character, <laughs> um, the lead character is literally, he's a detective, and his name is Detective Reznor. I shit you not. <laughs> You're lying. No, 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 no. Detective it is. Reznor. It's Detective Reznor, the bounty hunter. Anyway, so- I, will read you this, I will read you this excerpt. Lieutenant from Corgan. Eternal Undying Love 3. Uh, Gamora walked in utter despair. She could hear the children laughing. It was almost as if the unborn mocked her. It was pointless to try speaking with them. Their souls were like flames in that they knew nothing. You, you got to do the snorts now because he does that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Their souls were like flames in that uh, they knew nothing. Their souls were like <laughs> infants. Nothing. Sorry. 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 No infants. Sense. Infants. Okay. okay. Their souls were like infants in that they knew nothing. Okay. It was strange that the dead oh, uh, situation, <laughs> me, uh, situation. the dead uh, were the most, <laughs> at the most, could not interact with the unborn. Her okay. mother had taught her long ago that the dead and I can't even read this shit. It doesn't make sense. It's not like as a sentence, it doesn't make sense. Do it anyway. Like I can't figure out just, a way, like an inflection. Like I can't even just, use Brett just do it. inflection. My just mind do it. just halts at trying just to read it. this sentence. Just fucking do it. Read the sentence. Get through it. Her mother had taught her long ago that the dead and love are of two different planes. <laughs> the dead and love are of two different planes. This is like a 13-year-old like emo oh, novel. Oh, keep going. Uh, <laughs> they will never know of one another uh, until the... Oh, fuck. 
until the I'm a really you guys you got honestly like I've been reading a long time and this is I'm having a hard time with this. Like okay. a genuine hard time figuring out how to even formulate this into a sentence. They will never know of one another until the living become dead. The sad paradigm was that once you were dead, you knew of nothing anyway. The damned don't even realize that they are damned. You're in one of them uh, damned situations. <laughs> you are so damned. What oh a gosh. fucking mess, Brett. Situations. You should be ashamed of yourself for shilling this shit to your subscribers early on. Your- are there any more reviews? Oh, my God. Yes, I've got plenty of reviews oh, for you. Great. You I need, all fucking I need day. more input. If, you know, if I want to read, read this myself. Are there some negative reviews on there as well? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, I, will, read I, will, this? I will throw in a sprinkling. Of negative okay. reviews as All well. Right. All right. Um, Go ahead. In fact, we'll get one right now. Uh, there's one. I don't know who would write this. It's called, it's a one-star review entitled Don't Trust the Author. And it says, Brett Keene is well-known on YouTube as a liar. He, he has accounts that he uses for flagging, so I bet that he has some accounts on Amazon to promote his book. Some of his reviews are most likely <laughs> fake. That's <laughs> Uh, they're think. they're totally fake. <laughs> yeah, there's no one a, no one, one that reads says, that shit. It's like star, wow, one star riveting. writing at the sixth grade level. I bought a copy of this book, and it's a verified purchase. <laughs> so somebody actually bought Brett Keen's book. Wow. Damn. Uh, I bought a copy of this book through Amazon. The writing is extremely poor. This <laughs> author doesn't even know how to divide text into paragraphs. That's why I was having a problem, by the way. So he inserts blank lines right in the middle of sentences to create the appearance of paragraphs on the page. That's how bad it is. Why? He was so wait. That's why he's having troubles making sense because the paragraphs he literally does, he just wants to make it look like he he made a cohesive paragraph. So sometimes right smack dab in the middle of a thought or a sentence, the paragraph just ends and a new one begins. What? That's the Brett Keen style, dude. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, style he's got. You guys just don't appreciate creative writing, okay? <laughs> you said snob. He, he's trying something new, and you got to fault him for it. Bunch of fucking experimental writing. Show. Yes. <laughs> His writing has no rhyme or reason. Punctuation doesn't make any sense. Has no structure. But you know what? At the end of the day, he's trying something new. That's right. Yeah. He's a gifted communicator, an expressor of thoughts, words, and shit. Detective Reznor <laughs> mused that the dead are like the living. But when the dead become the living, then the living become the dead. And they are dead and not living. And by the time you're dead, <laughs> by the time you're dead, you realize you're not alive. I have to it's read the great, another. It's the great paradigm of life. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. This this review is a five star review. <laughs> <laughs> another um, Brett Keen review, in other words. Yes. yes. And it is entitled, and I quote, "The most intriguing works I've read this year." <laughs> <laughs> and intriguing is spelled E N T R I G N G. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's 100 percent verified to be a Brett Keen review. Oh my! And goodness. the and the review is as follows: <laughs> This is one of the best books that I have ever read. The nonstop series of event will keep you on the edge of your seat. Event. This book bring to no. I'm, I'm, this book bring to life the worst of our imaginations about the war between good and evil. Let me read that sentence again. <laughs> This book bring to life the worst <laughs> of our imaginations about the war between the good and <laughs> With the dead rising from the sea and the war starts and the dying of the human race as a whole, this book will keep you in suspense from beginning to end. Once <laughs> on the edge of your seat, thriller. Yes. Once you start, you will not be able to put it down. A non-stop pulse-pounding thrill ride. Buying this book is a great investment for any family. 
<laughs> and it, and it, oh, the it's whole gonna, family. It's going to appreciate in value. People are going to pass it down for generation after generation, like 300 years from now. People are going to be like rich. They're going to have kingdoms where they're just like, I own a copy of whatever Brett Keen's terrible fucking book One is. One day, people are going to come up to me and be like, didn't you know the Brett Keen, author of the esteemed tr- undying eternal What are you talking about? Shit trilogy. Brett Keen, you have such great influence. You're going to meet a fucking Brett Keen prison camp. What are you talking about? <laughs> No, no, he's going to die early because, you know, tragically, writers and shit, you know. But then his books will be discovered posthumously, and he'll be recognized for the genius he truly was. Right. And we'll all be, you know, we'll, we'll all be morons. We'll be the idiots that, that gave him bad reviews. Aliens will, like, land on our planet. They'll find this book and be like, man, humanity really did fuck up this place, and they'll just, they'll just take off after that. Yeah, Eternal Undying Love, the, the trilogy, uh, is the reason that aliens have not made first yeah. contact with our species. They were, willing to get, they, were willing to, they were willing to look past the female genital mutilation. They were willing yeah. to look past the racial and economic inequality. But once they saw Eternal Undying Love 1, 2, and 3, they're like, there is no hope for this species. We must go now. <laughs> I still don't know what the fuck the books are about. Uh, it was this guy's attempt at fiction. I don't know how, how well you know Brett Keen, but he's been around on YouTube since pretty much it started, and he used to be a famous atheist on YouTube, and now he's a very obscure Christian. And the only time anyone ever really notices what he does is when we put him on our channel and laugh at what TJ, he does. remember when you called him out, too? It's like, Brett Keen, what do you do? Because, like, you don't even, like, it's like, what is, it, what is it that you actually do to support yourself? You're always complaining about money and he's like I write these books <laughs> and it's like and she just like dude I, I sold books with the same site as you I sold like five copies and I have passed you so you're not making money <laughs> selling books what the fuck are you doing and like you're always like it just didn't make any fucking sense this guy is always disingenuous he, remember like what was it the hymn song he sold he's, he's still in a bunch of famous songs switched around and switched, poems. yeah and poems switched around some words and then been like I'm a genius <laughs> it's like people have fucking Google dude they're gonna call you out on this shit you're a fucking liar yeah, it was it was crazy. Like when he stole like some obscure ass poem, I was like, whatever. But when I saw that he stole that song by the band Him, which was actually pretty popular at the time, I'm like, is yeah. no one supposed to notice that you did this? I mean, like I I just read it and I'm like, this doesn't sound like something Brett Keane would write. And I just looked it up and it's like, oh, it's the lyrics to a hymn song. <laughs> <laughs> but it was clearly it was in there and it said like this song by Brett Keane. And then later he said, oh, well, it just auto automatically did that. Oh, game. yeah. Whatever. It was not part of the formatting of the blog fuck post. You, Brett he wrote King. it. He's, he, Man, fuck you, know you fuck Brett. Your, and fuck your family, too, you piece it of shit. It was the only part of the oh. post. <laughs> it was the only part of the You know what? He's going to say it right. anyway, so he might as well be true. The views of Scotty do not represent the views of the Broken <laughs> Peasants podcast. Oh, Ben, you know you feel <laughs> the same way. The other day, Ben was like, fuck Brett Keen's family. And she just like, <laughs> you think we'll have time? Fuck them in the ass. <laughs> fuck them in the mouth. Fuck them in the west and fuck them in the south. Yeah. Anywhere, yeah. huh, TJ? Any pretty, fucking place. Good job. That's good. Thank you. One of my favorites, I, I still listen to it every now and then in my uh, because I actually like it, is Paul's rap that we played on the show the one time. Oh, yeah, that was great. Yep. It was a pretty. It, it, I, I I give the uh, props to the to the to the lyrics on that one. But yeah, well, you you did a you did a pretty good job delivering. So, yes, you know, we should collab, dude. We should put out a fucking rap album. A rap I'll album. Rap, I'll write now, the lyrics and you fucking do the raps and shit, and you know we'll make we'll make the monies. Before we <laughs> sign off. For the day, I don't know if we're getting to that point, but um, uh, we're getting I, closer, but not okay, quite cool. yet. Nice, good. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Brett Keen is actually a—he's a multi-talented guy. Yes. So not also, oh, yeah. not only is he a world-renowned author, but he's also a musician. Um, oh, and yeah. I, ha- I happen to have here. Um, it, I don't know if you guys are willing to play it. It's not copyrighted. He doesn't use any copyrighted music like he actually did. Hmm. Make play that song. shit. I play say. It. I say play it. So you I want can me send to play you a it? link to it if play you're interested shit. in hearing uh, the great tunes of Brett Keen. <laughs> yeah. This yes. is this is a of course. This We're is a giving... song called Father. 
Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me, um... <laughs> Could it be any more cliche? This is going to be good. God, this is going to be good. Brett Keen's the most cliche motherfucker you can imagine. Brett was a uh, was a Christian <laughs> situation. Was a was a Christian situation? Yes. <laughs> or right. no, no, no. This is from back when Brett Keen was an atheist situation. Brett Keen is a YouTube. fucking renaissance man. I don't know why we've ever said a bad word about him. Does he paint as well? Yes, of course. I mean, this video is so evocative, and the lyrics are so amazing and, and prescient, I think. Especially now, in, in the world of 2015. Yeah. Um, you guys are going to be blown away. Absolutely fucking blown away. I can Experience Brett Keen's scintillating insight. I'll, humanity uh, and the soul and the very fabric. This is going to be badass. Mm-hmm. Tell the mm-hmm. Lord that you believe in his word. Hold on, hold on. I'll get it set up here. Okay, okay. Sweet motherfucker, it's sweet. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. And stand on the victory that he has already provided for you. Glory be to God, because it doesn't have to be a part of it. And, and you know what? That goes for anybody else in here. That if you're afflicted with, or addicted with anything right now in your body, this is a be song. A oh, here it comes. Obsessive disorder yeah. or, or depression or schizophrenia. Or, or, or Are you guys showing the video? That, that oh no! Like you want me to put that up? The yeah, the yes. They are clearly the worst. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. You don't receive it anymore. Stand on the authority that Jesus Christ has given and say, "Lord, I believe." Come on, there is. Yeah. Out of my domain, and I believe. What can the Father allow? Yes, amazing. Leave you and your children burning in the flames of hell. The same father. It seems like a really bad 80s song that you see. Like, just randomly on YouTube. Like, what is this shit? You don't have to play anymore. It really doesn't get better than that. No, this is art. God damn. What so, kind of father would make people dead in a man and blah, blah, blah? <laughs> yeah, but he wrote that. He's, he's like, man, this is the deepest shit I've ever written in my life. I ought to put this track down right now. What kind of father would allow his children to be sodomized? They're going to love this shit, dog. No, they going to love this right here. Hey. This is going to be the shit. <laughs> Maybe I'll just Rails, top of the charts. Charts. Hold on. Do you think Brett Keen practiced his, um, like, uh, Award show speeches in the mirror after he wrote that song. He's like, This is gonna the be Grammy, a and the hit. Grammy goes to no, nah, dude. Best Brett, new artist, right? Treen is Brett such, a, King. such an amazing extemporaneous speaker that he would. Why would he need to practice a speech? He could just give you the best speech you've ever heard in your life up top Seriously. of his head. Wow, come on, so cool, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it sticks in your head, doesn't it? <laughs> See? It's a hit. <laughs> it's a fucking hit. What kind of father would you be? What kind of father would you be? It's probably what he should have said. <laughs> Wish I had a father that didn't fuck me. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Actually, a Brett Keen video. Oh, Brett Keen. Finally, going to turn huh. turn the dial up to 11. Exactly. Well, Brett Keen started making videos about AIU. So this is a Brett Keen video about AIU. You know, I, I, I got to give it to uh, to AIU there, you know? <laughs> you know, TJ, you know what? That, this is offensive. Brett Keen's going to bring some clarity to this debate. I mean, so many people have been on both sides and arguing, but we're finally going to have the scintillating insight of Brett Keen just to just break everything down for even the dumbest person to understand. I mean, like, it's, it's going to be amazing. I'm, I know I'm a moron compared to Brett Keen, so I'm really ready to go to school and learn what's what. And, you know, who's right? AIU? TJ? You know, who was right on this issue? I don't even know. Is he getting into that? Let's see. He's going to get into it, I'm sure. Notice. Bullshit. Yeah. Just stop. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel 
already subscribed. Well, as well as Brett King Superstar. Oh, yeah, we're subbed. We're Radio sub. Sub one. Internet. First sub right here. Me and, me and Scotty were your first two subs and your most loyal. Every gaming video Brett King puts out, we watch. Even the ones of him just sitting there going, oh, oh, oh. And, there was one where he was eating the cheeseburger. He was on the ground, kind of intoxicated. He was trying to play Donkey Kong, and he just, he just couldn't get it started. He's like, how do I fucking play this? And yeah, like, Mario just gotta, stayed in the same gotta, corner and waited for the barrels go, to come yeah, get him. You gotta go up the ladders, and he just didn't really get the premise and couldn't jump over the barrels. He just kept dying, and we're just like, well, you know, we gotta support Brett, you know. Gotta uh, support him, because he's, he's awesome. He's trying to eat that cheeseburger, you know. I'm not really cool with, you know, the whole cheeseburger thing, but, you know, I know Brett needs it. He has his conditions, you know. I mean, I, I'm really against people eating meat, but not Brett Keen, because look, yep. this guy needs fucking protein. You know, guys, I don't know if you guys know Brett Keen's tragic origin story, but you ever seen the movie Speed, where the bus is going to blow up if it goes under 50 miles an hour? Yeah. Well, that same guy planted a bomb in Brett Keen's stomach that's going to go off if he ever goes under 400 pounds. Anytime. So, you know, Brett Keen, he's exhausted trying to eat all the time, because prior to that, he was like, you know... He was like an Olympic gold medalist and shit. He was an Olympic sprinter, I believe. And, you know, just it, it's tragic. And Brett just has to put on the pounds. He has to eat McDonald's. He has to go to KFC. He has to go to Popeye's. He has to go to Baskin Robbins and Dairy Queen. He's got to load up at the store. Bags of fucking chips, Funyuns, pork rinds, jelly beans, anything fatty. You just got to throw it in the cart. And people look at Brett and they just kind of know, like, he doesn't want to be this way. He hates the way he looks. He looks in the mirror every morning. Oh, God. I wish I could just lose this weight, and he would lose it in a heartbeat. But he would die. And who, who would provide for his family? Who would take care of his children? Come on, people. Brett what a King, selfless man. He's just a great, real American hero, a theist, a Christian. You know, you know I mean, what? You a know God what? believer, whatever you want to call him. Hats Brett King off is to you, Brett. We salute you, Hats Brett. fucking off. John Cena even salutes you. If I John pledge Cena, allegiance to Brett King. Dude, look, if John Cena... If John Cena didn't make a wish for adults, he would do one for Brett Keen. Yeah. Those kids. Brett Keen, you are a man of unassailable moral character and unimpeachable greatness. God bless Brett Keen. No, Brett Keen should bless God. God should be down on his fucking knees in front of Brett Keen. You You're hear right. that, Evan LaFaver? <laughs> on your knees for we Brett. We are impressed by you, but Brett Keen is a man of incalculable moral fortitude and greatness. I mean, I feel privileged that I even lived on the planet during the Brett Keen era. You know, pretty soon... Anything after Brett Keen's birthday will be uh, t termed a new period in time. The BK. It went, you know, BC, AD, now uh, it's BK. The, we're, we're, that's we're how we're fucking BK. great we're BK. Brett Keen is. The epoch of we're Brett in, Keen. We're in fucking 36 BK right now. You motherfuckers don't even know that shit. Brett Keen's only 36? I have no idea how old he is. <laughs> I he is surprisingly it. and terrifyingly young for how he looks. I do remember that. Okay. Well, let's see what he actually says in this video. National. I am going to be making a video today about an individual who refers <laughs> an to Oh, oh my God. An individual. We need to fucking have like a bingo scoreboard of like recurring things in Brett yeah, like videos. Paul's ego pointed out that he always situation. has a situation with individuals. It's like individuals. He's situation. got a hard on for those two words. He loves them. Loves them. Wants to make love to individual situations. Or situations with individuals. So if his atheism is unstoppable, one, two, three, and four, and how many numbers he decides to make sock accounts and do. <laughs> I'm I, like you, oh Brett. Oh my god. Are you really yeah, are you really gonna insult sock accounts? Oh man. The fucking king of sock accounts. Brett Keen, you are the worst. You're like the original sock account guy. This, you're the guy, I think Brett Keen, I think the reason he used to, like, have such channel growth, and, like, m many people speculated this and sh even showed good evidence yeah. at the time, that Brett Keen was basically um, inflating his numbers by creating sock accounts and subscribing to himself. Dude, Brett Keen is like the and sock account he OG. Would, he would even leave, like, comments. And the reason people would know this is because there was all these new accounts that just created and then signed up to Brett Keen and never subscribed to anyone else and maybe, like, made a couple comments on his video and then disappeared. Okay, do you remember, like, a few years ago I showed you that you could basically just create, like, a million sock accounts on YouTube and subscribe to yourself? Yep. 
Because I remember, like, like, look at this shit. And we're like, oh, like, well, it's just, like, shady. And it's just, like... Well, no, you, that, you're you talking about that guy that found that trick where you could... No, no, no. Like, there's actually... Uh, people actually theorized, or not maybe not theorized, but they put it out there that they think a lot of, like, large YouTubers like Philip DeFranco and Ray William Johnson just bought these programs and just gave themselves a bunch of sock accounts to look like they were getting tons of views and subscribers. Yeah, and of course, people follow the popular trends. I had the opportunity to do that, but I didn't because I am a man of principle. And I, and I didn't know it was going to work so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Interesting about this particular individual particular. is particular. not so long particular. ago, <laughs> particular he was myself. on the Drunken Peasants show. And the drunken peasants, no, he wasn't. They he wasn't on it. This no, guy. I mean, we played one of his videos. Yep. He Breaking. wasn't like a guest or something. Did you even watch Get it? Get your fucking shit straight, dude. Did someone else just tell you about it and then yes, you made a video? That's what happened. You know, I mean, Brett, if you're like going to talk about something, you know, there's a, there's a small. A small, tiny little detail you might want to get. I actually know what the fuck you're talking about, you fucking retard. Man, Scotty. Don't be mean. Just a, just a small, Too mean, small, Scotty. Small, Too small mean. Detail. Too mean. They basically like accused like really a small, fellow small atheist detail. of small, being small, racist. Small, small. Funny small, enough. I like... I, I, so he's all like, oh, they accused a fellow atheist of being right. It's like, okay. A fellow atheist. Is it, is it like, just because they're an atheist, we, we shouldn't think that they're racist if we think they are? Yes. I mean, he makes it seem like we you know, we we have to like agree with them on almost everything just cuz we agree on Hey, if you weren't an atheist, I'd be calling you racist yeah. right now. But since you're an atheist, you're not. Yeah, you got to pass. I've actually got clips on my other YouTube channel, God TV Radio, of the amazing atheist calling people niggers and faggots. That's uh, probably that true. They would actually call another atheist so what, a what racist is that, what when is they that knew prove, that they Brickeen? actually did that. Because, and I provide. Okay, so breaking saying if you use those words, it does not matter what the context are or anything else. You're just racist automatically. Yes, that makes perfect sense. What a nuanced position. So if you use these words that he is deemed racist, you are automatically racist. Okay, it's not like atheism unstoppable just said something that we like said. You know. Like, you know, spick or something, and then we're like, oh, you're now you're a racist. What if he said in some context in which it's clearly defined as he's not being racist, he's just reading something that someone else said, you know what I mean? Or something else. Or something else like that. It's only racist if he's make, using it as an derogatory and like, yes, I believe that Mexicans or whoever, or people from South America <laughs> or Central America are inferior. The funniest thing is like the idea that Brett Keen could hear you talking right now and be like, Oh, yeah, a nuanced position that's based on context and actually makes sense. Like, of course he's not going to understand that. If he could understand that, he he wouldn't be, you know, the obscure... But do you really think he has no idea about context? He, like, I mean, you don't think this is just part of his narrative, right? Which obviously he hates us and wants to attack us at any turn. Sure. I mean, and we do the same thing, but it's not because we just like, oh, we have this thing out for Brett Keen. It's just like he says all this ridiculous shit and he doesn't even know what he's talking about. He doesn't even actually do research and like watch the videos he's going to comment on. Like he probably just grabbed this video and didn't even watch it. It sounds like he did not. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. You don't know if he didn't watch it or if, like, it just doesn't get through. Well, he made it sound like he thought AIU was actually on our show. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean. So it's very confusing because you know he was not on our show. No, your atheism is unstoppable. The links to the various clips of Go the ahead. amazing atheist clearly showing that he is a racist. Oh, okay, yeah, which yeah, is of kind course. of funny because it goes clearly showing that I'm a racist. You have nothing clearly showing that I'm a You're racist. You're a racist, TJ. You're a racist. Oh, Nine ninety nine. You're a racist. <laughs> God, you're racist. Why nine ninety nine? Nine ninety nine. You're racist. Yeah, yeah. Goes along with Mister Unstoppable's theory on them being a white guilt and shame, and that they're actually pretenders, which I find oh, fascinating. We're that he said throughout his videos, including this one. Yeah, yeah. Coming from the guy hey guys, who's we're pretending racist. to be a Christian, we're racist because TJ made some comments. We're all just racist. Yeah, which you know we don't even know the context of those comments. Yeah, not not no. It's irrelevant. You're racist. You said those words. Why would you say those words if you're not a racist, TJ? Come on, Brett Keen's destroyed us. We're all and even though me and Ben did not say those things, we're also just now racist. Yeah, just magically, everyone's racist. <laughs> One of the things that I wonder, though, is in his name, it implies that atheism isn't unstoppable. 
Well, I hope for his sake that is not the case, because if atheism is unstoppable, then this poor kangaroo, as he likes to <laughs> represent himself as, is in serious yeah, trouble. Yeah, but not when he stopped trying. You see, there's literally thousands of atheists out there now who are at this very moment editing and cutting videos and trying to make this guy look like a complete and utter piece of trash. They have made him so out what? to look like a racist. They've made him out so to look what? like all kinds of different That's things. The right. Just they so right they, to, yeah, I mean, like, opinion. wait a minute. So Brett Keen, like the king of making sniping ass videos, has a problem with that? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like, why would you care? I mean, you should totally support that. Like, we support your right to make videos. We don't like you or agree with you on pretty much anything. But I'm not sitting there like, how dare you insult me, Brett Keen? Don't make a video criticizing the drunken peasants. I don't give a fuck. You can make a thousand videos criticizing us. Who gives a shit? Not me. In fact, it's just more fodder for the show, which is yep. probably why he continues to make them. Right. <laughs> oh, of course. They could uh, get people to donate money to their Patreon accounts and buy their T-shirts, atheists, yeah. publicly. And <gasps> please do. Ooh, please do. Yeah, Brett, you think we're ashamed of what we do? Oh, we're so ashamed, Brett. You got me. I'm so ashamed, you fat tub of shit. Look at me. I'm crying on the inside. Mean, Scotty. Why Fuck this guy. This guy's a fucking so liar and a mean? fraud. Because he's a piece of garbage. He's not, Scotty. Brett Keen is an intelligent individual. Brett Keen fucking thinks I'm going to sit here and take his shit. It's like, okay, you know what, Brett Keen? I challenge you to a running around the block contest. <laughs> Whoever wins is just automatically fucking right about every other debate we ever have in our lives. Ready? Let's do it. Embarrassing each other just so they can get fame and celebrity and notoriety on the internet oh my god yeah because you're no you're not interested in that brett king the lack of i mean like you're that's what you are you're talking about your fucking self you are talking about you the only thing you're pissed about is that we're better at it <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, Mr. Atheism is Unstoppable, according to this channel, has about 10,000 subscribers, and his other channels seem like he's having a... How many a do you have, Brett? Why do you always uh, hide how many you have? 11. <laughs> Probably like 200-something. Although a lot of his videos are being downrated, and he's getting constant insults and threats and nasty... Uh, insinuations from the fan base of the amazing situation. Uh, yeah, his fan base has not exactly been nice to me. I would say they've been more vocal. In fact, I've seen my fans approach him and be really nice and reasonable and just ask him to defend his positions a little bit or explain or clarify certain remarks. And his immediate response is pretty much always, fuck you, blocked, fuck you, blocked, fuck you, blocked. Yep. I haven't blocked one of his little stupid fanboys, even when they're fucking like, you should be killed. It's like, okay, that's how you feel. I, I appreciate you uh, stopping by and letting me know. He's running into about a million subscribers at this point. I guess atheists like people like the amazing atheists who are hypocrites, who are clearly racial. By just checking out the... I do have a race. That is true. ...videos, as opposed to the unstoppable guy. So I wonder, I'm, I'm just curious, is Mr. Atheism unstoppable? Is he a coward? Is he stupid? Why would he defend or stand up for a group that is clearly trying to wipe him off of the map on you? Um, most of the people who support him are also atheists. We're trying to wipe him I off the map. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, Brett, but like... You know how there's, like, different denominations of Christianity and, like, they don't all necessarily agree with each other on everything? The same is true of atheists. In fact, Ooh. it's more true of atheists because there's no defined dogma or structure. So you can have atheists of every atheism political bent. A religion. You know, you can have atheists of, of uh, many, like, almost every other ideological position you can hold that's not pertaining to religion. Atheists can hold those views. Uh. It's a religion. I even know pro-life atheists. No. Nope. Which doesn't even make religion. fucking sense, really, but they exist. Religion. So, I mean, like, we, uh, you know, atheism doesn't have some ideological purity test, and the groups who try to make it have that, like Atheism Plus, yeah, are pretty much rejected wholesale. And I'm sure Brett knows about that, Atheism Plus. I'm not confident that Brett knows anything. TJ. 
look, Brett Keen and many theists have said it before, or God believers, whatever you want to call them. Atheism is a religion. Of course. You know, I mean, there's no evidence to back that up, but the assertion has been made. And can you deny, TJ, that that's definitely an assertion? Can you deny that? Yeah, it's an assertion. They're right. Wow. Game over. <laughs> All right. YouTube. You see, for forever on YouTube, as long as... I think we're done with Brett Keen. All right, we'll move on. We love you, Brett. But not your family. Your family's garbage. Just joking. No one's laughing, TJ. Just joking. No one's laughing. All right, next one we have here is a video from Brett Keen complaining about how the Christian Fellowship sucks. On YouTube. The fellowship of the Christians. We will destroy the Hello, God delusion. And gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from place God TV destroyed. Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. No thanks. Including my Brett Keen Superstar channel and God TV Radio Brett, you only one channel. No one watches even. You know, I've been on YouTube this for almost lobster 11 now? years now, since the beginning, since yeah, the he's point pretty red. where... Brett! Brett, there's a new invention out called Sunscreen. You might want to consider... He probably goes to the tanning booth like Hulk Hogan or something. No, that's like never been in the sun, white boy burn. Like, this dude never goes outside, so he must have, like, went to the beach or something, or... I don't know, maybe he fell asleep outside after he... Well, think about this. Food. Think about this. How fast can Brett Keen possibly walk? <laughs> so, you know, he probably was just walking to, like, his car parked in his driveway, but he that's walked true. so slow that he got a sunburn on his way there. Yeah, well, he's faster in the water. One time, YouTube was just simply cat videos, gerbils oh, running on wheels, and you would see these videos no, with cats playing yeah, keyboards, still really popular. and the occasional news story copyrighted and thrown onto the internet along with copyright music that clearly wasn't very helpful for the music industry. Bean, one of the first... Bean. Bean. Kind of like when you took a song that was already copyrighted, and then took it and said that it was yours and that you wrote it. I don't think that that was helpful. You guys have to remember, we're talking about a Pulitzer Prize winning novelist here. I mean, look. One of the great literary talents of our age. You know, they had Old Man in the Sea. Brett Keen's going to write The Old Man in McDonald's. I would say <laughs> that the Eternal Undying Love trilogy is probably the most influential work since Ulysses. Yes. So. Atheist YouTubers. My intention was to educate and teach. My intention was to kind of open the window so people could peer in and see that there's another group of individuals out there. Individual. Who are individuals. To there's, a, there's another individual, individual situation. Brett Keen wants to educate you, everybody. There's a situation with individuals. But, and you have to remember, we're losers. They came and run a Google Hangout. To question the validity of God. That's what I was about. No, but one of my main interests was not just they're simply no for, for it, so they don't believe in it. the idea of atheism being promoted or talked about or questioning the validity of the Bible, but also to socialize and to get to know other people, try to find people I could identify with that I could perhaps, hopefully, become friends with. I promoted such YouTubers that are considered the popular atheists of today, like the Amazing Atheist, King Heathen, Thunderfoot, Pat Kendall, oh, Aaron Raw. Oh, Most Brett Keen built the atheism community. I promoted them. I, I gave the brick by brick. He built it with his you bare came up, hands. Let me let me guess, TJ. How, how did it go? Brett, you came into Brett's throne room and you pledged allegiance to him, and he's like, "I give thee my blessing, TJ." No, he was more like the Godfather. I had to like oh, shit. kiss his rings and shit. Kiss his rings. Yeah. Popular atheist YouTubers, you have noticed, such as Paul's ego, confess and admit many times throughout their YouTube career that it was because of guys like me why it is they got their start. Why it is they even found the courage to even make videos oh in the first place. Oh, my God. This is some total self-aggrandizing bullshit. Stayed. But, I mean, like, the reason that your videos inspired me to make videos was because, like, God damn, this guy's got a following. I could do better than this. Yeah, I don't think many people look to your videos and like, this is the pinnacle of entertainment. This is the pinnacle of of people's, of people someone coming out there and spreading knowledge. I just had to emulate this guy. I mean, I don't know what it is. It seems to me like at the time, Brett Keen's videos were better, but maybe I was just dumber. 
he was an early adopter. And, and look, the standards on YouTube eight years ago were much lower. And, we, and, and the quality of content was so much lower. The bar was set so much lower. At the time, it seemed like Viking's videos were perfectly acceptable. I mean, you've seen his quality has not risen much in eight years. Not at all. I would say it's gone down. I say it went I mean, like, his channel was really domed the second he started getting on camera. He <laughs> just, that's true. He should have just stayed a disembodied voice. He probably would have been better off, honestly. Did that because whenever I was an atheist, it made them want to be able to speak out and have a voice for themselves. Sad to say, nowadays, not one single one of these individuals that I promoted and helped find celebrity and notoriety on the internet have anything to do with me any longer since I've become a God believer. I um, have had one wait, or two what? make. Hold on. No, we we had we stopped having things to do with you a lot, like way before you became a God believer. We stopped having things to do with you when you kept, when you like continuously gotten embroiled in like drama with everybody. We're constantly doing like shady and disreputable shit, plagiarizing poems, plagiarizing songs, you know, telling lies about people, yeah. misrepresenting situations. Um, well, dude, Brett, the problem with Brett is that he wants to discuss people. He doesn't want to discuss ideas and doxing people too. Yeah. He wants to do petty bullshit. That has nothing to do with anyone in the atheist community really wants to talk about. No one wants to make videos about some stupid drama shit. I mean, yeah, sure. Some people are guilty of it. You've done it, TJ, but it's always to me, it's been like the lowest part of YouTube is begin boiled in drama it has nothing to do with anything like to me, it's like it's better to attack these issues that everyone's discussing. Like Donald Trump is an idiot. Why? Because millions and millions of people are actually giving this guy credibility. I mean, some personal squabble between two people on YouTube. Yeah, it might make for some good drama, but it, it's petty at the end of the day. Pity. Videos about me, insulting <clears throat> me, downgrading me, belittling me, and even suggesting that they were going to end. Why don't you take career? a fucking ounce of responsibility? Well, do you really expect everyone that sees your videos to just be like, you know what, it's it's all them and it's nothing wrong with you, Brett. You never take one fucking ounce of responsibility for the shit you have done. You don't own anything you've done, even when it's been demonstrated, proven that you've done something shady or fucked up or, or you know, dock someone or, or DMCA'd someone. You still just go, oh, no, you, you never acknowledge it. You never did anything wrong. It's all them. You built everyone on YouTube that's big now. It's all you. And now they turn their backs on you simply because you're a guy. God believer, you're so full of shit. Yeah, Brett reinvents the narrative like every week. It's, a, it's his bullshit narrative to make himself feel better that he has no audience on YouTube and it just gets made. <laughs> fun. His highlight of his week is being made fun of by us. You're fucking pathetic, Brett. Seven years later, and here I am for the last three years, been a God believer. Yeah, and you know it's bullshit. But I can't say that being a God believer has been any easier on me. It has not been any better whatsoever. I remember when I first had my personal experience and came to the conclusion that I needed to Your serve personal God experience, and accept the that most God exists no matter if all. I can explain every single thing in the Bible or every single suffering or pain or evil that happens in this world. I decided I needed to step forward because within my very entity, within my very being, I realized it was the right thing to do. For king, it's a and for some reason, deep inside He's me, that like I had always He's known that I had some kind of calling, I felt drawn. And it's one of the reasons why I could not keep myself out of debate with religious people and talk with them. Through the past couple of years, I found myself meeting a great deal of Christians and becoming friends with them. And they so were very Brett's kind not getting to along me. With they the weren't Christians just interested now. in preaching to me or sermonizing to me or telling me that I'm going to go to hell repeatedly or every day or what I'm doing wrong and why I fail as a human being. Some of them cared very much about. I feel me like and I Brett can't. is turning into like some alternate universe's version of Santa, where instead of bringing presents, he just like, you know, comes by and leaves his dirty like sweat socks you, on your, you know, your fucking tree or something. It, it's like we've pointed out with a lot of people. The one common thing in all of these stories is Brett Keen is always wronged by everyone else. Just poor all innocent. All the atheists wronged him. Now all the Christians poor are wronging innocent him. innocent Brett Keen. No, nothing of his own creation ever. It's always somebody else. 
You know, he's just innocent, TJ. He's innocent. He's like a virgin little lamb. Just, you're, you know, always so gets into yeah. shit, but never of his own making. No, it's never his fault. Into the realization that many of them would take a bullet for me. Sad oh, to say, many of the good hyperbole. atheists, as well as God believers that I knew years ago, are now dead, or something horrible has happened to them, or they simply are no longer around. Because they came to a conclusion that I came to many, many times, but just simply wouldn't give up, was that YouTube and the Internet is not a place to make friends. It simply isn't a place where you can socialize. Um, bullshit. That comes to the point where it's just simply bullshit. not that entertaining. Bullshit, 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 and even more bullshit. Okay, look at the studies they've done about intera human interaction online. People are more social now than ever. I think it's like I read something like twenty percent of people who are now married meet online. So people don't form relationships online, friendships online, connect with their people online. No, Brett. What happens is some poison, toxic motherfucker like you comes around, befriends a bunch of people, and in a few months they all can't stand you and hate you because you're a backstabbing piece of shit. <laughs> How hard is this to explain to you? And why don't you actually acknowledge some of our criticism of you instead of just cherry picking shit? Why can't? Why are you so afraid of actually discussing the real flaws of you as a human being? Instead, of, quit acting like a fucking perfect little entity that just goes about and everyone's just attacking you and mean to you. That's not what's going on. Just be fucking honest is that gonna kill you maybe god it's so pathetic it's like he's five years old like did you draw on the wall no TJ did or it. even doesn't even make me feel like i'm serving god anymore no matter how much evidence i post up about god no matter how much i talk about how god did evidence. for me in my life i've come to this concept that most God believers, they don't really even God, finish the videos. And if atheists are watching, they've usually come over just long enough for the video to load up so they can dislike it and tell me to go fuck myself. Yeah, the same thing you fucking do. What was the video we were coming from him the other day where it was so clear he didn't actually watch the video? Yeah, that yeah, was true. It was that atheism is unstoppable. Yeah, yeah he thing. he like gave like some totally inaccurate summation he said that, of what happened. That he was on our show. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. So you're gonna say that when you are clearly guilty of it. Get some fucking honesty in your life, you delusional fuck. I mean, come on, Brecky, this is a true appeal to you. Stop being a lying sack of shit about everything. Yeah, just most things. Yeah, just be try, like, try be like the, the average truth. person. Make white lies up. Yeah, like, did you eat at McDonald's earlier? No, I didn't go there. You know, shit like that. Make a video saying that you're going to have your last cigarette ever and then smoke a cigarette the very next there day. There you go. Yeah. Someone like that. <laughs> Who do we know like that? I don't know. You know what, you I'm going to call then, you out right and the, now. And then, when people, and then when people say, did you smoke today? You'll be like, no, I, I only smoked a cigar I'm calling today. TJ out right now because we right, we've heard this. You're a lying piece of shit. I'm gonna stop smoking. Okay, so then we go to Las Vegas. Motherfucker, change. What happened smokes. to Vegas? Stay in Vegas. Yeah. Then he says, "What happened to Vegas?" And then we get back. I'm like, "Have you quit smoking?" Uh, you know, yeah. oh, well, I had a uh, couple uh, puffs of a cigar, a, a, a few puffs. But that's not. A, I said I will quit smoking. And the, cigarettes, Scotty. It was cigarettes. <laughs> Look at yeah. Smiling. And then the he other day, so full of shit. And the other day, I said to him, I, I was saying like, TJ, the reason you've never quit is because you quit. You just go smoke in secret, one or two cigarettes. You go, cannot quit. See, here's the thing, Scotty. Here's the thing that you don't understand about this. Someone who doesn't want to quit something will not that's quit. Why I, that's why I said to him, I said, you do not truly want to quit. I said, you are just giving lip service and bullshit to everyone around you and pretending you really want to quit. And I said, I, I have said this to him, honestly. If you really want to quit, then just be honest and say, I it's, really do want to quit. It's your fault that TJ can't quit. TJ could do it, but his friends don't support him at all. No, because TJ TJ is fucking, on this issue, has betrayed our trust a thousand times. And I just said to him, I said, look, either just say I'm a smoker and that's it, or actually try to quit. Because don't, don't do this bullshit, I'm, I'm working up to quitting. You know, all these excuses, oh, I'm trying. It's like, no. <laughs> oh, he's smiling you know, right you know how you do it? Ridiculous. You don't go to the fucking goddamn corner store and buy another pack of cigarettes. That's not a that's not a plan in quitting smoking unless this is my last pack. We already know with you that doesn't work. Oh, this is the last one. Oh, tomorrow I need another last one. Oh, another last one. You know what, TJ? You can make the argument all day long because each one is your fucking last one, you lying motherfucker.
So, you know, for the duration between cigarettes, I have quit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me a break. Right now, I'm a vegan. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Ben. You're, are you eating meat right now? Or no. Ben, ben is, is not, no. Ben wow. is not currently Ben is a vegan. Good I job. I am a vegan. <laughs> Congratulations on yeah. your new lifestyle. Yeah, Ben. You know? Until uh, the next time he gets hungry. Ben. I'm actually immortal also. Oh, you're immortal. Yep. too. Because you're alive right I'm now. I'm alive right now. That's crazy. <laughs> I have never died, nor am I dying now. Wow, wonderful. Actually, yep. uh, Ben is immortal and a vegan. That's v- great. Wittgenstein said something similar to that. Ooh, yeah, so, Wittgenstein. So you're on Wittgenstein. He just gave now. Galen a boner. Yeah. Wherever Galen is, he's like, oh, oh, every, God. Every time someone somewhere on Earth mentions Wittgenstein, Galen pops an erection. Sounds like Lichtenstein. So it happens like three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> I like how... Um, I like how TJ's like, I'm going to vape. That's how I'm going to quit. I'm going to vape. And then, and then it, vaping became smoking indoors. Like, vaping is just what TJ does when he can't go outside to smoke. Correct. Oh, well. <laughs> TJ will literally smoke. It could be twenty. Uh, yeah. It could be twenty degrees below. It could be like okay for people on the other parts. We're like negative twenty degrees Celsius, and TJ will still like. You know what? I have to go outside and smoke. I'm freezing. I'm fucking free. I'm still cold, but I gotta smoke. That's how. That's how strong your addiction is. You literally will do almost anything to have it. And like, he, like every time we're going home from the show now, that's the only time TJ will run. I, there's only a few times I've ever seen TJ run in his life. One was because at the hotel. Yeah, because there was like a balcony, and he was it, well, it was a hallway with like a balcony drop off. Yeah, ten stories up. Or yeah, and TJ first crawled on his hands and knees <laughs> for half of it, and then he got up and like ran. I've never seen him run so fast. But then, but then I guess. Also, uh, when when you thought he had quit smoking, oh uh, yeah, and TJ be like, "I'm just gonna stay here in the car while you go inside. I'm just gonna play on my phone." TJ would run as fast as he could in the winter time to a gas station, to the nearest gas station, and then run back. And Scotty be like, it "Smells like cigarettes or something in here." And TJ be like, "No, no, yeah, it's it, it wasn't that." You know what it was? He would be like sweating and like kind of out of breath. <laughs> and I was kind of just like, "What the fuck is you, going on?" You are like, you are like a fictional character, seriously. Like, and then I'd be in my room and it'd be like, it "Smells like smoke." But I, I always just thought, "Oh, it's probably just some pan or something," you know? Nope. And then it was like, then Ben was like, "Man, you know." I didn't really want. To, I don't really insult your intelligence, but TJ was clearly smoking the entire time, yeah. and I'm like, I mean, that, like that's clearly. fine. It's because you know what? I've never been a smoker, so I just don't. I mean, like, I just don't recognize the same things. So it's like, okay, we're we're gone. We're out of the house for like two or three hours. We have a meal. We have drinks. We get back home. TJ instantly <laughs> runs into the basement. Yeah, exactly. You know, I actually caught TJ though. I was looking for a comb. I was like, man, I need to like trim my beard. I wonder if she has one of those plastic combs. Go down there, open the cabinet up, pack of fucking American spirits. And I was yeah. like, oh, really? That was when I walked up to him. Hey, TJ. Did he have that smirk on his face? Oh, like, God. It was, it was fucking hilarious. I came out the garage. I was like, hey, TJ, you know, I want to show you something I found. Like that. I want to show you something I found, TJ. Here's your fucking American spirits. He's like, give me that back. I ripped him up in front of him. He's like, like fuck you. Done, man. That must have been left no, over he, from the I said, I, was, I said I was going to destroy them, and he lunged for the cigarettes, and I ripped them in half. <laughs> you lunged for them. You I'm way too fast for him. I just went, whoosh. My babies, my babies. You, you're like Gollum. You're like, my precious. The funny thing is, is like when TJ is smoking, he's like disgusted by it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, He'll be like, I don't even, this is gross, but he just keeps doing it. Yep. I hate it. And then I get really self-conscious about my fingers smelling, too. Oh, yeah, because I remember I pointed out to you, like, your hand smells really bad. And, sm- and, like, you have, like, tar forming. You're like, oh, my God, you wash my hands and put alcohol on it. Life is life is bad when you're a smoker. You just need to fucking quit. Don't smoke, kids. Oh, yeah, you just Don't need to quit. smoke. And the for- only way to quit TJ is actually by stopping smoking. Yeah, send your cigarettes to me, kids. I'll dispose of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. And then they will dispose of him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Very true. <laughs> and then reality itself will collapse. Because oh, as we sure. established earlier, I am God. Patrick Coleman agrees, and he is a shaman. 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. Games and when along. you get a chance, check out Brett Keen Superstar and God TV Radio International. I have to speak. We've got up. a lot of great videos on all these different channels, you which really can be do. found in the links in the description. Today, I'm responding to Jenny. She made a very positive video stating that she's open to discussion. She wants to have conversations with Christians, Muslims, Jews, atheists. And I can tell from watching her views that she has been, how shall I say, defranchised by atheism. Defranchised? I think you mean disenfranchised. You've been defranchised. You've been defranchised, McDonald's. Yeah, you're you're in a defranchise. Yeah, you you have to call yourself. You call yourself something else, but you can't call yourself McDonald's. I've also been watching Bewildered Ape, and he also gave me the privilege of coming on to my show and talking to me a little bit about his position and his views, mostly about atheism. Why would you? Why would you actually want to go on a show with Brett Keen? It's like, are you, are you trying to make your audience commit suicide? Man, I, Brett Keen, I, I saw one time, I, I saw that he was doing a hangout, or like he had done a hangout that uploaded later on, and it was like eight hours long. Oh my god, so boring. I cannot imagine watching Brett Keen for eight hours. I, no. I would literally the great die. thing is, now he's making friends with Jenny McDermott and Bewildered Ape. Look, in a they month, want discussion. they will hate him. In a month, they're going to hate him. He, they want to have discussions, In a month, CJ. they're going to hate oh, no, they'll, fucking guts. They're going to be friends forever. ...is unstoppable. A guy who clearly tries to hide behind his racism and wants to point out that a particular race is responsible for all criminal acts. Yeah. Whenever it comes to crime, Jenny, I don't give a damn who's doing it the most. Maybe Brett Keen and atheism is unstoppable will just destroy each other. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be awesome. Most, I don't care who's doing it the least. Crime to me is a problem all over this world that I feel needs to be dealt with. I'm a big defender and supporter of the definition and concept of justice. I also believe that atheism doesn't have an actual defined position of justice. In fact, I don't think atheism has a chance in hell. Atheism does not have a defined position of justice. That's true. Atheism doesn't have a chance in hell. That's true, because hell doesn't exist, you fucking moron. Why would atheism, why would atheism have a defined position on justice? It doesn't even address the issue of justice. That's not even under the purview of atheism. Atheism is a religion, TJ. Okay. It's a religion. Oh, it's a religion. Oh, it's, a re- it's, a, it's an individual. <laughs> individual. Religion. Individual. It's a religion situation. situation. I believe that if atheism and the worldview were correct, this would mean that there are literally millions of people who have suffered and went through living hell in their earthly lives. And in the end, if the atheist worldview were true, then they will have no eternal justice. <clears throat> their lives will have been for eternal, ju- eternal justice. For nothing. Some eternal people justice. who died who cared and were good people. Well, that's the but case. In the end, Brett it won't definitely never all had the sacrifices, that. all the altruism that they performed. I have friends out there so you're that saying are... That, cons- you're, so you're saying that if, if, if there's no God and people do all these good deeds, they just like, it's just, you know what? They, it, nothing comes back to them. They don't, they don't get a reward. They don't get a special afterlife reward. You know, how, how pathetic is that, what he just said? Like, you know what? If you don't get a reward for your good acts, then, you know, what's the point of doing them? I've actually heard him argue against that before. Like I've heard him, I've heard him make the argument that you're making right now as an atheist. He's a fucking dude. He's such a fucking idiot. He, he's just a huckster. He's a, he's basically a low rent like Ken Hoven. Considered non-believers, but they don't refer to themselves as atheists anymore. And a lot of them that still do call themselves atheists, they seem to have a change of heart where they don't want to be referred to as it or labeled because they realize that there's such a disdain for atheists hey, nowadays. Hey, hey Brett. I can see. Hey Brett, I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist. Oh. I am an atheist. Oh no! Chiche, my life is imploding suddenly! Oh my god! No! Why? What a fucking idiot. Jenny, I noticed that you were a bit surprised. You responded to a comment by someone who apparently felt like they knew me on the internet. They stated, Did you know that Brett Keen was the first atheist YouTuber on the internet? He was a public speaker who talked about it. I don't, I don't think that he was the no, first. No, I don't think he was the first. I mean, either. I guess he might have been. If he, if he can produce some evidence true. of it, then maybe. I was, uh, for the first two years on YouTube, which was in the beginning when there were still cat the, videos and what? rats the first running two on wheels, years? and YouTube was still considered a friendly, family-friendly no, website, no, no. I was one of the first that came out. In my first oh, two years, I was pretty hardcore. Two. One could actually refer to me as anti-theistic because I had a tragedy happen in my life, an emotional issue happen that drove me over the edge away from Christianity, an, straight an into the clutches issue. of atheism. 
So I felt like religion was a disease at one point in time. I felt like it was like a cancer that needed to be eradicated. Did I yell and scream or stick bananas up my ass? Did I go around and deliberately <laughs> screw with people hey, or hey, attack hey, feminists or hey, things Brett. like that? No. Hey, Brett. I calmly... Hey, Brett. Maybe if you had stuck a banana up your ass, I'm going to actually fucking watch your videos, bitch. Because as, as, we, as we review these videos, I think most of the views your video actually ends up getting is from people that watch this show. Not because they have a genuine interest in your message. Because if you're about, like, your hucksterism, there's plenty of people that actually do it way better than you. And when he says he never attacked other people, Brett Keane was perpetually involved in drama. Oh, he was perpetually in pwnage, too. He, oh, I'm going to own this person. Yeah. Like, that, that's, that's total bullshit. He was, and when he says he doesn't argue with people, Brett Keane used to call uh, churches and argue with pastors and stuff. That was, like, one of his most popular uh, shticks. He was totally antagonistic. That's total bullshit. He's, it's just typical Brett Keane rewriting history. Yes. Act in a Hitchens type of way, dealt with people's arguments and points, and I went my no. way. I was never really no, into no, the drama. No, 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 no. You are nothing like Christopher Hitchens. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up right the well, fuck down. They're both fat. Um, That's about it. No, not even fucking close. <laughs> not, not, not even, like, <clears throat> really? He's going to go there. He's going to say, I'm just like Hitchens. Uh, no. He was like Hitchens when he was an atheist. He was... He was like the Hitchens of YouTube. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see anyone talking about keen slaps or something. You were keen slapped. You know, give me a fucking break. It was just simply about taking out religion, but then it came to my mind as I watched as atheism became herd mentality as opposed to unique individualism. Herd mentality into a, a group that literally poisons everything it touches. I know you're going to probably chuckle at that because Thunderfoot makes the claim that feminists poison everything that they touch, which is absolute nonsense. It's not the word atheist or even lacking a belief in deities that bothers me. The label of atheist doesn't bother me. What bothers me is what follows after one lacks a belief in deities. Usually, a majority right. of atheists fall into a herd-like mentality. It's a tribalistic viewpoint in which it leads to something that I refer to as nihilism. I don't know if you know what that means. If not, I will give you kind of an idea. It's whenever people feel like reality has no meaning anymore, that nothing really matters and nothing really has any kind of truth to it. So, a an accurate worldview, basically. And it goes on. You can take a look at that. And what this leads to is people don't care if they abuse drugs. They don't care if they abuse alcohol. That's not and true. It leads to That's not true at all. There's plenty of people who are atheists. I think, I think if you actually look at our prison system, atheists are the least likely people to be incarcerated. If you, if you group them together in that uh, sort of... All uh, nihilism means... I mean, there's different for there's different sorts of nihilism pertaining to different like branches of philosophy and shit. But generally, nihilism just means a rejection of the idea that there's some sort of inherent purpose to existence or life. That doesn't mean that life has no meaning. Yeah, I mean, you make your you can make your own personal meaning. You can decide what you want to do with your own life. You know, so for a lot of yeah, people, there, there's nihilism not, is a very freeing thing. Yeah, you're saying that there, there's, not, there's not some fate. You're fated to do this. You're fated to meet this person and do this thing. No, no. Yeah, there's none, none of this, like, you're the chosen one bullshit or your well, I, I am life the, is to glorify God. But I am the chosen one, right? Some sort of preset, you know, uh, purpose in life. I, I'm, I, I'm so annoyed by the way that Anita Sarkeesian's face is cut out here. Why is there a big square chunk missing of her chest? Because he needed more room for Thunderfoot's fabulous hair. Well, I mean, like, couldn't he have cut along the line? No. I mean, it's Thunderfoot, so annoying. Thunderfoot's hair needs to be more prominent I don't know this if video. he made this image or if it was someone else, but God, that's just so frustrating. This is really good Photoshop. There's a big square chunk this of This guy is a fucking missing. Photoshop master, dude. Come on. It's infuriating. Something else that I showed in statistics that atheists are top on the number one whenever it comes to suicide rates. It means that atheists are the ones who kill themselves the most. No, it doesn't. Uh, I would say that transgender people have a much higher yeah. rate of suicide than atheists do. Uh, and, like, like, gay like, people do, too, probably. Well, I was to say, like, I totally dispute those statistics. And as well as, I mean, this kind of shit always gets trot out by theists, where it's like, oh, atheists are more likely to do this and more likely to, to murder and more likely to do all these different things and more, and more likely to be able to cause genocide to happen. It's like, come on. Uh, actually, uh, religious people are more likely to murder. But um, I, I, I'm maybe, saying maybe atheists are more likely to commit. I'm saying I, I just heard a bunch of bad arguments. It doesn't have anything to do with whether or not God atheism believers. is true. 
No, it doesn't. You know, it's perfectly possible for atheism to be the correct position, but still lead to more suicide. Sure. You know, the truth is not always nice. And some people would say, well, that's not very fair, even though that's what the facts tell us. But if people don't believe that they have some kind of moral foundation or structure, they don't believe that they're held to accountability. Oh, my God. Are you, Brett Keen, honestly talking about people being held accountable? But, but not, not to mention... No one dodges accountability more than you do. Not to mention, what does this have to do with the central question here, which is like, you know, it, it basically all these positions correct. You know, as, as a God believer, what evidence does he have that we should basically believe in God and follow you know, his, his morality and, and buy into all this. Like, all this is just a total aside. They basically just try to wrap you up in some minutia. Oh, well, atheism is bad because of X, Y, and Z, and that's why we shouldn't do it. It's like, why are you trying to you know, you know, disprove or shit on atheism when you haven't even proved the proposition you're presenting with us with? Atheism's wrong because atheists are jerks. Yeah, that's basically what this amounts to. <laughs> You know, Christians always they always want to argue about all these different things. Oh, Christians, we're so charitable, we're so wonderful, and we do all these great things. And look at these people going over here and doing this, and missionaries. And oh, they, it's such a wonderful religion. And it's like, okay, but it doesn't prove anything about it. It's true. I mean, what, you've not proven the main thing that you're fucking pushing on people. That like, there's a God, and you need to follow His te- and, You know, and He had a Son. You need to follow these teachings. You need to do all these things. You need to read this book and buy into all this shit. There's no evidence for that. Everything else is just fucking smoke and mirrors. Look over here. It's look, you, you feel better when you believe in Jesus, so you should believe in him. Then why should they limit their parameters on how they defile their own temple and themselves, which we can clearly see? And I know you're probably shaking your head going, what do you mean, though, Brad? You know, I've searched the Internet for positive atheists who are actually trying to make an impact on the world who would like to see some positive things happen, and they're very few and far between. I consider an individual like yourself, a friend of mine named Adam Lore, and a couple other guys and ladies out there who are very, very cool as wanting to actually do positive things in this world. But most of the atheists out there I see make memes like, it's the internet, so get fucking used to it. It's the internet, so I should be allowed to attack and insult the hell out of women. It's the internet, so I should be allowed to make, sh- make fun of little kids that are fat and make obesity jokes. I don't consider... I don't. I don't say I should be able to do that because it's the internet. I, sh- I say I should be able to do that because it's freedom of fucking speech. Because yeah, of the First Amendment to the Constitution. <clears throat> but not only that, I mean, who is really opposed to? The, I mean, besides people like Brett Kane, apparently, who is really opposed to that ideal or that principle that people should be able to speak their minds and put forward ideas. I consider myself a stringent person, and I am a supporter of freedom of speech, but I don't think that the our forefathers, whenever they put all this together, that they meant well, how, that it was well, okay to know? run around and victim Who shame. Knows? How would you know, right? You're, now you're speaking on behalf of the founders of our country. Say, I don't think this is what they uh, intended. So you're, you're talking about the founders of our country as though they were these like progressive-minded individuals who would be concerned about things like rape. You seem to forget that they didn't even give women the right to vote. They didn't even free black people from slavery and subjugation. These were not, I mean, they were ahead of their time, sure, but these people were not some progressives that, um, you know, had this really forward-thinking ideology in comparison to today. You know, the morality of the founders is pretty antiquated at this point. And by the way, most of them were deists or victim shame people who are disabled or mentally ill. I notice that a majority of atheists out there love to call religious people retarded or mentally ill or fucked in the head or delusional. What evidence do you and have I was raised statement? as a child to not make fun of mentally ill people. If you really oh, believe you're so that noble. Religion- you're such a wonderful person. Just give yourself a big old fucking sloppy wet kiss and a pat on the back, Brad. You're such a great person. Atheists are so mean. You're so right. <laughs> I think Brett misunderstood what, what was being said. It, his parent, he, he wasn't being told, don't make fun of mentally ill people. Um, he was being told, don't let people make fun of you for being mentally ill. Yeah. 
Brett Keen, the internet does oh, not yay. forget. And I know, Gurley, you've had uh, your run in with Brett Keen. You know, I, yeah. you know the cracked, greatest YouTubers he, of all time. He cracked time. the code on you. He, he was oh, like, I know. This, I know. This yeah, is he what this bitch my looks identity, like. Uh, straight off, Th- you know, copy pasting a picture off Google. Sounds good. Yeah. This bitch looks like this. This bitch sounds like this. Crack Actually, you know what? The funny thing is, he has, I've noticed, a real talent for building audiences for everyone but himself. Like, I've seen it happen a few times now. Yeah. G Man is a great example. G Man is awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was through his association with Brackeen that anyone really noticed him in the first place. Even <laughs> people like, I don't know, like Shani Ismi have gained some degree oh, of God. recognition as a result of that. Even TJ. The Brett Keen team investigates. Yeah. All right, so like, here I, we I go. Wasn't, I w- sorry, I wasn't really expecting to put in too large an audience myself, especially from the get-go. I mean, you know, the tits do help, but it's not like mine are the only decent oh, pair help. on YouTube. And then he makes that phonage <sighs> video about me and like 10 more. And suddenly I'm getting messages from people that are like, oh, hey, Brett made a video about you. Guess you're worth watching. <laughs> So, Brett destroyed yeah. you. I, the greatest uh, YouTuber of all I, time. I, hi, good old Durant. This is Brett Keen. Individual. Channel Brett individual. Keen. Individual. There's a girl on Situation. YouTube, an individual. She's she's an individual with, uh, with boobs. Oh, oh, you know what that means? Maybe God does exist, and that's just his plan for Brett, to use his resentful animosity to inadvertently help everyone but himself. Beautiful. Wow, yeah, that's true. God is yeah. great. All right. This Who are we is to him. God's will? This video is Praise a compilation. It's a compilation of of old Brett videos, from what I understand. So, here it is. Brett Keen, you've had so many chances to come clean and stop your blatant lying. Oh, is this video about TJ or Brett Keen? <laughs> oh. Straight dope. Jones or nine nine. LV Warrior. Yeah, I remember this shit. I've seen the straight dope videos. Where is it? The date stroke. Oh. Hey, he's your biggest fan. Yeah. I love him. He, he likes me. you a lot. He loves TJ. Hello, he ladies and gentlemen. This is Brett Keen. Hey, it's that song again. It's not the same one, no, though. This is the actual video. Hello, uh, folks. Brett Should Keen. I stop playing this because it's a song? Maybe. All right. Fuck it. Fuck it. We shouldn't. We're scared of music. Yep. This is a Brett Keen video I know of. It, it's called The Amazing Atheist Fraud and Scams. Oh, yep. excellent. This is going to be informative. Finally, someone is speaking the truth about TJ's fraud and uh, scams. You better be yeah. ready to defend yourself, TJ, man. That's Brett speaks video. the truth. The truth. I said to applaud this video. You better be amazing. ready. Brett Keen's been attacking me a lot lately. My name is Brett you. Keen from God TV Radio. Wow, Make that's sh- old. School. Wow, he's dredging up shit from seven years ago. Yeah, he's a manatee. Look at him. on your archive. Can we play some manatee noises over him? Make <laughs> sure you check out my gaming channel, oh, Games You Love. Like. We got a bunch of new games know. up there. Love. And also, I, actually feel I bad broadcast for manatees. live shows on Brett Keen like Superstar and God TV I know, Radio yeah, I feel bad for them. Yeah. Well, you know, we have two of them at the zoo here. But and you I know, always go and visit them. He's the ugliest manatee. Okay, so you're basically saying like he's a manatee, but he's like the, I've the seen lowest. manatees that they put glasses and white hair on, and they look literally <laughs> exactly like Brett Keen. So maybe he just so the maybe he's trans speciesist, and he'd be happier if we just threw him in the ocean. That maybe so. TJ, right? your hair is so volu- uh, It's uh, yeah. I I don't even know how to voluminous, it's shiny, yeah. voluptuous. I'm gonna run my hands through it. Yeah, yeah. TJ, it's so, shiny, so, so and beautiful, voluminous. No longer. TJ's pretty much bald now. Yeah, I mean my hair is pretty much the same there. He's bald. Whatever. Nope. He's yeah. bald now. It's just not like as it. It's just not as poofy because TJ has the Donald shit. Trump comb over now. Yeah. All links can be found in the description. Okay. If you'd ever like to have a discussion, whether you're a non-believer or a god-believer, you're no, always welcome to come into my oh. live rooms that are recorded and broadcasted. Why don't they waste their time with that, Brett? Yeah, you can go into his uh, live room so he can kick you when you pose a good argument against him. 
Yeah, that's pretty much him. I am a God believer because I, even though I follow the teachings of Christianity and say Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, when I, when you pull out bad things about Christianity, I want to be able to say, oh, I'm not a Christian. I'm a God believer. I'm a God believer. God believer. I'm going to talk about something. I've actually watched a few of his live uh, shows, and every time somebody comes on there that actually presents like some good points, even if they present them respectfully, they he just dog piles on them with his uh, friends, so... I heard G-Man does that, too. Yeah. They all do that. It's a theist circle jerk. Theistic circle jerk. G-Man's more fun to listen to. (coughs) True. The amazing atheist. Yeah. This is a guy who has made three websites. Yeah. One of them, theamazingatheist.com, where he asked for over $10,000 to produce his first site whenever he first came to YouTube. He got the money, and no. the website does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> I never raised ten thousand. So, TG, did you spend it on like blow and whores, or how, how did that? Oh no, that was actually hookers and ice cream. Yeah, I never oh, raised okay. ten thousand dollars for the ice site, cream. but um, that site was actually—I don't know if it was that site that was hacked a bunch of times, and then the web developer Kabindi. slash web designer yeah. basically like left the project and like you know left me high and dry for, like, months and months without saying anything to me. Yeah, so that's well, what happened with that. did you actually already, uh, like, address this pretty in-depth, I think, in a previous podcast? It's been addressed, yeah. It's been addressed. Yeah. And, then, and then it was Free Speech Vids, which ran for a while, and then yeah. we, used, we used all the money yeah, on that. Yeah, that was up for, like, a year and a half. Yeah, and then it was the point where we were, pay- we were just paying for, like, f- like, $500 a month for server cost, and it was like, well... Traffic was anemic, and, you know... But that was going to be a video hosting site, right? Or so- something like that. Right. I mean, it went through several incarnations, actually. But, you know, the whole idea was YouTube was cracking down at that time pretty dramatically on freedom of speech. Um, much less so now, I would say. Although, you know, things can always change. Uh, so it, it seemed like an alternative to YouTube was necessary. I was trying to create one for people who wanted to vlog but didn't necessarily want to deal with YouTube's draconian policies at the time. Um, so that was that idea. And we did a lot to make it happen, but, you know, it just never took off and it was never popular in the way that I, I wanted it to be. Even though, um, you know, it was a functional website that was up for like a year and a half, and we pretty much did have the policies that we said we would, which is, you know, people can say whatever they want. He then I also think it would be kind of a, a complicated project to run something like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it probably would have worked okay, but we couldn't really generate enough of an audience for it that were like regular <laughs> visitors. YouTube just has too much of an advantage in terms of, you know, there's so much content there. And even after free speech vids went down, people would still write me months later as though they thought it was still up. So it was like people weren't really visiting it. There was no point in keeping it up. A couple of years later, after taking thousands of dollars out of the atheist community, claims he's going to make a website called the Atheist Scum United. This That wasn't a website. Atheist Scum United was... Uh, that was supposed to be like an atheist group. And you and several other people were so against it that it just became too much of like the only thing that anyone involved in the group was ever doing was just defending the group's existence. So it just became totally pointless. Was this when you guys were still on good terms, you and Brad? Or Yeah, I mean, I would say we were mostly on good terms at that time. Hmm. But he didn't want any part of Atheist Scum United. Why not? Uh, Because basically we were trying to do like, we wanted to be a less respectable atheist organization that was much more like a a staunchly anti-theistic group. Oh, right. So like a little more aggressive. Right. We wanted to, we wanted to be like, my idea was that everyone else was being the Martin Luther King Jr. of atheism. So we wanted to create a group that was more like the Malcolm X of atheism. Oh, God. (laughs) But uh. it, you know, there was <laughs> right. there was so much uh, backlash from people within the atheist community that, 
you know, it just became the group it, folded shortly after. Yeah, it just got to the point where it was pointless. I mean, no, I don't believe any money was ever raised for it or anything like that. Uh, no, I find I it really amusing like that. that he would be um, against a more aggressive approach in the atheist community. When now, when he makes uh, anti-atheist videos, he's actually so rude and aggressive, and you know, just calls people degenerate monsters and apes, and you know, some of the titles that he's got for his videos. Like he's pretty much become that now so i don't know what his oh, problem yeah. would have been back then yeah uh any respect he had for decorum whether it was legitimate or just him feigning it because you know he didn't want i think he just didn't like the idea of me becoming more popular or powerful in the atheist community at the time what so there's a jealousy factor there uh, I would say so, but I don't know for sure. I can't. Really oh, Brett, Brett, uh, you could make the argument there is. I mean, look at how he's treated all the other people that he was friends with once he's watched them rise. Like as soon as he sees somebody like G-Man getting an audience, um, you know, because he's been interacting with you guys, it's like, oh, G-Man sucks. Uh, he's he's fraternizing with the enemy now. Oh, you know. So, yeah, you can yeah, make the argument. Very true. He also has a huge axe to grind with TJ. He really hates you, TJ. Oh, yeah. Well, he really hates a lot of people. But yeah, yeah, but you, you are, yeah, you got a big, you are Mecca TJ. Yeah, you are Mecca TJ. He's got a big Brett Keen boner. Well, so it's like, well, one, because you guys go for so far back. I mean, not that you guys really were friends, but just like you've been on YouTube for so long and he's seen you, yeah, you know, have 730,000 subscribers and where is he at? You know what I mean? Yeah. So obviously well, he, he does has seem this... to harbor some kind of obsession for your penis and balls. He does <laughs> kind of mention them a lot. He Similar to AIU. Button also. Dick. Button dick. He got over fifty thousand dollars, and the website what? does not exist. I got over fifty thousand. No, dollars. you're just a liar. I didn't get any money for the, that. The only thing that ever raised that cream. kind of money, the only thing that ever raised that kind of money, was a fundraiser for Katrina that went directly to the charities. That's the only thing, time we've raised any serious money, and it turned out most of the donations were actually, like, fraudulent. So it was only, we only raised, like, $7,000 because some asshole game the system when we were doing some for charity. But yeah. that was had nothing a to do with the website. A lot of those charity things are rigged, unfortunately. There's always something going into somebody's yeah. pocket. Well, the, the it wasn't was, that. They, they falsified the donation. People made fi uh, um, fake donations to inflate the title so that no one, inflate the amount so that no one else would donate, basically, because they thought, well, they've already more than reached their goal. But of course, it turned out to be fake. But yeah, we did some money for some Katrina fundraisers that raised that much ostensibly, yeah. but that's the only time. Yeah, golf pets. Okay. Yeah, we raised, we raised like eight thousand dollars for golf pets, and the money went to the uh, yeah. There SPCA. were there were ton of oh, animals right. that the were animals left affected? behind. Yeah, oh well, it was oh, Hurricane yeah. Katrina. There were there were so many animals that were left homeless because people like ran abandoned their <laughs> yep. pets or yeah. other things. Not happened. that it's the right thing. Like I I wouldn't have done that. I would have yeah. taken well, them so, with like, me. Like sometimes you can't. But. Sometimes you you can't prevent it though. Like to be fair. Sure. Yeah. Not to judge know. anyone, but yeah. that, I mean, that the money went to the charity. I don't really know what he's talking about. The fifty thousand dollar thing. That that was the only thing I can think There's of. Nothing. T there was no fundraising for Atheist Scum United that I remember, and there certainly wasn't any fundraising to anywhere near the amount he's talking no. about. If there was, no, he's probably way. just projecting what he would have done with the money had he got it. You know, <laughs> onto you guys. I bought a big screen TV and a million video games. It lasted for about Subscribe two weeks, and then the amazing atheist got up on YouTube. The videos are all over the place for you to see. Over the place. Collected over $50,000 for a website that was supposed to be like YouTube, but what? for atheists, where they could upload their videos. And the I think he's confusing Atheist Scum United with Free Speech Vids. Or not productive. One of the two. Yeah. Well, it wasn't an atheist exclusive thing, right? Free speech no, nope. it was not. Nope folks out and all that kind of stuff give them perks the website does not exist so now we're running close to a hundred thousand dollars that the amazing atheist got that's off the donations alone that's not even for true. two websites but it doesn't stop there apparently the amazing atheist realized that the atheist community is complete and utter idiots completely lacking in rationality and logic and he goes for the third hammer down on these dumb asses and they still even though third time's a charm they still just did not sense the bullshit check this out 
the amazing anus goes on to stating that he's going to make yet. Hey, at least he has evidence this time. A third site. Yeah, you're in the third campaign. site would be called not productive. He ended up getting over 630 non believers. Clearly, 630 stupid ass human beings spent. Seven Should have been donating to you, right, Brett? So, I mean, what is Absolutely. the point of this? You know, besides the character assassination, like. TJ's oh, a bad makes, person. He makes a shit ton of character assassination videos now. That's all he really does to me. He doesn't ever attack is, anything substantive well, or arguments. The, the thing about this is it's already it's been addressed. Always, yeah, and we've we addressed this to Undertaker Freak, and we pretty much broke down the whole thing in one of the episodes of this show. Yeah, but the money was spent on really the site. He's really uh, resentful of people making money. I mean, actually, the funny thing is that I've caught him now on several occasions uh, using sock accounts to try to provoke me. And I, I always knew it was him because he'd always screw it up. Like in his last attempt, he used a new channel to bitch about my Patreon. By the way, go check out my Patreon. Yeah. Except he'd used he'd use the Google Plus account for that same channel to create a Brett Keane fan club. Oh, my God. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is creating a Brett Keen fat fan club other than Brett. <laughs> no, that that that's what it was. It was a loyal fan of Brett Keen. I almost said Brett Keen fat club. <laughs> <laughs> it been more accurate. Yeah, uh, but I mean, uh, uh, the, this, you know, the really the shit that people said this is a scam are really just grasping for straws. I mean, do you think TJ would throw would really scam people and throw away his YouTube career and to make seventeen thousand dollars before they take out the fees and everything else? I mean, so realistically, like fifteen thousand dollars. TJ's is going to throw away something he's done for years of his life to make fifteen grand. Hey, if it was fifteen million, and you know, or something like that, or if it was a million dollars on the screen, and TJ did nothing, I think there'd be a lot more of like, huh? But if, if you know anything about web development, it's, it's not cheap. People charge you a lot of money, and a lot of people promise a lot of things that you find out later they can't do, but they already have your money, so. Yeah, like, I think you've developed a really good career on YouTube. Like, why why the hell would you compromise the kind of money you're making now with this kind of bullshit? Yeah, I mean, uh, the whole thing was that we spent this much developing the site. But the site never got to the point where it was actually what it needed to be. And even, like, uh, we kind of, like... Uh we kind of modeled it out a little bit after, like, uh, it wasn't a total clone or anything, but, like, that guy with the glasses, but even they started experiencing, a lot of these sites that did kind of do this, ne or in this niche, experienced huge traffic uh, drop-offs. The other thing was Oh, yeah, he's, he's gone had... down, like, a lot since, in the yeah, last I mean, few years. Even they're just reliant on YouTube now as well. Yeah, yeah YouTube yeah. Was like, I used to watch him exclusively on the website, and it's just, it used to get heavy traffic and comments and stuff, he's, and you just don't see that. Honestly, he's pretty awesome, and I think we're all well, he fans. He is, I love him, I, I love yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, well, one day we get him on our show, Ben. I don't know. I watch him, I like uh, angry videos. We'll try to convince him. Everyone go try to harass the nostalgia critic to be on our show. Oh God! Not not even yes. the floor. Tell, tell him it'll be thorough ball washing. We'll tell him we'll suck his dick. <laughs> tell him we will suck his fucking dick. And girl does rant. We'll we'll suck his dick too. Absolutely, we can she suck will. it together at once. Sweet. Yeah, it'll be a bonding experience, you guys. Yeah. We'll, yeah. You me and girls does right. We'll, yeah. I can suck its cock. It's fine. Scotty, you take the left ball. Ben, you take the right ball. All right, well, me and girl does rant. We'll handle we the throw shaft. it together like a giant yeah. little pendulum. Like, boo, yeah, boo. it'll be fun. We'll make it. Really, we'll light some candles. We'll use some nice uh, lube. You know, we'll make it really special and romantic. But the thing is, I, the thing I hate most about this Brett Keen shit is he makes it sound like we raised these money. We never made these sites. The fact is that every single one of these projects. We were committed to making them work. And in the case of free speech vids and not productive, which were really kind of the same project and the same vision trying to manifest in two different ways. Yeah. I mean, we must have collectively on those two projects, we must have devoted like three or four years of our lives. So, I mean, like we worked hard. It just we failed, you know, and that's yeah, why I'm never going to I'm never going to be like, I'm going to build this revolutionary that's why, website. That's why with DP, when we make the DP website, we're going to hire a local developer, someone we can hold accountable. Yeah. And that's someone that be, can't ignore our phone calls. That's not some crazy concept site either. That's pretty much just an easy. No. Easy, yeah. You know, this is for our podcast, just for yeah. our podcast. A typical podcast. Like, I'd never website. hire anybody uh, online that I didn't have just some kind of rapport with beforehand because it's so easy to get screwed now. 
Yeah, and I've had so many people come to me and make me offers about doing free web development. And we're just like, no thanks. Universally, that's a bad idea. The results never seem to be good from doing that. In my experience. Yeah. Maybe other people have had better luck. We actually uh, worked with another guy who was like, I'm going to develop the site for free, and we're very skeptical of him. We're just like, okay, you know, I have all these credentials, I'll do it. And then just you got to a certain point, and it's just like, oh, I have all these problems suddenly. And then we're just like, okay, this is this is the end of us trying to do free websites. This was just for TJ's personal, like TJ for him to have a personal website. And it was just like, oh, this is just a nightmare. And then it just pretty much has been on the back burner ever since then. Anyway, let's see more of Brett Keen. $17,287 to get another site that was supposed to be exactly like the Atheist Scum United. Oh, that he- you mean free speech vids, not Atheist God, he can't even keep his shit straight. You don't even know, you can't even, you don't even know the names of these websites, and yet you're trying to do this. Atheist Scum United also, has nothing to do with a website. Also, we've admitted on this, like we tried. done his research. He's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking. Yeah, about. we tr- these projects we tried, we failed. We failed. We've never we've never sat there and said, "Oh, it was a success," but it was just a, a strange kind of success where we failed, but we still succeeded. We've owned up the to the fact. The problem is you never involved Brett. That's the problem. Uh, why would we? We've owned up to the fact that it didn't succeed. What what more does he want? Oh, it was a scam. It wasn't a scam. Actually, you know the fucked up <laughs> thing is Brett Keen was on Free Speech Vids, so he should really remember the name of that. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. That's true. He should really remember the name of it was not Atheist Scum United, but FreeSpeechVids.com. Well, I mean, he has well, you guys should have something. just asked him to moderate the entire website, and maybe it wouldn't have failed. Yeah, true. That's true. He is so competent. You know, look he at is. how he's managed his own YouTube career so well site in which atheists could go post their videos, not have to worry about getting flagged or reported completely about atheism. No, no it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You don't even understand. What? what? That's it was not about entertainment con- mostly. Not That's productive. Not it was geared towards like entertainment and review- film reviews. In fact, the, initially the whole, pr- the, the whole plan was I was going to take Adam Johnson, my uh, well friend at the time, not really friends anymore, but he, you guys might know him as yourmoviesucks.com yep. or .net oh, or something oh, like I that. Oh, I love him. Yeah. And he was going, I was basically going to kind of position him as like the nostalgia critic of notproductive.com. That was the plan. But he backed out because he didn't like the other content producers. I'm like, what the fuck do the other content producers matter? The whole site is basically going to be built around you. This was after I'd shouted him out several times and got him like 20,000 subscribers. And then he's like, no, I'm not going to do it. So that was basically the end of our friendship. But the whole point is that the whole point is that this site was supposed to be geared towards entertainment. It had nothing to do with atheism. I mean, can you say anything that's factually accurate, Brett? Are you incapable of telling the truth I mean, even all accidentally? All you have to do is visit the Not Productive channel now and to see the kind of content there and how it would have reflected to the kind of website you wanted, the kind of content you were looking for. So, you know, right. one click away to, to verify what you wanted. Yeah, it has nothing to do with atheism. It has nothing to do with being exclusive atheist content. That's total bullshit. I mean, he didn't even watch the. He must not have even watched or read anything else on this page, other than the amount of money that was raised. So the amazing atheist, he does this, and literally after he gets the money, within two weeks, he's showing off a new house. He's showing off a new car. <laughs> what? And then not- you bought a new house, man. That's <laughs> yeah. I bought that with that seventeen thousand. I bought a new house, house and, and a new, new car. <laughs> Is uh, breaking you know, downtown in beautiful downtown down. Detroit. Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, a lot of people accuse me of using that money uh, for my wedding. You bought like fifty thousand bananas to show up. Yeah, your okay, ass. and they're all up there right now. Yeah. To- total every, nonsense. Because- every dollar of that was spent. In fact, we spent our own money trying to develop the site. Even after that, seventeen thousand two hundred eighty-seven dollars. Yes, was gone. we went through several developers, including a company that really had a very good reputation, and yet still was not able to deliver. And in fact, was slow as molasses on the project. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know what I mean. We we fucking. We tried our best. You know what? The fact is that unless we ourselves were web developers, there was no way these projects were going to work. And we just didn't understand that at the time. You know, we thought we could. You know what? You just need to you need to put up like 25 grand of your own money 
and then send Brett evidence of all of this, and he'll put up <laughs> twenty five grand of his own money. And you know, if if he is convinced, then I'm sure he's oh, honest wow. enough. To, yeah. Brett Keen does not Kinky have twenty five thousand. Maybe maybe, maybe twenty five cents. If, if it's twenty five cents, sounds like Kinky Joe to me. Speaking of uh, going on a trip, let's take a let's take a trip into Brett Keenland. Nice. Brett Keenland. Yeah, it's gonna be. We're gonna have fun. This is gonna be what a fun, kind of a, what a kind fun of a little trip. What kind of situation is this gonna be? A situation with an individual. An individual. S- some kind of individual having some kind yeah. of situation happen to them. Topics That's and ex- issues. Topics and issues. Yeah. Topics. Do you want to play the song? Uh, we could play a little for the intro. Yeah, the yeah. Intro so thing. yeah, Brett Keen has an intro segment that we'll play. Um. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Brett Keen. Brett Keen, you're not as slick as you think. Caught in a lie, fuck knows how many times. Brett Keen, you're not as slick as you think. Except for the sleaze that secretes on your teeth. motherfucking keen and it, it's it's so true though like it's not it's it, it's such a well produced song about Brett Keen it's just really strange it's sad almost that that effort went into even insulting him you know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know dude the brettster is worth it in my opinion the brettster the brettster well the stallion we're about to watch Brett Keen he challenged throw, yeah, destroy he's throw down no it's not a, he's not destroying me he's, he's throwing a, he down he destroyed you well, that's not the no, Scotty. He's not trying to destroy me. Even he's throwing down the gauntlet. He's challenging me, Scotty. Okay, well, oh, look, he's shit. already destroyed you several times. Sure, you have to admit. Sure, of course. All right, well, fine. I'll, okay, I'll give Who you that. Who can compete with the monstrous he, intellect? He's challenging you to a debate, which he is going to wipe the floor with you. I mean, he, he even said that we can't be a part of the debate. He's like, you know what? Well, let, well let's, why don't we just watch yeah. the fucking video instead of having you tell us about it? I'll, you know what? Maybe I'll do a better job in the fucking video. Well, you probably would, but that's besides the point. Fine, TJ. Fine. From God Keen. Yeah. Hello, Here we go. After 20 my minutes of that Brett shit. Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Hello. always have new streams and videos up there every single have, day. Uh, have you ever uh, checked <laughs> out Games You Love, Paul? Just out of curiosity's uh, yeah, well, sake. Being the Brett Keen historian that I am, I have <laughs> delved into the dank, stanky, musky world that is Games You Love here on YouTube. Ugh. <laughs> uh. What and do you think? Uh, it is just literally Brett sounding like he took five Valium <laughs> playing this choppy footage of a shitty MMO that nobody's playing anymore and rambling on and on about situations and individuals. And then he and then he does the most salacious like not that, you know, everybody's guilty of this, but sure. every one of his videos is the most salacious picture that he can possibly get away with. Of some chick with her legs spread and her hand just barely covering her vulva. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he's, a, he's a Christian. This is the content you could expect from this video. That you turn on, it's like, oh, it's just an old fat white guy. Just as good. Just as <laughs> yeah. Good. So, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a manatee with glasses. A it is what manatee. you would expect. Why does he do his videos from this angle? I'm, I'm glad that Scotty is, like, covering up most of his face for the audience. So at least they don't have to be subjected to it. It's like he's trying to show off his man tits or something. Well, he can't. He's laying in bed. Like, he can't even be fucked to get out of bed for videos anymore. He just, like, literally rolls over. He's like, yeah. hey, ah, hey. Ah. In the future, it's going to be him in his bed laying back. It's just going to be, like, a webcam over the bed. Just like, hey, guys. Pretty soon, he's not even going to bother waking up to do videos anymore. <laughs> he's going to tell his wife, if I start mumbling in my sleep, turn the camera on. He's just, yeah, he's just going to capture his insane dream rambling. Mmm, <laughs> donuts. I think oh it would be an improvement. God. It Breaking would be an improvement. Cheese, whoever put you together was a genius situation. <laughs> awesome. Answer 
check out Brett Keen Superstar oh. and the God TV Radio International channel. No one's doing that. Where we do live broadcasts, everyone is welcome. Everyone anyone is. Can come in, no matter if you're a non believer or a God believer. Non believer or God believer. So anyone can come in. So if your account is Brett Keen should die of AIDS, you're welcome. Yes, everyone He also should there. amend he should amend that. I went through a little phase where my friend Jason and I were uh, popping into Brett Keen's hangouts when we would. He actually mentions that in this video. Oh, does he really? Awesome. Yep. All right, go ahead. If you I feel like spoiled. supporting me, I have a PayPal donation and a Patreon account okay, so where you can offer support. And Patreon. Today I've decided that I'm going to Just call out that. the amazing atheist. Oh, fuck. <gasps> He's You've done, been done, called done, the fuck uh, out, uh, TJ. Uh, uh, dun, dun, dun. He's never done that before. <laughs> I want to be on the Drunken Peasant Show, but I don't want Scotty or the Ray Mysterio-looking asshole on the broadcast with me. Why not? Okay, so you want to be on the Drunken Peasants show, <laughs> but without the Drunken Peasants there. Brett, Brett, Just one of them. Scared, one Brett? third of them there. So you scared, Brett? Come on. Why are you, Brett, when you came on the show, you brought a fucking entourage. Can you really not just come on by yourself without needing to make these stipulations? Like, why would we roll out some red carpet for your ass anyway? It's not like you're going to draw people in like, holy shit, Brett Keen's on this one. We can't miss it. He's going to draw 50,000 views, TJ. Come on. 50,000 people are going to tune in because Brett Keen's going to be on the show. Everyone's like, oh, shit, Brett Keen. Mark Brett on your Keen. calendar. <laughs> I can't wait. It's Sunday, Brett. Sunday, Sunday. You must see Brett Keen live on the Drunken Peasants podcast. Uh, I've been given permission by Ben and Scotty to accept this if yes. I so choose. Uh, let's, I'll think about it as I watch the rest of this, whether I actually okay. want to do this or okay. not. Yeah, let him make his argument, you know. And if you have to have them in the background because you can't run the broadcast on your own, you're dumb, Tony, then you have to make it to where they don't individual. walk. Just I me mean, and you. Just you and I discuss just some you of and the I. history of what happened Summer on YouTube. Slam. You and I discuss some of the many different things that you have done to the atheist community, such as your scams and your frauds. The four wait, websites. Wait, wait, wait. If it's going to be a debate, it's not just going to be TJ's on trial, Brett. It's going to be you're going to okay. If TJ actually does accept this, I'm sure he's going to actually present shit about you as well. You know, yeah, like uh, it's not just going to be oh, TJ has to defend everything he's done to you, and you're you're beyond reproach. Like he's the fucking Spanish Inquisition or some shit. I have no problem defending anything, but I mean, like, yeah, I'm I'm also going to bring up the stuff that you have done, Brett. I'm going to bring up all of your plagiarism. I'm going to bring up all of the people that you've befriended only to backstab them. I'm going to bring up um, the fact that you've uh, repeatedly e-begged for money as well, which I don't know how you're going to sit there and criticize me for taking donations when you fucking opened this video by asking for PayPal donations for fuck's sake. And go to his Patreon. Yeah, yeah, buy, my, buy my buy my five dollars video, and I'll buy my wife a new modest dress situation. <laughs> a modest no dress for situation. my missus. Um, yeah, I'm gonna mention the fact that you have uh, repeatedly lied and distorted history. The fact that you. In fact, even in this video, we'll just we'll we'll fucking point out some of the lies that are just. Yeah, in this how one. many accounts have you lost again, Brent? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, remember that time that you uh, lost your original account because you uh, doxed somebody? You basically published their name and address because you had a personal issue yeah. with them? Yeah, how many TOS and community guidelines uh, account removals has he had? Uh, tons. Yeah, why, do you think you're, are you, are you under the impression that your channels keep getting removed because of some concerted effort to get rid of you or something? Yes, yes. I assure you, no one cares that much. Day. Back in the day when he was getting banned, when he was still an atheist situation, he uh, he was it was the Christians that were false flagging him off of YouTube. Now that he's a God believer situation, it's all the atheists that are false flagging him off of YouTube. It never ends with Brett. He's the perpetual, endless fucking victim. <laughs> I don't know how you could ever not love this guy. He is so unaware of his own fucking absurdity. The existence of him is a fucking standing refutation to humanity's worth. (laughs) Standing refutation to humanity's worth. I love that. And on this side, we have Brett Keen. It's like, (laughs) oh, shit. 
We're gonna need some really good fucking arguments to convince. Uh, but you can't help. I, I can't. I can't. Or help aliens but or love whatever. The fucking guy. I can't. I want to see. The guy. I want to see Brett Keen just like sitting in a chair, eating a bucket of fried chicken while Ode to Joy plays. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell him we'll, we'll buy you a bucket of fried chicken as yeah. long as we can just film it. You, and you, situation. And you have to eat it all the whole bucket. Yeah, make that a Patreon goal. I'll put a buck in on that. <laughs> okay. You promised people on YouTube, such as theamazingatheist.com. Theamazingatheist.com was a website. It was hacked by a guy named Kabandi, and then the webmaster who designed the site mysteriously vanished for like six months. Non-productive. Not, not productive. Not productive. N O T. Not N O T. Not productive. And TJ's already talked about that, and he's admitted we talked about it last the mistakes night. that Look, were made. I've done. Yeah, I did some projects that failed. I tried to develop several websites that, you know. Unless you, I was a web developer myself, I probably shouldn't have fucking tried to do that. Yeah, precisely. And I see now that I was wrong. I see now that I was being naive. And that's why I'm never going to try to do that again. Because obviously, it's just not what I'm good at. I'm never going to again try to make some sort of uh, site that's going to compete with YouTube. It's a pipe dream. I, I never realized mind. it then. I never did. Stupid me. But it was not a scam. And never mind the fact that, that, that this whole... That, that umbrage is being taken with you by a man who literally pimped his children for donations. Like, he literally <laughs> paraded his children. He's, he's always saying, people are attacking my family. The only reason anybody knows anything about his family is because he's repeatedly paraded them in front of the camera... And made them do little bits for his fucking videos when he's begging for money. <laughs> yeah, well, he he also has his wife in his videos. Yeah, at in the end of video. every video, there's Doran yep. Keene. The ASU, Atheist Scum United, and Freedom of Speech vids. You've gotten thousands of dollars off of these websites that you never refunded anybody on. Okay. Refunded what? You don't. Why? There's no. How? How can I refund money that was spent? It doesn't make any sense. They gave me money to build these websites. I built the websites, and the websites failed. There's no. I can't. What am I supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to like go to the like national international internet bank and turn in my website and say, excuse me. I'd like to, uh, I, you know, this website isn't working for me. I'd like to just cash this back in and get all the money back from the developers and shit who worked on it. That'd be nice. Thanks. And then I just get the money back, and then I go and give it back to the people. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 those were bad business ventures, okay? If you invest in a business that fucking flounders, you don't get a refund, there's no money to be refunded. It was all spent on the development of the fucking websites. This is pretty fucking obvious shit. I can't believe I have to honestly sit here and explain it to you. I'd like to talk to you about the Katrina thing, too. It was one of the <laughs> few times you've ever done a charity on YouTube. Okay, I've done tons of charity shit on YouTube. When, when did Brett Keen do a charity thing? Never that I can recall. Has Brett Keen ever done? You're a Brett Keen historian. Have you ever seen Brett Keen do a charity drive I mean, or anything and, like that? And, unless you think him quote end quote <laughs> losing his house is a charity situation, then no. I've never seen Brett Keen do a single fucking. Well, actually, he, he supposedly tried to help out some girl that a, a trans yeah. woman that he's friends yes. with. Like, so I'm sure he's probably done one or two things. But I mean, come on, like. What's his problem with your fucking charity work for Katrina? Uh, listen to it. He doesn't even know what it was even about. It's He's totally funny. talking out of his ass. Because it was the, you did the pets, right? <laughs> right. Right. Yep, but golf pets. Well, listen to his listen to his thing. Okay. And you stated that you were going to give money to the people of Katrina. No. no. Wrong. Nope. Animals affected you by Katrina. You don't even understand. Okay. We did a fundraiser for, like, displaced pets and shit. Pets and animals that were displaced by Katrina. Oh, you know what? I'm actually confused. Here. We did a thing. Um, it was for the oil spill. You did something. It? You did something with uh, healthy addict, right? Yeah. You did like a charity 
thing with yeah. her. Okay, oh yeah, well, that's, that's a true. separate thing. That's so we actually thing. did we actually did uh, two Katrina charities. Yeah. And yeah, we did we did one for uh, oil spill cleanup yeah. shit, and we did one for the Gulf Pets, and I think we did something for some equine uh, stuff as well. Um, and you and you, TJ, like me, have probably done a couple at least like appearances on like live streams for yeah. uh, Doctors I did Without one, Borders. Yeah, I did one for Apes, Doctors Without Borders for Apes DP Relief. Jones back in the wow. day. Wow, God, that was a long time ago. I did. Yeah. Uh, I did. I, I, me and my audience raised over twelve thousand dollars to build wells in Africa to help uh, impoverished uh, Africans get access, regular access listen, to clean drinking water. Listen to what he says next, though. It's like <laughs> okay, but here's the reason why he he sus, uh, he's suspicious. But it was your own PayPal link. You didn't give a link that actually went to Red Cross or some kind of charity site. The money went directly to you, and you promised that you would offer some receipts, some proof that it actually went to the different companies. I would also like to... So because it went to my PayPal, and I don't, know, I don't really remember the thing we did with Healthy Addict that well, but in, at least in the Gulf Pets thing, yeah, it did go to our personal PayPal, but we even had the spokesperson for Gulf Pets... <laughs> on the fucking show. Do you really think, like, we're going to, like, pull They were in over? on it. They yeah, were like, in Gulf on Pets it. Pets was in on it, too. Uh, we just told them we were raising money for them when actually we weren't. Well, it was not, you and, and not that mention, guy. Not to mention getting a PayPal that is verified so that you... I just recently fucking had to do it. And it takes, like, four fucking days to get all the shit verified so that you can send and receive money. So if somebody's already got one that's verified and ready to go and you're trying to put on a charity thing, it's one less thing you have to worry about. Oh, we actually uh, got flagged yeah. by PayPal when that happened. I remember that. We had to actually have the uh, head of that, uh, I think it was the ASPCA of New Orleans or whatever, uh, send them a letter. Yeah, we did. That's true. I remember that now. Uh, yeah, we actually had to get the... Um, ASPCA to send a um, to send a letter that was you know basically confirming that the money was actually raised for them before PayPal would release the money. Um, but you know Brett Keen doesn't. I mean Brett Keen doesn't know about any of that. How could he know any about any of that? That wasn't even public information. But to just say that because it went to our own personal PayPal, that obviously we just like took it, <coughs> fucking spent it or something. Obviously, we did, you know. But that's why every time we went done, to Vegas, it's because of people making accusations like that. That when we we did the water charity, we fucking had them go directly to their website. But you know, a lot of websites didn't have that at the time, and now there's websites where you can go that you can raise money for any charity you want, and it just you you don't even see the money; it just goes through the website. But that didn't exist at the time. <coughs> there was no well, other that, way to do it, you know. There, and the I mean, AM, and I mean, just to keep just to keep this in perspective. All of this critique is let's let's look at another Brett Keen foible. All of this critique is coming from a dude who made a video begging for three thousand dollars to save his home, which he claimed was he claims was being foreclosed on by a shady landlord that he was renting from. Yeah, I don't buy. He needed it. three grand to bail him out. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, whatever. You want to try and get people to donate to you? That's fine. He two days after he uploaded that video, he uploaded a video going through in detail. His fucking Amazon wish list. And <laughs> guess how much that owl added up to? It was about three grand worth of camcorders <laughs> Shocking. and TVs and a new laptop <laughs> and World of Warcraft subscription time. Just real basic human needs, you know, like <laughs> shelter and food and uh, uh, fucking... Uh, uh, f- fucking uh, an iPod with, that was pink for his, his daughter... I mean, come on, dude. You can't live without those items. <laughs> can't live with them. Can't live without them. I don't have the, the new iPhone. Brett, I, I, I'm dying. So basically, is Brett Keen's real problem with me in all these supposed scams I run that I'm just better at it than he is? <laughs> it must be. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't have look, I don't have to fucking run some shitty scam to get seventeen thousand dollars for a website. All right. I make enough money doing The Amazing Atheist and now doing The Drunken Peasants. I don't, like, the $17,000 is not, like, 
the be all end all for me. I would not jeopardize my career over the matter of 17,000 fucking dollars. All right. We built the fucking website. Plenty of people can tell you that they were actually on the website and saw it because it was up for a few months. In fact, all of these websites that he's referencing did exist, except for the ASU. There was no ASU website. I think there might have been some forums or something at some point. But that was never supposed to be a website. That was supposed to be a group. I mean, like, it's almost like he's just incapable of saying anything that's factually accurate. Well, that's the fucking Brett Keen MO, is to find out the, the like the broadest possible... Uh, interpretation of something that someone did and then just make up the fucking fine details as you go along. That's the Brett Keen MO. It's That's clearly it. what he's doing. He's made several mistakes. He called not productive, non-productive. He mischaracterizes the nature of why we raise money for after Katrina. He doesn't know the facts. He doesn't know the details. It's so fucking obvious. It's patently obvious. And yet he's purporting to be some kind of expert on these matters. He it's is an absurd. Expert. He's an expert individual. <laughs> Come on, TJ. I'm an expert situation. When you're cross-examined by Brett Keane, you're going to fucking fold under pressure. You're going to be like, Brett, you're on a, it's on a scam. Please forgive <laughs> Please, Brett. You revealed my fraud. You know, you know, it's best it's, it's best to look at Brett Keane as just a big, fat, smelly, lovable <laughs> scum fuck uh, <laughs> that you wouldn't trust with a buffalo fucking nickel. I wouldn't trust Brett Keane. I wouldn't turn my back on Brett Keane if I was in the same room with him for longer than a second because he'd try and lift my fucking wallet. He's unscrupulous. <laughs> He's a piece of shit, but he's lovable at the same time. You know, he's just a big. He yeah, has no a idea. A, you know, if there was a, if there was like a, a sitcom or something starring Brett Keen, I'd watch it. Absolutely. Well, there is. It's called Games You Love. <laughs> Games You Love. No, right. no, because see, that's too. It, when Brett tries to control the narrative, that that's kind of like, eh, you know, you can see through it, but it's not as funny as no, if fuck it was that. like we, we need the an Brett outside Keen, observer. We need the Brett Keen reality show. That was consciously portraying him in a negative yet accurate light. <laughs> right, right. Like, they can show his e-bagging operations and shit, like, okay, I'm gonna say my daughter's real sick, so I need, I'm gonna need some yeah. money now, you know, whatever bullshit he can come Well, no, the daughter's, the daughter's Seriously. illness was, was the excuse he used one time to explain away his domestic violence charges. That was one of the stories that he oh, told. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. so this there was, gets better. We, okay. we should keep going. All right. How you told a woman that you'd like to beat her up and then rape her. Right. Already, I understand that some of your TJ bananas have come over and justified and stated that since then you've apologized for it. But I'm curious if it was your own mother or if it was Holly or your sister, if you've got one, if they had been beaten up and raped, what have you told them that you want them to relive the pain over and over? Would you have asked them if it was, if they got it up the ass? What have you told your own parents that you wanted them to drown in their own rape semen? I'm just it's curious. The same, bull, the same bullshit. Okay, you brought this shit up during the fucking show, and I fucking addressed it to you, and you acted at that time as though you were satisfied with what I it, said to you. Okay, but it's a bullshit emotional appeal argument. It's like saying, you know, okay, you're, you're against the death penalty, but what if your family was brutally murdered? Would then you support it? It's like, no, because it's an ideal or principle. It's nothing to do with just some emotional reaction. Like, oh, yeah, you know what? Now, now that you've made an emotional appeal reaction, I have to act in this irrational way. Yeah, I said some really stupid shit. When I was pissed off during a fucking huge, gigantic flame war on the internet. Yeah, in which people were attacking you and saying, like, die, bitch, and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, uh, I, was, I was getting personally insulted. I fucking personally insulted back. I went too far. I admit it. I've apologized several dozen fucking times. Not only that, you've had a chance to confront me about this issue, and I addressed you directly, and you fucking sat there and acted as though, okay, you accept what I've said on the matter. But here you are, bringing it up for the 12 trillionth time. Why is that exactly? He did the same thing with the recording that he scrambled and somehow made it sound like you. It doesn't even really sound I like know. DJ. It's total bullshit. 
And even and even uh, uh, as well, like when you confronted like you about that, we said we brought up the recording. He's like, "Oh, okay, I guess it wasn't you." Brett, and, and you're a nigger. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe it was Paul. You know, uh, what was that? Yeah. Descramble that, Brett. Get to the bottom <laughs> of that mystery. <laughs> Uh, Paul's ego threatened my family. And of course, my other question for you is, if you care about people and you actually have what you refer to as atheist morality, then why did you let your own friend sit there and get drunk? And then almost blow his brains out on a was live also broadcast. Drunk. Yeah. And, and, why, well, and Galen I'm, was plying them is, with lots of alcohol. Is fucking TJ going to tackle the guy with the loaded gun who's yeah, like obviously is, this unstable? Is, this he also is pointed the story, a gun at TJ's head. So this if is the story somebody, of a man who's literally is the story of a man who's literally never been in the presence of an irrational person with a gun. He has no idea what actually happens when somebody pulls a piece out and you go, "Okay, well now this is this might I might die here." Because yeah, this yeah. person is waving a fucking gun around. He has no idea how to handle that type of situation. The way that you handle that is not to tackle the fucking guy. Yeah. You attempt to reason with the fucking guy and get him to put the fucking gun down. Which yeah, is exactly not, to my to my recollection what you did. Yeah, and not only that though, I was drunk at the same time. Right. I mean, we were both drinking together, then all of a sudden he's waving a gun around. I mean, I'm not and not, cut himself. Yeah, I'm not in my best state of mind either at that point. But, you know, uh, eventually it, it was I mean, he was pointing the gun at himself, but eventually he was to fucking turning it on me as well. And, you know, honestly, while the show was still going, I thought he was just being theatrical. I really didn't know that he was being serious about this whole gun shit until the show ended and he was still acting crazy. Like, I thought he was hamming it up for the camera because, you know, he was a YouTuber like me. And I, I can definitely see how I get carried away with the performance. By the way, sometimes. by the way, speaking of fake Sagan and Brett Keen, didn't Brett Keen send a fake email to himself saying it was from fake Sagan. Yes. Oh yeah, he did. He did do that. Okay. That was where the whole water headed babies comment came from, (laughs) (laughs) you know? And the thing is, I know case well enough to know that if case had said that case would have owned up to it. He wouldn't have been like, no, I didn't say that. And this was not years later. He was accused. I mean, it was like, Brett Keen put this out, and Brett and Fake Sagan made a video immediately just refuting it and explaining why it was bullshit. And that was pretty much the first time I started to question Brett Keen's narrative and, and ask myself, you know, I don't think I turned on Brett at that time, but it was definitely the first time I was like, well, maybe this guy is not, you know, yeah. as scrupulous it was, as I it think. It was the first whiff for me that something was rotten in Denmark on Brett's channel. That there was, was something for stinky. you too, huh? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Was was that fake Sagan drama that was just so it seems so stupid and pointless. And like you said, knowing case, he would never he would if, if he had called Brett's kids waterheaded idiots or whatever the fuck, like he would have just said, Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, he would not have denied it afterwards. No way. And he would have just said it in a fucking video. I mean, like we're talking about a guy, fake Sagan, who who's like bread and butter on YouTube at the time was making YouTube drama and ponage videos against people. Yep. So he would have had no problem saying that to Brett Keen's fat fucking face, or at least uh, on the internet equivalent of doing that. What kind yep. of human being does that? You've accused me of a lot of things. For an entire year on YouTube, whenever I was just starting out and you were starting out, you spent a year accusing me of all kinds of shit, and I ended up... Uh, That's not true. I was your fan for probably the first year you were making YouTube videos. Yep. This is that. This is that. Once again, this is Brett Keen. Now it's time for him to, for the for the literally like probably the fifteenth time, completely you know, revise his internet history. It's funny because months ago, not even a whole year ago, he made a video basically being like the amazing atheist was a fan of mine. Yeah, and he like played a clip of TJ talking about how he was a fan. Now you had it out for him from the yeah. Time. Now he's now he's claiming from the start that you were just firing shots at him and he was refuting <laughs> allegation after allegation situation <laughs> oh my god he's just he's such a liar it's so he is. amazing he that is. he can like do you not like do you not understand that other people can remember what happened 
Or I'm like, do, do you think that? I'm like, he, I almost feel like he must just believe his own bullshit. He has to. Like, I, I, I can't fathom of him actually. But I mean, on another, on, on the other hand, I mean, I know he, 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 he must know that he's lying at least sometimes because. He this knows. Really he knows for a fact. He's Brett. Brett is most like. I mean, I'm not going to try an armchair psychologist. The guy. But Just it would not shock it. me if he was a pathological liar. In he addition is to some a other pathological liar. Disorder. I will armchair psycho- psychologist. I don't think you have to be he an armchair psychologist, dude. Liar. Just look at the fucking evidence. It's overwhelming. He doesn't I mean, believe like, his own shit. He knows he, full well he's lying. He relies on plausible deniability or what he considers to be plausible deniability <laughs> because all of his old videos are fucking gone because he's gotten banned hmm. for dock dropping and fucking abusing the vote system on YouTube over and over. He's lost channel after fucking channel for repeated or severe violations of YouTube's code of conduct. And he blames it all on some fucking nebulous cabal of people that just have it out for <laughs> Brett's big fat white Missourian ass. Like Meanwhile, nobody cares. The Legion of atheism. The Legion of we hate Brett. Cause you know, it doesn't matter what his religion is at the time. You know, everyone, there's just, we like, will drive all God believers off YouTube. <laughs> Starting with the greatest of all Brett Keen. <laughs> yeah. The top of the fucking mountain, Brett Keen. Exposing you from one of your websites that you did. And then you and your friends proceeded to try to make me look like a complete asshole for the last 10 years. It's, it, it, there was a matter of trying. A yeah. couple of years ago, whenever I became a God believer, I decided that I was going to simply forgive you and forget everything that you had done. What happened to that? I ignored you. Yeah. I stopped I mean, making any, any kind on. of videos or responses to your accusations and nonsense you'd done towards me. But then you proceeded to make a drunken peasants show where you told your fan base to go over and encourage me to come on to your show, which I did. And I brought G-Man, Nephilim Free, and True Empiricism with the intention of actually having a serious, chilled out conversation with you. But you didn't really fucking talk. And I'm causing all kinds of heat. Just simply talking to you, and I was very calm, you very relaxed yourself, in the conversation. Right? In fact, I didn't do much talking at all. Yeah, you did. What a fucking shock. Yeah, you brought a bunch of other people on to talk for you. That's the thing I don't understand. How can you honestly sit there and demand that Scotty and Ben not participate in the show that they too are members of so that we, you and me can have our one-on-one hashing it out? Mono, mono. But when you had the chance to come on this show by yourself... You felt the need to bring the Brett Keen posse along. Here are my proxies. I'm scared. And, you know, yeah, you did say things in a calm voice, but you actually, if you go back and watch those, it's pretty obvious from everything you say that you are stirring the drama pot every single time you speak. (laughs) Yeah, you know, it's funny. It's funny. I I know how pissed Brett is, too, that out of that little uh, debate show, the person that really made out like a bandit was G-Man. Yeah, like, there and are he's people, been there bashing are people that, G-Man. Oh, of course he has, because G-Man's more popular than he is. Like, there are actually <laughs> people that will stick up for G-Man. You know what I mean? In some way, shape, or form. Or at least like him. Hell, I like G-Man. Yeah, me too. I'd, have a, I'd totally have a beer with G-Man. Sweet. Yeah, me too. But then, after the conversation, after I treated you with respect, and I treated your show with seriousness. You went on to making more videos of me afterwards. The end of Brett Keen, where you and Paul's ego sit there and insult the shit out of me, talk shit about my family, <laughs> and you got extremely awesome. personal with me. Do you remember the shit we talked about his family? No. We were being 100% facetious. It was blatantly obvious that we were being 100% facetious. We all but we, we pretty much stated that we were being sarcastic and we were only insulting his family as a joke against him for constantly using that line because he thinks that I guess he just feels like if he if he says that someone attacks his family that he's just going to get more sympathy from people who really He's don't always understand hiding what's behind going something. On. He's always hiding behind something. It, it, it's never Brett Keen. It's always, don't attack my poor little family. 
Come on, give me a, a fucking, fucking break. Idiot. No one gives a fuck about Brett Keen's family no. at all. Every time no. we've attacked your family, it's a fucking joke, you idiot. God, how fucking stupid are you? You need shit like, so, like fucking laid out to you with a fucking diagram. It's like, <laughs> this is how it works, Brett. <laughs> oh, the real question is not this how is just stupid part of is Brett he? Keen's go-to fucking arsenal. Like, it's got, it, and that's why. he needs. He's the little boy who cried wolf. He said, stop attacking my family, and even tried to pin it on other people like he did with Fake Sagan, that, that they attacked his family. <laughs> He's done it so many fucking times that when he says it, people just laugh in his fucking face like we're doing now. Nobody takes you seriously, Brett. Nothing that comes out of your mouth holds any weight, intellectually or otherwise. And you know, you know who else? You know who sucks even worse than Brett Keen, though? His family. <laughs> I would say that his family, I mean, his kids. They're fucking garbage. Water-headed idiots. Water-headed fucking garbage. Retard kids. And that wife of his, oh my God, is <laughs> she fling, a piece Fling of them shit. out into space. I would say, you know, I can understand why Brett into a volcano. is such an asshole when he's got a family like that, you know? Because they're just horrible. They're horrible. Right. So there you go, Brett. I attacked your family yet again. Keep going. Starting up the flame war again. And then what do you do? Your <laughs> fan base is wondering, why is it that I've made perhaps 10 videos about you? They're not exclusively Since about Duncan you, you peasants. fucking idiot. Well, let's take... Yeah, um, you see these videos? Well, Look here. Yeah. Look at all these damn things. When I type in my name, you are using my name. See? I'm searching for my name through your videos, yeah, yeah. and I am mentioned in every single damn one of these videos. Okay. Paul's you were mentioned in the Drunken Peasants Cookout? I don't think you were. Um, no. No, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with the concept of this show, but we actually watch a lot of videos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we respond to a lot of videos. And so all those videos that you're in the title of, um, it's because we watched uh, one video of yours. And usually, I mean, obviously this time we're spending a little bit more time on you than we usually do. Yeah. But usually you make up about, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes of a, third, of a three hour video. And at this point, we're all you've got going, Brett. Yeah. You're the only yeah. reason anyone pays attention to you. Yeah, I mean, like, frankly, you should be thanking us, if anything. You've got I mean, Jenny McDermott. I, I, I get on your hands and fucking knees. <laughs> He's got Jenny McDermott as his ally now. It's like, oh. okay. Oh, I think, scary. honestly, like, he's he needs, a, he needs a fucking lesson in the slings and arrows of public discourse. Like, welcome to what happens when you put your fucking ideas out in a public marketplace and... Whoopsie daisy, your ideas are fucking stupid or ignorant or completely patently provably false. Like, this is what happens, Brett. You become a fucking pariah and people poke fun at you. That's why your name comes up on a bunch of drunken peasants episodes. We're and milking the tit, we're milking your teats. <laughs> For all that creamy Brett Keen cream cheese. Oh, a string. The thing is, too, like, yeah, I mean, we'll make fun of Brett Keen because it's impossible not to. But the man looks like a fucking manatee. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, at the same time, we actually go in his videos and refute his points. If you watch his videos about me, it's not him character assassination. It's not him going and looking at arguments I made or ideas I've had and criticizing those. It's 100% character assassination across the board. It's it's, and it's uh -oh, almost TG. all completely disingenuous and dishonest. Yeah. It's always a oh, oh, look at this clip of TJ saying the N word. No context, no He's fucking racist. Nothing else. Just all oh, TJ said the word nigger. He must be a hardcore <laughs> racist. TJ is a clan He's going to get into that, actually. Zico, he ended up coming into my live hangout, even though you claimed that you oh, would show up. Oh, you. Yeah. And he brought a guy with him who apparently some people think is related to you. And this what? guy. Okay, first yeah, of all, let me, let me, let me, let me pause butt. this immediately. <laughs> yeah. Let me pause this immediately because already the lie has started. Nobody <laughs> thinks that Jason has anything to do with the drunken peasants. I've never, nope. he's never been on the show. The guys don't know him. You guys have never met him. 
I don't he know. He and I explicitly went in there because we wanted to have fun laughing at you. So it had nothing to do with not not that they would like want to distance themselves from that because that's what we're doing basically now. Yeah. But that that's the truth of the, of the matter. Nobody's like, "Hmm, is this mysterious Jason guy have something to do with the drunken peasants because Paul's ego has has been on the show?" Retarded. They th- people think they he said that people think that Jason is related to me. Oh, like, I, think oh. He mean, I think he means like an actual familial like a relative relation. of yours. <laughs> yeah, I don't even understand. Even I think if, that's what he's trying. Even to say. if that were true, what does that have to do with anything? Nothing. Black Nothing. Christian friends nigger over and over and referring to people as faggots. It doesn't he's saying really... your friend did that, Paul. Uh, yeah, I believe he did. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he Take did. Uh, Jason is a, is a, not that not that it really matters. Jason is a gay man, and uh, is not uh, you know a perpetual victim who thinks that the word faggot somehow shatters his self worth. So he probably did call somebody a faggot, and I have him. I have uh, heard him use the word nigger before. It's not a word that I toss around a lot, um, but he, he you know. He can defend himself. Like if he wants, if Jason wants to make a video defending himself, but the, the, the entire point of this is that he has something to do with you guys. Like he's he either related to you or he's part of the show. Like he doesn't. He's a, he's a really good friend of mine. And uh, if you have a problem with him, take it up with him. You know, it's well, not tough. Tell him to show up to the next Brett Keen hangout. So Brett Keen can <laughs> well, talk to Brett him because everyone's Brett welcome. Keen, Brett Keen insta kicks he and I now. Uh, oh, he, no, no, he said everyone's welcome, so he won't do that now. Yeah, Everyone that's a lie. that isn't Paul's ego or Jason or somebody that's going to call him on but any of this There's a lot of bullshit. people that uh, just do not want to have a discourse with you, Paul. Vigilant Christian. He's, he's just terrified I'm telling of you. you. My, 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 I sense the doors closing in my life, you know? Yeah. Just everywhere opportunity is just <laughs> being shut. Because Brett Keen won't have me in his fucking hangouts. Whatever am I going to do? How am I going to live my life, guys? I don't know. And never talk to the better, better Christian drain cleaner. Mario ever again. How am I ever going to fucking survive? Oh, you're definitely talking. Suicide is Christian the old Mario answer. Again. Come I don't on. care what he says. It's happening. I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, you'll be, maybe you won't talk to him, but maybe Satan will talk to him, you know? Or, or maybe the true Scotsman will make an maybe. appearance. I don't know. So maybe someone like that. Hold on, yeah. there's there's a little bit there's there's one other thing I want to show from this video. You yeah, might have me to remember a time when you did a video that I actually have up on my YouTube where you flicked the screen off, you gave the middle finger, and you said, Fuck your god, nigger. Do you remember that? Kind of. But yet you had the <laughs> audacity to sit there and tell atheism unstoppable on your live broadcast <laughs> that you would have more respect for him if he would just admit that he's a racist well you are a racist so of course well you know I, I tell you what Brett like is you. Brett is right about this you we, we all know what defines a racist is contextual use of the word nigger that's definitely yeah. what when I think racism and racist in my head I think of in context use of the word nigger personally <laughs> that's just me yeah, that's what it is. Uh, it's nothing to do with actually having, you know, strong racial biases or, you know, grouping people together just because their uh, skin is the same color or believing that one race is superior to another or something like that. That's not racism. It's when you say, fuck your God, nigger. That's yeah, when you're, you're racist. That's when you're officially racist. You're, yeah, well, TJ, look, I mean, you use the word. That a lot of people will find offensive. I don't remember and, what the you know, context is, and obviously he's not going to provide you're, it. You're so. a racist. TJ, look, did you use the word or not? Yes, I did. You're racist. Racist. That, that's all there is to it. I've all also used is. the word cunt, which means I'm a, I'm a flaming misogynist. So, I've used the word completely. faggot, which means I'm a homophobe, homophobe as so well. So homophobic. So homophobic. My gay half is is. Uh, Have you ever cri- uh, criticized Islam? Oh, yeah, yep, I'm an Islamophobe. I'm also an anti-Semite, though, because I criticize the Jews as well. Uh, Wow. Disgusting. You're a horrible person. You're not very PC, Paul. Yep. Un-PC. Very un-PC. What kind of asshole sits there and makes a video sitting there telling people, fuck your god, nigger? What I don't kind know. Of asshole you, does that. You just said it, Brett. <laughs> I think. Oh maybe, shit. Maybe you're racist too. 
So if you've got the balls, which we both know that you don't, we've all seen the yeah, naked dude. porn videos that you put out there. On <laughs> hey, wait a minute. My dick is Damn. small. My balls are pretty huge. I don't know what you're talking about. My balls are like giant, pendulous fucking <laughs> orbs of greatness. <laughs> You obviously have not. So you should have said you don't have the dick. You don't have the dick, TJ. Yeah, you know, if you said that, it would at least make sense. You don't have the dick to stand yeah. up to me. After all, Man, Brett, not. like, like, how do you how do you stand <laughs> to even talk about the subject when it's your balls that produce those water headed idiots? <laughs> <laughs> so how does Brett even stand? Like, literally, the act of standing seems difficult. He makes his videos like fucking like lying, just kind of leaning forward on a pillow. Like, oh, this is such a workout. Oh my. And I can say that that's a very small microtransaction you got going there. Okay. And we can see that you put my name in your tags, and you've been showing up above my YouTube channel with your <laughs> troll videos and insults. <laughs> well, that's, that's just get fucked, Fred. <laughs> get fucked, Fred. When, forever and ever, when anybody Googles your name, the first thing they're going to see is a fucking Drunken Peasants episode where your entire life is critiqued. And your fucking Encyclopedia Dramatica page. Fuck you, Brett. Get fucked. Nobody cares about your videos. <laughs> that's that's just wonderful. Someone put. I just imagine someone like I'm gonna look at this Brett Keen guy and just seeing all this sh bad shit about him. Like the first thing is just DP. Like the end of Brett Keen just coming up. That that that's a beautiful thought. It is nice. To me, face me one on one. Let's sit here and have a talk about some of this shit. The only way I'm going to stop nailing you over and over for every fucking crime against humanity that you've done on YouTube. <laughs> crimes against, is, crimes <laughs> against no. humanity. You're literally like the butcher of Krakow yeah. now. TJ, wow. is it, the UN Human Rights Council is currently investigating TJ. Oh, yeah. Like the of guy course. that ran the guy that ran Dachau and then TJ. Yeah, we're we're the same. And I um you know, TJ may have been in Serbia in, in the 90s. Yeah, you know, and remember that whole Rwanda thing? Yeah, I, you were there I had too. a hand in that as well. Yep. And and TJ is a close, was, uh, God rest his soul, a close personal friend of Idi Amin. I know that oh, for yeah. a fact. Oh, yeah, I used to scratch his back, you know? Idi well, would yeah. come to me and he'd be like, TJ, scratch my back. And I'd do be you like, remember, okay, Idi. not to get off topic, but Brett, uh, sorry, not Brett, uh, TJ, do you remember... Uh, when Edie and Pol Pot were at that party that one time and got fucking wasted and they were arguing about the tenets of National Socialism. Do you oh remember that? Yeah, that was classic. Those fucking guys were crazy. But and anyway. then they had they settled it with a fucking game of uh, beer pong, but by the end of it, they didn't even remember what the fuck it was to settle. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then Kim Jong-il busts into the room and he's like, you both faggots, and we all busted up. <laughs> oh, man, I miss that guy. Oh, man, Kim, uh, Kim Un is a not a fucking animal. Kim Jong-un is just not as... Not Un as is such now. a pussy. Like, I, was I know, ha right? He has such a damp, clammy little handshake, too. It's the worst. Ugh. He's disgusting. And, you know, I don't know if you've noticed this, but that guy must not trim his nose hair very often because up close and personal, like, you think yeah. it's a mustache at first, but then you're like, holy shit, that's just nose hair coming yeah, on it's, out. It's real bad. Yeah, and it's like, you know, you all want, you want to say something to him, but you're not really sure if it's the proper decorum. And, you know, I knew his father really well, but, nah. yeah. Yeah. You know, I just think I that's an apple that fell far from the tree. It really did. But yeah, I mean, He's you know, no I. I would say my crimes against humanity dwarf all of uh, all of those guys, though. You know, well, of I mean, I mean you I've said done so much. You worse said shit. fuck your god nigger once, so you yeah, clearly I mean, are. And, you know, you I know. fucking I, I scammed all that money out of people so that I could buy you know all that stuff I You're bought. A line scamming racist, TJ. Yeah, well, uh, let's see how Brett Keen's video wraps up before I decide whether or not I'm going to. Uh, what will TJ do? Do this one on one. Situation what will TJ do with this individual? If you sit there and actually apologize to me publicly and you remove every single attack video that you've done towards my family and my friends, <laughs> not going to happen. Where you've encouraged your audience to come after me. If you continue you to do me, this, I'm going to continue to expose my cock every and single it scam on the Drunken Peasants podcast. And malicious, horrible fucking thing you've ever done to while the podcast and take it up the ass. God believers and people out and there. And I may I forgive am. you. I, I've made my decision. Um, my decision is fuck you, Brett. You fuck go, you, bitch. You go right on ahead making your little exposés. I'll tell you what, Brett. I'll, I got a counter offer for you. 
why don't you come on with me and Ben and Scotty and Paul and I'll fucking talk to you. Yeah, Brett. How you about know, that? Why don't you come and fucking face us all? Brett Keen, the stallion in the if flesh. The truth, if the truth is truly on your side, then you'll prevail even when the numbers game is against you. And you know what? I'm sure I'm sure Ben will probably keep his mouth shut for the most part. I bet even Scotty will probably keep his mouth shut for the most part. And you know what? And, and Brett, until then, enjoy gonna, lang- enjoy languishing in abject obscurity. As every once in a while, a motorist driving down the lonely Missouri interstate stops to rubberneck at the train wreck that is your fucking YouTube channel. Enjoy your fucking status as the bottom rung of YouTube atheism, the bottom rung of YouTube fucking vlogging, period. YouTube, he's a, he's not, he's a God believer. God believer, Paul. YouTube God oh, believer oh, sorry. Right. I lost track. You lost track of what his ideological stance was this week. Yep. Uh, so yeah, fuck you, Brett. It's not happening. If you want to come on the show, you can come on the show as it is. You're not going to come on some special modified edition of the fucking show because no one gives a shit. I'll tell you what though, Brett, I will give you, I will never take these videos down, but I will do your little one-on-one thing. If you make the video of yourself eating an entire bucket of fried chicken with Ode to Joy playing in the background. On loop. Yeah, and you gotta, it's gotta, yeah, it's gotta be in a loop for at least an hour, and you have to be shirtless. <laughs> and I wanna see the chicken grease amass on those big, delicious looking man titties of yours. <laughs> and when you're all done, and you have to finish the whole bucket, and when you set it down, I want you to rub your tits together and say, I really am a manatee. And then you can have your one-on-one fucking bullshit debates. As long as we're making stipulations that are never going to fucking happen, those are mine. But yeah, Brett, if you want to actually come on the show like every other fucking guest and not get some kind of special treatment, then you're free to do it. I will have you on the show. TJ, if that... You're not not getting some special arrangement unless you give me a little something-something. And if I just he, explained you some very is. reasonable yeah. request, TJ. If he, in some alternate universe, actually goes along with that, it might be the greatest thing ever committed to film. By the way, Brett, if you want to hit video on your channel after all these years, <laughs> make that fucking video because I Do guarantee it. people would actually watch that shit. I will personally front page that video and add you to the subscript, the recommended subscriptions on my channel. I'm sure the drunken peasants would be willing to put you up for a limited amount of sure. time on theirs. Sure. Yeah. If he does There's it, yeah. Your, there I'll you do go, it. Brett. Everything you've ever wanted. Internet popularity. Even if for a brief <laughs> flicker of time for people to point at your greasy man tits and watch you eat chicken <laughs> while Beethoven's fifth plays behind you. Have fun. It's, this is your moment, Brett. Seize your we're fucking you, moment. We're giving you a chance to shine like the diamond you are. Shine on, crazy diamond. Shine the fuck on. Yeah, Every hello, issue. ladies and gentlemen, this is Brett Oh, we're doing the Brett Keen. Not as slick as you oh. think. Caught in a lie, fuck knows how many times. <laughs> Brett Keen, you're not as slick as you think. Except for the ooze that greets from your teeth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, oh, I want to... Never mind. All right, so... Uh, Here's a Brett Keen video. It's atheist get robbed. Okay. I think he means atheists get robbed, but he just, he, it's singular. Atheist. atheist get robbed. Atheist get robbed. Okay. Atheist get robbed. I just need to be sure I'm understanding. Did Brett Keen make this or did someone make this of Brett Keen? The song? The song was made by someone else. Yeah. It's okay, not a flattering I song. Itself. Like, did he put the song to those clips no. of himself? No. No, no, no. We uh, oh, okay. Eventually, I'm going to edit this and make it the intro for the Brett Keen segment. Yeah. But right <laughs> now, we're just like playing the beginning of the song. So, um, All right. So here's the title is Atheist Get Robbed, The Amazing Atheist and Cult of Dusty Scams. Part one. Part one. And by the, I, oh, I, shit. I showed this video to Dusty. What did he say? He was pissed. He was pissed? Yeah, he actually was. And he said, if Brett Keen had money, I'd take him to court. Oh, wow. Because he slandered his... his Is Dusty, I mean, can we get Dusty on to watch at least this with us? I don't know. 
I don't mind Dusty, know. but isn't he always pissed about something? Yeah. I don't is. think I have him. Oh, well. On Yeah, I don't know. We'll get him on another time, and we can discuss it more with him. Sure, sure. Sure. But that is pretty funny what Dusty said. Brett, did, did, you hear that, Brett? Dusty says that if you had money... He would take you to court. So being, <laughs> being a broke motherfucker has saved you yet again. Hey, man, I don't know. Maybe you could take the roof off uh, off of Brett Keen's head and, you know, send his water-headed children out into the cold. I don't know. I don't think, like, shitty old tarp is worth that much. You think he lives, uh... No, he, ha- he has some kind of room, you know? He has at least a bedroom with a bed in He's it. roommates with Indendum. They live, they live in the same place. <laughs> That would be interesting. <laughs> it's the odd couple. <laughs> Could you imagine that shit? Uh, that I, I want that to be a sitcom. You want? Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, like, we should I'd watch it. We that. should watch an in Mendum video on in Mendum. That's his name. Uh, <laughs> he's garbage. All right, so here's here's the breaking. Isn't video. that what you said? I thought you said. I said in Dendum. Oh, yeah. In is it? Uh, in I know you're. Yeah, it's in, in Mendum. Mendum. It's, like, it's like the city he lives in. Mendum is the city he lives. Yeah, and he, he's in Mendum. Yeah, yeah. I get go. it. Yeah. We used to call him Creative in Bredman. We used to call him in Bredman back in the day. <laughs> Other people would call him the in Jesus Jack. Counter. I like this part because it's such a blatant lie. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, by the My way, Brett Keen has disabled. Right- uh, you pause it for a second. Yeah, Brett Keen has disabled all comments and ratings on all on his videos, videos now <laughs> to protect yep. himself. To protect himself from the atheist horde. The atheist horde of vote bots. I have two Brett Keen videos. We'll probably watch like a little bit of each one of them. In the next one, he claims that you wrote him a letter trying to bury the hatchet. No. <laughs> I think we, should, we, we should just mainly watch the part about Dusty, because the TJ shit he's already said a million sure. times. Video, Let's make see. sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love. No. And when you get an opportunity, check out when I God think gaming and fun. I'd rather, I I'd rather eat a fucking King. pound of salt, Brett. I'd, I'd rather use an ancient Chinese suicide method than watch your fucking lame-ass channel. I don't know. It's kind of funny from a like games you love. We should watch a games you love video oh. here sometime. You know, <laughs> just to show people what they're missing. Um, nothing. Oh, we did. Wasn't that, alert, was that no Sims much. video we watched? A games you love? Uh, yeah, did, we did watch one. It wasn't games you love. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, well then you know what? Superstar. On these particular channels, you'll see that I do live broadcasts where you are welcome to come in anytime you want, whether you're a non-believer or not. Okay, great. We're going to come in, Brad. You just simply subscribe and you follow me on Google Plus. And whenever I open up my room, I'll put a link out publicly and you'll get a join button. Brad, can I have all your fucking money? I need to go to McDonald's. They have all-day breakfast now. You just want to ramble, Scotty? Yeah. Go ahead. F- fuck Red Kane. Like, this guy is such a disingenuous fuck. He's like, these scammers. Look at the fucking bottom of the screen. Patreon, support my channel. Support what? God TV radio? What, ent- what does that fucking entail? What the fuck does it actually fucking entail? Besides, like, they all- what quality do you fucking need to make this channel? You sit in a fucking room on a webcam. What the fuck you do you okay, do? Scotty? Hey, Scotty, he does not sit in a room on a webcam. He lays, <laughs> he lays in the fuck. He, lays in, he lays in the fucking room. He can't even fucking sit. Be bothered to sit the fuck up. Just give him some money. Yeah. This guy, you can't be bothered to sit the fuck up. Wants your money, people. That should be one of his Patreon goals. I'll sit up if I reach six dollars a month. I'll sit up. When I make my videos to show that I actually get but he, half a. But he takes you guys to task for the same shit. But you guys actually fucking invest in the quality of your videos. Like, you don't just sit there and make a video of, like, I'm going to do some character assassination. Now, what fucking video has this guy done lately that's not just been total character assassination of people he hates? Yeah, I thought he was supposed... I thought this channel was supposed to be about God, not, like, fuck, fuck a- the, you know, fuck you, amazing atheist. Didn't fucking Jesus turn the other cheek, Brett? Come on, buddy. Turn the other fucking cheek. You're, 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 you're fucking such a real Christian where it's like, you know what? Swings and arrows. I'll endure anything for, you know, Jesus. Then why would, why would you even get down in this fucking shit? <laughs> if you're really a believer of that shit. You're so full of fucking shit. You don't follow your own religion. You're a fucking liar and a fucking scam It's not artist. even his religion. He doesn't follow that shit. He's a God believer. He doesn't even commit to the... He's just full of shit. Yeah. God believer just means, like, I'm Brett Keen, but I believe in God now. I have some nebulous position. It's more difficult to attack. That's exactly what it is. It's easier to attack, in my opinion. Come in. 
you will no longer be forced in the tin panel bullshit that the Google Hangouts provides. I have found another site where I can stream and broadcast and also put the videos up oh, on this is just YouTube. Himself I did this. F- Hold on. Every single one of his videos begins with him fucking doing this like 20 hours of fucking expository Subscribe bullshit. to all my channels and do all this shit. Subscribe. Before, you know, why don't you get I to do- the fucking point? Put that shit at the end, you moron. I do find it funny that in the upper right of this video, it's got comment and rate, yet he has those disabled. Huh? That is hilarious. Yeah. You're right. Subscribe, comment, rate. Except you can't comment this may have or been rate. Befo- this may have been Ooh. before, but it is ironic. Yeah. Don't don't comment or rate. You actually can't. Sorry. You can subscribe if you want. But now you're going to have that. All right. Today we're going to sit here and own the shit out of Cult of Dusty, who's one of the stupidest, most ridiculous YouTubers out there who uses religion to make his money and pay his bills. Cult of Dusty has Good. started um, the Amazing Atheist channel. If that's, true, if that's true, if being an anti-theist is his career, that's wonderful. Because how many fucking hucksters have made millions, of, not millions, fuck that, billions off religion? So fuck you. Scotty is upset. Notice that most of the atheists that uh, the Amazing Atheist allows on his channel are scammers. They are liars. They are pieces of trash that have been exposed many times over on yeah. the internet. You haven't exposed anything, Brad atheists. Kate, except how disingenuous you are as a fucking human being. Like, you were visionist pile of shit. Scotty's really upset today. I just can't fucking stand wrong, this guy. I, I have to keep fucking... I hate him, too. I have to keep w- watching this guy's shit. It's like, I want to fucking knock this guy's fucking head off. He's a fucking hey, pile of shit. Don't be violent, Scotty. Brett, like, Brett I'm Keen. having a hard time following up after Scotty, because he's just setting such a high standard of fury. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not that upset, so I'm just like, I guess I'll just let Scotty take care I'm of I'm not... As, 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 uh, I'm upset because we have to keep hearing this fucking... Uh, this just like, he asked... One that's watching this is just fucking totally believes every word that falls from Brett's fucking lips. Oh, yeah, this guy doesn't have a history of being a disingenuous pile of fucking shit. He doesn't, Scotty. But yet yeah, he's just saying, you guys, like, Dusty and TJ are just tro- they're scammers from day one. They just saw YouTube and went, oh, money time. Ooh. Even though, Even forget the fact did, that... There's nothing wrong with making YouTube videos for money. Yes, there is. Yes, he, he's it, made videos for money. Not that much money. He's got a Patreon on, yeah. on this video. I mean, you know, he's still he's still trying to make money. I don't understand. As well as God believers, but for some reason, these people continue to get away with their pyramid scams over and over. <laughs> what <laughs> pyramid scams? <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, you give me twenty dollars a month, and then you know. I, I'm I'm giving someone else twenty dollars a month, but you know the more people you get under you, the more money you get. But I'm at the top of the pyramid actually, so I don't actually give anyone any money. But, but you, you know, guys continue to give me money. You, you know, guys so. give me money, and then if if you want, you can make money too. You just got to get other people to join, and then they got to give you money, and then they also got to give me money too. It's like you know okay. you give oh, me that the reminds tw- me, TJ. I think you owe me forty dollars after I gave you that twenty dollars last week. Like no. you promised me. I don't owe you shit, bitch. You, you were seeding, <gasps> TJ. You were seeding positive fans in your life. So, Yoshi, TJ doesn't owe you anything. You know? I don't owe you shit, mother- But you made an investment from, from, uh, with God. He wants to buy his wife a new modest dress a situation. Modest dress. modest dress situation for this individual. <laughs> we're going to take care of the cult of Dusty. <clears throat> take care. <clears throat> and then after this, if you want to, you can go to the links in my description. Oh, God. And you will see that I've exposed the Amazing Atheist for even more scams. Yep. But you're going to have to go to a different site to see it because I don't want to be DMCA by a... his bullshit. And his uh, I've never DMCA'd you. People. Here we Again, go. Again, pots and kettles. Dusty Smith here from the Cult of Dusty. And uh, here's what happened. He's a weed this smoker. Weekend, he's he's, a, he's, he's a weed believer. Folks in Kansas for Thanksgiving. And apparently on her way back, she hit a patch of ice and Jesus took the wheel. And now our car is totally fucked. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. He, but he's using one of TJ Fox Things videos. I told TJ Fox Things about this. He was like, that motherfucker didn't credit me. By the way, I was Brett. Just wondering. Yeah, I saw the Russian vids at the bottom. That's not his channel, is it? That's not no, Brett Keynes. No, no, that's something else. For sure. It, it, it Someone made a smear video, like Russian vids or whatever. You know what, though? I kind of noticed here what Brett Keen do, is doing here. Like, you know, with, like, the video in the background and the ca- and the camera in the corner of the screen. 
And like you know There's like an overlay Over the top That looks really Fucking familiar Like where have I yeah. seen That before I don't know um, I, don't, yeah. I can't think of any place You know what we got, we, we gotta be fair <laughs> I, I think Brett did invent this Oh yeah. Brett we actually should, We should take that We should use yeah, that For our steal own it. channel man Yeah let's steal that shit Yeah We need to like have, We need to be in like Small cameras I think I could be In this corner that I'm in And yeah. Scotty can be In that corner yeah. That he's in and we could have like some overlays like this one over here, like this yeah. thing. And Maybe then we, really can have, something. we can have another overlay on the top, just like Brett. It's gonna be awesome, you guys. Yeah, thanks, Brett. God. Yeah. <laughs> After all, you guys here. are just schemers and liars. It's not much yeah. like it wouldn't be that big of a step. We ha- yeah, we have to you know, we have to steal everything we actually do from real innovators like Brett Keen, you know? Yes, of course. In total. Now, luckily, she's okay. She's a little banged up and oh. bruised and sore, but she's alive and fine. But I found out about five minutes after she told me the car was totaled that apparently, due to extreme ignorance on my part, we only have liability insurance. I had no idea. So long story short, much like Jesus, I need money. So if you guys have ever thought about donating to the Cult of Dusty or buying a t-shirt, now would be a very good time. For those of you who don't know, I have my own clothing line at thecultofdusty.com. This Every is shirt totally- that you- an individual so he's who wanted to scam. Situation. He's a scammer because he's asking for donations and he's encouraging yeah, people so, to buy so his T-shirts. Someone, his girlfriend or something, got in a car wreck in this. His thing? wife at the oh, time. Oh, his wife at the time got yeah. into a car wreck. Okay, so like, unless there was no car wreck, there's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, if if, if the car wreck happened, what do you care if yeah. someone voluntarily does with their money? The only way this is unethical is if he's lying about that. Yeah, car if, wreck. if if it didn't happen, then sure, yeah, it's completely unethical. You see me wearing in my videos is available on my website. And you guys know me, I can't fucking stand e begging, but I don't really consider right. this e begging because I have a very what do you good mean product. You can't stand the e begging. <laughs> You've been doing it from day one, you asshole. No, he's been uh, no, selling a sell- product. Yeah, selling a product is not begging. Yeah, selling your ish, uh, <clears throat> selling shirts now a form of e begging. Should I drive up to like the McDonald's drive thru and be like, stop food begging? Fucking food begging, yeah. stop it. Guys, please, <clears throat> please stop like Offering me money to draw pictures. Like, I, I don't want to beg for that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you're a bad person. God, I'm stop the, it. You're the worst beyond fear. The absolute worst. You're the yes. worst fucking person we've ever even had on this show. Yeah. Other than sure, guys. Sure, guys. Actually, uh, <laughs> strangely enough, on her Twitter, people were, were saying that she's our best guest we've ever had. Nope. But they were underneath the, the pictures that she posted. Oh, oh these yeah. pictures are wonderful. Of course, they're, yeah, they're brainwashed guest. by her... I, uh, by their fat yeah. material. Yeah. I can't help but feel that those things are linked. Hmm. <laughs> There could be a connection. Maybe. Well, yeah. more, more scientific study is well, needed. Since we have another Brett Keen video, let's take a look at that one. All right. So, yeah. He, uh, you're an e bagging scammer, Dustin. Yeah. Uh, he makes other uh, claims, too. I love how he's saying all this with his Patreon link right down there at the bottom. Uh, and by the way, support my Patreon. e You'll be e bagging. Uh, here's a rule of the internet. If you're going to be critical of people e-begging, you really can't do it yourself. Yeah, if and if someone has nothing like that and says like I think e-begging is bullshit or you know whatever, it's like, I mean okay, I still think that's dumb, but it's at still, least it's I still can, stupid. But yeah. at least I can respect that they have consistency in their position. Yeah, it actually has a principle to them, not just some fucking bullshit standard. Like Brett obviously has no problem with e-begging; he's done it a million times. He's Come doing on. it now. He's doing it this video. No, but if you're gonna I mean, be critical. I'm, don't be hypocritical. E- e- even the more, even the more overt, like just give me money because bad shits happened to me. Of course he has. He's done it numerous. Oh, that's times. what I'm saying. Like, but at least with Patreon, like I don't see Patreon as as begging though. It's basically well, supporting but, the, the shows and stuff. But you he's like. ba- he's basically saying that it, he's equating it to that. No, I, I know he is. That's why, that's why I think it's just ridiculous. Like he's doing that. Like most people, like I have no problem with Patreon or anything like that. That that's actually a great that they uh, they developed that the two guys that developed that did. Shut up, you fucking it's a shame they can't show. really get it to work, but you know I appreciate the oh. idea as well. Yeah, there there are a lot of flaws with Patreon. I'll I'll, I'll definitely grant you that. Modest stress situation. <laughs> All right, so here's the next one. This is this the title of this video. Even though TJ's just confirmed that it's total bullshit, the title of the video is "The Amazing Atheist Letter to Brett Keen." Oh, I think he actually did write a letter. Come on, look at TJ. He did it. I ain't wasting we'll my time on We'll only know if shit. it's legit if it's written in crayon. Look, look me in the eye and tell yeah, me the TJ, truth. 
All right, I wrote the letter. You want, you want a reconciliation? <laughs> I wrote the fucking letter. You're like, Brett, come back. Baby, come back. Baby, come back. You can be all oh, Brett, me. stop making these exposés on me. Let's be I friends love you, again. Brett. No, no, man, friends. What are you talking about? It's a little bit more than that, I think, TJ. I think it's love. Oh, God. Cupid's arrow. It's a love situation. Cupid's arrow hit TJ when he saw Brett. He's like, fuck. Yeah, you caught me. Brett I'm a man. I'm a manatee TJ's sexual. one and only love. Every time I go to the zoo and see the manatees, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Brett. Oh, oh God. Hello, I ladies and gentlemen. Here. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out our gaming channel, I wonder channel, if he gave credit to the artist of that picture. And also check no. out the Brett Keen Superstar channel and God TV Radio International. Actually, isn't that the picture that he got in trouble for? No. No? No, I could, I could show you what it was, but... Okay. Then <laughs> Where we host live hangouts, everyone is invited. Right, let's skip Brett's. Uh, Actually, this oh, oh, no, the, believers, okay. no matter what your the whole uh, comments. Thing. Also, whenever you get a chance, if you'd like to support the channel, we have a <laughs> Patreon account as well as a pay- <laughs> oh, eBay. Account. Oh, oh PayPal! You're fucking. You're if talking you shit like about eBay, support, and you fucking put your PayPal. Here's my viewable. PayPal address to send me money, has, but eBay uh, it's bullshit. It's Amazon wish list too. And Amazon fucking wish list. How uh. fucking stunningly full of shit can you be? Very. And comments cannot be made at this time. There's too many time. non-believers out there who are leaving death threats and. Oh. Oh, death threats, really, Brett? Someone really cares enough about you to want you dead? Ain't no one's Come on. Right death He's threats. He's a lying sex shit. State. Let's Anyone see. Anyone disagreeing with him could give him a heart attack, and that's a death threat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Fair enough. Comments. Criticism is welcome. <laughs> Criticism is welcome, Bullshit, Brett. Anyone's ever criticized you is like, fucking, you have a vendetta. You are gunning for them the minute it comes to their lips. Like, fuck, damn it. We, we all know you, you fucking probably in your room in the dark, laying around. I'm going to fucking discourage him, man. Yeah. He could have played ball. He could have played Brett Keen, be on top. But now I'm going to destroy him. <laughs> eat bacon, scam, and piece of shit. He's got like a big enemies list. It's like in like You're several. You're at the top. It's, yeah, on, it's yeah. in several large binders at this point. He, he he lists a lot of them off in this I, I've video. I've got binders and binders of enemies. So, if you'd like to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me through Twitter, God, as well as my live hangouts and live shows. You'll be able to leave Fucking comments crazy, to like me. A hold of Brett. But until the abuse... And- you hear that, guys? Uh, Brett has closed his YouTube channel for comments, so if you want to abuse Brett, you got to do it on Twitter. You know, this all this happened because Dusty posted this video on his Facebook or uh, not this video, but the the one we watched just a moment oh, ago. Oh, Dusty was like, po- Dusty posted. Did he, yeah. Did he write a little message with it? He was kind of like, I I don't feel like watching this, but could have you guys watched it, or could you watch it and tell me what he says about me? And in the thread, they just kind of like go through it with him, and he's like, "Fuck that dude!" Right by the end, he's like, "Fuck that guy." Fuck so that criticism guy. wasn't welcome. No. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, let's see. Death threats stop. The comments are no longer there. And because of the manipulation and atheists logging in and out of accounts to dislike the videos and using vote bots. Okay, I'm sorry. Y- but you, your, your, your videos would have more views if that were the case. Yeah, and not only that, um, <laughs> no one needs to vote bot. There's, you, you have like eight fans. If... If I was, if if people were signing into different accounts to go back and downvote it, you'd have an extra view for each time they did that. Or, or I don't know if vote bots make views. I would guess they do. I, I don't know. I would. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's just, and your videos don't have any views, and you have like five hundred subscribers. And it's it's not like there's some insane amount of downvotes or something. Like you go to his videos, like you know, probably like. Six people have given it thumbs up, and then there's like a hundred thumbs down or something. Yeah. B- what kind of shitty bot is that that only does a hundred? Yeah, I mean, like if there was like really like this dedicated team of atheists using vote bots, the down votes would be like in the thousands yeah. or something. In fact, we should just do that to a video. Whenever he, <laughs> be like, whenever that's he, what it actually looks whenever like. Whenever he brings people uh, back, we'll just go to one of his videos and be like, you know, everyone go rate this video. I, I'm not going to tell you to rate it negatively. Just rate it however you feel about it. And I'm sure most people, you know, are going you know to actually be choose a bit the down. Funnier? 
Right. I'd get a bunch of people to go to one of his dumbest videos, upvote it, tell him it's smart, so that way he'll keep making really stupid videos on the subject. Hey, yeah, you're onto something. We should eat. We you know we should. You know we should do on April Fools is we should have like a be nice to Brett day, <laughs> and everyone just goes to his channel and tells him how smart he is, and like, hey, you know, just give him a day of what he wants. April Fool's Day. You know he is a fool, so that that is kind of his day. You know. It's hard to convey in text, but put it right on the borderline between serious and sarcastic so we can't quite tell. Yeah, like, you know, just like, I would say just go overboard gushing with praise. Like, just say, you know, that have girls write him and be like, Which, can we have some of your sperm? I, can I have some of your sperm so my children can be as smart and attractive as you? <laughs> just mail it Have to me. Have girls write keen for the keen on their tits. First class mail, just slap it in. Oh, yeah, that'd be Fuck like, mail. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll have to remember this idea. We won't remember this idea. You will not be able to see the ratings, but you can still rate me and rate me up. <laughs> you can still rate me. I will report and block nasty comments, death threats, and spam. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. You've been listening to Brett Keen from God TV Radio. It, it keeps going. I know. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett. Hey, he's actually sitting up. You know this is serious. Hey, Brett. Um, it, it, do you have like some kind of like skin condition where you can't like be in a well lit room? I mean, why are you always like sitting in the fucking dark? Yeah, I notice he has black lights now. You know, he mm. he 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 got the overlay. He got the black lights. You know, Damn, he's... <laughs> Damn, dog. You, you, you straight up jacking our shit. Brett, do you, you, know what the, uh, you know what lighting is? It's, a, it's an important part of photography. You may, you may have uh, heard of that, photography. I don't know if you're well-versed in it. Photography. Uh, Wait, is yeah. Scotty complaining that, he that he's only able to see less of Brett King? Yes. I, I think Brett King should show us, you know, what he's got to offer. Show us the truth. I've heard people call Brett King the purple manatee. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's uh, always purple. You know, I know we already videos. did. I know we already did this once before, but we'll do, let's just do it again. I want to see more pictures of Brett Keen as a manatee. This time, though, don't just depict him as a manatee. Depict him as a manatee having some kind of adventure. The the best one ever was just a fucking picture of a real manatee with the fucking mustache and the and the crazy white hair, <laughs> and it looked just like Brett fucking Keen. <laughs> But all, all they right. did was put hair on it. Picture of Manatee Keen in space. Yeah, in space. In space. You know, this could become like a beloved children's character. This could be Keen's should it, legacy. Should it be a contest, TJ, or just just for the the honor of doing it? I'll I'll put a hundred dollars up. What? Yep. <laughs> wow. For the I I'll put a hundred dollars. Whoever this. has the most interesting and funny Brett Keen as a manager. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll sweeten it, TJ. I'll, I'll sweeten your pot, TJ. Do we have an email address? Uh, we we should create one for this. Uh, maybe we'll do it during the break or something. Okay. Well, we I think we might have one created, but yeah. We'll check on that. We'll give you guys an address that you can make these submissions to. Yes. Shortly. But I was gonna say I'll also throw in I will, will so, uh, if you guys saw the private show there's a John Cena shirt and we'll throw that in too it's, it'll be so oh great. yeah yeah the the ones that that you guys wore yeah we'll, we'll get everyone to sign it so yeah. you can win a John Cena shirt fuck. and a hundred dollars drunken peasants holy fuck so we're dude. gonna have a uh, an email address for you guys I'm pretty sure we already have one but I'll double check and uh, that's pretty awesome yeah so that's gonna be the prize. I mean, you yeah. can't get a John Cena I would say, shirt just anywhere. So, people, you have to take part yes, in this contest. Signed by yours truly. Yes, Ooh. I mean, like, whether you're doing, like, you can be, it could be a photo submission. It could be a drawing submission. We'll explain more of the rules later once we figure out the and, address. And T, who's, so are, are you giving both shirts or just one? Um, just Scotty's. Just Scotty's. I'm keeping He's keeping your sincerity. You're, you're keeping yours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to wear it, like, when you go to a show or something? No, but I might wear it again to troll you. At the, yeah, I don't show. give a fuck. Dude, I really don't give a fuck whatever you decide to wear. Trust me. 
I don't believe <laughs> The look on your face was pretty I don't believe that you for a second. No, no, well, you know what? I wasn't expecting it. I sure. saw the terror and, and, and hate yeah, in your I, eyes. Yeah, that's why I had to wait till the last second. So I, I knew we had to already be on the air. Sure. Like, I was surprised. I'll admit that. But I really don't give a fuck what you guys No, were no. It wasn't like to, be like to blow your mind. It was yeah. just to be kind of like, what the fuck? You yeah. know? That's what, yeah. that's what the goal Listen was. Anyway. All right. Let's listen to more Brett. Why would you I bother? received an email <laughs> recently from yeah, someone. Yeah, we've had our use of him. We don't need him anymore. Let's just let him, let's yeah, fuck, fuck Brad Keane. Let's move on. What do you guys think? Let's, do you want to hear more? I want to hear his claim All right. this letter that I wrote. Okay, him. everyone at, oh, watching gonna, right now, it's TJ's fault. I'm going to speed it up. It's TJ's fault. You, real name of the amazing atheist. Everybody on the internet. Satan. The amazing atheist is real name. Hey, Satan. Like but what was like weird about this comment person. in my private messages was the person said that they wanted to work things out, that they wanted some kind of truce. They stated that they were interested in getting a hold of me on Skype. And working out differences. At first, whenever I read the message, I... All right. Uh, that, whichever one of you did this, congrats. You're brilliant. That's all <laughs> I have to say. That's all, I, yeah. that's all I have to say. Let's move on. Okay. Let me say one thing, though. Sure. I'll tell you one thing about TJ. If you want to know, if you want to know anything about TJ, that's that, that, for, for real. TJ would never apologize to Brett King. TJ would almost never apologize to anyone. So there's no fucking way in hell of, of knowing TJ. He's going to be like, let's work things out, Brett. TJ does not give a flying fuck about working things out you with know, you. You he, know, he talks about, in this video, he talks about, like, how he helped everyone back in the day when he was popular. Oh, give me a oh, fucking God. Break. All right, we got to keep going. I got to hear I, this I, bullshit. That, that's what I've been saying. Like, I don't sit around and think, oh, my God, I can't wait for Brett King to put out a new video. But <laughs> when, I, when I watch the fucking video, I'm like, wow. Did you, you know, watch him back in the day? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> this could be possible. You want to verify the letter before Unfortunately, the message about the it also. No. Cuz this is clearly a troll letter. So, we want to double check it. Insul um, see, ego, you use in your, in your normal life, you use the thing called evidence and rationality. Uh, that's yeah. kind of lost on this guy. I mean, he. Pro oh, I mean, on, 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 yeah, well, he probably, on a rational level, realizes it's bullshit. He just wants something to All make right. a video about. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but can you guys shut up for a second so I can hear what the oh. fuck Brett Keen is saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Let's have actually, at it. I want to hear a big stupid chunk. Oh, of you're, you're in love with Brett. Yeah. He in the past and had on a show, so that right there told me. So this is a troll. I do find it kind of interesting why a troll would want to try to... Wait, so he knows it's a troll, and yet he still called the video? Yes. What is the title oh, of the video? The Amazing Atheist oh, he's, Letter he's to Brett Oh, he's using your name. Keen. He's using your name, TJ. It's called The Amazing Atheist Letter to Brett Keen, yet in the video he states that he knows this person is trolling him and is not me. Brett? TJ will what forgive a piece you, of shit. If you if you close your channel and remove all videos and mention of TJ and uh, issue a public apology, come to our house and kneel before TJ and, and beg for his forgiveness. And suck on my balls. Yeah, and suck on his balls and man titties. Tell me that the Amazing Atheist wants to work things out or have a truce. I mean, it has been almost 10 years, me and the Amazing Atheist have been going back and forth over and over and over with whatever rhetoric and nonsense that we could come up with. It is um, what it is. To me, it's nonsense. Right. Even don't though the don't even put yourself on TJ's level. True. Maybe, maybe, maybe initially you were, things he's done, but doesn't seem to give a damn what people think about fast. him. His fan base doesn't seem to care. It's clear to me that if I were to catch the amazing atheists in the process of murdering someone or even standing over the body of a victim, the amazing atheist has become so popular that people see him not as a human being anymore. They see him as a, a character. What an interesting example. They see him as a movie. What an yeah, interesting sure example. That. He's like, I want to catch TJ in the process of murdering someone because, like, that's just a normal TJ behavior. Like, you know, <laughs> it's not really. It's, it's, guys. it's Thursday at 12. Up, oh, time to kill someone. You know, he's not fucking <laughs> Dexter. Good joke, yeah. Scotty. Yeah, I'm not like that, that at all. With that oh, statement, yes. though, murder wasn't even needed. He could have just no. said, people don't view TJ like a person, they mostly see his public persona. Statement he done. Why him throw his murder. little masturbatory fantasy in there of me killing him? Yeah. <laughs> so he could pretty much do anything. We should kill my bitch wife. She, she, <laughs> damn, she is that kind of pull. She could do anything. TJ, I, he's he's literally saying that I can just get away with murder. Like I, I if I kill someone, I'm just I'm just like I'm so fucking high up there. Like I'm basically like untouchable and shit. Did you like join the Illuminati or something? I, I guess I fucking must have. You know, it's like TJ robs a bank. <laughs> we want to like, arrest him, but it's TJ. If I could get away with yeah, if I could get away with murder, man, there'd be a lot of dead motherfuckers that are alive right now. I would investigate, but TJ's the one who murdered him. Case closed. You know, yeah, what? what? 
What do we do, Chief? Frame a black guy. Yeah, just frame some. Find a, find a darkie. Be done with it. Oh, my God. On video and to anybody he wants on the internet, and people would be like, oh, so what? That's just the amazing atheist. It's all entertainment. It's oh, all that's fun. just TJ. <laughs> oh, TJ. People. You killed someone, you lovable little scamp. People should be like, oh, <laughs> that's what a, a Patreon character. money. Have a banana. <laughs> what a fun character. That, that should be a Patreon perk. TJ will kill one person. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is that like a twenty thousand dollar donation? Yeah, if you make a twenty, hey guys, if you make a twenty thousand dollar donation, I will. Are we, are we on you. the deep web now? It's like TJ takes care of someone. Only ten bitcoins. <laughs> <laughs> TJ with his license to kill can kill whoever you want without penalty because he's just a he's just such a lovable character. Yeah, he's such a character. He's not a person. I'm so. a character, and there's no law against characters killing people. Uh, you know I'm what, Ben? You're right. I found the loophole. <laughs> I've got oh, this go mental ahead. image of one of the fans walking in, TJ's over a dead body, and they just put their hands on their hips, and they're like, oh, you, and sitcom yeah. music plays. <laughs> yeah, like a laugh track. <laughs> da, 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 da. TJ. The Who TJ else show. TJ? So, really, if I were to go on a Drunken Peasants show and take on four guys all at the same time, oh, I bet you would like to do that, wouldn't Jacqueline you? Glenn or Cult of Dusty or many of the people that he's had on this show, it really wouldn't do me any good at all. Because every <laughs> yeah, one of these you'd be people destroyed. are scammers and plagiarists and pieces of trash themselves. So there really sorry, isn't plagiarist? no point on me going up there. someone else's video in the last one? <laughs> oh my goodness. He, he's, he's a known plagiarist. He has what, what plagiarized poem, poems. Yeah, and, Brad, what was that thing you claimed was yours? It was actually a, part of a famous song? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> He, he he had this poem that he posted up back in the day that he totally was like a famous poem. I don't remember what it was, but he said, I wrote this poem for my mother, and it turned out to be some famous poem, and, and uh, everyone was like, Brad, this is a famous poem by a famous poet. We looked it up, and he's like, oh, I, I misspoke. I meant to say that I was reading it for her. I didn't, uh, you know, I misspoke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure he did. You misspoke, whatever. It'd be like a, uh, it'd be like Superman coming down out of the sky and landing before the Joker and Lex Luthor and all the most well-known villains on the planet, huh? and trying uh, to reason you are with not them and Superman. rationalize and why they shouldn't be bad people. Okay, so in this analogy, he's Superman. Brett Keen is Superman. That should be your and channel, Brett Keen Superman. The drunken peasants and the atheist community are. All of the supervillains in the DC universe. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Drunken Peasants. What what, uh, what DC villain would you be, uh, Scotty? I would be... Uh, fuck, I don't know. I, I think he'd make a good Clayface. Clayface, huh? What do you yeah. think, TJ? Mm, I don't know. I see him more as like... Fucking, um... The, uh... What's a fucking what, what's that? Batman does have all the best villains though, but yeah, he Scott, does. Scotty should be like. Um, Fine, I guess I'll just be the one I like, the villain I like the most. I'll be Brainiac. You'll be Brainiac. Yeah, okay. why not? You can be I do like even a, though it's the exact opposite of how you really are. True, stupid as fuck. Who's the one guy? He's like a big gray guy. Is his name like Dark Side or something like that? Dark Side, yeah. Yeah, man. I like it's basically him. the DC ripoff of Thanos. Yeah. He's pretty badass. But he is pretty badass, <laughs> of course. What about you, Beyond Fear? Um, I'd say Catwoman mostly because I want that figure. Sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. You ain't that far off. Um, <laughs> oh. uh, about a foot too short and a bit uh, too thick. Sh- short, short and thick is fine by me, baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, TJ, no. No hitting on our guests. Awkward. Get on any guests I want. Stop it, TJ. You're awkward, Ben. Stop it, TJ. (laughs) Oh, whatever. The other day you admitted to me you were the awkward one. Sure, I'm awkward. Awkward. This is awkward. I don't feel awkward, though. I just am awkward. You're awkward, Um, TJ. But no, I I would be. I I might as well just be the Joker because it's already TJ anyway. I keep my same initials. Of course, those who are getting paid by life. I'll be like a fat Joker. Nah, you're not the Joker. I'm going to be the Joker. Nah. I have a pretty good evil laugh. Okay, do it. All right. Let's see. It better be fucking good. I'm gonna do one too. <laughs> My, mine sounds like like an evil clown laugh. Like okay. 
That's a good one. Ben wins. They're both. Pr- they're both pretty good. Uh, TJ, do yours again. I'm on the fence still. <clears throat> no, mine, mine, my throat. Oh, uh, okay. Then Ben wins. Okay, fine. Then but ben mine wins. was pretty damn good, too. Mine was, mine was more like the Joker actually laughs in most incarnations on the show. Oh, here we go. Ben's was more of just a generic depraved clown laugh in mine. I win. No, you did not. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Mine was so good, I can't even but, do Okay, it Ben, again. can you do yours again, though? <laughs> Oh, Ben's on it, dude. Actually, ben that wins. Is a good Tom Hamill laugh. Who is that? Hamill, the voice actor for the Joker. Oh, oh. you said Tom Hamill. Oh, it's Mark, Mark Hamill. Hamill. Mark I? Hamill. Oh, yeah, you fuck. said Tom Jesus, Hamill. I've just embarrassed you're like, myself. You're so fucking like, Who is stupid? that? Yeah, okay. Oh, That's awesome. God. No wonder Sorry. you're just a sex object. You can't even fucking talk. Yeah, well, sex object with no feelings. We're supposed, to, we're supposed to defer to her opinion of whose <laughs> laugh is better when she thinks Mark Hamill is Tom Hamill? <laughs> I Come think on, not. folks. Come the fuck on. Hashtag TJ's laugh was better. This video is atheist threatened Christian Brett Keen. Because, by the way, uh-huh. Brett Keen is now calling himself a Christian. Shock, oh. Shocking news. He finally has admitted that... We've been calling him a, him a Christian. Remember where you were when you found out Brett Keen hey, is Brett. now officially a Christian. Remember, we we have called we called you a Christian before you called yourself one. God Because yeah. yeah. you wanted to be uh, a God the first Bullock. hangout that we were all in together. We called you a Christian, and you were like, No, I'm not. I'm a God believer situation. <laughs> You know what the saddest <laughs> thing about the Brett Keen bashing is for me? Hey. I'm going to tell you what it is right now. Brett Keen does not do anything that my good pal, the Amazing Atheist, doesn't do. The Amazing Atheist is a fucking liar, too. If you want to Never get technical, my he wife, solicited so. a bunch of donations oh, that's, and said that's he was going to be free anyway. speech videos. And did we ever see spe- free speech videos? No. Yes. You know what? Yes, Dude, you, you even made a video for it. You had videos on free he, speech videos. He doesn't case. remember that. He was blacked out, and the scar on his hand probably, you know, he forgot it where he got It just didn't that. work. It did exist at one point. It just it, didn't work. It was it was open for business for like 16 months or something like that. Yeah, you could easily prove that it existed. I mean, it's not even difficult to do. Hello, citizens of the motherfucking YouTube. Why Fake TJ motherfucking spent the money on here. But none of you are going to form a little lynch mob against TJ. You know why? Because you know he would kick your motherfucking ass. <laughs> nice. The, no one the around game is ring. Oh, God. Oh, this fucking intro. Here we go. Uh, it I just keeps getting about, longer, about too. My, and my believers, God, we It just we keeps believe. getting longer. It keeps getting longer and more drawn out. Like he just keeps adding like Look addendums at, and post-it notes to everything. And like Brett Keen puts his phone number on his own videos now. Yeah, yeah. And Talk about doc shit. dropping. Atheists are dropping my doc situation. Call me by the way. Six three six five two five twelve ninety. What an idiot! Yeah, what the hell? Everyone, feel free to give him a call. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will, I'm friends. not I mean, calling. You guys should take pity on me. Look at this. This is my birthday, and I am literally all by myself in the house with no one to give a shit. I'm just asking for books. I'm a lonely man who has no one around to care about him except for this fucking dog. Okay, so <laughs> down there, just, you know, five bucks. That's all I need. Five buck Amazon gift card. More if you want, because, you know, you can send me like $10,000 uh, in Amazon money. That'd be good. Any amount, really. I'm asking Y'all can you still do that, by the for way. presents. Because <laughs> I give you our... I ain't giving him a present. Uh, but I... Uh, well, I didn't give you this Cena, but I gave you yeah. the Cena that used to be Scotty Cena. Before. What do you mean he used to be? Well, he was stabbed, you know. He's in, he's in the ICU. I visited him last night. <laughs> he's actually conscious. He was able to squeeze my hand. And he just kept repeating, like wheezing something over and over that sounded like Scotty, uh, but I couldn't. <laughs> Will you hand me that? I couldn't hear what he was saying. Yeah. Must hand you what? Scotty wasn't here when you uh, situation, him, unfortunately. So yeah, hours and hours of delightful entertainment. Week after week. What's the purpose? Hello, uh, ladies uh, and gentlemen. My name is. He's going to explain King the from purpose. TV Radio. Make sure you check out my gaming channel, Games You Love, and my Brett Keen Superstar Another channel, fucking as well as and, uh, Radio Jump International, off a fucking bridge. where I host live hangouts. 
and anybody is welcome. By the way, I'm like, uh, in case am, I, am I welcome to come there? Hold on, hold on. Listen to what he says. Okay. Okay, so <coughs> he says, he's about to say everyone's welcome, unlike the drunken peasants, but our show isn't a hangout, dude. It's not the same thing. This is not a Google Hangout. Not to mention that not everybody's welcome in Brett Keen's room. I get insta booted whenever I try and go into a Brett Keen huh. room now. So well, not everybody's welcome. Just if you're willing to put up with Brett Keen's situation. Yeah, if you're willing to put up with Brett Keen's bloviating for hours on end and never say anything <laughs> no. against him, then you're welcome in his room. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'd rather jump off a cliff or a bridge or something than be in a fucking Brett Keen hangout. Yeah. <laughs> Radio like, let my misery right? just be cool. All right. Live hangouts. And anybody is welcome. Unlike the drunken peasants, I put my link to my live broadcast. We don't have a link. The entire world and atheists and God believers fill it up quite quickly. That's not We've the format. This is not a fucking show. hangout, you idiot. God, Brett King, you're so fucking stupid. You can't even understand the concept of a fucking podcast. Like literally, he doesn't. Exist. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't does, get it. Does it's Joe not- Rogan let just like whoever wants to? Random guy off the street yeah. comes yeah. in. What's should going just, on here? We should just do our podcast in the middle of the street, and anyone who wants to join in can just pick up a mic. You know, yeah. hey. public mics, public mics for everybody. <laughs> That, that actually might be a good idea for an episode, though. As many of you know, the drunken peasants, they were not willing to take my challenge where it's just me and the amazing atheist one-on-one. No, what? that wouldn't be. That's fucking hilarious. The drunken peasants would not accept those terms, like, because you're asking two people on the show, or and Paul or whoever's on, to be like, just be totally silent. And, like, like he's running the show at that point. Like, are, are you fucking kidding me? You understand our show has, like, a format, right? You understand that the whole concept of this show is that it's three guys and a guest. Well, or it's, or in I the cases where change. Scotty's off somewhere, he's got you know it's two guys and a guest. We've done special format changes for like guests that we really, really wanted to have, but that doesn't include you. I, I want you to guys say. to use the typical Brett Kane format situation. Which means that I get to kick or mute anybody that's talking yeah, at any time. I would say Brett brings nothing to the fucking table. It's like what? What he acts like? It's like okay, yeah, we're gonna debate this guy. What? What he has five hundred fucking subscribers on YouTube, and but um, actually, what? What four hundred of those are fucking people who are just sitting there going like, you know, what is this fucking idiot gonna say next? He put out a video today, throwing down the gauntlet to me and telling me that. Uh, at 7 o'clock tonight, which, of course, has long since passed, <laughs> he wanted to face me one-on-one in a Google Hangout. Oh, no. And uh, I did not go. <laughs> Very uh, evidently, I, I did not attend. You ducked, Brad, dude. Yeah, I totally. I'm scared of You're Brad, fucking honestly. running scared right now, dude. Good at all. The Amazing Atheist has to have even odds. So he's going to make sure that he has either three to four I mean, four he does kind of look like a silverback gorilla, so... To defend and he justify does. the wrongs that he has done to the atheist community and you know, on the at internet. At least ten people should show up to defend TJ. We want ten looks guests like he, to defend TJ. He looks like a, uh, like a silverback gorilla that was raised in captivity, though. Just kind of flabby and spent most of his life sitting in a cage in his own shit. <laughs> Eating, eating whatever was fed to him by his wife and watching reruns of Laverne and Shirley till he passes out in his own filth every night. Yeah, he's got some... Uh, he's, he's even got the old black and white box TV, you know? Yeah. I really hope that it's his life. That is Brett Keen's life. I, but, you know, maybe he's a... He, maybe he's actually a, like a homunculus of a manatee <laughs> and a silverback gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> it could be because you know he does bear a striking resemblance to both of those animals he does so be it Especially he says fucking dark, Brett, too. it's fine if you want to ask me questions and you want to challenge me on the dirt that I've done to people but if you come onto my drunken peasants show then I'm going to come after you with dirt on you Brad King well I'm curious exactly what that dirt would be would it be e-begging well, hmm, let's take a look. We've got atheists throughout YouTube, 
any atheist out there over 500 subscribers <laughs> has a Patreon account, this is even, as well as a PayPal account. Even Thunderfoot, who the amazing atheist has had on his YouTube channel. Even Mr. Repsian, one of the few supposed friends that the amazing atheist has, oh and God. one of the many who've actually talked about killing themselves on an occasional basis. What? That, that's so, all so relevant, Brett. All the things you just said are so pertinent. I just am blown away by the sheer magnitude of how that actually relates to something. Brett Keen is the king of fucking non sequiturs. He will just bring up everybody else's dirt. So now, so now, dirt that he has on Repsian is somehow your your responsibility to answer for, right? Because everything you know Repsian. that happens, you know, this latest series of uh, attack videos that he's made is not even his most ridiculous series of attack videos against me. No. At one no, point, there by- was actually there was actually a series of videos up, basically positing the theory that. I single-handedly, from the beginning, social engineered the fall of <laughs> Brett Keen. <laughs> and those are the ones that I thought were truly remarkable. I really wish he'd re-upload those because he made me this great Machiavellian schemer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really were the fucking evil master of the universe back in the day for Brett Keen for a while. At least he's confronting his demons now. Isn't that interesting? <clears throat> I wonder what it is that you could possibly state towards me. You state that I'm a backstabber. He's, well, he's I'm not actually the guy so scared right now. You can tell that. He's like, what, what dirt could you actually have? Like, like what, what could you know about me? It's like, and then, now he's pausing all these different things. Oh, you're going to think it's this. You're going to think it's that. But no matter what you say, he's going to, you know, whatever he's, you know, he's been called on. He's going to have some fucking ready-made answer. Like other people have done something similar. So I'm off for fucking free and clear. His friend in the whole wide world load a pistol and put it to his head and just sit there and laugh and cackle while he threatens the entire audience telling them if they don't give him money, then he's going to shoot himself in the head. I don't recall ever doing anything like that to anybody. What? Uh, hold on. You don't recall doing anything like that to anybody? So, like, TJ did that to him? He, like, made him <laughs> hold a gun to his head? TJ's psychic powers. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, TJ has psychic powers, I, obviously. He, he controlled I'm, Case's mind. I'm not the person that... <sighs> Had my friend hold a gun to his head. I just wonder what what, what? I just wonder what would he have had me do? Exactly. Tackle him, rescue him. I mean, you know, honestly, like at the time, I really just thought he was hamming it up for the camera because that was the kind of shit that he did. I didn't realize at the time how genuinely disturbed he was. Yeah, he was a very disturbed guy. Anybody out there. So I'm wondering who it is I backstabbed. I had a disagreement with G-Man for a while there, but G-Man and I did a live hangout recently where we talked things out, we worked together, and... We- yeah, look forward to being you guys being enemies again in a month. <laughs> yep. I mean, this is... What do you... Who cares? I mean, how many times have you been uh, in and out with J-Dubs? Yeah. I mean, those, you, you know, so what? You have these constant back and forths with the people who are dumb enough to actually forgive your bullshit. Even yep. we went back and forth a few times because even I'm a little bit of a dumbass when it comes to whatever fucked up Brett Ke- Keen charm you have. <laughs> yep. We actually defended theology against atheists together in the same hangout after we talked out our differences. So I'm not exactly sure. Is it J-Dubs? Did I backstep J-Dubs? Yes. Um, because me and him did World of Warcraft, and I disagreed with him because I ran him through a dungeon, and he snatched my gear, and we got pissy about a video game. Is that- Wait, hold on. That was an actual falling out? Yes. That was one of the five or six falling outs that he had with J-Dubs. It was over World of Warcraft. Oh, by the way, we, have, we have a video of a conversation uh, recorded between J-Dubs and someone yeah. where J-Dubs talks about how Brett Keen had him flag people. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a well-known video. It's been around for a few years. 
Um, Brett Keen is so disingenuous. He's such a <laughs> lying scum fuck that you, you know, you, he is every, like anything that he says, you can Google it and find a video of him doing the opposite. It's, <laughs> it's Brett Keen in a nutshell, man. Let's play that. Do yeah. Do it. You want to play that? No, no. Yeah, hold do on. it. I have, do you have that, uh, that, uh, audio clip that I think, uh, Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, I do. You know, because uh, I received a very frightening. It was scramble. Uh, you know, the scrambled voice audio clip threatening me, hmm. and I don't know who did it. But you know, after after we listen to it, I just want to you know maybe ask uh, an opinion about this. This well, clip. okay. All right, here it is. Let's see the scrambled audio from an anonymous source. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking destroy you. I'm gonna reveal all your your secrets, and I'm gonna I'm gonna rape you in the ass. I'm gonna beat you like I beat my wife. I am the king, the butt. Hey, this is not Brett Keen, though. You shouldn't think it is a Brett Keen situation. I'm not that individual. You know, you read the crayon, you understand that <laughs> the people like you, the unbelievers, need to burn forever in hell and be tormented by demons. And that's why I'm going to rape you in the ass, because you're a faggot nigger, <laughs> cunt spit Jew. I, I can't even fathom how horrible you are. Oh my god. You, you're one twisticated individual, and I can't stand your guts. You're stupid and you're ugly and your face stinks like cheese. Mmm, cheese. Oh, yeah. I could go for some of that right now. But you know what I, I couldn't go for is you. You amazing atheist. I hope you die and I hope your family dies. Yeah. Uh, you wow. know, I, I think that was either Brett Keen or Homer Simpson. I, I think with the whole mm, cheese part. <laughs> I don't know. I am shocked, and I am gonna. I, I want to let you know that I'm gonna fire up my descrambler immediately, and we're gonna get to the bottom of this really? here situation. All right. Yeah. Paul. Paul is on the case. Find yep. out who. who who the mystery uh, attacker? I don't know. Is. You know who knows if he'll actually be able to ascertain that. TJ. Uh, Paul is a master de scrambler. He should have this. Uh, don't get your hopes up, man. TJ. Don't get your hopes up. Man. Well, I, my hopes are up. I don't know. I mean, I mean I'm not going to throw around any accusations, but is there anyone you, you, you Brett Keen? Why did you send me this? No. Why did you send <laughs> I, you me know, this, Brett? I'm not the master de scrambler that Brett Keen uh, uh, your clearly family, is. TJ. But I'm going to work on this, and I've got some people that I'm going to put to work on this. And we'll get to the bottom of this attack on your family, TJ, and your character. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. No I'm, I'm going I'm to rest easy tonight knowing that you're on the case. Yeah, you're in good hands with Paul's ego, okay? I'm on it. Yeah, I, I already know that, Paul. All right, so uh, here's J-Dub talking about Brett Keen's false flagging habits. We'll just yeah. play a little bit of this. Uh, well... Brett called me one day, like uh, four and thirty in the morning, uh, for me. So it must have been like three thirty for him. He was pissed. He he woke me up. It was on the house phone, by the way. And he woke me up, and he he's, he was really just a- absolutely pissed. I I think it was like, um. You made that video, like, uh, challenge into debate or something. I don't know. Something about it. You made it. I think you or someone else made a video about him. And he was just pissed. He's like, he's like, John, what, what do you think about these people? I was like, what, drink about who? 
And he goes, oh, these people who make videos about me. I go, well, that's, you know, whatever, right? People make video. You make videos about people. And he goes, well, what about, what, what would you think about helping me take these people down? I was like, um, <laughs> sure, right? No problem, right? You know, um, so he gives me this link. He, he's telling me about um, uh, how, you know, you can DMCA people and, and – um, if someone uses people's images, you can do it that way. And he's he gave he, he was going to give me his information, but he said that this other way, it's basically youtube.com slash safety underscore help. I think that's the link. And basically, you can just flag the fuck out of people's channels. I mean, you could just flag for hours at ends, like just just flag people for like, and then he and I sent my friend Nick the screenshot. I don't have it on my computer anymore because I had to wipe it. Windows was being silly, but I sent link uh, Nick Nicholas a uh, photo of Brett. Basically, t- typed to me. Basically, tell him um, tell in the description, you know, violation of the terms of service. Oh. <laughs> It's not our Skype messages. It's Skype messages in the video. Yeah, yeah this is a recording from recorded Skype. Skype conversation. Yeah. With the J Dubs. Hey, nice lady. <laughs> hey, lady. <laughs> oh, hey, lady. <laughs> We're all shocked and offended. I like, uh, I like how unrealistic his version of events is when it comes to his own involvement and shit. You know, he, Brett comes to him and he's I'm like... I'm pretty much innocent. What do you think about these people who made these videos about me? He's like, yeah, well, you know, people make videos. It's like, uh, you, well, you want to help me get rid of these people? Which, why would he proceed with that when he just had the guy tell him, ah, I don't know, it's whatever. Well, you want to help <laughs> yeah, me take sure, him Brett. down? I'll, wha- I'll whack out it's a like- few channels for you. You know what I mean? Like, you need a few people taken care of. You need a yeah. few channels clipped. Well, that, that's that's no problem. I can stifle your critics for you, Brett. <laughs> the YouTube mafia. Yeah, it's, it's easy. Whatever. Yeah. I do it for you, Brett, because I love you. You know, you're, my, you're like my brother. Brett Keen yeah. actually made a video about someone who called his house and i just want to play like just the phone call that he okay. plays at the beginning and then we'll move on from brett Keane. Uh, sure i'm i'm surprised i'm actually um talking to um uh mr Keane. mr um, Keane. Oh, i just don't. really wanted to say <laughs> you're giving wow. him way too much respect right now I'm, I'm surprised you haven't gone farther <clears throat> that's all i really wanted to say like you you actually give caring into your content yet you I don't know why you don't get any more, like, support. I'm I'm just saying that keep up the good work. Thank you. And also, that was a giant lie. I yeah. really despise you, fucking Brett Keen. Go fuck yourself, you giant fat-ass piece of shit, manatee. <laughs> <laughs> get oh. fucked. Bye. Get fucked, Brett, you piece of shit. Eat oh, a man. fucking dick, Brett, you stupid phone number <laughs> dropping on your own self piece of shit. You deserve it. Oh, man. And you know the greatest thing about that is I bet when Brett was first listening to it, he's like, wow, yes. someone recognizes my genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally. And then the other shoe drops. That's so great. One of these days, someone's going to do a call like that and finally push him into the heart attack that has been festering for years now. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much how <laughs> I see it going down personally, but what do Brett's I know? going to finally get so pissed at a video that he's just going to clutch his heart, keel over, and die. I think he's going to wow. jump into a volcano. I think he's going to jump into a volcano, <laughs> yes. huh? That's who he is preferred. Scotty's though. going with a less probable death, but, you know, sometimes the risky bets pay off. <laughs> yep. Maybe Brett will oblige us. Maybe he'll, he will just jump into a volcano for us. <laughs> that would be, dude, if, yeah, if you jumped into a volcano and, like, uh, put it on pay-per-view and called it, <laughs> called, it the, 
called it the final situation. Dude, I'd pay fifty nine ninety five for that. The final situation. He gets fucking stuck in the volcano. Watch as I eat myself half to death with my final meal and then pop my hulking body into the mouth of Mount Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Live on pay-per-view. I'd be there, dude. I'd invite my family. We'd make a night of it. Yeah, that'd be like, you can like get like the fucking uh, chips and dip and fucking everybody be sitting around like, yeah. Okay. Let's watch my, mom would make, die. my mom would make fucking uh, chili and, and hot dogs. We could have chili dogs and shit mm, on the grill. Yeah. There'd be a bunch of, they would also have like a bunch of pizza commercials during the event. Like, order Papa John's. And we'd see Brett King, you know, jump in the lava. And it's like, this was Brett's favorite slice. Dads across America just leaning into their kids like, so how long do you think it'll last, honey? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Vegas. Brett, like, Brett if you're listening... And by the way, I saw Brett uh, made a video saying he accepted your challenge. Doesn't that mean that we have to get a video of Brett eating a bucket of KFC shirtless? Yeah, I thought that's what it meant, you know? I thought I, t- I, th- I thought I made this clear that if Brett wanted a one-on-one like he asked for tonight, you got to do the chicken thing. I mean, that's how it works, right? Yeah. <laughs> we were thinking about we were thinking about donating to Brett Keen's Patreon, you know, like if he would just make a video about how awesome we were. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe we would donate. To I think it, at least a thirty minute video just yep. praising us, just like effusive, like how great we are. The entire thirty minutes, we're gonna watch every minute of it. I've got five on it. Yeah, yeah. We'll all throw in. Yeah, you get everybody, your wife, everybody, the modest chip dress in. situation. We'll give, we'll give him a nice little pot situation. Thirty bucks or something. You know, we yep. might be able to scrounge up thirty bucks. And hey, man, thirty sure. bucks—that's a buck a minute. As long as he makes the video about how amazing we are. As long cool. as you make a 30-minute video about how amazing we are while you're shirtless yes. and eating a bucket <laughs> of chicken. Yeah, so we look forward to that video. I, I'm <laughs> sure we'll see it soon. Make I it a Patreon no goal, doubt. Brett. Come on. I will help fund it. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful oh, asshole. Oh, <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Oh shit, man! Fucking the manatee. We have the some. We have some videos that were deleted, <laughs> but they're recent videos. Oh, <laughs> shocking! Shocking. Here's the first one. We'll, we we probably won't watch bo- all of both, but okay. <laughs> so so there's a monkey now. That's cool. Um, shit, dude. I don't know if I can even. I'm so fucking baked. I don't know if I can even handle. You don't manatee. even know what's going on. Hat. I don't even know, dude. I don't even fucking know. Why should I know? Why does anyone know? <clears throat> You've never been able to follow the show, Scotty. I don't know what's going on. You're a fucking that's true. Shit. Yeah, I was I gonna say, know. Scotty. At least you don't know what's going on right now. Like all the rest of us are burdened. Look at look. What the oh, fuck? Sh- oh shit, dude. Farmer Keen, dude. <laughs> look at him. Have you guys heard about the uh, the Olympics, man? Paul, don't don't go to real, man. You're gonna get Zika. You're gonna get Zika. Dude, don't Paul. put that shit in my head, Scotty. Dude, Paul, you might get Zika anyways in the U.S. Dude, you live in Texas. It could happen, man. You're gonna get fucking Zika, dude. I'm sorry. Fuck, man. Well, fuck you. Now, now I've got to take a fat shit. So fuck you. I'm gonna go take a shit. You guys leave all the time to shit. So don't give me shit oh, about man, it. Come I'm on, the, Paul. What the fuck? No, oh, geez, Paul. no. Fuck you. Unprofessional. Unprofessional, Paul. Whatever, man. Well, I guess he really has to shit. So yeah, I mean, that's interesting. Shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's that uh new Drunken Peasants Pokemon hotline we installed, dude. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Shit. Hello? Hello. Uh, What's going hello. On? Hello? <laughs> hello? Is this? Is this, is, is this a drunken some... peasant? Yeah, it is. Oh got... shit. I'm so I'm sorry guys. I'm so nervous to welcome meet you. Welcome to y'all. our welcome to our new Pokemon hotline, What's up? dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank you guys. So, uh, hey. what Pokemon Go information do you have for us? Hey, uh well, I'm a truck driver. And uh, I listen to y'all as I'm driving truck. And uh, yeah. I was cruising through uh, the, the great state of Missouri uh, the other day. So you're and, a truck uh, driver and you were going through Missouri. Yes, I was okay. going through Missouri. Um, yeah. And I was in some shitty little town in Missouri. I don't, I don't quite remember the name of it. But, uh, you know, some shit little town in, in Missouri. I got lost. I took the wrong exit and I got lost in some shit neighborhood, right? So I'm rolling around. Driving a truck through Missouri. Yeah. Got lost. Yep, got lost. Yeah. 
and uh, there's a there's there's a there's a man by the side of the road in this neighborhood, right? And I can see him up in the head. It looks like he's doing something. He's not wearing a shirt. Just a big old fat dude with a uh, gray hair, wearing a pair of like Oakley sunglasses and shit. And I pulled up on him to see what he was doing. And I shit you not, man, he was fucking a dog, like fucking a dog right in the ass in the middle of the street in this shitty little town in Missouri. So I pulled over, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I care about animals and stuff. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you, you saw a man with uh, white hair, wearing Oakley, just cheap $5 Oakley ripoff sunglasses, shirtless, yeah. in the street, fucking a dog in some small shithole town and, in Missouri. And did this person uh, look anything like the, the person we have on the screen right now? Would you say I mean, that's a... it's kind of hard to tell because the person on the screen here, like, it was wearing a shirt. And this dude was not wearing a shirt, but uh, definitely got the hair color right. He didn't have no teeth, the dude. So I pulled over, and I, I was going to stop him from hurting this dog. And uh, I said, sir, what are you doing to that dog? And he, he looked, and I'll never forget it, man. It chilled me to the bone. He looked me right in the face, and he said, if you don't fucking leave, there's going to be a situation. <laughs> and I just knew that, like, I needed to get back in my truck. But, man, he was fucking that dog, man. He fucked that dog crazy. You know, Holy so shit. there you go. There you go. So someone matching the description and mannerisms of Brett Keen was yes. fucking a dog. Was fucking a dog, and you are an eyewitness, Mr. Yes. Now, Random. we're not saying this. We're, we're not saying this. This this uh, guest who called in, we were just here to talk about Pokemon when all of a sudden this gentleman called us and has dropped this bombshell information. We're not saying this. This gentleman is saying this. The, the man yeah. the description of uh, Brett Keen. Yeah. Yeah, Just, uh, my name is my name is Bruce Beef Potato. So yeah. you know we Bruce, can't Bruce, say this is Bruce so, Beef Potato so, saying this, not the Drunken Peasants podcast. I, I believe this no. is the guy who also created the Brett Keen fucks, fucks dogs hashtag. I, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't do. I didn't want to do. I, I wouldn't do that. No, no. I did see him do it though. And and now that I'm <laughs> now that I've had some time to look at this picture that y'all have up right here, it's definitely him. It's definitely him. He, him, oh. him was the one that was, what was fucking the dog. Well, let's just, I just want to clarify once again, this is... That's shocking. This is Bruce saying this. Yeah. This is not the drunken peasant saying this. This is yeah. Bruce saying this. No. Uh, wow. Some shocking news. We were just here to talk about Pokemon. We just we opened this new Pokemon hotline for people to come and share their Pokemon Go tips as a new oh. segment on the show. Oh well, yeah, that's the that's the end of the behold, story. Like, the the end not, of the story is, yeah, is that as up? I was get as I was getting back in my truck, I caught a okay. Pikachu in that shitty little town. So I just want to let everybody know that whatever that I think it was some like Festus. So like if you're in Festus, there's a Pikachu. Uh, <coughs> that's that's really why I called was just, just to tell you that the Pikachu the, the whole guy fucking the dog was just you know to get me to the point of there's yeah. a Pikachu. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah, so P okay. there's a Pikachu in Festus, everybody. If you are looking for a Pikachu to add to your Pokemon Go collection, you can get one in Festus, Missouri. It's good yep. to know. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. No thank problem. you so much. No, no problem. My pleasure, guys. Thank you guys for the content. Good night. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Bruce. Wow. That was, uh, I think, the first night of our Pokemon hotline is a fucking success, dude. It is. I mean, I was hoping to f figure out where to catch a Pikachu, and, you know, now we know. Where yeah. the fuck is Paul? I Paul just want to remind everyone thing. that we didn't say that. Yeah, Bruce We didn't say that. that. Bruce. The drunken peasants didn't say anything shit. like that. Oh, Paul. Dude, Paul, you missed the craziest fucking shit. What happened? Dude. What did I do? I, I get up to take a shit and I miss the whole fuck. What happened? No, dude. There's fucking... We, we got a call on the Pokemon hotline. Yeah. This dude, I think his name was like Bruce, Bruce? Beefwater or some shit like that. that. Yeah. And he, he fucking uh, was telling us all about how he caught Brett Keen fucking a dog on the side <laughs> of the street. That's crazy. That I mean, is, we, I mean, we, no, no, no. We, can't, can't, we yeah. can't confirm that it's right. true. We were not there. The we description. weren't there. But, you know, it was right. a good gentleman matching the description of Brett right. Keen. Wow. Uh, you know, this eyewitness testimony. I mean, I, I suppose he could be lying. We don't know. It's just it's a big question mark at this point, but it's an interesting story. Uh, wow. And apparently you can also catch a Pikachu in Festus, Missouri. So, uh, you know, you should probably let Ashley know about that. I know she's big in the Pokemon thing. Pikachu Sweet, in Festus. Man. And wow. uh, the whole that's, audience. That's Everyone well, go so to Festus. You can catch a Pikachu there. Just to make sure, though, it wasn't us that said this, right? It was Bruce, no. whatever. Yeah, Bruce, something or another. On he the said hotline. It. Yeah, Crazy. on the Pokemon hotline. He said it, not us. I just want to clarify that we didn't say that. It was Bruce. Wow. We didn't. Bruce said that. I didn't say it. So anyway, let's take a look at Brett Keen's video. <laughs> Does Whoops. he fuck a dog in this video? <laughs> Allegedly. He might. I heard he fucks dogs. You guys hear something about that? Yeah. Allegedly. I heard, I heard a rumor about that. Allegedly. 
the fuck? <laughs> what is Brett doing? Mm. Right, so goofy. Still or not? Why not edit this yeah. out? <laughs> it's riveting well, hello, content. Why would you gentlemen. edit out? My name is Brett Keen from those God little moments TV that just make the channel work. Make sure you connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you check out all my YouTube channels, which all can be found on my website, GodTVRadio.com. Your website. I wanted to make a deal with people out there, and I think that it's pretty courteous of me to do so. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of you Thank don't you for your courtesy. Any, He's bringing a deal to us. You don't deserve any kind of negotiation or rationalization. Negotiation. Like this. Negotiation. Many of you out there, you think that you can just come along and take my videos and cut them up. Who's doing mind that? quote me. Try to make me look like <laughs> mind quote. Mind quote me. Try mind to make Brett look bad. Mind. Uh, <laughs> did he, no, what did he say? What did he say? He said, mind mind quote. trying to mind quote me. <laughs> <laughs> mind That's quote. the man straw fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> the man. Do I hear a dog barking in the background? No, Scott's Truman. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Another fucking I don't think idiot. I don't think dogs come anywhere near also, Brett Keen, so to be honest with you. From what we've heard, me, like, you know. He comes near them. He comes in them. He comes well, in them. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to be something Balls like you and be doing anything. Allegedly. Allegedly, according you to Bruce. You can either be respectful, you can either be decent, and say to yourself, Hey, you Brett, know this how are you telling us to be decent when we, we are, we've heard some doozies about you, brah? Come on, yeah. man. Yeah, we've heard a number I mean, we, of doozies about Brett. We apparently just had a caller that had a doozy about you, Brett. Yeah. It's to our Pokemon line. Yeah, why? We're all avid Pokemon Go players, so... Love it. Yeah. Love it. And we just wanted to learn more about where to get the best Pokemon, the best pickups, you know, whatever. Yeah. So yeah, we thought I mean, you guys uh, would appreciate the hopefully, information. Hopefully the hotline will not be misappropriated in this way again. No, I don't, I don't think I don't think so. I'm hoping that, you know, from now on it'll just be, you know, Pokemon tips. There's not going to be this fucking, oh, we're going to slander Brett Keen. Well, dude, it's shit. one of the first times, so there's a lot of confusion right now. Yeah, but. so I'm hopefully people will get, the, get what the Pokemon hotline is all about as, as things progress. Of course. This is yeah. not how we treat people. Or I'll just go to your channel and I'll report you. All right. And... Your videos oh, clearly no, violate terms of service. Your videos <laughs> bright community guidelines, so I'm just doing what the hell my civil duty is to simply <laughs> report harassment <laughs> and nonsense on the internet. It's Brett's civil Sheriff, duty. Sheriff Brett <laughs> just doing his duty. <laughs> Time to clean up this here backwater town of you two. It's the fact that he thinks this is a real fucking threat. It's just so funny. It's just, I just have to report you. It's like, dude, no one's afraid of this. Go ahead and report anyone you like, bro. I'm the fastest DMCA in the West. <laughs> okay. I'm scared now. <laughs> Please, bro. I'm going to ask drunken peasants. Dude, Brett, oh, the, here we go. Oh, shit, shit, Brett, the only thing I'm afraid of you is dogs, dude. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> as well as all the different Allegedly. atheists out there. Over the years. Over the years. Nicely and respectfully. Take those videos down. Or private them. Or turn them off. Do whatever. And you can respectfully suck my and dick, And I Brett. also want a public apology. Fuck you. I want <laughs> you to public make apology. Here's your apology. Here's your apology right here, Brett. I named my fingers. This one's I'm and this one's sorry. Sorry, Brett. Video and state that you're not going to talk to Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews like this anymore. I like how he lumps all those groups together like yeah. they all get along. They he's all always, get along. God believe like, Brett, Brett has never been, he's never been happy with just one religion. Like, he's got to eat, like, Christians as well as Buddhists, as well as Muslims, as well as pagans. Like, and it's Jews. always that way. Yeah, like, like, Muslims and Jews are usually on the same team, you yeah. know? <laughs> he's gonna feel like he's a big part of a big club, you know, the God Believer Club. Yeah. But fuck if those Hindus. Yeah, he doesn't mention them. That you have pagans, even, but I not guess, Hindus. I guess Hindus are pagans, though. No, they're not. Yeah. I don't think yeah, so. No, yeah. They have multiple gods. No, yeah. And that's like kind of pagan. definition of pagan. I think they're pagan. Well, that's polytheistic. That's yeah. what multiple gods. That's well, I mean, like, that's what they they say like pag anything that's. Pagan's like a general term too. Like it's not like okay. Wicca or some shit. Yeah. We don't even know. All the views that you've obtained so far through your videos will simply be gone. Gone. No, sim simply be gone. gone. I think that some of you got the wrong impression about me. I think that you 
over the years you figured, oh, this the is years. a nice guy. This no, no, <laughs> no, no, no one ever figured that, Brett. Nope. I think you got the wrong impression. You think I'm a nice guy. It's like, no, no one no. thinks that. Literally no one on earth is like, you know who's nice? Brett Keen. I mean, all does he lie? He has such a false modesty. All like, right. People just love so, me. You know I think we're skinny. Paul's ego. <laughs> yeah. Skinny as I, shit. I think we got the gist of this video. He, he was going to do like a flagging campaign. The next video is a follow up to that. Yeah, okay. so blackmail video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Neat. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Uh, Sweet. Today I'm going to show the Christians, Muslims, and pagans and Jews something. <laughs> <laughs> there it is again. He's gonna have a big old club. I'm gonna show all these fucking good theists, you know, what they need to do to protect themselves. Something that's going to show you that if you use YouTube, then most likely you're a part of a scam, and you don't even know it. Mm. Now, what is a scam? What is considered a fraud? <laughs> what is a scam? Did you know that whenever you make videos out there and atheists take <laughs> your videos and put them in their own... They're going to claim that they have fair use. They're going to claim that for some reason they have the right and the ability to take your content, put it onto theirs, and then in the process they will turn on monetizing. You know, like, I think Brett in some part of his mind thinks of himself uploading this video and then like this big coalition of Muslims and pagans and Jews and all these people are just like, hey, yeah. Let's all rally around Brett Keen. Yeah, and you notice it's notice like, how he's never posting. Notice how he's posting like our whereabouts in his video too. Like, here's where they're gonna be. I'm yep. not saying go do something to them, but yeah. here's where they'll be if you want to. Station, which makes it to where they make money. I want to show you something here that's very important that some of you do not know. This is a new video by the amazing atheist where he uses my video in this his is the content. drunken peasants According to the stats and also the analytics He's going to make forty four dollars and fifty seven um, cents not off of all the people that he has put into his video You know how whenever you see venom thing X or Jesus freak 777 or one of these no Muslims out anymore. here who make a video talking about their views and then the atheist grabs the clip and puts it into their video. Yeah. Whether you're running a podcast or whether you're running it to where you're just simply talking shit about one single person, they get paid for it. Uh, the only one who fucking just nonstop talks shit about one person, or at least only a few people, yeah. is you. Well, he's talking about you right now, that, like, even though, you know, all of us are on Drunken Peasants, he's like, here's video by the amazing atheist. Yeah, and, like, he'll fucking go, like, 70% against me, and then 30% against Paul, and then make no <laughs> other kind of videos. <laughs> and they literally get paid more than you do. And the reason why they get away with this... Is because YouTube because makes people want to watch us. Yeah, there's there's at least a decent amount enough of people that actually want to watch us. Yeah, Brett, you understand fair use. No one's stealing shit from you. Uh, Brett has used clips from other people in his he, videos. In this video, he, he should be able to. In this video, he points out the full screen thing, and he claims that like we're pro like we're protected. Uh, to like steal people's content by full screen. I, I wish that That's were true. bullshit. We've been awesome. DMCA'd like three or four times. Like bullshit. Money too. Did you know that? When those advertisements and stuff goes up, oh, the it's company also a called YouTube full conspiracy. screen, which is oh, a yeah. YouTube network, ends up getting paid for the advertisement from your video being in their clips. All they have your to do video is just simply it claim. Their clips. <laughs> what a terrible explanation. Your videos are the clips! Total It's like, what the fuck? I mean, um... Brett, full screen is basically a middleman. What are you fucking talking man. about? Like... Do we have to explain again? <laughs> fucking fair use? I mean... No. Like, as long as we're providing criticism and commentary on what you're doing, what you're uploading publicly, we're allowed to do that. Just like you're allowed to take our video and fucking cut it up and fucking criticize. TJ, it. why are you explaining this? He already knows that. He's already used this principle to his advantage. I'm not even times. explaining it. I'm not really explaining it to him. I'm just explaining it to anyone out there who might not fucking know what the fuck he's talking about. Oh, okay. Fair use. 
and they can sit there and call you names throughout your video or let it play all the way through and just there's nothing Dog fucker, allegedly there's, there's nothing in the fair use laws that states that it has to be nice or polite or anything like that yeah that's not why fair is in that that's that's one of these things that like people like Brett always try and do that's not fair it's supposed to be fair use which means that you give me equal time and you let me call you know like you you paint my 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 content in a good light no no that's not why fair is in there Fair use is for purposes of critique or commentary. That's all it is. It doesn't mean nice. It doesn't mean good. It doesn't mean painting you in a good light. Yeah, it's basically saying that it's fair for us to use it as long as we aren't just, like, wholesale stealing it and saying, like, this is our content. I mean, we if we just only made, like, very superficial changes to it, like we put a red nose on Brett Keen, that probably wouldn't be enough for it to qualify as fair use, but... The fact that we actually like go through your the details of your video and critique like all the ideas and thoughts and shit presented there, that pretty much covers us completely. Because we are basically you're putting ideas out there in the public space, we're allowed to take those ideas and shit on them and say they're bad ideas. Yep. Yeah. Basically, in this video, he says that people are going to have to start giving him money to like make more videos. Neat. Yeah, this video is no longer up, though. Well, he should be nicer to me, because I'm one of the few people who is giving him money to make his shit videos. No, no. <laughs> make belching sounds. No, 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 because we're actually destroying his YouTube career. He accuses us of that in this video, too. Uh, and some noises, and they're going to get paid 50 bucks. as where you're not going to get paid anything. <laughs> That's but like, worse. um... These big YouTube company networks out well, there. Well, here's the problem, Brett. You protect. get paid for your content, too. It just sucks, so you get about 21 cents per video, because nobody's watching it. The fact that we cover you as a small part of our show and make more money than you do on 25 videos is not what it's, what's at issue here. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're a fraction of the overall show. Yeah, and not only that... Um... You know, your content is out there for anyone who wants to watch it. And, like, honestly, this show has given you a shit ton of promotion. The fact that so few people actually take the initiative to go out and watch your content should tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, because, like, basically what it says to me is that your content is only interesting to people when we're shitting on it. Like, if we're not shitting on it, no one cares to listen to it. They just like how mean we are to you, and they don't have to feel bad about how mean we are because you're a total piece of shit. So no one has to feel bad for you. That's what the wonderful thing about you is. But you know the best thing about that? With he, Brett can actually get people to feel bad for him. He always, he, there's yeah, always a time where TJ will do something, and people be like, man, TJ's a dick, you know, or Paul's a dick, or, you know, they were being a real dick okay, to Brett. but I here's the problem. Like, it... it as soon as they do that, like, within a day or two, Brett's done something to make I know. them fucking, like, to make them say, oh, never mind. But that's why you, that's, that's, you know, one thing, honestly, you have to love about Brett. Like, he just makes enemies like nobody else I've ever seen. I've seen Brett on, like, several occasions pull uh, defeat from the jaws of victory. He's just, like, yep. his specialty. <laughs> <laughs> These big YouTube channels. They'll make it to where you can't take them down by reporting them. They've uh, actually got insurance where they can get away with this shit. Insurance. Your false and lagging didn't worse. work, huh? Just yeah. when you figure to yourself, well, I false flagged them like shit, and there's still nothing happened. <laughs> They're protected by a conspiracy. Yeah, like, the conspiracy is the channels that make YouTube money. You know, yeah, are they going to be biased? Of course. What are, you, what, what are you thinking? I think YouTube just goes and, like, someone made a claim. It's Brett Keen. Let's look at his history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're not going to take this seriously at all. Yeah, let's see. Maybe. This user's been banned 14 fucking times <laughs> from the website. And gets about 22 views a video. Yep, not going to take this one seriously. Let's move on. You're going to say to yourself, I'm not here for money. I just want to talk about God. I just want to talk <laughs> no, about you religion. you don't. Uh, You're all about the money. What are you talking he, yeah, about? Yeah, I do think he <laughs> worships TJ as God. Because he says all he wants to do is talk about God. And all he talks about yeah. is me. Yeah. Oh, all he well, talks about is us. Yeah, like yeah, up until dude. recently when Brett, like, s suspiciously removed every mention of the drunken peasants from all of his <laughs> channels, your entire channel was nothing but us. It was me with the stupid fucking, you know, mouth-moving thing and TJ and you having people in to talk about how TJ raped people. And, like, what do you... 
do you do you not know that the people that are watching this know that you've spent the last fucking like two years dedicating your channel to this channel? You don't just want to talk about God. You haven't made a video about God in forever, Brett. <laughs> Unless I'm God. Then he has. I just want to express so. myself. Who cares if somebody stealing my work and doing all this kind of stuff? <laughs> what? Unfortunately, that's, that's not your attitude at all, Brett. That's YouTube ridiculous. These big network companies, they have something called content ID. And what this means is, is that they digitize the video <laughs> as well as the sound of all these videos where they steal your work. So one day, if you manage to work your way up to at least a hundred or a thousand subscribers... I feel subscribers, like I'm watching a really bad tutorial. Lo, <laughs> lo and behold, you might wake up one day and find your entire YouTube channel gone... Because Gorn. the atheist has set it up, as well as the YouTube network, <laughs> to make it out to appear as though you've stolen their content because your videos are actually in their videos, and they've made it their work. What Sweet. is this now? So one day you're going to wait. He, is, he, is he claiming that we are filing DMCA's against him? Yes. That is never his own videos? I think He's saying that uh, our videos are, uh, like, when he... Post videos of us, like when we post videos of him, full screen is claiming that content, and so when it sees that content on his channel, it's flagging it with a content ID. I, I seriously doubt this is happening because we'd be hearing about it all the time from all sorts of people's channels if it was. He'd have screenshots. Yeah. Yeah, He'd have screenshots. I think it's just a concern he has that's pretty much unfounded. Yeah, we, we don't have a content ID. Uh, match thing for yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, Brett, if it's it, happening, it'd be unreasonable if for it's us. Right, happening, so. provide your evidence. You, all you have to do is take a screenshot. Look, look, here's full screen DMCA me for a drunken peasants clip. Didn't happen. Yeah, they gave us the option to do that, and we just never did it. No. There's there's other channels out there that have clips and stuff. Let them use whatever clip you want. Who gives a shit? Yeah. That's how we feel. Pick up, and you're gonna see that your channel is gone. Go You're going to see that you've made no money, and you've wasted a hell of a lot of time. Paul, it's been too yes. long since you sang yes, you a Brad Keen song. Go. Um, <laughs> I, I, did, I did the Eagle Eye. You guys remember that song by Eagle Eye Cherry, Save Tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did uh, just last night. I was beating my wife, Dorn, come tomorrow. TJ's channel will be gone just last night. I was slapping my wife, Dorn, come to my row. Drunken peasants will be gone down. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Yep. Uh, yeah, that was great. That was sick. <laughs> I like that's it. my favorite one recently that I've that I've thought of. <laughs> oh, by the way, to our patrons, our makeup show is tomorrow. So you should know. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow it's uh, six or something, something like that. Yeah. Well, you'll just stay stay tuned to the Patreon. You'll fucking see. The Patreon. The Patreon. It's like a bad 90s movie. The, pa the Patreon. <laughs> the Patreon. It's like the Patriot, but Ian instead. <laughs> Me and TJ were doing that. When we drove from Columbus to Toledo for that meetup, like... We were both just keenifying every song that came on the radio. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. It was pretty fun. So we're gonna move right into individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. <laughs> Rock on. Oh, you gotta talk about Becky. Oh, you motherfuckers talk about Becky. So I have. Uh, we'll we'll play a. Uh, small clips of each one of these videos because the first one he deleted almost immediately huh. and it's him uh, showing you how to flag people <laughs> cool what a shock uh, so we'll do that one and then and then uh, and well, then we'll... what the fuck I'm just gonna... I'll be right back. okay where, where are you going okay so TJ just randomly fucking leaves like bye TJ. TJ okay what well, I don't even know that's what the, that's, that's fucking bizarre. No, really. I mean, yeah. really. It's like he just gets. Uh, I gotta go. It's like we're not we're not, we're not doing a podcast, TJ. We're just fucking you know bullshitting. You know, I don't know. Maybe maybe he had like a little bubble of a fart and it slipped out some shit and he shit his pants and he's got to go clean it out. Like are these 
Are these fat guy problems you're describing? Oh yeah, dude, it happens. It ha- I mean, not all the time, but it happens. Like, you know, everybody's got a shitty day now and again. Yeah, TJ that's will true. For that. <laughs> I heard TJ crapped his like crapped himself in the shower a few times yeah. too. So he yeah, has, dude. Yeah, you know. What the fuck? Please refresh. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, I, I accidentally opened a browser window. Oh, shit. It's all right, man. Yeah, so I, we're just waiting for TJ to come back. Um, oh. He should be back. I mean, he has been known to take some pretty massive shits. And run to the bathroom randomly. Um, but, you know. Oh, so, you guys, you know how, do you, how do you guys feel about, like, getting getting all the peasants together and marching on gross teat and freeing Tony the Tiger? Like, how do you... How do you Paul, Paul. Paul, yeah. I think we're getting we're getting a call. Getting a call, Paul. Oh, on the, get, on the oh, Pokemon shit. hotline. Oh, the Pokemon. Okay, so yeah, uh, yeah. Got it. Uh, we're hopefully gonna find out where to find a Snorlax around here. So let's let's answer that. All right, uh, you're you're on the show. Hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have information where we can find a Snorlax? Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? Uh, yeah. We can hear you, buddy. <laughs> What's going you, on, man? man? You got some okay. Pokemon news? Is this the drunken peasants? Yes, this is the drunken peasants. Oh, I got through. I've been calling all day trying to get through this this shit. Okay. My name is Rufus Gutter. All right. Rufus Hi, Gutter. Hi, Rufus. Yeah. What, what, is, is, what is your Pokemon information, Rufus? All right. Well, I got kind of a roundabout way of sharing this. Okay. Well, so well, you know, you gotta you gotta listen up here. Now it kind of comes back to my relationship with my son. I had a son named Don. Called him Donnie. Uh-huh. And uh, you know. I always knew he was a little weird, a little off. You know, even when he was a little little boy, you know, he just had an effeminate way about him. You okay. know what that is? I mean, I'm a, I'm a very manly man myself. So when sure. I seen my son kind of doing a limp-wristed queer thing and shit, you know, I was a little upset. I was I was close-minded, you know. I changed, but, you know, at the time, I was weirded out by it. And, uh, you know, about the time he was like 13, 14 years old, I came home early from work. And I found him up in there. Uh, he was wearing his mom's lipstick. He was wearing one of her dresses. Oh. And, you know, oh. uh, I kicked him out. He kind of, wow. you know, he, he came and went. You know, he would sleep with the friends. You know, he'd come back. And things would come to a head again. Yeah. You know, eventually he comes out and tells me, uh, Dad, I'm one of them transgenders. Oh, no. Transgendered. Yeah, you know. Not and, a fucking uh, transgender. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. crazy. And uh, so he went and uh, started calling himself Dawn. 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 D- Dawn. Yeah, married married some uh, guy by the name of uh, Brent King or... Brent King. Brent you know, King. You know who that Brett, sounds like? Brett King or... I don't, hold on, hold on. Dawn and Brett... Brent King? You know, I think it was Brett Kane. His name was oh, Brett. Brett? Oh, wait Brett a minute. King. Wait a minute. Let's yeah, hold, what's hold up? on. Hold on, Rufus. Let's back this up real quick. We just want to make sure that we're hearing this right, okay? Uh huh. You are saying, and we want to make sure that that we make that clear. You, Rufus. What was your last name again, sir? Rufus Gutter, sir. Rufus, Rufus Gutter. Gutter. You, Rufus Gutter, saying that you have a son who is a, who is now a trans woman who calls yeah. him her, herself Dorn. And is married to Brett Keen. Is that is it that what you're be. saying, sir? It can't be. Yeah, that's right. I, I mean, I hear he's uh, he's always got this. He dyes his hair black, and then it grows out all white, and he just leaves the tips black, and it looks retarded. I mean, this is shocking. I mean, <laughs> we were trying to talk about Pokemon. He's always wearing his. No, no, this is about Pokemon because okay, you know, even though. Even though my son, I guess my daughter now, whatever, I'm PC, I'm with all the bullshit, but I guess that my daughter, uh, you know, even though she went in transition, st- she still got a big old pecker, you know, huh. she still got a big old dick, oh. and uh, you know, I guess Brett, and Brett right. don't mind, but whatever, but uh, anyway, long story short, her dick is so big that it's actually a poke stop, <laughs> and you can catch you a Snorlax there. <laughs> Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So, uh, so you can get a Snorlax on the at the Dorn's Dick Poke Stop. Um, and that's over in Festus, Missouri. You ever, you, y'all Missouri. ever been through Festus, Missouri? I've no. Never been. Been. Well, it's never it's a shithole. You don't want to go through there. But wow. if you ever are there for any reason, you can catch a Snorlax over there on my my boys. I guess my girls' cock. <laughs> Wow, that's a, that's a pretty rare find. So, yeah. if you're passing through Festus and you want to get a Snorlax, I mean, you may have an opportunity there. Oh yeah. Wow. 
Wow, and and we, we just want to make it clear that uh, these are not statements yeah. we're making. We're not saying this. No. Yes. No, clearly. This is, yes. this is this is Rufus Gutter saying Ruf- this. This, yeah. is a, this is a hotline we've set up to learn about the best Pokemon Go tips and spots, and if you see you know, a rare Pokemon or something, we're just trying to figure this out. So, I mean, shocking. Seems to be a lot of seems to be a lot of rare Pokemon in Festus, Missouri. That's wow. two in a row, man. That is. It's crazy. Oh, man, well, you guys. What? Oh, oh it's just a massive fucking shit. Dude, you totally oh, missed it. What dude, missed. you dude. completely missed it. Dude. <laughs> dude, you missed something crazy, man. What I missed, dude. <laughs> Some uh, guy named Rufus, Rufus just called the Pokemon line. And oh, he, we're still doing the Pokemon line? Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I thought we were he, just continuing after that weirdness. He said time. that... His daughter, his son, his son, transitioned into his daughter, and and his daughter's name is Dawn, mm. and she married someone named like Brent King or something like that. Yeah. Oh, really? And he's got yeah. he's got so white hair with black tips. I mean, we're we're not saying this. You know? No, no, yeah. no, no, no. But you guys are thinking he might be talking about Brett Keen, though. No, I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, we're just reporting. You know? Yeah, sure. We're just we're just reacting to this news story that Rufus has brought to us, and you can also wow. get a Snorlax in in uh, Festus as well. So off um uh, Dorn's pole or. Dorn, yeah, yeah. Dorn apparently that's a very large. It's penis. a poker stop. <laughs> you know, I've always thought Don looked kind of masculine, dude. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But then, how do you explain the kids? <sighs> adopted. I just adopted. don't know. Was kidnapped. I mean, we don't know for sure. Right? That, would, that would explain how they seem normal. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> I, I just, I, I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make, but just like building on what Rufus said, maybe Brett has a pussy. <sighs> Oh, and that's where the kids Whoa. come from. So you think Whoa. maybe maybe Brett is trans too? Whoa, it's possible. I mean, it, it could happen. Who knows? Maybe Brett used to be Bettina. You know what I mean? He does have a lot of those emotional fluctuations that you can sometimes get when you're on the hormones and shit. All right, into the video. <laughs> sure. Oh, oh, oh. God. <laughs> Oh, These strange God. colors we keep getting for the Pokemon Go line. I just don't. I, I don't can't. Know. I, 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 now I have the picture of Dawn impregnating Brett in my mind, and then Brett <laughs> shitting out a, a kid like nine months later. Oh. <laughs> All right. Porsche situation. Porsche. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Doing right now. Some of you out there may not realize that YouTube has become more strict with their terms of service and community guidelines. Make sure you check out my video that outlines huh, it look very at the name boldly, of the video that he's very showing easily there. for anyone to understand what you're not allowed to do on YouTube. But I'll give you a couple examples. Take example for this guy. He believes that he is using my videos as fair use. He thinks that he can put my entire content up on his channel and refer to me as a cunt. Uh, he, he's allowed to do it. Well, he's, he's right on at least one account. Calling me a cunt is an abusive word. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, I mean, you know. Why don't you go some fucking thicker skin? Yeah. Cunt. Sitting there calling me names over Dober. Well, we this just is speculated not that maybe he has one. This so. is not fair use. Fair use states very clearly in the policy that if what you're doing to another person's content is meant to disparage the them or cause harm, no, it doesn't. Or... Doesn't say that. I. <laughs> no, it doesn't say it. You fucking cunt. Oh, Any I'm sorry. Kind of issues that may tarnish the original content nope. holder. No. Nope. nope. Then Nothing you about yeah, that. I mean, like, <laughs> have you ever heard of like film critics before? You know, they're they... not allowed to give bad reviews of movies. Oh, no, that no. might tarnish the movie. Right? It's like, who gives a shit? Brett, you don't understand what fair use is. You never did. I mean, you do. Yes, he does. He does. You yeah. do understand what it is, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe he does. He's pretty stupid. No, there's no fucking way Brett's <laughs> sitting there going, "Oh man, you know what? <clears throat> this is fair use. This is not fair use." <clears throat> He's not doing that. Even if he did understand, he would still well, do he's... the same shit. So whatever. <laughs> He's got to know better because he's pulling all these rules directly out of his fucking fat manatee ass. So, like, he, he knows he's just making this shit up. There's nothing in there about disparaging content. There's nothing in there about being fair or balanced to a person. No. Sorry, Brett. Maybe, maybe, he's, uh, maybe he's really sensitive about being called a cunt because he actually has a cunt. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 
violated fair use, you have violated terms of use, you have violated community guidelines, and also stealing other people's contents is worthy of a DMCA. Worthy. As some of you out there, it's you worthy. may realize it's that worthy. in the past, worthy. I have done tutorials on how to show how to report people. You just did one, you fucking cunt. And I don't care if people are bothered by it. I don't <laughs> care if you get angry okay. about it. No one even needs a tutorial to do that. It's obvious where that is. Yep. No one needs your help to figure out how to fucking, fucking flag a video. <laughs> Dude, I just saw the fucking video at the bottom. <laughs> Brett Keen loves the dick. <laughs> <laughs> what that fucking wow. what that Rufus Gunner call it and then that video wow this there is insane is. I mean I gotta go, I gotta go back up. and hear this Rufus Gutter shit yeah you're gonna have to later man <coughs> about it because you're not going to bully me into just sitting bully. back and doing nothing bully. about it bully. I'm going to show Christians Muslims pagans and Jews <laughs> ah, how to deal again. with people like this as the Christians, pagans, Muslim Jews, Muslim Jews. Brett, no, like, no one's oh really watching God, you. Brett, you fucking shit heap. YouTuber We Are Empty Without a Brain has discovered they've been reported before and they got their pink slip. <laughs> now we're going to go through this and I'm going to show you how this is done. And you can see that the trolls out there enjoy this type of content where someone will do these kind of things to you. Let me show you how this works. Prolapsed vagina of a cow? This is not like, why false is that flagging, in the recommended but... video sections on a Brett Keen video? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't need I don't need an answer to that. It makes sense. <laughs> Dude, you know what? It's the shit he's watching. It's the shit he's fucking watching that pulls these things up. So I mean like this isn't even something we're like we're making fun of Brett. Like this is just right there for everyone to fucking see, Brett. I don't know why you're watching videos like that, but apparently you are. Prolapsed vagina of a cow. <laughs> Prolapsed vagina of a cow. Oh, this is Let's hot. For that. Recommended oh, I thought they were talking about sea cows like me. <laughs> Fuck. I am the manatee. Man I'm the king of the manatee. Yeah. By the way, there is no such thing as false flagging, ladies and what? gentlemen. What? Oh, I what? Interesting. Guys, there's no such thing as false flagging, so um, if you want to go to Brett's channel and, you know, exercise your right to just flag, yeah, go I ahead. Mean, there's there's, there's no mean, such thing as false flagging anyway, so it's fine. Right, Brett? By that logic, isn't that fine? Hmm. I guess, uh, I, I think you probably would be changing your tune if people were fucking giving you false flags, Brett. I kind of think that you might say, like, this is false flags, but now we got a little sound bite. All we got to do is play you saying, there's no such thing as a false yeah. flag. No such thing. All fa all flags are valid. Like, bullshit, Unless Brett. you do it to him, though. That, bullshit. That, that's it, there, there's the line. If you, fa if you false flag Brett, then you cross the line. A yep. Anyone else, fair game. What a piece of shit. I used to think that there was. I used to think that people could false flag you, but it's not the case. What happens is, is you click on more, right there. Okay. You, you click report. on report. Mm -hmm. You click, I'm not a robot. A robot. I'm not a robot. I'm not a robot. <laughs> yep. Says I've recently flagged several videos. Please complete the challenge. Uh, okay. Please what am I yeah. supposed the to do here? Mm. That's pretty pathetic. Why not cut this Damn. part out of the video? He doesn't need to. But okay. uh, what's going on here? Well, I'll have Where's to figure out how this works. Oh, oh, we'll there we go. Oh, that's all I had to do. You see that? So if you've already reported several wow. videos, which you just... Yo, hold on. You're teaching a tutorial on how to flag, but you just got stuck for a second. On a continue fucking yeah. thing. Turns see, out I, I was have, supposed to press the continue You're going to see me button. do this again. I Monkey consider no calling Brett Steen Cunt up. as extremely abusive. And here I go. Right, Let me go ahead and get my TOS. <laughs> okay. Let me put this up. All right. Violates. Oh, yeah, <laughs> violates one of these. Terms oh, I hate when service. <laughs> violates a TOS. And oh my God, immunity right. guidelines. Uh, Brett, why don't you just copy and paste this over and over again? Isn't guidelines all one word? Calls. I think so. Whatever. Several calls, times. Calls me cunts several times. And steals 
Why is cunt Content. capitalized? <laughs> Does Brett of think cunt is a fucking without proper noun? Permission. Uh -huh. Like if you're if okay, look, if you're a hunt and peck, slow ass fucking mongoloid typist, wouldn't it have been like like behooved you when you're making this video to type all this out first and just copy paste it in there and read it to people? Like you why do we have to so, sit there but hammering away? Vi oh hold on, back, back. Vi oh <laughs> Nates. Tur tur how you spell terms again, Dorn? Tur T R M S terms of what the fuck? Ugh. Uh. <coughs> also uh, enjoys enjoys coming. <laughs> Is he writing it like a personal ad? <laughs> also enjoys long walks on the. He also enjoys <laughs> coming, dude. Yeah. I also enjoy coming. Hey. Com com well, you know. That's something me and Brett Keen have in common. Wow. After I come, can find a I girl. Can find a <laughs> can find a common ground anywhere. To my channel. It's a nasty ass common ground, dude. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to see that Ugh. ground. You want to see all the coming from Brett. <laughs> Calling all the coming. Me various. Hey, wait a minute, Brett. How do you know he enjoys doing that? How are you? How or how are you privy to his emotional state as he comes to he, your channel and calls you coming. various? Maybe, things. maybe he hates to do it. Yeah, maybe he doesn't enjoy it. Maybe it's just like a, a hobby. You know, it's just like you know an activity. A distraction. Maybe it's a compulsion at this point, Brett. Yeah, maybe, maybe. How do you know he enjoys it? You're lying, Brett. You have no idea how he feels about what he does. You have no fucking clue, buddy. Thank you. YouTube. Hi, YouTube. For dealing. <laughs> for dealing. God bless. This, this abusive individual oh. oh. person. How long oh, do violates? Uh, I love he's just gonna tell them who violates this shit. Who violates? The Thank you for doing as I bid, YouTube. He's oh. just repeating himself violates now. Like he already said, they violate rules. terms of service. Yeah. So yeah. when That's I click good. submit, which I'm about to do, if only there was a whole book written by this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, there is. Scotty, hand it to me. Oh shit! Uh oh. I it's must time. read from the sacred tome of Brett. Eternal undying love. Random paragraph. Oh shit. You know Brett Keen finding is, a paragraph. <clears throat> Brett Keen has moved yeah. on to a different part of the okay. of his cycle. The, yeah, Brett. Brett's already thrown a monkey wrench in this plan because there's no paragraphs in this fucking book. All right. Let's just. All right, I'm gonna try again. Yeah. Wow. No, that's Bible quotes. Brett moved right. uh, to the, I'm going to only make gaming videos now. I'm not going to talk about atheism anymore. As they walked out the opposite side of the warehouse, they found themselves on a boat dock. In the distance, the killer stood the killer. talking to some dark figures. <laughs> Stalker <laughs> stared at them from afar. <laughs> there he is, Stalker pointed, turning around in shock, realizing Damien had vanished. Stalker proceeded forward. He knew the killer and his friends had spotted him. There was no point in sneaking up on them. He approached them cautiously. Trick or treat, the killer joked. This isn't a social call. <laughs> I don't know, dude. What? Stalker replied stoically. I see. So what is it you want? The killer asked. To bring you in, dead or alive, Stalker spoke. Well, well, if it isn't good old Stalker, a man stepped out of the shadows, <laughs> as well as three other men. Dude. Listen to that sentence. Hold on. A man stepped out of the shadows, <laughs> as well as three other men. So four men stepped out of the shadows, right? Fuck me. <laughs> Stalker, Stalker was taken back. <laughs> it was taken aback, I think you mean. It was the sheriff of Quiet Meadows, the chief of the New York PD. And the other guy he didn't recognize. What the hell is going on here? Stalker asked with surprise in his voice. Stalker? <laughs> what kind of name is that? <laughs> Look at him. This mortal is pathetic. Ha ha ha. The sheriff transformed into Lilith. <laughs> 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 the chief transformed into Beelzebub. <laughs> and the other man transformed into Jezebeth, son of Lucifer. 
<laughs> Why? Why would you do this? Jezebel. Stalker gasped. Son of Lucifer. Are you really reading this? Or are you making this? Story? I'm really reading it. I cannot believe it. Why deceive you? Because you were the perfect choice. A drunken detective. <laughs> Another pawn we could frame for all the things that happened. You're not alone, stalker. <laughs> Nothing special. Just another fallen man for demons to use, Jezebeth cackled. All of a sudden, Jezebeth screamed in an inhuman screech of agony and incinerated before their eyes. <laughs> the Sunday school teacher had stabbed him with the holy weapon. What? What? <laughs> All right. What There's is, a Sunday school it's almost teacher, done. too? It's almost, yeah, it's almost gone. <laughs> okay, go ahead. The demon stood back, stood back, shocked. You fool! What have you done? The demons wheezed. They wheezed. <laughs> you deceived me. You used me to kill people. I thought the voices I heard were that of God, the killer cried. You're nothing, nothing but a mental patient killing for God. Ha ha ha. Lilith laughed maniacally. I love how he writes out the ha's. I must uh -huh. make it right. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. The killer fell to his knees. At that moment, the Sunday school teacher thrust the holy weapon into himself intentionally. What? Into himself what? intentionally. His body Dude. fell backwards into the river along with the holy weapon. Stalker stared at the demons. Damien appeared out of the shadows, ripping off his <laughs> trench. There's a lot of fucking shadows. Diving into the frigid river to retrieve the weapon. <laughs> It's what? dead time, Lilith howled at Stalker as they prepared to rip him to shreds. The it's Guardians dead? appeared Wait, as well. On. As <laughs> it's dead time. All right. It's dead time, dude. That's what the uh, villain says? It's dude. dead time. Yeah, it's this dead time. They didn't say that. They howled that. Dude, this isn't oh. made one of those like, ironic fucking 30-minute short films, because this would be a fucking hilarious All right, hold watch. up. We're almost at the okay. end of the chapter, and then we're done here. Gomorrah threatened, this is unexpected, Beelzebub spoke to Lilith. Yes, unfortunately it is. We need to reassess the situation. Lil oh! situation. <laughs> Lilith replied, run, Stalker, Gomorrah shouted. Damien and I will finish this. Stalker didn't have to be told twice. Leviathan and Behemoth appeared in the sky, their oversized wings spread, rapidly closing in. There are so many characters in this. Blimp to the bub. Chimp the bub turned into Kim the bub. Flip the bub appeared in the sky along with Jezdebeth. Like, how are you ever. And, there, and then all of a the sudden there's a Sunday school teacher. And none of this dialogue is broken up, and it's never clear who's talking, and no one ever says anything. I like they always website, howl though. it or wheeze it or fucking some nonsense. God hates you. One man walked out of the shadows, then three other men walked out of the shadows, yeah, it was, too. No, it was one man stepped out of the shadows, then three other men stepped... No, uh, did he even say other? Or I, just three men stepped out of the shadows? No, he said three other... He said three other guys or some shit. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then they were just random evil monsters, and then they turned into... Wait, no, they were like... Normal people, then they turn into monsters, then they, one was stabbed suddenly. <laughs> By some and character then... that was never established to be there. Yeah. That I, just, I, I can't like... wait till the next chapter so we can find out what Chimdebeth thinks about all this. <laughs> See, Brett King gets free advertising from our show. <clears throat> Look at this. We, we play well, all So does his brother. Yep. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, godtvradio.com. I'm out here enjoying nature, and I've been doing nature? a lot of thinking. Okay. Should I? When you're in a dark room and your shit looks purple, that's pretty weird. But when you're like outside in like normal light and you look purple, what the fuck is going on? Also, you're not really in nature. I mean, I guess you are in a technical sense. You're just outside of your fucking house, like sit sitting around, standing with my back against my tool shed, which I never use. There was a video that we never played on the show, but like it was like a Q and A video. I guess he did where someone asked him what it was like to live in Missouri. And he was talking about, like, how beautiful it was and how great it was. And then, like, towards the end, you could hear his crazy neighbor, like, ah, like, screaming. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking crazy. I, I think that's this video. I think no, it's no, towards no, no. the end of... It's not? It, well, I, I just it, watched that. It does happen in this one, but not the same way. There's, oh, okay. it, it's more intense in the other one. It's him and it's him and Dorn, and they're talking about like living in Missouri, and then like there's like a bunch of loud ass motorcycles that drive by, so he has to stop talking at that point. And then also there's a crazy neighbor like screaming in the background. That's awesome. So sounds yeah. like heaven to me. Yeah. Continue to make videos about God and religion. 
being that there's more to the universe than we can ever even know, that we have less than 1% understanding of 200 billion light years of space and time and nature itself, that we still haven't discovered the origin of the universe, Where'd we you still get don't 200 even billion understand light years why from? our consciousness exists in the first place. <coughs> the universe is much bigger than that. Yeah. And I mean, like... <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Um, I mean, he's why is sitting this there. air blue? Brett looks I like a know, fucking dude. SJW now. What is this? <laughs> he's. That's he's, what I'm saying. Like he looks. His skin looks purple. <laughs> his hair looks blue. What is going on? <laughs> like this camera he's using is weird, or he's fucking like eating fucking silver shavings or something. No, it's just some fucking filter he ran over it. I've been in over 500 live hangouts shows and each one of them has resulted in when I talk to people that are of a non-belief persuasion they cannot help themselves but to show hatred anger and even result to personal attacks you mean resort not result no he means result. actual <laughs> discussion I don't understand it I really don't get it I myself, whenever I was a non-believer, the only thing that was important to me when it came to God was knowing if God was true or not. I didn't get off or find any kind of happiness or closure by mocking and making people feel like shit. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, <What>? Bullshit. <laughs> Look at what this website says. God, God hates you. Org. But you didn't like it at all. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I never... I never went that far with it. Yeah, no, no, the, no. The funny thing about Brett is, is that when he changes religions, his personality never changes. You've always been a fucking lying, slanderous scum fuck, Brett. Even when you were a fucking atheist, you did this shit. So quit trying to paint it like you were just out to like all I wanted to do was have discussions with Christians as well as Muslims, pagans, Buddhists, and Jews. No, you were shitting on people back then, and you're still shitting on people. As where we can see that the new atheist movement does all the time. There's not a... Alright, like what new atheist movement are you even fucking talking about, dude? Like, the atheist thing on YouTube is pretty much like, people are just like, yeah, we're all atheists now, so what next? You know, that's what's going on. No one's even really fucking having this religion debate very intensely anymore. YouTube channel out there that goes by where atheists cannot sit there sit and do there. their channel without making a video insulting sit religious there. people or insulting God. And to me, that shows something very powerful. What's going on there, boy? Uh, just... What's right, going here. on there, boy? What's up, boy? <laughs> smoking a fucking cigarette. What's, what's going on there, what? boy? Why would you leave that in your video of just like, what's going on, boy? Let me take a drag off this his cigarette. I mean, he doesn't edit his videos. I mean, I guess he does because there's always an intro Wait. and this stupid shit. Support my Patreon and all this. But I guess he's too lazy to actually make cuts. Or he just, I mean, like, I think Brett Keen is so stupid that he thinks that, like, people watch this shit and are, like, entertained. Like, it's charming. Maybe he doesn't even care about what's entertaining. I mean, like, it doesn't really seem like he does. It doesn't seem like he has any concern for whether the audience can fucking even sit through a fucking video of his or not. He just wants to spout off his bullshit with no consideration for, like, maybe I should do something that people will actually be fucking entertained by instead of just blah, 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 blah. You know? What's up, boy? How you doing, son? To me, I've made over 400 videos on two different channels about God and why it is that I believe. And I pointed out that something very personal to me, I made an oath, a promise, stating that if God gave me evidence a long time ago, I would stop being a hardcore atheist. And okay, and what I would try to promote the idea that there is a God. Yeah, and why do you still have doubts till this day? Yeah, periodically, I mean, like, you've still you've gone back, you've like, dipped your toe into returning to atheism like three or four times now. So, this this narrative you're crafting of like I was 
you know, God gave me a sign, and ever since then, I've just been all about God, and I've made all these videos about God. It's like, no, you haven't. It's like, yeah, also... You made a few videos about God, and then you made a shit ton of videos about the drunken peasants. Well, did his evidence get fuzzy at those points? Like, did he look for his evidence, and his evidence, like, he lost it, and he's like, where's the evidence? And it appeared again, and it's like, okay, I believe again. I mean, what was your evidence to begin uh, with? Last I checked, the evidence was Christians gave him money. Yeah, Christians gave him fucking money. Then you gave yep. him money, and he flirted with being an atheist again. He's like, oh, TJ gave me some money. <laughs> and I did. And to be honest with you, when I made my promise, I didn't realize how difficult and challenging it would be. <clears throat> What's the truth? What's challenging about At the time, about? whenever I was asked... You notice that as soon as that money ran out, all that, like, TJ, you know, bygones be bygones. But as soon as that money was gone, it's like... Fuck TJ again, piece of shit. He he complained about how little money you give him. At one point he fucking uh, at one point he's like, "See, the amazing atheist is supposed to give me a thousand dollars, and really he's only giving me six dollars <laughs> and sixty six cents just to mock me." It's like, no, that's what I give you every month, you moron. Because uh, because I actually profit off of fucking making fun of your shit videos, so I figure I might as well cut you in a little bit. So you have your little fucking stipend, Brett. It's more than you make off YouTube, I'm sure. That's enough for, a, like, a Big Mac combo, Brett. Yeah. I mean, I know your teeth are a little... Well, you don't have any teeth, Ooh, it's but... McDonald's. It's soft as shit. He can eat it. Yeah, he did. That's what he ate on, uh... When he tried to claim the burger challenge. Like, he obviously didn't watch me when I fucking told him, like, your challenge is to eat a burger. Because I said, like, no bullshit little soft fucking fast food burger. It's got to be a sub substantive burger. And then he went out and got, like, a little shitty McDonald's The only way you could eat a blend, uh, like, uh, like a, a real burger is you have to blend it. That's what I was trying to say, but then I just, I just said blend. Oh, man. Blend. I can imagine, like, fucking Dorn blending up some cheeseburgers <laughs> for bread. <laughs> Here you go, Brett. Here you go. Here's your cheeseburgers. I ain't your mama, but you're always welcome at Dot's Diner. It's an <laughs> impromptu promo for a fucking Kenner mm -hmm. fast... Well, not fast food, but a Kenner Diner. Kenner Diner. Diner from Kenner. What the fuck is... Where's the mouse? What are you doing, TJ? I'm trying to find where the mouse is. Um, it's not there. I don't see it in here. Whatever, I'll just wait till Ben gets back. Fucking piece of shit. The fucking the evidence of God, that was a time where I still believed that atheists were rational, logical people, and that if you simply talked to them and tried to help them understand, they would listen, <clears throat> or at least show you um, enough respect. They've, they've already listened to you many times. You've not, you've, you've had no compelling evidence. In fact, your arguments are so convoluted and retarded that I think you actively make people go like, I've made the right decision being an atheist. Okay, like one of the first encounters we had with you as the drunken peasants was uh, towards the, like the beginning of the show, we did two different little hangouts with you and all your religious buddies, and several times we tried actually to draw you into theistic uh, theological debates. But you ducked. And you totally refused to engage in any of that, and you wanted other people to make your arguments for you. That's why you had True Empiricism and all these other Christian YouTubers in there. And then you just be like, well, I just want to hear what they got to say. It's like, no, I want to hear what, what you think? have to say, Brett. You don't, it's because you know your ass is weak on theology. You know your ass is weak on anything that's actually idea-driven. You're only good at fucking talking shit about people, and you're not even really good at that. It's just what you're best at. Unfortunately, even that, you're pretty fail. But thankfully, there's us to make you entertaining. So... Thank your lucky stars. You. The drunken peasants give a fuck about your existence for Thank some you, Brad. ridiculous, unknown fucking reason. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks, Brad. All How right. tasteth Don's pee pee, Brett? <laughs> allegedly. allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Alleged. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> Kaboom! The individual Brett Keen segment situation. Where are you going, TJ? TJ, what's, go what's going on? Oh, TJ's uh, okay. gonna take a shit or something, man. Yeah. Man. Again. It, there's just something about Brett Keen and the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Maybe TJ had some French vanilla, man. Yeah, maybe he did. <laughs> it's a French vanilla situation on the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Which I happen to enjoy having, you know... Its own dedicated intro. 
yeah. for it. It's a good intro. I like that. Hmm. Someone asked, who the fuck lives in Alaska, Ben? People do live in Alaska. Yeah, people live there. I mean, it's... Nobody I want to know, but yeah, people yeah. do live there. There's some individuals in Alaska. Yeah. I don't know why they live there, but they do. Let's when see. I was, when I was like 16, I had, uh, I had phone sex with a 29-year-old Alaskan. Wow, good job, Paul. You know she was uh, chi- she was chilly, but I kept her warm. There's uh there's seven hundred thousand people that live in the state of Alaska, which I, I mean it sounds like a lot of people, but Alaska's gigantic. It's so big, so like for such a huge state, that's really not a large population. Oh yeah, there's there's only like a few uh, like cities there, anyways. Oh, whoa. You know, I I think I think that's a call on the Pokemon hotline. Oh, shit. Sweet. So, uh I guess I guess I'll answer it. Hey. Hey, uh thanks for calling the DP Pokemon hotline. Who's this? Uh yeah, this is uh Spud. Spud Vanderhoff the 7th. Spud Vanderhoff the 7th. Thanks for calling the Pokemon uh, what, hotline. What is your Pokemon yeah, you know, tip? I actually I, I got to be honest with you guys. I don't have no Pokemon tip. Well, that's that's well, no, but, hey, hey. well. Listen, listen, listen. I mean, it, it, it's related to this segment because uh, I'm here to uh, uh, give you a counter uh, testimony to that of Bruce Beefwater. Oh, okay. You know, I I want to say that the shit he was telling you guys is bullshit. Wow. Bruce Beefwater <laughs> was the Bruce... was the guy that claimed he saw Brett Keen fucking you were, a dog. So you, were, so you were there the same day. Yeah, I was there. I, I witnessed the events in question. Oh, wow. And in fact, I, uh, I raise Great Danes. That's what I do. Okay. I'm a Great Dane breeder. Huh. And I have sold several Great Danes to Brett Keen. And I can tell you for a fact, he is not fucking those dogs. Wow. wow. Those dogs? But what about other dogs? No, because I mean, I know Brett's preferences. Look, because I sell him the dogs so they can fuck him. Oh. oh. oh okay, so, so what you're saying... <laughs> Is that the dogs actually do the fucking and Brett is? Yeah, I mean Bruce. Bruce must have fucking misseen that shit. Because oh. I can tell you right now, Brett's the bottom. Brett don't fuck dogs. Dogs fucks Brett. Whoa. All right, and I'm just here to clear Brett's fucking name because you can't be going around telling people that he's out there fucking dogs. That's fucking irresponsible. So, so you could confirm Brett's a the bottom then. Yeah, Wait, it's fucking. Well, well. I just want to make sure. He likes the big Great Dane knotted cocks in his fucking bulbous asshole. I just want to make sure. He's got to keep it fucking fresh because I guess his dawn, (laughs) his uh, wife Dawn's got a fucking huge cock, you know. Wow. Wow. So so he's got to keep his fucking asshole stretched out because you know he doesn't know when Dawn's gonna fucking mount his ass again. So he's got to fucking use the Great Danes to keep that shit loose in the meantime, you know. I'm in a state of shock. These are shocking allegations. I ain't ain't alleging nothing, you know. This is fucking truth. You can fucking trust the word of fucking Spud Vanderhoff the fucking sixth, bitch. Well, Spud (laughs) Vanderhoff. Off the sixth, unless we get some evidence. Or seventh, I don't know. You know, it's around there. Unless we get some evidence from you, though. I mean, look, guys, we cannot. I'm fucking, confirm. I got all the evidence you fucking need right here, bitch. We cannot Fuck you, confirm Scotty. Or deny You're the fucking you. worst drunken peasant, Scotty. I can't see You're the you. fucking Whoa. worst. I hate your ass on this fucking show, bitch. You hate me? Yeah. Why do you hate me so much? What have I ever done to you? Because you're just a fucking degenerate piece of shit. Well, that's true. Anyway, thank yous, guys. Sorry, I don't play that fucking faggot ass Pokemon bullshit. But, you know, I, I gotta go. You should. I gotta go, y'all. Thank Pokemon you, Spud. go. Thank you, Spud. Thanks for calling Spud the Vanderhoff. Pokemon hotline, Seven. Spud. Wow. So, yeah, Spud correcting the record there. Of course, uh, we're not saying this, um, but Spud. No, no, no. Not alleging us. That, Spud alleging uh, is in ridiculous. In fact, Brett does, not, Brett does not fuck dogs. It is the dogs that fuck uh, Brett. That is a, yeah. a ridiculous allegation wow, that Brett, Brett is a bottom for the uh, TJ, Great Danes. TJ, you really picked the worst times. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> oh, I just try to fucking avoid. Listen, why are we still on the intro screen for this? I thought you guys would be done with this Brett Keen bullshit. No, we're not. Oh, that's no. why you leave. Yeah, nice try, TJ. What? Shit. Like, what happened? We just got a call on the Pokemon hotline. Oh shit. Uh, nothing to do with Pokemon. It was kind of strange. Well, what did it have to do with? Um, Brett Keen. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's weird because normally our Pokemon calls are about Pokemon. Yeah, we and just, not uh, Brett Keen. We just want to talk about Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, well, you know, some days. So what did what did the call say? What, what, what's, what's going on? Well, well, he, now we're not saying this, TJ. Of course, it was right, Spud of course. that called in, but he Spud, claims that right. Bruce Beefwater, who called in last week and claimed that Brett was fucking a dog, was incorrect. That it is actually the dogs that fuck Brett. Oh, yeah, he fucks Great Danes. Well, the Great Danes fuck him. Oh, okay. Right. And we're not saying that. Right? No, 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 we, well, no, we wouldn't say it. We, we have no evidence of that. But Why would we, we float that? an accusation like that? But I mean, if it, there's eyewitness testimony, you know. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's compelling stuff. Anyway, let's see what uh, let's see what Brett's up to. <laughs> He's got Pat Robertson in his intro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, subscribe to my Twitch situation. Watch me, watch me fucking uh, attempt to play Oblivion. I'm so bad at it, though. I just run around doing that fucking bullshit. To get Be a Patreon. <laughs> a Patreon. And check out my brother on YouTube. CD Baby iTunes by CD. Check them out. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website. <clears throat> Brett, we can barely see you, dude. Uh, Thomas, uh, Thomas Edison, dude. He invented this fucking great invention. It's called the fucking light bulb. <laughs> you use it. What you use it for is to illuminate your fucking face, you retarded pile of monkey shit. Is that why you got a monkey in the beginning of your fucking episode? I just, uh. Am I just wrong, or is Brett's like camera getting smaller and smaller with each video no, and getting it is. taken up by more no, advertisements is. for shit? <laughs> Pretty soon he's just gonna be like a little like pixel in the corner. Yeah, right? it's be a Brett single King. pixel that flashes, you know, on and off. You just have like a off. HAL nine thousand unit, <laughs> just a little red light. That's Brett. Mm. GodTVRadio.com. No one's going to your Today, fucking site. <laughs> I thought I would answer a question. Brett, what does Brett do with that? Has, does Brett have a radio thing presence somewhere? He must. I mean, like, or a TV I, I, presence? I mean, I mean, like, he, he probably has one of those like vanity sites where he just hosts all his content. Is what I'm. I'm assuming, what I'm assuming that, assuming. like, I'm assuming that YouTube is what he interprets as like TV. Yeah. But radio, I don't know why. Maybe he had like. Blog what is it? I'm, I'm gonna go to this fucking site right something. now. God, I've never actually been. God TV Radio. What is the site about? Oh shit! Give me the fucking book, guys. Okay, that's what we want to talk about. You see this book, Eternal Undying Love, Brett Keen's yeah. book. You see his old website there, GodHatesYou.org. Mm -hmm. Well, someone bought that and now it redirects to the Drunken Peasants. Yes, <laughs> YouTube page. Get fucked, Brett. So <laughs> every every copy of Brett Keen's book now leads people. To, to our fucking uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> Godhatesyou.org, dude. Yep. Godhatesyou.org. Godhatesyou.org. So, uh, so we can actually go around. Give, we can actually fucking put that um, like on our videos. We can fucking put that in the corner. Godhatesyou.org. Who gives a shit? Dude, there's there's this guy that's climbing Trump Tower right now. Like, is he, that guy's we, still doing that? He's doing it live. Yeah, the co he, like, the cops are talking to him, and he's just like, oh my god. That's crazy. Wait, he's, he's climbing, and he's to not him. supposed They're to be. They're grabbing him. They're grabbing the dude. They just got... Oh, shit. Hold on. They just dragged him in there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. I think his leg's caught on something. Yeah, but they got him. It looked like he, maybe he was trying to get away for a second, but didn't really have many options. Didn't didn't think about the windows, did you, buddy? <laughs> the windows. Yep. Well, good for him. Dude, all God TV Radio is a fucking goddamn blogger. That's all it is. Yeah. What? I mean, really? This is your fucking Ye website? Oh wow, Brett! This is amazing. Some <laughs> blog posts. Give me a fucking break. A lot of Christians out there have a hard time answering. I know a couple of videos back I said to myself, eh, maybe I shouldn't talk about religion and the whole concept. Uh, yeah, you know, a what? couple of videos ago I said I shouldn't talk about religion anymore. I should just play games on games you love, but... <laughs> Dude, That's all his channel is supposed to be! Two what days, is he? Two days later. ...of God anymore because it seems to cause atheists to be very angry. <laughs> very pushy, very intolerant, <clears throat> and I got to put up with a lot of shit just by mentioning God in a video. <laughs> that's, that is, that is not why you get shit. The website is God TV Radio. 
Mentioning God to... in your videos is the last reason you get shit, Brett. <laughs> oh my God, well, dude, dude, listen. Oh shit. <sighs> Reading from Brett Keen's book. Which which has our endorsement on the cover, by the way. Lucifer yep. and the boy appear to the library. You see all of this, all these books? Within the pages of these books, it is revealed to you the heart and imagination of man. Books of war, books of fornication, and books about killing. Anything and everything man desires and fantasizes about. There's even books called history and documentaries that show the cruelty of man throughout all ages. These humans talk of peace and the love of God, yet they kill their neighbors and rip children, fathers, mothers, sisters, and brothers apart, and then claim it's for the good of the world, Lucifer spoke. Muslims, pagans, and Jews apart. But why? They are all the same. Why wouldn't they do this to one another, the child asked innocently. <laughs> because they are greedy. Innocently. They get jealous if, the brother ha if their brother has more. Did you ever read about Cain and Abel? Cain was a selfish, greedy young man who slew his own brother just because he wanted God's love and attention. He couldn't hack the, the fact that God favored his brother more. Kind of sounds like Brett Keen, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. he's just jealous. Like he wants all the love and adoration that we fucking get on this show. Yep, sounds pretty fucking accurate. And he's just like, no, it should be mine. Situation. I'm smarter. I'm handsomer. Got a beautiful family. My wife Dorn, beautiful. My son draws a mean link from Legend of Zelda. I should be on the top of the YouTube heap questions that atheists like to ask Christians is why doesn't God answer my prayers why doesn't God just appear to me and give me some kind of evidence now usually a Christian is probably gonna say something to the effect of I don't know which most of the time what they're usually gonna say something to the effect of I don't know I've never, like, any Christian that actually wants to discuss this stuff, like, they fucking usually have an answer to that kind of question. Like, they, it, it would be something like, you have to have faith, you know? It's not about proof and evidence. It's about the fucking making that leap of faith and shit. Like, they would have some kind of answer. It wouldn't just be like, I don't know! Holy shit, my entire belief just crumbles under the weight of a single question. I don't know. I'm fucking stupid. Well, lucky for the Christians, Brett Keen has the answer. <laughs> Most of your Christians are fucking idiots who just don't even know how to answer a simple, basic fucking question. But me, Brett Keen, I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing, so... It's an honest response because they don't know the heart of men. But what if you're Brett Keen? And you've been around thousands of atheists. What if I'm what Brett if Keen? Brett... Well, let me see. First, I go into my garage. Then I test the rafters to see if they're strong enough to support the weight of my body. I then <laughs> go to my computer and Google how to tie a noose. <laughs> you see where it's going from there. That's what happens if I'm Brett Keen. Yeah. Keen, and you used to be a non-believer. And you used to talk to atheists I'm privately. And you used to hear about I'm all the glorified and willful sins. <clears throat> what do you do whenever you're Brett Keen? And I told every you. single day you watch atheists turn videos and listen to them blasphemy and mock. Poor innocent Brett who's never done anything mean to anyone he said, ever. He said blasphemy. Bless him, you. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Bless He's a moron. He can't fucking speak. <laughs> what, what is, what's even new about it? <laughs> oh, God. God, Brett. You, I just love the internet. Brett, I'm you innocent. Do try. You do try, I'm an innocent really victim do. in all this, you guys. I ain't never done nothing to create this situation. Dude, I love Brett because in one sentence, he'll be like, I'm boss to Big Daddy Brett. The next sentence, like, poor Brett never gets a break. You know, everything's against him. It's like, which fucking narrative do you want us to believe? Like, you're trying to weave, like, ten narratives into one. You're so fucking stupid. I'm basically the epitome of every positive trait. Fuck massive shit. Not just about God, but people who believe in God. 
Believe in God. And these same fucking people got the audacity to say that they were once Christians. Now, this isn't some kind of old Scotsman story here. But what? It's what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys know, you guys know that world-known fallacy. Like old, old art. It's me, the old Scotsman. Someone bring me some bubble tea. <laughs> oh, I, I, but I had teeth. I can still chew haggis. It's the old Scotsman. <laughs> old what the fuck is oh shit? My god, oh my god. <laughs> Brett. Oh Brett. Oh Brett. This is why I give you this is why I do support your work on Brett, Patreon. You know what? He is worth This is why I genuinely do he support your work on idea. Patreon, dude. The old Scotsman. No one but you. <laughs> no one but fucking you. The old Scotsman. <laughs> That's my oh. second favorite fallacy, right behind the ad hominid. <laughs> ad hominoid. Ad hominoid fallacy. <laughs> fallacy, oh god. <laughs> Seems to me that if anybody ever was raised up in the that church, there's a man and they strong. actually had parents that were Christians, then they had to have known that their behavior then and their behavior now is fucking unacceptable, <sighs> not only to God, but also in society, <laughs> also and around me. civilized, sophisticated people. <laughs> so the point is, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ. the true answer, why did you choose this fucking angle? Why I'm like looking up at your fat fucking like potato fucking <laughs> face, like, like a potato with a fucking like mushroom for a fucking nose. Hey, wait and a minute, isn't that old Scotsman fallacy you're using there, Scott? Yeah, yeah. we're being an ad hominid. <laughs> <laughs> ad hominoid. Don't be an Just, ad hominoid, man. Don't be an old Scotsman. You can Don't see old Scotsman, fucking Brett's Brett. nose. You can't. <laughs> it's like what? Why would I want to look at this angle of, of this motherfucking dude? He's so fucking ugly to begin with. I have to look up his fucking nose too. You're really it's questioning like... the beggar, Scotty. <laughs> question the beggar. Don't question a beggar, Scotty. <laughs> Uh, you know, we, we have to make a list of Brett Keen uh, logical foul. Uh, like, what, what, what would you say, Paul? Phallaxies? Logical phallaxy situations <laughs> by Brett Keen. You're Question. not getting, getting any kind of evidence from God. Forward and why he's not by speaking Dorn. To you, is the Bible says that God doesn't love everybody. In fact, it says he what? hates workers of iniquity. You can see that in Psalm 5 5. It also, I mean, yeah, he's right. I mean, the Bible does, it, it, he's wrong when he says the Bible doesn't say God loves everyone. Right, right. There, there's a contradiction. There are, yeah, it's just yeah. a contradiction. There's right. parts where it says God loves everyone, and there's parts where God hates people. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just more typical bullshit from the world's least convincing fucking book. It says in the Bible very clearly that God can see into the heart of men, and he can know if someone is actually sincere or Brett, if that's the case, <laughs> then you're, you're fucked. You're yeah. fucked, Brett. Yeah. God, Brett. You're... You you might as well you might as well fucking you know what you should do, Brett. Just fucking if you got a fireplace, go light it up and then stick your ass Dude, in it. We just because that's what you got okay. coming. No, no, we've just proved. Well, he just proved himself that Brett does not believe in the Bible because of the statement he just made. It's like God knows your sincerity. Like Brett, you know you're full of shit. So there's no way you believe any of this because there's no way you would have said that otherwise. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's the tragedy of Brett. Maybe he actually convinces himself of his own bullshit while it's happening. He mu I think he must to some degree. Either that or he's just totally comfortable being a disingenuous piece of shit. It's one of those two. <coughs> like, either he deludes himself that somehow he's right, or... I don't know, we gotta ask Paul, the uh, Brett Keen expert. I mean, I don't know, dude. I, I think that there's some level of Brett that knows he's full of shit, and some level of Brett that thinks he's right. I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah, I kind of see that, too. What a cop-out fucking answer. I well, mean, truth. That's a, yeah. It's one way or another. <laughs> Black okay. and white. Fuck nuance, bitch. That's true, TJ. Just like on the way home, it'll be, does TJ get Chick-fil-A or not? And it's going to be not. I'm driving, <laughs> bitch.
I'm driving. No, man. I'm going to jump in the driver's seat and be like, let's go home. I'm getting my Chick-fil-A. No, I'm gonna, we're going to buy Taco Bell, TJ. Individual oh, situation. Check out the beautiful oh, mask. <laughs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Wow. Sweet. Excellent. Yeah. Finally. Everyone's here. favorite segment. Coup. Yep. Are we playing it? Yeah. PJ. Uh, here it is. This was <laughs> this was one that was um that was deleted. Shocking. Guns along the bro. Everyone uh, is dead. Um, I'm gonna Not go take a shit real quick, guys. Hey. What? Okay. What? I gotta, I gotta poop. I'll be right back. Uh, can you save your shits for after the show in the future, Come on, please? Paul. Oh my god, what unprofessional. Fuck, dude. Wait, he did eat Jack in the Box recently. So unprofessional. <laughs> you know, that's pretty obvious. I saw the Jack in the Box cup. I'm like, he probably had like two sourdough jacks. He's probably really needing that toilet right now. God, his intro lasts forever. God, TV radio. It's like in proportion to his video, his intro is so long. Did you guys see that, like, Brett Keen made, quote unquote, made a documentary? Oh, God. No. Dude, it's it's so awful. It's barely, he's barely even in it, too. Lesson one, be friendly. So before you even watch this video, Could just be, nice. be my friend. Be God bless and have a wonderful day. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com, which is connected to all my YouTube yeah, channels, check out his my blogger Facebook page. and Twitter, and all of my content. That's all his website is. He always he always mentions his site, so I went to his site, and all it is is a fucking blogger page. It's like it's just this is a blog. This isn't a fucking website. What is on here? It's just a fucking few blog posts. What? Oh shit! Shit! Is that the Pokemon Go hotline? I, I don't know, is it? Which one How do we it? answer that? Uh, hello? Hello? Did uh, we get him? Uh, hello? 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 Hey, ho 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 hello? Hold on, hold on. Can you shut the fucking kid up for 15 seconds? I'm trying Damn, to make a phone call! Jeez. I'm Paul. sorry. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi. 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 You're, Hi. On the, you're on the drug Who is this? What are you yelling at back there? Pokemon Go sorry Hotline. You got some Pokemon tips for us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, oh, wow. Is it a drunken peasants? Is this a b drunken peasants, right? The Pokemon yeah, yeah, yeah. Drunken peasants, Pokemon the drunken Go oh. Hotline. With TJ let me tell you. and Ben and me, Scotty let me, let me, and some, some Paul guy. Let so. me tell you about the situation. Well, first of all, I was born and raised in New York City, uh, in the Bronx. <laughs> Uh, the Bronx. Wow, really? You don't, and, you don't uh, sound yeah. it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Crazy. It's a thick Bronx accent, dude. Yeah, yeah, at first I, I thought crazy. it was Tommy. Yeah, I thought it was Tommy yeah, talking. Yeah. yeah, I know. I, I, I thought you guys would be worried that, like, Tommy from the Bronx was going to try and play, a, like, a prank situation on you. But, you know. Um, anyway, I was walking around the other day. <laughs> and uh, I was chasing Pokemon, right? And the Bronx has got tons of Pokemon in the situation. So I'm walking around. And uh, by the way, my name—I I just don't want to introduce myself. My name is uh, my name is uh, Manny T. Macachi. Um, so, uh, yeah, my name is what? Why are you guys laughing? Look, look oh, the Macachi dynasty. Just... The Macachi dynasty ruled Poland for 14 centuries. I mean, wow, like, wow. I had no idea yeah. about that. That's crazy. Yeah. And I'm a direct descendant of First King Manuel Macachi. You know, Manny T. Macachi. You know. Oh, okay. He, All right. right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I apologize. Makes sense. So please don't make fun of my heritage. So I'm oh, walking not. around, I'm walking around in a situation, right? Uh -huh. Catching Pokemon, and I hear a ruckus up ahead, and there's an old lady, right? <laughs> and she's got a purse in her hand, and there's this big, like you know, thug, and he's got the the the, the handle of the purse, and he's fighting with her for the purse, right? And so I don't know what to do, you know. I'm just like I freeze up, and then out of nowhere. This guy, like, with beautiful, like, silver, then black hair, and, like, this really killer goatee wearing a fucking, he was, like, wearing a cool tank top and a trench coat, and he comes, he does a backflip off of the fucking balcony of the building, and really? just stomps this does fucking guy, flip. right? You know yeah. what? That would be that would be pretty cool if that's where it ended, but that's not where it ended. It gets so much crazier than that, right? So he's trying... 
he just killed this guy in the street and everybody's clapping right and then there's a bus coming and the, and the old lady's got like a walker and she's real slow and the bus comes around a corner and the i sure you guys not the brakes on the bus fail right wow wow and what a crazy series of events dude up, this trench coated king of the manatee you might say um just <laughs> does a backflip over the bus to grab the grandmother out at the last second and at that <laughs> second the bus careens you guys you guys still with me the yeah. bus careens. oh yeah we're here we're here i'm i'm, in, I'm wrapped in, I, told wow. the, I told you the brakes are out right yeah, yeah they're, the they're brakes out. are out on the bus. Yeah, out of control. So fucking like he now he saved the old lady, but now there's a fucking bus. This fucking guy, I shit you not, the dude He's in like the trench coat. Superhero, trope, dude. The, wow. He was like a stallion. You know what I mean? Oh. He was like a <laughs> oh wow silver and black haired stallion. You know, and he uh, this dude fucking commandeers a dude's motorcycle. Whoa! I'm not, I'm not kidding you, and fucking does a wheelie all the way to the bus. And then right at the last second, he does this jump maneuver, and he lands the mo Are you guys still with me? <laughs> yeah, we're here. He Everything you're saying, wow. He lands the motorcycle on top of the bus. Wow. It's does like, a front some Keanu flip. Reeves shit, man. This Hold is insane. Hold on, just shut up. Does a front flip yeah. through the fucking like, open thing of the bus, right? The front, the, the, the front the windshield situation. Yeah. Knocking out the driver, but landing just in time to hit the brakes before he hit a giant hippie festival that was going on on the block. <laughs> 90 wow. billion people were going to die. And I he thought the brakes were out on the bus. Anyways, the cops catch Wait, up with this guy. I'm almost done. I thought done. the brakes were I'm out almost... on the bus, though. <laughs> he said the brakes were out on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to tell you guys that part because I knew you wouldn't believe it, but... You caught me in a situation. You're such a fucking waterhead. What the guy did was he fucking jumps in the bus and then he. <laughs> <laughs> What's he do? He rams his feet through the fucking floor and he stops the bus like Fred Flintstone stopped his car. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. What is the, What was the name of this man? This uh, you know this what? I walked up figure. to him and I walked up to him at the same time as the cops and the and the chief of police just happened to be walking down the block at a Panera Bread and he's there and he's like, "Son, I'm gonna give you the New York City Mer Mer Medal of Honor, Mayor's Medal of Merit." And this guy, he goes, "I don't need no medals. I just need wow. to know." That God is the one that guides my hand. And he fucking walks away. Doesn't even say his name. So anyway, I was right on the corner of Brewster and 154th. And I caught a fucking super, super duper rare uh, Pik like Pikachu hybrid over there. Oh, wow. And I just want to open like, yeah, wow. but crazy shit. I mean, this man <laughs> truly was. He truly was the king of the manatee. I mean, so anyway. Anyway, I caught a Pika whatever over on Brewster. <laughs> Pika whatever. Wow. Um, yeah, that's this amazing. Guy, I mean, I, what, what I really, <laughs> it's incredible. What I really want, you know what I mean? I mean, I didn't even tell you half the things that happened around this guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll have to call again in the future, caller. Thank you so I mean, much. I find so another, much. Po I find another yeah, Pokemon. If you find any more Pokemon, be sure to let yeah. us know. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you for letting humble uh, Manny T. Makachi, you know, spend some <laughs> <laughs> It's been spend an honor speaking to you. Uh, yeah, thank you for your entertainment. Good night, good night in this situation. I wonder, I wonder who that heroic hey! figure he's talking about. What hey! is going on there? What? Man, I think... Oh, wow. Sounds like he doesn't get along too well with his family oh, situation. Hey, don't attack his family, okay? Sorry. Sorry, you're right. Stop attacking that individual's family. You just I'm sit sorry. there and attack his family? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta go, guys. I got a French vanilla situation. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night Manny. Uh, I'm really just wondering, uh, I mean, who was that? Who was the figure he described? It's just, I don't know. Hmm. Sounded like a heroic being. So almost like someone out of a, of a great novel, like like this one, Eternal Undying Love. Let's take a little look into that the the words of wisdom written by the great Brett Keen. 
By the way, you should visit his website, GodHatesYou.org. No, that's a good site. Yeah, yeah. Go website. to that site. Go to GodHatesYou.org, which is um, printed on the front of every edition of Eternal and Dying Love. <laughs> All right, let's let's read a little bit of this. Brett Keen must love the content of that website, Eternal and Dying Love. <sighs> By reflex, she pulled out her gun and aimed, shouting, I'm a cop! Freeze, or I'll shoot! The other four black guys pulled guns, too. Shit! She exclaimed. We can't <laughs> let her live. We stole this fucking Shit. car, man. I'm on probation, and I'm not going back to jail. One <laughs> black guy protested. What? While they argued, Dawn stared over at Stalker and beckoned for help. To no avail, he was in Wonderland. She was on her own. At that moment, one guy aimed his gun at Stalker <laughs> and unloaded the clip. Stalker fell to the ground. He had no vest on. Then they aimed at her. Dawn closed her eyes and awaited death. Why the fuck is Dawn in this book? I don't know. I don't know why. There was only silence. Seconds later, she opened her eyes to find that the blacks had disappeared. <laughs> Black <laughs> all of them. All of them Black, Black disappear. In the distance, she could see a man in a black trench coat in a walking black away. Tea, a man in a black. I'm sorry, it doesn't say a black trench coat. It just says a black trench walking away. <laughs> what? Long black he hair assumes. and a black trench. Oh. I love that. He mentions he's wearing a black trench, and then in the next uh, sentence, he describes him as long black hair and a black trench. Just in case you didn't get it a second ago. And then guys, finally, he sounds, turned the corner and was gone. I, I was listening. I was listening on the toilet, and this sounds eerily familiar. Uh, familiar. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> familiar, dude. Oh, great Apollism. Familiar. It looks. It feels so familiar. <laughs> yeah, I do Very that kind similar. of stuff all the time. Uh, too. It's all right. This is it's, it. It seems similar to, to the figure that was described in the uh, Pokemon Hotline. That's call what I'm that. saying. This reminded no. me of that. I know. It looked like someone she knew, but who? She ran to Stalker and kneeled down. His shirt was drenched in blood. She pulled back the shirt and stared in shock. No bullet holes, she gasped. Stalker <laughs> opened his eyes and stood. Oh my god, I saw you shot. How? She cried. Stalker shrugged. Everything's gonna be fine. I he spoke, lighting up a cigarette. <sighs> Damien got what he came for and gave me back what ha he had taken from me, Stalker finished. Uh... And that's the end of chapter 14, you guys. Damn motherfucking straight. Best novel ever. Wow. Yeah. That was amazing. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I think. Do you even want to watch the Brett Keen video? Uh, I think we've had enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's Here go. we go. Individual situation. Check out the beautiful asshole. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. Neat. <laughs> All right. Uh, atheist vampire robs Brett Keen. Huh. What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the title again. <laughs> yes. Atheist Vampire Robs Brett Keen. It's about this time. Might, this might be the best video ever. <laughs> if this actually happens... Atheist Vampire Robs Brett Keen. Yeah. <laughs> like a vampire comes out and Brett Keen goes, <laughs> Brack! Grabs a cross <laughs> and the vampire's like... That does nothing to me. I am an atheist. <laughs> and then just robs him. Yeah, that just money. robs Brett blind. Give me your wallet. <laughs> okay. I mean, is, is, <laughs> will there even be any money in Brett's wallet? I mean, how did he rob him? We'll see. Be food stamps in Brett's Subscribe wallet. Subscribe to my brother's channel. He's he makes rock and roll music. Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. No, no. You know, I've been no, in a pretty good Come mood on. for the last couple of weeks, and most Have likely you. it was inspired by not actually using YouTube. I scheduled some videos for you guys, but I've literally been taking a break literally. for quite some time. I've been yeah, doing some shit with the family and also playing some Elder Scrolls online with my beautiful wife, also my son. Why do you say online like there was some kind of inside joke to yeah. it? Um, also, because he's, Elder Scrolls online. Because he's trying to not say Orn. Oh, like yeah, once, once, once again, we're molding yeah. Brett Keen's speech patterns, you know? 
We're gonna get. We're gonna fucking teach Dude, you proper elocution the, yet, Brett. The funny thing about this is Brett is acting like he has to like be like 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 either he's on YouTube or he's spending time with his family. It's like it's not mutually exclusive. Plenty of people do both. Like you, you're not like you don't have a real job. You're not taking a break from anything. Like taking a break from what to spend time with your family? Don't you already do that, Brett? No. I mean, I mean, I guess Brett, not. Brett has. Brett has always treated YouTube like it's the only thing in his life that he has time for. You know what I mean? Like he he. He talks about it a lot, about how, like, like he does this, like, I'm taking a break from YouTube, it's just too much. But he's the one that does, like, 16-hour fucking hangouts. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's watching that, so... Yeah, and, like, it's not even like there's an audience sitting there, like, demanding new content from you all the time or something. No one gives a shit, even. No. Nope. I mean, I guess, I guess we kind of enjoy it, because, you know, but not for the reasons you want right. to, so... I, I love I love how the Patreon is like the biggest thing. Could you imagine like if we did our show and like the video was just playing down at the bottom, like where the bottom bar is, or like in one of our size windows, and it just said like Patreon in the big window there? Oh yeah, Jesus fucking Christ! We should we should do that. We should have like a mock layout uh, of Brett, of Brett's. We could just like Brother, I, I do have a whenever you guys want. I have found a pretty we juicy will, version. We this. will do that, but this video is great. Sure. I know. I'm just saying, like, soon, so it's going to be like a family there. equation. A family well, equation? As what? You see from the title. I guess equation is his new thing. We took away situation from him. We equation. took away individual from him. Uh, Paul's working on taking sitting there away from him. So now he's got equation. It's part of the equation. It's part of the family equation. It would have been family situation a year ago. It would have been. But now oh, it's yeah. equation. Yeah. Atheist I mean, like, vampire. if you go back and watch some of his old videos, like, the situation was so pronounced, too. The like, first really... time he was on DP, he said situation a bunch of times. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, uh, like, the way he says it, though, is just how I make fun of it. Situation. Oh, yeah, there was always a lot of emphasis on it. Uh, I love that. Sir Rob, All right, let's see about this vampire. Well, I don't like to believe that all atheists are complete and utter fucked up. The way I you don't say like it. to yeah, believe that they're all evil oh, little pieces of trash. That's because really, he believes. Just he wants to trash them at the same time. Just because my terrible experiences with them in social media and on Facebook and Twitter. And I, little evidence. I have allowed people to add me as a friend and be a part of my guild and all that well, kind even of stuff. People do publicly so what happens is, add you. is I'm playing Elder Scrolls online and a guy, he asked me if I'd add him to the guild and I added him and he noticed my about thing and he also apparently watched some of my videos out there on YouTube and he goes, hey, man, it's going to be cool playing with you and all that shit. So I'm like, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, cool, cool. And he asked me, he said, hey, man, do you got the vampire werewolf line? And I said, no. For those out there that don't know, or know the scrolls, you can be a werewolf, you can be a vampire, you can add all kinds of skill lines and then become good at it. And, uh, an efficient destroyer and conqueror in the video. This is game. what Brett Keen does uh, when he's not holding 16 hour hangouts. Yeah, I'm gonna be an uh, efficient I, destroyer. I was just thinking of that. It was like, you know, Brett Keen took a break from YouTube and spent all this wonderful time with his family. Why is the only story he has about <laughs> drama in some <laughs> shitty fucking video game? Uh, hmm, I wonder why. Could it be that Brett was, in fact, not spending time with his family and was just sitting his ass in front of a PC? Spending time with his family to Dad, him is I, like I being in the same house. I drew another picture of Link from Legend of Zelda. That's, That's good. good, son. Let me just put that on my video. Uh, Say my son did this. My son's wonderful. Uh, bring me another bowl of that Mac, son. Anyway, so the guy, he, he asked fucking scum. me for help, and I help him a whole bunch in the game. Yeah, yeah, I did. helped him quest, and I also, of course, added him to my guild where he could go into my guild bank and get whatever he needed, whatever well, people that was put dumb. in there. Yeah. I mean, some what? guy that you don't know is like, hey, man, can I be in your girl? And you just were like, sure, take my booty hole, too. Here's my asshole. Yeah, just 
This just reeks Wait. of a fucking other Brett Keen setup, man. Uh, Grim the Brett the, Keen. Grim me over the bathroom sink and fuck my ass. Go ahead. <laughs> Here's my Xbox password, uh, buddy. The helpful, uh, helpful Keen is like another trope of his videos. Like he's always talking about like how he helps people and all this. Yeah, yeah I have that full access to my Steam account and my bank account. Well, I trust you. The problem is, is that. He said that he would sit there and make me sit a there. <laughs> sit there. Vampire in the game, if I gave him nine thousand gold. So oh. I figured, why not? I helped the guy out. I did all these great things for him. You know, so what? He's an atheist. Big deal. You're a fucking hero, Brett. Yeah, I don't know why he felt the need to even bother telling me this in the first place. Because it really doesn't matter to me what non-believer religion It didn't even probably happen, but that's fine. To begin with. It doesn't matter so to you, really? So I gave him 9,000 gold, and then he logs off. At first, I figured, ah, he might have got disconnected from the internet. It fucking happens to the best of us. No, you got, you so got, I, sh you got shook, Brett. You're a retard, Brett. Somebody, oh my God. wait a minute, hold on. You've been playing online video games for as long as you've been playing them. And you fell for the, hey, give me, give me this, like, crazy amount of gold and I'll do something for you scam. Like, that's the oldest, it's, it's the easiest scam in video games. Like, it's the proto-scam. Dude, it's the scam even, that should even, only work on, like, kids. I don't even play these kind of games and shit. But even hey, I would see through that shit. Instantly. Hey, TJ, give me your life savings and I'll do some great shit for you, bro. Come on, bro. Transfer the money. Yeah, just transfer the money real quick. Yeah, but I'm, of course. I'm a rich uh, West African businessman and I need you to cash a check for me. Oh, uh, fuck. What a total... So basically what we've learned from this video is is that um, our intrepid viewers out there need to join Elder Scrolls Online and just continually drain Brett Keen's gullible ass for all, everything he's worth. I mean, if this even happened, but if it did, you know, I, I would almost guess Why that would you tell the story even if it did? I mean, like, whether it did or didn't. Like, but, but I would guess... No, no, like, I, stuck, I, I stuck my dick in a meat grinder because I wanted to know what it felt like, guys. Like, why would you tell this? Yeah, how does this make you look good? <laughs> I, I would guess uh, also that even if you uh, even if someone did rip him off, he, it was probably done like he probably didn't even know if they were an atheist or not. It was probably just talking to someone online. Yeah, I can do this for you, and then he just got ripped off. Yeah. He stood there for ten minutes, and he logs back in. He stands there. He is little guy stands runs there. around for a moment. First he sits then he there, and then he stands there. Him, says he's offline. I can see this because he's in my guild, and he's still in the fucking group. I guess he's hoping for me to walk away so he can log in and uh, be able to get away with the theft that he did. So, he already finally, got away with after it. about another 10 minutes, this fucking mutt ends up logging in. He sees me, and then he fucking bolts. He <laughs> runs off with my money. And, uh, <laughs> That's awesome. Out. But luckily for me, I had a guy that was in the guild who just happened to purchase him the vampire trait and werewolf trait and you'll get to see that on video or in games or law situation where christian actually oh, God. Uh, did the vampire thing made me a vampire for absolutely free didn't cost me one fucking single gold so the christian was charitable compassionate and kind is where the atheist even in the video game world, will steal from you and rob you. Fucking oh, okay, now I don't, now I don't believe your story at all. Actually, actually, this story is different than that, Brett. In this story, the Christian was a fucking dupe, and the atheist made a really quick nine thousand gold <laughs> off of a fucking retard. <laughs> that like, is that's, also my that's interpretation the of the yeah. situation. All right, I want to read you guys this shit. So we, now we've heard Brett's story because this is great. I knew this was a winner because the first three words of it are just hilarious. Lilith smiled evilly. Evilly. I'll just pause there for a second. Evilly. Evilly. As she peers through the glass, revealing before her many crying newborns. Delicious little morsels, she snarled. <laughs> snarled. <laughs> She opened the door, walked in, and stared, drooling at them. 
She's literally drooling over these fucking ba- <laughs> <laughs> I am evil. I can't wait to eat these babies. There was no way Damien could save them now. She began to kneel over a quiet little baby when suddenly a familiar voice called upon her. Lilith. She was surprised and became afraid. She turned to find Lucifer in the human form of Christian behind her, just 10 feet what? away. <laughs> Lucifer in the human form of Christian, dude. Don't worry about it. Oh, what have you done, Lilith? Lucifer demanded. I needed to feed. I mean, meant no disrespect towards you, my lord, she uttered. Lucifer shook his head. <laughs> you and Lamia have disobeyed me countless times, and I have allowed it. But now you have used up my patience, the prince of darkness spoke. I needed to feed, she said. Silence, bitch. You should have come back. I would have let you dine on all the children of the world, but now you revealed us to humanity. Not only that, but I had ordered Quang Shi to find the body of the chosen, Quang, and now Quang he is dead. <laughs> Quang Shi, dude. Quang Shi? Yes. Yeah. I'm assuming that's an Asian <laughs> character. You have exposed us to the human race, Lucifer ridiculed angrily. Now I have remained in this human skin. They have not seen my true identity, nor know of my intentions, she pleaded. Quang Shi. Oh, I love that. I love how no one, no one says, it. they always snarled, or like chortled, or yammered, or screamed, or declared, no one, exclaimed. No one, no one ever says anything in Eternal Undying Love. They're always, yeah. And sometimes it'll like tell you who spoke both before and after a quote. I always love when he does that. Yeah. Brad, you're a fucking waterhead idiot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're just, you're the lowest form of life. Like, you're it, dude. Brett, can I have 9,000 G? I'll yeah. stop making fun dude. of you. I'll stop making fun of you once you give it to me. 9,000 G, dude. I just want 9,000 gold. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I rolled up quite a fatty. Quenchy. Yeah. Quang Shi. That's probably the name of like the Chinese restaurant in Festus, Missouri, or something. Yeah, Quang Shi. I'll take the Quang Shi platter. <laughs> mm. That's a good name for a character in my masterpiece, my magnum opera, Eternal Undying Love. Magnum <laughs> opera. <laughs> Quang Shi. <laughs> Uh, evilly, dude. <laughs> Lilith like smiled sounds, evilly. Dude, I was just Quang reading Chi. more of the book. It's so hard. It, 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 I don't even know. Quang I wish I could... sounds like the. It sounds like the Chinese <laughs> term for queef. <laughs> You're good like, at sounds like a Mortal yeah, Kombat that, character. Dude, uh, dude, dude, that bitch over there, man. I walked by and she quang sheed, man. I swear to God, <laughs> that bitch quang sheed. How would you know? How would you dude. know what hole it was coming from? You know. <laughs> Maybe there's like a strong <laughs> pussy smell after it. <laughs> She's gonna dude, quang it like, It smelled like quang chi. Your quang chi. <laughs> smelled like a fucking fish market afterwards. You must master the art of quang chi. Quang chi. Yeah. 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 He's gonna babysit that fucking blunt, TJ? Yeah. So. Next month's private show, if you guys want to catch it, will be really early in the month. Because we're fucking leaving this state. Yes. Forever. 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 Forever, Forever and ever and ever. ever. What are you guys going to call it now? Like, because now you're uh, the frozen armpit of America. Like, what? what is it going to be when you guys are on the West Coast? Ahem, it's frigid armpit of America. Stupid. Okay, sorry. Paul. Idiot. It? Yeah, it is. But whatever. Uh, okay. I don't know. We'll probably just keep it the same. Who cares? I don't know. That would Quang be th th that'd be a lie then, TJ. I don't care. You live in the lies, TJ. Your what would we lies. say? The the rainy uh, elbow. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll have to think about it. <laughs> the moist asshole of America. I don't know. You know, I've I've learned that people from Washington hate it when you say Washington, so now I say it, it as Washington as, as much as possible. 
Where from He's Washington? Wa- Washington. People from Connecticut hate when they people say Connecticut. Connecticut. Well, that doesn't I actually hate when people say Connecticut too. Yeah, but Washington, that's just fun. Yeah. That sounds like how Brett Keane would say it. Yeah, yeah, Washington. you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of like how he was saying Lu- Louisiana. Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. I'm from Lu- I was born on the bayou, as the song says. <laughs> All right. Born what else we got? Hashtag Washington. Washington. I think it's uh, I think it's about time for uh, individual situation. Oh, Pick up that beautiful fuck, asshole. Really? <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. All right. <sighs> this video is called Atheist sends eighteen thousand dollars to Brett Keen. Okay. Weird. <laughs> God. <laughs> what is this intro, it's man? It's fucking terrible, fucking dude. Brett has the worst intro. Dude, I was watching Brett's Twitch stream and he like left for oh, like dude, a isn't half it the hour. Worst? Oh god, it's so boring. Oh my god, dude. I've tried. I, I I've tried because I thought, you know, maybe something funny will happen. And I can tell the guys we can cover it on the show. Yeah. It's it's just him wandering <laughs> I'm gonna wander over here to this. Just lootable thing in the world. And, oh, look, it's God a, yeah, a crafting item. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Oh, he, he shrunk his Patreon thing a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, his window's actually bigger now. He didn't, um, he didn't, he should have made a new graphic for it, because now it, he just obviously crushed yeah, the other one, because it's fucking totally distorted now. As you know, in my last video, I talked about how I was playing Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> I've been playing it on the PlayStation Warn 4. A lot of people have been asking me. I guess some of you haven't made it over to games or law situation just yet to find out what system or platform. That, you know what the sa- once again we have we have infiltrated Brett's vocabulary. So now he owns a channel that he can't say the name of without admitting he's a fucking retarded manatee. <laughs> <laughs> Games are <laughs> Look, guys, I do it too. Individual situation, situation, individual. Like what individual. if Johnny? Like what if right. Johnny Carson? Like what if somebody had had, dis, had <laughs> said something disdainful to Johnny Carson about the show, and every time he was like, "Hello, everybody, I'm Johnny Carson. Welcome to the Tonight Show." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dude, you just have to know, like Brett, you're just our puppet man. Uh, we we, yeah. we just po- you know, Paul point out you say a few things over and over again, and look what you do, man. You won't even say your fucking other channel's name anymore. Who is this thing? Wait. You're just fucking a puppet on fucking Paul's pulling the strings, man. No. Yeah, dude, everyone's dead inside. <sighs> well, as the story went. Uh, an atheist ended up taking. A wild dorn appeared. Yeah. As just, the story she dis- went, she disappeared into the fridge. <laughs> there is no Dana, only Zool. Nine thousand of my money, and running off, off in the video game world. And uh, someone wrote to me. They said, "Brett, you reap what you sow, right?" And obviously, it was an atheist trying to be a dickhead. But what ended up happening, fantastic enough, even though that atheist did what he did, another atheist came along just recently. Remember, in my last video, I told you a Christian turned me into a vampire. Well, an atheist ended up sending me 18,000 gold in my email. And in the subject... so I, mean, I want to point out that uh, in these like titles to these videos, he talks. He literally uses like dollar signs, like to make it sound like some atheist gave Brett Keen eighteen thousand dollars, and then you yeah. click on the video and it's like, yeah, someone gave me eighteen thousand gold in a stupid fucking video game. Of course, it's like no one cares. Who fucking gives a shit? I don't give a fuck how you're doing in your fucking game. <laughs> I've you know what the funny thing is? Is like, yeah, okay. So you might. Uh, this probably didn't happen. I, I doubt any of this happened. I doubt that the oh, ripoff yeah. happened, and I doubt that the eighteen. Of but even if somebody did. did give you eighteen thousand gold, you've proved that it's just a matter of time before you give it to some fucking idiot that walks up to you and goes, "Hey, Brett, <laughs> if you give me eighteen thousand gold, I'll make you the master of the universe." Uh-huh. 
<laughs> I'll give you the cosmic key. You gullible fucking manatee. Just hand over your booty you hole it. now, manatee. I find atheism before in my life, but the email had 18,000 gold attached to it, so I was like, okay, <laughs> that seems like if there was a kind atheism, that's what I'd call it. Wow. But are you choking up thinking about the, the kind the atheism? The kindness that... So, one time someone gave me 18,000 gold! Oh the God. stories that you're going to pass down to your children, Brett. The stories that you're going to pass down to your children. So the guy sent it. And in his body of the message, he wanted <clears throat> me to know that not all atheists are dickheads. Now, I, I was extremely ecstatic because obviously I was getting paid double of what I lost. That was really, really <laughs> This is cool Brett trying him. to save face. Well, uh, well, yeah, I was an idiot and gave my life savings away, but then some angel investor came out of nowhere and doubled my money. <laughs> So in bullshit. the long run, I benefited from it. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. I'm not, a, I'm not a loser idiot after all. Yes, you are, Brad. Yes, you are. Oh, God. Twitter, twatter, 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 twatter. But I do have a question for people out there. Okay. If atheism is not a group, and it's not a religion, it's not a cult. I mean, there are atheist groups. As I have But that doesn't mean atheism is a group. Yeah. Or hinted at in the past. Uh oh, it sounds like my cat's alive back there. Uh oh. Let me ask Shocking. you. Good. It's good to know <laughs> your cat is no, alive. Oh, no <laughs> oh, good to know that the cat's still alive. <laughs> how, how are you I thought it died last week, but nope, it's still kicking. And I saw it under the couch. Looked pretty emaciated. I thought it was dead. I poked it with a stick and everything, but Ugh. apparently it's still alive back there. Someone go rescue the cat. Must have caught a little <laughs> mouse or something. Something. Why do you feel as though you have to pay for someone else's mistakes? I decided to give 9,000 gold to a stranger. A complete and utter stranger on an MMO because I figured he was going okay. to do what on he said. On an MMO, which means like... It's worthless. It's Dude, yeah. Wait, let me get this. But no, what, what he's saying here is crazy. What he's saying is actually that... If athe I mean, like, if atheists don't call themselves a group, then why did this atheist feel the need to make up for what this other atheist did? Checkmate, yeah. atheists. I mean, that's fucking retarded. I mean, and what an asshole you are when someone does something fucking nice for you, assuming this was fucking true. You immediately use it as, like, a point against their, their what they fucking believe or something. Like, yeah. Well, if, yes. you're, if you atheists aren't all in it together, then why do you feel the need to pay me when he did that thing to me? So some guy tells you, I feel bad for what someone did, and you're like, oh, why do you fucking do this if you guys aren't in it together? Like, can't you just accept a gift, Brett? Not no, everything is like a slight against you. Everything is, dude. Everything is fucking Mexican. Who's going to do? Why would someone who happens to wear the same label feel the desire or need, if you're not in a group, you're not some kind of community, why would you want to pay for someone who did that? Sounds like the cat's live over there, baby cakes. <laughs> I'm disturbed. <laughs> That's it a very disturbing sentence, Sorry, dude. cakes. Won't be long, oh. Brad. It hasn't eaten in fucking <clears throat> six weeks. This is, this is, uh... Also, he gets to mention cake, too, because he's probably thinking about cake right that now. That line is being added to our movie, dude. For sure. Yeah. That has to be uttered. Cats? Sounds like the cat's alive back there, baby cakes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't laugh. Come on. What is it? Is because <laughs> you like poisoned it earlier and you're surprised it didn't work or something? Like what happened here? Why are why are you making so many references to the cat still being alive? What? I think this is Brett thinking he's now, funny. Don't get me wrong, I think it's awesome what you did. But let me give you an example of something. There are Christians, Muslims, <laughs> pagans, and Jews in the world. There are some people who are there, of there are religion. There are also lots of other mistake. types of people in the yeah, world. There, there's why are those four, There's Buddhists. Yes. Yeah. Why, why are those four particular groups of people the only people that you seem to mention ever? The only important ones, Christians. You can only remember four at a time. Girls. <laughs> Christian family. And I don't, in the, in the light of me, ever feel like... Okay, some Christian over in California decided to poop in a mall or something. 
that doesn't make me want to go out and, and do something nice or be punished or pay for the mistakes of that other Christian. What? I mean, like, <laughs> this is just Brett's bizarre ramblings, if, if dude. You're, if you're at a mall and they have a restroom and you got to poop bad enough, go do it. This, What's yeah. wrong with pooping at a mall? I don't get it. Like, if I've you really need to. I think he means, like, in the middle of the mall. Oh. Like, you just poop in the mall. It's probably something Brett's done. He's probably shit in a mall before. It's a little just weird. Here. It was probably unintentionally. Probably just this shit is his It's a very strange argument he's putting yeah. forward in this video, man. Very strange. It doesn't make me, if a Muslim goes out and does something horrible, it doesn't make me like say, well, I've got to do this or do that in order to make it to where <clears throat> the group doesn't look bad anymore. And atheists always say, it's about individualism. We're just people with our own thinking minds. None of us are all alike. So then why do you feel like you have to actually pay for something that someone I don't. else did? Yeah, most I don't. Know. One guy I don't. did. Just I another lame Brett straw man. An atheist, not, not only, not only do I not feel responsible to replenish your pixel gold on Elder Scrolls Online, but I hope you lose the eighteen thousand that this fucking retard gave you to another scam. Yeah, dude, Paul is a game scammer too. So. I, I almost want to try. I almost want to make an account in this shitty game, just so I can fucking go up to you and scam you out of your, the, your fucking. Yeah, let's fucking scam Brett Kane, man. Gold, let's just dude. go in the game and scam him out of all of his gold. That'd Someone do it. If anyone can actually scam Brett King out of his gold, that'd be great. Yeah, make sure you record yeah. it if you do it. <laughs> anyone record could... yourself scamming him. <laughs> Even with him knowing that it's coming, he'll probably still fall for <laughs> he'll, something. He'll still get scammed, man. Come on. Tell you what, Brett, since all these people are go aiming for your gold, why don't you just give it to me and I'll hold on to it for you? <laughs> Yeah. You know, treat me like a bank. That way, you know, you don't have it on you, so they can't take it from you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> -na 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 -na. This is a good time to take a piss. Why is there a monkey in the background? I don't know why he does that. I mean... <laughs> Looks like that he was going to, like, fight or some shit. Like Mortal Kombat type fight. <laughs> yeah, it was an angry monkey. It's probably angry about being in a Brett Keen video intro. <laughs> so, Videos are uh, becoming parodies so, of themselves. So, Blood Axe, have, it, have you seen Brett Keen's brother's music? Uh, I, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I did check one of his uh, live videos. It's, uh, I mean, it's an average metal man, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what should I say about well, it? <laughs> it's not terrible. No, they should just it's, name, it's he should just name himself metal. that. Completely average, vanilla, forgettable metal band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, <laughs> you guys better, you guys better watch out, because if you mess with his brother, he's coming to get you. Yeah, yeah. He I don't said know. that to Stop us. Attacking his family, guys. God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com, and connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Today, I'm going to talk about and do a review on Tamriel One, Elder Scrolls Online. It's going to be cool. All I've been having online. some people out there in comments state, Hey, Brad, I'd like to be a part of your guild, and by the way, I... Hey, Brad, I'd like to be a part of your guild. He just said his own name, Bread, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bread. Hey, Brad, my name is Brad Keen. It's like... <laughs> my name is... My name is Brad Keen. Support my work on Patreon. What? <laughs> He's really mush-mouthed. What is this new thing with Brett, like, filming videos while Dorn is in the background cooking? <laughs> like this is the Mix. second video in a row we've watched where Dorn has been in the kitchen. I think Dorn's like, them. I want them to see what a good wife I am to you. You put me in the back cooking your vittles up. I want to make sure you put cheese in my chili, Dorn. <laughs> your vittles. Yo, vittles. This is Brett's vittles. <laughs> First, I make a nice meal, then I blend it up. Put a funnel in Brett's mouth and fucking pour it right down his fat fucking gullet. I'm a DP fan. Uh, I think that's the abbreviation or initials of uh, dickless penises. I think. No, I'm dickless, dickless penises. penises. <laughs> that doesn't make any Brett sense. Keen has presented what? us with a paradox. Hmm. Oh my Dry god. Wall. How can a penis be dickless? Could I? It, it makes no sense. When you think this guy couldn't get any dumber, he says dickless penis. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a. That needs to be a bearded lesbian song. Oh uh, my god. Paul. Yeah, dickless penis, <laughs> and that would be good. Jesus. I got a dickless penis. 
Just kidding. I know what the hell it is. But I want to tell you <laughs> no, something. No, you don't know what a uh, fucking dickless penis is. Review, I get quite a few people who call me on the phone, try to contact me on Skype, message me through Facebook and Twitter. And you say, I like your content, but I'm a, um, a drunken peasants fan. I need you to know something right off the bat. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You may want to hesitate. Hold on a second. How, how many people do you think actually call him and say that? None. Exactly yeah, none. I was Not say a that. single <laughs> goddamn they're... solitary motherfucking one. You know what? I, 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 uh, okay. You know, that was me. I have a confession to make. I do like all of Brett's videos, every single one of them. <laughs> but I'm also obviously a drunken peasants fan because I'm on your show. You know what? Actually, I gotta correct. I gotta correct myself here. I think that people have said that to Brett Keen because there was a period in time where the stupid ass DP subreddit was like all positive about Brett Keen and shit. Oh, the dickless penises. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What if Brett was one of us? Does Just anybody else think? Like one of us. Does anybody Dude. else think that Brett's actually makes pretty good content? <clears throat> Can I get a yeah, bunch of dude. upvotes, guys? Oh, yeah, dude. Sweet. Brett, you know, TJ really fucked Brett over on that fucking thing, dude. Like, Brett yeah, he showed did, his man. gums and, and fucking TJ didn't pay him. That's bullshit, dude. I mean, it's hey. one thing to make fun of a guy, but but to, 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 to renege on a bet, man. That's fucked up. I lost a lot of respect for TJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him, man. You gotta love him. We love you, subreddit. We get giving you some tough love, you fucking stupid pieces of goddamn shit. Thank you, Butt King. That was Thank more you. tough love. Oh, by I the by the way, I um, you know, by the way, uh, I for for the record, I was making the joke that Butt King might be my father, you know, Jim ass Butt King. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna go for that anymore. I don't want him thinking I'm attacking his family. You know, oh, he, he, <laughs> he this, this Jim ass guy is accusing me of cheating on Dorn. Before letting me know this information that I didn't even ask for, if you're wanting to be in my guild and play with me. If you want to play with me, what is this? Did Brett, ben just pissed in a cup and gave it to me. Neat, that is sweet. definitely piss, dude. I can smell the piss. <laughs> ben, or I'll drink ben. something Ugh. worse than that piss. Ugh. Hey, Ben. That's uh, some of the worst piss I've ever drank, Ben. Some of the worst. Well, it tastes like Elder Scrolls. You need to. Ben's piss is so. Ben's such a fucking alcoholic. <laughs> Even his fucking piss tastes boozy, dude. <laughs> Probably gonna get drunk on this piss. It's disgusting. Realize man. that when I see those words in a sentence or I hear them to my ear <laughs> oh, or my wife sees it recorded. I hear them to my ear? Is that really necessary? <laughs> when I see those words in a sentence. When I see those words with my eyes or I hear those words with my ears or I smell that bullshit with my nose. When was the last time you guys didn't see words in a sentence? Okay, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> stop! Stop derailing the show, Jim. You are the—I mean, you are a human monkey wrench, Jim. You really yeah. are. You are a human fucking monkey wrench, dude. Ugh, it's fucking bored. Ben. <clears throat> ben. By the way, uh, Brett Keen told me DP stands for uh, a dickless penis. Did he really tell you that? Yeah, he did. He sent you a message. No, he said it here on this video. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did? Machine. Yeah, it's amazing. We immediately envision immediately. and hear a song go off. And immediately. That's cool. That's immediately. What is a dickless penis? I mean, if it's... <laughs> That's what we were saying, dude. We were like, Brett Keen is presenting... Sorry, paradox, I was pouring man. wine for everyone. I didn't... Uh... Oh. Yeah, that, that's why I wanted to let you know. That I know you had your headphones off. I wanted to let you know that that's what DP what stands for. What the fuck? Dickless okay. penis. Blah, 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 that doesn't make blah, blah, any blah. sense at all. If it's a penis, it's not dickless. And he so could have easily been like dickless pussies or something. And they'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes see, sense. that would have yeah. at least made sense. Or dickless peasants or any other fucking yeah. combination. Someone in the chat said I'm Czech. No, Dip I'm not. shit plebs. I'm not whatever, Czech. Whatever, you know, there's yeah. lots of ways you can go with Brett it. Brett Keen, you are still a waterhead. In our head, whenever the shit is said. That, I don't know if you heard my wife there. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. You know, Onision, when he dresses up in a <laughs> banana. Onision. Oh, God. Thanks oh, for can explaining Can you even say oh, his man. name? Right? Onision. A master. I remember, uh... Zonstar said that he always called him Zonster. 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 <laughs> Zonster.
<laughs> he, should, he should change his name to Zonster. Zonster. Of the it's, not, it's actually better. That's exactly yeah. what I see and hear whenever I, I get someone like yourself telling me that you're a Duncan Peasants fan. It's as if any intelligence... That's the only reason anyone cares about who the fuck you are. No, all 70 of his subscribers called up. Hope that you had or no, no. At least half of them are DP fans. I want to hear what he has to say, man. <laughs> sorry. I want to hear Brett's Brett's sorry. fucking take. Sorry, on this shit. sorry. Contribution to the human race gets flushed down the toilet along with EJ's butt particles and banana potassium. <laughs> banana potassium. Okay, so if you're a drunken peasants potassium's fan, potassium's good for you. If you're a drunken peasants fan, what he said. That's pretty cool. This guy is talking about intelligence. Any sliver of intelligence I thought he had went out the window when he said dickless penis. Yeah, what? It, uh, any, uh, it's like a t that's like a second grade kind of like uh, insult. Any notion of intelligence I had was broken the moment he said, Hi, I'm Brett Keen. Yeah. Individual, <laughs> situ all I needed. individual situation, no cheese. I don't think anything will top dickless penis. I, yeah, I'm I'm gonna make a call right now because this video is about Brett Keen ostensibly playing Elder Scrolls online with people. Yeah. Um, once but, again, I, like one of you guys, if one of you guys manages to infiltrate the Manatees Guild and just steals everything he owns, you will be a hero on this show. This is this is the title of this video: Elder Scrolls Online Tamiral One. Brett Keen books DP Banana. What a great title. What? That's the title of this video that we're watching. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so don't even bother telling me. I don't fucking care. One other thing. A lot of you out there have been saying, hey Brad, I'd like to see the eternal and dying love books that you wrote apparently yeah. some of you have never watched my videos i haven't even mentioned those books for years except for whenever i was questioned about them on dp i wrote them whenever i was a teenager and i no longer put forth the effort or anything to actually sell them oh you still collect the money though i mean when someone buys it you see you don't reject the money do you do you think that do you think that girl in the bottom with the rose in her mouth, do you think she watches Brett Keen's channel? No. That's Dawn, dude. No, that That's is a picture not. of Dawn, no. dude. No. Who's no, Dawn? Not Dawn. That's his wife. His Dawn, beautiful although wife, according Dawn. to Amazon and Bar I like how his Patreon thing is the biggest window. It yeah, changes every that. video. It does, but could <laughs> could you imagine if our show was like that? I mean like <clears throat> That'd be awesome. I think we, we should have do this because our Patreon, I mean, is is doing really well. I but think our Patreon, like the entire screen we're using now for the content, should just be a Patreon. The reason our Patreon does well is because we actually put forth the extra effort and to then like, do extra shit for people. Your box can be us, all three in one box, or all four in one box, and then the box I'm in can just be. Uh, Whatever video we're watching, yeah, right and the rest there. of the screen, this, box. this right whole here. box, yep, the whole box of where we're, our content is now, <laughs> Patreon. Just, Patreon. Just shrink your whole screen to a couple of pictures down in the lower right-hand corner, and then no. the rest will be just a Patreon advertisement. Please support us on Patreon. Bubbles in the many bookstores out there, they're still selling them. So if you want to get them, you can get them in hardback, soft copy, and all that kind of bullshit. Or you can get, uh, what is it, a PDF file or some shit? Oh, he's doing an uh, ad. He, he just yeah, said yeah. that. He just said he doesn't want to I haven't it. talked about them in years, but buy them, please. Yeah, yeah since, since we've been reading Eternal Undying Love on the show, he's probably sold a couple of books, so he, he wanted to find a way to plug them yeah. without plugging them. Yeah, like out of nowhere, all of a sudden, it's like a big thing. Oh, go ahead, TJ. Here's a here's a reading from Eternal and Dying Love, which, which by the way, if you notice, has our endorsement right on the cover. Yes. Um, what's what's the URL again? God hates you. God hates you. dot org. God hates right you. dot org. If you go to God hates you. dot org, which is on the cover of Brett Keen's book, it will take you to the Drunken Peasants uh, YouTube channel. So, I mean, obviously, Brett Keen loves us. Yep. And he's endorsing this book, so... Alright, so, listen up here, folks. 
He packed what he wanted and needed <laughs> and tossed it into the back of his Bronco yes. and headed for Missouri. His Bronco. He drove about 200 miles when he saw something lying in the middle of the road. He pulled over, his car stereo playing a song called Separate Ways by Journey. <laughs> <laughs> Journey, dude. <laughs> He could tell it was an animal. As he hopped out onto the dark, desolate highway, he flashed a flashlight that he had obtained from the glove compartment. As he searched, he could find nothing. All of a sudden, he heard scampering like feet running. A chill went up his spine. Fuck, he mumbled. He had left his gun in the cab. How dumb he felt. Now he was <laughs> kicking himself in the ass for how, being so foolish. How dumb he felt. How dumb he felt. How dumb he felt. <laughs> <laughs> now he was kicking himself in the ass for being so foolish to pull over in the first place and allow him to be put in such a vulnerable state. The sound of running behind him, he turned to find, to his surprise, a cemetery <laughs> where the highway for the other direction was supposed to be. The highway for the other direction was supposed to be? Okay, there's just a cemetery there. <laughs> he looked behind himself in horror. He watched his Bronco be driven away. He could swear he heard maniacal laughter coming from his truck as it drove quickly out of sight. <laughs> maniacal laughter. Now it seemed as though the highway itself was also disappearing. What the fuck, he cringed. I guess Egghead was there. <laughs> he was now alone with a dark, eerie graveyard. <laughs> How do, you, how do you cringe a quotation? What the fuck? He cringed? Yeah. What the fuck? He cringed. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Oh, quiet meadows. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Whatever. I'm sorry, bro. That's enough of that. We just yeah. cost you... We, we just cost you a little bit of money you know, by reading that on the air. You know, so. TJ... We just made him money. People want to read something that horrible. Today, for the first time ever, I watched the full uh, Joe Rogan interview with oh, you. Yeah, yeah and, and I thought it was kind of funny, because I, I was just, like, cleaning around here and stuff when I was listening to it, but I noticed, like, the first, like, 20 minutes, you guys were just talking about shit and piss, like... <laughs> For like the first twenty minutes of it, shit and piss, dude. Yeah, cool. I don't I even I don't even remember my conversation with. It was it was good. I mean, yeah. I I watched it, and for the first time, I saw that Star Trek uh, thing with the uh, Captain Kirk fighting the aliens. Yeah, I cannot believe he thought that the old Star Trek is better than the new one, <laughs> and his reasoning was. Totally flawed. I don't even remember what he said. He was like, oh, I heard this old comedian say something about the bald guy that's the captain. and It was weird because I don't think it was like the most legit show I'd ever done. So oh, I was kind of course. nervous. And I was so nervous that I pretty much forgot the entire thing like right after I did it. Like, I don't even know what I just did for the you last two hours. Honestly, you didn't seem nervous. Not like, at all, you, no. Yeah, you handled I can, it. I faked my way through that shit, y'all. <laughs> Cause inside I was like, oh, oh shit, I'm on fucking Joe Rogan. I remember, uh, I remember when when we were playing the UFC game. Yeah. And we heard Joe Rogan. You're like, I knew that guy. I knew that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I done met that motherfucker, yeah. man. You know, it was it was weird because uh, I thought like his fame like would just make him automatically better than me, but it just didn't. It's no, strange. I, I mean he's a pretty normal guy. Yeah. Like deep down, you know, deep but. Down. I didn't get that deep in Joe Rogan. Oh, know. only only a little bit deep. I don't know, man. A little bit deep. I went just below the surface a little bit. Just a tip, you know. <laughs> That's all you can get? Just a tip, man. <laughs> <laughs> just a little tip, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, whispers, whispers McMillan is back, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Paul, you piece of but shit. But don't fucking contact me directly about it. I'm not a bookstore. Shut the fuck up. Paul, Paul's ego. You're a piece of shit, bitch. Fuck you, Fuck you whispers. Get it yourself. Fuck you, Paul. All right, so people are wondering, how do I, I feel about Camriel 1? Kill you, uh, They mentioned on the front of the website recently. All right, so he talked about us. He sucks. Here's Brett Keen's video that he made uh, about TJ getting his million subscribers. Neat. <laughs> Uh, sit through Brett's eternal fucking intro. There's a monkey. Eternal undying oh, intro. Oh, Montreux. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Are we going to get this... lightning Jesus this time or Dorn telling people to be nice in the comments? Atheists use vote bots to downrate our videos. Check out my shitty talentless brother. Hello, ladies wow. and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen. 
from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. I uh, woke up this morning, and as usual, I've gotten a lot of comments out there. Some people have asked me some unusual questions, and I oh boy, six comments. <laughs> I'm gonna go over these with a fine tooth comb. Yeah. What are people saying, Brett? You're a fat fucking manatee. Oh, fuck you, Brett. You're a piece of shit. Brett, you're a scammer. Brett, you're a fat lying piece of garbage. Good work, Brett. Keep it up. Oh yeah. There's oh, wait, one. I wrote that under where my sock account. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Thought I had a real fan for a second situation. You know what's Brett. happened? Someone said to me, guess what, Brett? The Amazing Atheist has a million subscribers, and you only have a couple thousand. How does it make you Wait, feel? wait, wait. Pa pause it. Well... <laughs> Does Brett actually have a couple thousand? Because when I was checked, he did not have that many. Um, well, we can pull up the old social blade. Let's see. <coughs> see how many subscribers the manatee has. I guarantee he's adding all of his channel subscribers together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet you that's what he's doing. <coughs> so no, no one's really even approaching Brett and saying that. A more accurate thing that the, if just looking at your main channel would probably say, so you have 370 or 400 or something subscribers and TJ has a million. How does that feel? So let's reframe it as that. How does it make you feel that people like Onision and Shane Dawson and My Little Pony and women who make videos where they fart all fucking day have more subscribers <laughs> than Brett Keen and the Amazing Atheist put together. Really? Are there farting videos that are big? Is that real? Or is he just like I'm sorry, talking? I mean, probably. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> but if you were... I mean, like, I love how he's like, hey, you put, yeah, more than us put together. It's like us put together is still pretty much just what I have now. <laughs> like, if I get your entire <laughs> subscriber base in a day, I'm just like, huh, pretty neat day for subs. Yeah, you, you wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't even fucking notice. So, eh. To combine all of our subscriptions in one. Cool. How does it make you feel? That Christianity is still the number one religion in the world <laughs> and will be for the next gotcha. 20 years, something years. Gotcha. <clears throat> Checkmate, atheist. God, Brett, you so desperately want to win at something. There are more of us than you. We win. Come on, man. Really? Are you like five? Brett, I will guarantee you that not only do I have more subscribers than you do, I have more Christian subscribers than you do. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Probably even further beyond <laughs> that, and Islam is the second greatest religion, and atheism is still on the fucking bottom of the totem pole. This <laughs> is the most juvenile fucking shit. Yeah. You're I mean, at the maybe. bottom of the totem pole. We the, have the, to the, My religion's more popular. Yeah. The kind of the point of atheism is that we don't take part in your totem pole. We don't want to be on the totem pole. We're watching you guys try and raise your little totems above each other on the pole. <laughs> and, like, no, Brad. <laughs> At least that's how we should be. I don't know. Some atheists probably do get in the, Oh, yeah, no, we're going to have the atheist thing on the totem pole right oh. now. No, no thanks. No, you're wrong. You're not atheist anymore. Go away. How does it make you feel? Start worshiping your own fucking farts. Atheism had a 2% rise in America. And also, the suicide rate went up 2%. Okay. Dun, dun, dun! Whoa! Show us the correlation, Brett, yeah. because it's not, it, it's not, it's not going to fucking be Whoa. there. I guarantee you this is not, this, there's no fucking scientific basis for what he's saying. Dude, atheism rate went up 2%. Suicide rate went up two percent. You know what I'm saying? And no other factors in all of America Dude. changed whatsoever. <laughs> this is how it goes. Yeah. You know? And what time period was that? You know, when was that? Was that this year, last year, ten years ago, twenty years ago? When was this? From this? some random yeah. time I selected to some other yeah. random time I selected. Here's a bullshit statistic. <laughs> I hope no one checks on. This is quite possibly the worst comeback <laughs> in the history of the world. <laughs> somebody, somebody sent him a somebody sent him a message like, "Hey Brett, you know TJ's got a million subscribers and you're wallowing at fucking like 420 subscribers. Like, 
how does that make you feel? And he's like, well, at least I'm the member of a religion with lots of people in it. So, personal goals, I guess. Seems like people who don't have any hope or intrinsic meaning or purpose, they don't last too long in this world. I wonder why that is. People who think they evolved from slime and end up nothing, just can't but, seem to find the motivation I mean, or the will to survive or want to continue. I love how you fucking... Is it? I love how you fucking say that we evolved from slime. Like, people who say we evolved from slime, it's like, <laughs> motherfucker, you haven't evolved from slime. Okay? You, st slime. you still fucking slime, bitch. <laughs> You're the slimiest motherfucker on YouTube. Oh, uh, we got we got to do an all Brett Keen episode, man. Oh, it's oh yeah. oh absolutely. If you guys buy enough of the all of the all Tommy episode, we're gonna make a Brett Keen one because we love your money, and we Dude, really want to do this. This has got to be done. It's got to be done. We need yeah. to spend two and a yeah. half hours delving into the psyche I mean, of fucking Brett Keen. It's probably gonna be longer than that. We will explore old and new Brett Keen videos. Yeah, we want to get a good mix of like his entire history so that we can kind of like try to figure it out. Check out the Tommy Sotomayor one though, because we totally we demolish him. <laughs> we fucking destroy it. every. I mean, I've not got a single negative uh, reaction from that so far. I'm sure there's some whiny faggot out there somewhere. Ah, it sucked, but. Everyone who's written me or everyone I've seen talk about on social media or even on the fucking picky ass whiny subreddit has been like, it was good, so it must be good. If it even please the faggots of the subreddit, you know it must be good. Wow, man. <laughs> That's strange. You erase God and then you erase yourself. Yeah, that's great. So if what a group, <laughs> what, 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 hold people, on, what what does that mean? Sorry, Brett. You erase God <laughs> and you erase yourself. So Brett, you uh you owe me an interview. Um, I paid a thousand dollars. Did he Patreon. scam you? Yeah, I think he did. I've been paying you six dollars and sixty six cents a month for quite a while now. Oh, so but that's I'm just to long, mock him. I'm a long time patron, dude. <laughs> he so he said that that was just it's to about mock. fucking time I got my interview. Brett, where's the fucking interview, Brett? Dude, hashtag I, I, where's the interview? I Hashtag, went over to bed. where's the you interview? You were given that fucking money. Why have you I not over, delivered? Where's the interview? I went over to Brett's Patreon the other day because I was talking to my friend Jason about it. and I, went, I wanted to check up on it. He's got like five or six patrons. And I will eat my fucking shoe if he's paid out one of those fucking, like, perks. Like I, I will, I I will boil my shoe and eat it if he's paid out a single fucking perk at this point. He has it. Give me a fucking interview, Brett. You said you'd give me an interview. It's time for our interview, bitch. It's time for you and me. No Ben, no Scotty, no Paul. One on just one. You and me, Brett. Wow, one on one. You and me together, just talking as as men, Brett. I know you like that, <laughs> don't you? Just man and amazing atheists, eye to eye, face to face, on the internet through Skype. <laughs> yeah. Or even that of an individual situation has a lot of subscribers. What? What? Mm. Brett, we derived those terms from your speech patterns, and now you can't even use them properly. <laughs> What's going on? I mean, like, when you didn't know you were doing it, you were you were using them not actually correctly, but correct, like, that you were doing what we do with them now, which is just add them strangely to things. Like, <laughs> everything's a situation, you know, and there's never just people or folks or anything. It's always just individuals. So that's where that comes from. But now you, you don't even do it right. Now you just fucking randomly out of nowhere... Individual situation. Look, I'm aware of that. Now its power has been taken away. <laughs> it's like no. no, it's still it's still valid. It's, it's it's the idiocy of Brett Kane, dude. He like he he really when he when he does this shit, he really thinks he's like he's sticking it to us. Like I oh, gotcha. <laughs> and we are to base the value of that person <laughs> or that group based upon popularity. Then atheism is still a shit sandwich without the bread. That's my answer to your question. Was a, what a brilliant answer it was. Ah, that was a terrible answer, you know, Brad. You should be ashamed of that answer. There's a lot of people out there on YouTube that have more subscribers than me. They have more subscribers than some of my opponents. They have more subscribers than some of my friends. Well, Brad. 
you're 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 not anyone's opponent. You know, like you're nothing. Like no one takes you seriously. <laughs> like what? And it's you don't my... have any friends. Yeah, like dude, they like you show it, Brett. They like you show up to a UFC like fucking title fight, and we're like, <laughs> Brett's got a place to this show. It's like, no, you fucking don't, dude. <laughs> nope. You're delusional. I say to myself, I look at it like this. One of my favorite bands in the world is Slayer. I love the band Slayer, and I know some people are probably going to be shocked about that. <laughs> Slayer? No. No one's going to be shocked. I'm the least shocked about that I... that I've ever been about wow. any statement ever made. I'm so shocked. It's because he thinks, he honestly believes in his head that he's cultivated this image of like, I'm a good Christian family. No one buys that shit for a second. So no one is shocked you listen to Slayer. <coughs> you mean the band that does God hates us all and, you know, uh, divine intervention and hell awaits and south of heaven? You like this band? I do. I think that they are one of the most kick-ass bands that ever existed on this planet. I think that Meg should have known Brett was a fucking Slayer <laughs> fan, dude. It's so shocking. He also says in this video that he's a Megadeth and a Metallica fan. Okay. No. Dude, the shit he says Darker. in this video is hilarious because he's totally talking about you okay. in it. Megadeth, the old shit, was fucking incredible. I think everything before the Black Album or Metallica is something that's going to live and strive within our very soul. Forever. Strive. I'm just going to strive. Strive within our soul. Like, What's what are you what? even talking about? <laughs> strive to what? What is it striving for, Brett? It's just gonna have to be there striving for just whatever. This is Brett just shitting out soul. Fuck, he just shit out Are some you... fucking words. Do you? Every time I hear Brett speak and like he's not just just straight up insulting somebody, it's just fucking just a bunch of fucking gobbledygook. You know, that's like this is supposed to mean something. What is this supposed to mean? Talking about Metallica, everything before the Black Album shit, before the Enter the Sandman, before the God that failed and the struggle within, to whom the bell tolls, all oh that. Oh my shit. God. But, even as popular as Metallica is, even as popular as Megadeth and Slayer is, even though anybody that actually watches or listens to these bands knows that that's real talent, the fact is, Katy Perry, who's a complete and utter fucking washout, and Britney Spears... <laughs> so I see, so let me yeah, get this straight. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this straight, Brett. You're Metallica in their prime, and you're Megadeth, and you're fucking Slayer! And I'm Katy Perry. Yep. <laughs> I do have big tits like Katy Perry, I guess. That's about all. But, um, yeah, interesting analogy. Um, totally, as an analogy, totally fails. I don't, I don't really know what to do with that, Brad. I really just don't. Um, I don't know what's more ridiculous, that you see me as, like, some sort of pop star, or that you see yourself as some sort of badass rocker dude. Because neither of those are true. Uh, they're Look both at, uh, equally well, untrue. The, the picture on the back of his book, um, he's trying to portray, the, portray that image. Look at that. Yeah, That's man. metal, dude. Yeah, man. You didn't know what metal was till you looked upon the face of Brett fucking Keen. Trench coat, man. <clears throat> and GodHatesYou.org. Yeah. Go visit it. The fucking URL on Brett's book. Go pay a visit. Go pay a fucking visit. Send Brett the link. Remember when you had this? Remember when this was yours? Remember when this is your URL that you put on your fucking book proudly? <clears throat> more Not popularity no more. and fame with the children. How long teenagers. is it, Brett, before we have God TV radio, too? Ooh. <laughs> Dude, we'll get it. Ooh. I'm going to make it my mission in life to, to snatch God TV radio up right from under you, bitch. <laughs> You know what? I might just go fucking get uh, God TV radio dot fucking EU or some shit. Why the fuck not? Dot net, dot org. Yeah, dot Gotta be CO, something available. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, we can find one of those. Easily. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them, Brett. And they're all going to lead right back to the Drunken Peasant Podcast. <laughs> we should find any uh, like old Brett Keen domain and just redirect them to our site. Yeah, any, any domain Brett's had, we should fucking try to redirect to us, man. Be great. Be sexy. Individual situation. Check out that beautiful asshole.
<coughs> Not this beautiful asshole. Dude, it, Paul, I can tell you, someone upstairs, it's way more vivid. Up, like, here, because it's really dark, it's not as bad. I know. Well, it's already happening for me, Scott. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm on the I'm edge. not seeing much. I'm not, I'm seeing, not seeing much. I'm, I'm feeling a lot, but I'm not really seeing. feeling it either, though. You're not the feeling edge it? Oh. Is there, oh, this oh. is the guy who never got hot. Who never got hot. Well, ever. I mean, like, the thing about me and Lucy is that, like I said, she usually creeps up on me a little slower than most people. Okay. It's been about what, about an hour and a half, TJ. Um, I had a timer set, but I can't find my fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't affecting me. Where's my it. phone? I ain't feeling it at all. Oh, yeah, because it's so out of character for me to misplace my phone. Actually, True. it really is. No, it really is. Because, yeah, like, there is kind of one thing TJ, TJ, TJ like, always has in his hand. Dude, try mm -hmm. talking to TJ. It's like TJ's on his phone constantly, so uh, I don't, I don't buy you call that. my phone? TJ, we need to discuss important things. TJ's fucking uh, having a panic attack. Where's my phone, man? Where is it? God, Where the fuck is it? Is my phone. All right, so uh, check your this out. TJ. Your phone is gone, TJ. We have a we have a really short one, uh, really short Brett Keen uh, individual segment situation. It's it, Ben. It's never short. Come on, let's be honest. No, this one is. Uh, no, even, even if what he's saying. I is wanted short, to watch. Right, I found it. People, oh, okay. hundreds of people sent me the <coughs> the clip hundreds. of him on the atheist experience. We can't play that now. We'll have to play that another We're time. We're gonna play it on our oh. special show or whatever. Man, fuck you! You fucking guys are pieces of shit because you're like, we're gonna watch it, dude, dude, dude. We're gonna watch that in the show. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Then it's like, oh, we will have to watch it later, man. Oh, I didn't. He told me. Wow. So, t so TJ told well, you that? To yeah. No, Ben came to me and said, like, you know, uh, this might get flagged or whatever. It like, could. Let's oh, just, let's, they, just, let's just do it on the... You think they would flag us, really? I don't know. I've, I've heard of people yeah, getting flagged yeah, for uh, people have stuff. Been, uh, yeah, that's uh, true. Well, I guess not, then. That's fucking lame, though. I mean, well, what happened... They, would... they have a pretty big problem with people cutting up their segments and just putting them up wholesale yeah. and shit, so... Oh, uh, I see. And they, 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 they have a content oh, ID, I'm sure. So. Yeah, I would guess so. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, here's, we will get to that, though, because that was hilarious, him on the atheist experience, so. Dude, I'm going I'm, I'm to watch, I have nothing, we should watch yeah. it after the it's show. It's been about an hour and 41 minutes since I took it, so. It's kind of crazy, I'm not feeling more. Yeah, it is, anything, considering man. that I am transcending the mortal plane. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Like, like, I'm, like, I'm literally not feeling much of anything. I feel really? pretty normal. I see the Buddha. Said hard All right. Tom. So is this there, Ben, is there any more that maybe TJ could? He has another one. TJ, yeah. you might. Well, I don't want to do doubles if because uh, I don't. Someone well, else you know what? Wait, 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 wait till you get like three hours, dude. Well, I'll just see how I feel after the show. Yeah. Over. Okay. Cool. We'll yeah. figure out then. All right. Sorry, Ben. Anyway, this is a Brett King video. Yeah. The uh, proof the amazing atheist is lying to you. Cool. Hey, people. This is Brett King. I thought I would show you that the amazing atheist is deceiving you all in lying. Um, he has made an ultimatum recently, which what? I've already uh, uh, what? Uh, what? Hold on. Go back. He, he go back. Go back. Oh, he has oh. made an ultimatum. Well, ultimatum? What do you say? Hold on. He has I, made an on, ultimatum. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He has made an ultimatum recently. <laughs> ultimatum. <laughs> ultimatum. God, Brett. <laughs> what? Brett, Brett, don't use big boy words. You, use use your small that, words. Brett. Ultimatum. Ultim yeah. <laughs> yeah. An ultimato. Brett. I'll make you an ultimato. Brett, do you want everything on that hamburger? Yes, everything but uh, uh, everything but tomato. Ultimatum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again. Ultimato. Um, he has made an ultimatum recently. <laughs> ultimatum. Stop fun. saying it. Stop saying ultimatum. it, Ultimatum. He has made an ultimatum recently. God, bro, you sound so fucking stupid, dude. God, why can't you say anything right? You're such a bad person, T. What I fucking um, do? I'm just, <laughs> just sitting here. I'm sitting here, dude. Stop saying it. I'm just sitting here. I really I am sitting here. If I don't he's going to pay people who know yeah. me to get on the show. What I fucking do? I've already responded that is true. to him back in October 10th stating I would. Yeah. Yeah. That is also true. In Brett's defense, no. yeah, that's true. he got to you and you were like, expect a contract. And you d you still ain't sent a contract. I agree. TJ, well, you're I, fucking it all up. I Don't haven't sent a contract Brett. because like several days, a few just a few days after this, he was like, I want 2,000. You can see the timeline. Yeah. October 10th. October 10th. Like, well, well, let's wait till he goes down. Like, see when you get back to him. Okay. I, mean, I don't think I got back to him. I mean, maybe I did. Whatever. We'll see. Um, he did not do that. You see that? In a few days, I'll send you a contract. That was October, yeah, you, you October, dropped, October 10th. So you dropped the ball. Okay. Now. Yeah, but like, it, now it's been so many days since then. But at the time he started asking for $2,000, mm -hmm. like, I hadn't had time to do a contract in that time. Ultimatum. 
Take so it. I'm not going to send him a contract when there's a dispute about time. the money. I have look, because I no look, because if you go to someone and you no Give fuck Brett. you shut up Give no take no no Give shut Brett. up take your shut up contract. Give fuck Brett. you take your fuck contract. you fuck you hold on you fucking drop no you listen you drop Paul you drop Scotty you drop Paul listen listen Scotty if you go to someone and you negotiate a deal and I say okay we've negotiated the deal I'm going to get a contract we sign it this says you know reiterates the deal. Ultimatum. I go off. I sh I Ultimatum. start trying to do the fucking contract and shit. I, I, I mean, I have to go to you guys and get your whatever, and then get by the time ultimatum. by the time I fucking uh, was ready to fucking it's get this ultimatum. shit going, he starts being like, "I want two thousand now." Are, are you done? Are you and how ultimate? So I mean, like this contract was for an agreement that he rescinded. Okay, are you so done? how? What, what are the fuck done? is his complaint? But I'm asking, are you done? I'm ultimatum. done. Well, this is what you do to Brett. You make up the contract right now. You go, whatever you want to put in the contract. $1,000. $1,000, yeah. blah, 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 stipulation, stipulation. Sign the fuck contract or not, Brett. Hey, That's it. Hey, Brett. That's Keen. it. Hey, Brett. Let's he doesn't sign it, fuck him. Hey, Brett, Ultimate let's time. wheel and deal, Brett. Justin wants to do it anyway. Let's wheel and deal, Brett, because you're, oh, yeah, yeah, you hear, you hear, you hear you're a straight shooter. Right, Justin wants to do it anyway, so it's okay. I just explained why I didn't fuck up. If you can, you, I've not heard anyone refute what I said. So fuck. I have. All you have you. been refuted. You have been refuted. No, you. No, yes, I'm not. you have. Yes, you have. Why don't you go suck a fucking horse cock, Scotty? Yeah, why don't you do it? Because obviously the first thing that came to your fucking mind, bitch. Yeah, it was. But you're yeah. the one who's disgusted by it, so you go suck the I'm horse cock. I'm not disgusted cock. by it. I'm saying, you why don't you go suck that big it? fucking horse why cock, Scotty? You go suck the horse cock. You go suck that horse the, cock until I'm the horse jizzes in your fucking stupid out. belly, you the piece of shit. The truth comes out. Oh, oh, no. No. You know what, TJ? You're the fuck. Let's go look at TJ's fucking webs uh, saved images, and let's go versus Scotty. That's what I'm saying. I already fucking said that, fucking that whatever. women being impaled and horse jism everywhere and fucking TJ in the center of being lap lapping it up. Oh, horse jism and blood and death and cooked women. He does have a point. What is the point? I don't know. I'm not fucking hiding from any of that shit. Okay. You're not so you you acknowledge. I'm just that. telling you, go suck a fucking horse cock, cause you can't fucking beat me on this. I have beat you on You have not. Dude, it's already been fucking knockout, TJ. It's been a knockout. You knockout. just drop you drop the contract to Brett and say, Do you want it or not? He can say whatever else shit he wants, either he signs or he doesn't. Well then you fucking should have you should have fucking said that at the time then. You, you should have did it. Scotty. You're part of this process. I didn't hear him giving this advice at the time, but now all of a sudden it's so obvious. Because what do you mean? Because you said, oh, I'm going to handle this. And then that was October. I was going to handle it, but and then Brett did, changed the fucking and stipulations. You and you didn't handle it. Stipulations. You didn't Just handle it, TJ. Nothing came of it. Look where we're at now. October 30th. October 30th. So he didn't send the contract. He, he did didn't not send do the it. He did, did not do it. Paid. And now he's making an ultimatum stating that he'll ultimatum. Pay else. Paul, he actually said ultimatum. it right that time. Ultimatum, yeah. He actually said it pretty. I always right. got an ultimatum. Paul, how, how do you feel about this? You, you, give us complete honesty. I know, I know, TJ's I your butt. Yeah, yeah. Come I on. Have to see more of the video to know for sure. I'm, I'm looking at dates. Damn, Paul's looking at dates right now. Okay, All right. okay. Paul's on the fence. If I, I don't, don't think there was any on. writing after October. Well, 10th. I don't get this. Hold this up. doesn't make From sense. You. Okay, look. Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. October 10th. I'm gonna go on there. And does TJ respond? The 10th. Okay, 10th. he does. Yes. Okay, so it's the 11th. We will discuss further details later. Good night. Someone said, this is the pettiest argument ever on DP. Oh, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Scotty. Scotty sucks horse cock. You. Scotty is a cock. <laughs> we'll shoot you all. The chat knows what's up. My the lady. chat knows what's all, up. All the TJ sycophants, dude, there's so many TJ sycophants. Anyone around TJ, you can pretty much be assured it's almost a TJ sycophant. They DP fucking TJ. chat. DP chat knows what's this up. Fucking, this is TJ. Oh, oh, a bunch of TJ fans. Oh, TJ right about everything. Like, dude, I've literally hung out with people that are TJ's fans, and, like, TJ can say some, like, the most retarded shit in the world. Like, the War of 1812 took place in 1912. Yeah. <laughs> TJ's fan, like, you know what, TJ? When you really look, you look at the charts, and you look at math and science and time, it's all relative. TJ's right. <laughs> Dude, TJ's right, yeah. man. TJ's so fucking smart. TJ. I decide with TJ. Are you yeah. alleging? What, oh, oh, I love it. I love it when you have an argument with TJ and then he goes on like social media and asks his fans if he's right. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we gotta That's ask beautiful. the people, man. You gotta believe oh, it up to whatever. It. You don't believe in democracy. That's fine. Oh, whatever. The TJ democracy, which is basically an autocracy. Yeah. The way it should be. Hold on, hold on. Every good democracy is really right. an autocracy at the end of the day. Do you day. guys still want to hear what I think about this now? Because I've seen yes. dates. Go ahead. You want 100%. All right, but let me fucking ask you a question. Be honest. Here. No, no, no. no, no. Let Paul speak. No, no, no. Speak. I have a question. I have a no, question. Loading, loaded question. Loaded question. Loaded question. Paul. Loaded question. It's not All a loaded right. question. All right. It's an honest question. I'll accept it. Okay, go ahead. All right. 
I want you to, you can answer, but answer from this fucking position. If you fucking are talking to someone, and you come to an agreement for $1,000, and then before you can get them a contract, they start saying a $2,000, are you still working on the That's contract? That's not what happened. That's not what happened. That is what happened. That's not what happened. What are you disputing about that? It, the, the, okay. um, the hold, on. I, hold on. I, I saw, hold on. Hold I saw on. his offer. I saw Brett change maybe like, what was it, maybe like a few days ago? When, no, it was not a fucking few days ago. It was like a week and a half ago. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. You're ridiculous. You're absurd. I want to see fucking proof that, that that was really a week and a half ago then. This is a show of idiots. I'm the only one that's still not feeling this acid and just fucking totally obvious from the insanity <laughs> that looks surrounding me at this point. dude. I'm fucking glad you don't feel Nothing shit. that any of these people say should be taken seriously. It should all be taken with a grain of salt. This is all nonsense. Whatever, TJ. It's this nonsense. is lies. This is aspersions. This well. is disgusting. But you know what, TJ? You can't poison the well because you're still in the well, okay. buddy. I'm fine. You know, so you're ahead. just as bad as all I of thought us. we were going to let Paul talk, Scotty. Paul's already said enough anyways. I thought we were going to let Paul have his say. No, because you're fucking... Because, uh, Chisha, you're just doing your typical fucking dishonest tactics where you're going to... Okay, Paul, let me just ask you this very leading question. I, I want to hear Paul's was honest... It, was it... I, I, right, I have Paul, not heard you challenge the... Fuck, okay, whatever. I want to hear okay. Paul's honest assessment. All right. All right, whatever. All right, I'm going to mute TJ for now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, Paul. Um, I'll try to be brief. No, go ahead. Say whatever you want. Um, but I'm going to be honest. Be honest. Go I think ahead. TJ offered something to Brett Keen. <clears throat> Brett Keen kind of looked like it's uh, – from what I'm reading here. Now, what I want to ask TJ is, is this in controversy, what we're looking at here? No, this matches your PMs? Uh, no, this is all true. Okay. Everything here is accurate. <clears throat> so This is pretty like, much the entirety of our interaction What as it well. looks like happened to me was – the manatee said yes. You said, okay, cool. I'm going to draw up a, a contract. Mm -hmm. Then he was like the next day or the same day or whatever. He was like, hey, dude, what up with that contract? And you were like, no, he we never, were discussed he never further detail. No, no, that was never. So this that was happen? That was after midnight. Like the, we crossed the midnight barrier. Because you notice I say good night there at the end of it. Yeah. That's the same day. It's really the same day. It just it just is after midnight. Okay. So but he never day. came to me and said, hey, what's up with that contract? He was never banging but down look, my door. But look, I always show if the money is there. This so, I promise. Good night. But then Brett he fucking tries to raise the price. So what the fuck so is he after, talking about? After you insulted so, him. So Brett, has after to, insulted. so Brett has to remind you to draft the contract. Okay. And by said. the way, the reason Brett raised his fucking price in the first place is because you fucking had your boner for destroying that goddamn I camera nothing, on the air. I did not That was what camera. pissed him off. And that's what got him to raise his price. I destroyed the camera, but only at the bequest of the audience. Scotty, you told me flat out that yeah. you were going to destroy that camera no matter what yeah. the audience said. I never said, said that. Dude. Do you have any proof you I said fuck that? It. No, I don't. Do you have any proof I don't have I any proof. That. Then there you go. I don't have any proof. Then there you go. I right. don't, rem I don't recall are. making that statement. I don't recall said. that. I don't recall any that of that. statement. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't recall any of that. I said, let's, <laughs> look, let's let the DP audience decide, and I'll respect whatever they decide. Ryby beats children. I think she does. Cool. It's possible. Egghead's girlfriend beats on children. It's Halloween. Dude, and, and Egghead was so creepy with Ryby, too. Ben, wasn't you that said that he, he called her his girlfriend or something? No, 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 no. Oh. He, he accidentally called his girlfriend Ryby. Oh, okay. And when so she was like, what the fuck did you say? He was like, oh, well, you are kind of like a bigger Ryby. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a bigger, fatter, like uglier, a fatter uglier version of Ryan yeah. who beats kids. I spent like the last 24 hilarious. hours shitting on Egghead like three That's times. That's good. So sure. I don't want to do it again. Did you ever tell the story on the to. show itself? I'm too high to remember that right now, Ben. Holy shit. Maybe on the private show. Yeah, what, tell what, on the private show. Yeah, okay. I guess I, could, I was going to give a recap, but I guess I'll just wait for yeah. uh, Paul to be on up to it again. Show. Story time. With I'm up no, to it. No, let me, let me just say that like, like, I, Paul, I'm lucid enough to tell a story. Paul's dissection of Egghead is just like I, I it's like. It. I, I want him. I want it to be fresh again. I, I think he's yeah. he's sick of it. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you I've on that. I've just done it a lot. Yeah, yeah so I, let's say that's a little played out show, right now, and we'll, then we'll watch. It. I think we'll people really enjoy it. We'll do it some other time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but right. anyway, yeah, whatever. So this. this is whatever. Brett's a All right, shit. here's more. Brett's doing his so thing. Another thing too is I'm wondering why it is the amazing atheist. He's got me on Skype. Yeah. Why does he? Not just get a hold of me. Brett, Skype I mean, the Brett, show. I don't know where the fuck I have you, honestly, because you're constantly blocking me and then re-adding me. Yeah, I don't know true. where you are or what I'm blocked at at any given time. That's so, totally true. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know what the fuck true. you expect. And on uh, Twitter, by the way, like, I, I, I'm, I'm way more comfortable communicating with you through Twitter than Skype because I don't really necessarily want you fucking able to trace my IP through Skype. Sure. Because you're a duplicitous piece of shit, and I have no doubt you would DDoS me just for fun. <clears throat> 
So fuck you. We can discuss it through fucking Twitter. I mean, just a bit, just so we're clear, TJ, I pretty much just really do agree with you. I, I really just wanted to argue with you about yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Okay, good. It was fun. I enjoy that sort of thing. Yeah. <coughs> so I, I don't want anyone to actually... I mean, I'm sorry I have to do that, but I don't want anyone to think I actually would ever defend Brett in any way. <laughs> Brett was right, TJ. I think Brett kind of the... Right. Uh, I'm sorry my voice is so fucked up, but I think kind of the point... I sound like an old Jewish woman at this point. You do. Oh, just, just, just don't just, mind go, me. Right, go right. into the character, Paul. I'm sorry, be a Jewish I'm sorry to butt in, but I think what happened here is like... The brothers got a little heated at each other, but it was Brett that did it. Like, it was Brett. Like, that's, this is what he does to people that like each other. Each other. He rips them apart. He rips them apart. He takes their lives, and he uses them like little toy soldiers in his weird <laughs> battle. Ryby eats beaten I, children. I really wish Brett had a grandma like that to explain Brett. Because he, he would be a lot more... It would be easier to stomach if Brett... Ryby, like, Kesatron, hardcore lesbian porn. I would watch it. Yeah. That's actually... Uh, cool. That's yeah, what, I that mean, should like, happen. I'd watch it. Uh, uh, it would be entertaining. Well, I mean, we know everyone involved, so we could... You know, oh, we could yeah, man. They're just going to be like, all right, guys, we're going to bring a camera over a six, and a six-pack yeah. of Bud Light. Let's get this yeah. started. All right, so, you know, Casey Tron, you lick Ribby's pussy, or you... I we're don't gonna, know, Ribby, you can lick Casey Tron pussy. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just orchestrate it like that. Just someone let's eat someone's it, pussy, for fuck's let's sake. Let's film it in VHS. Get that off. Please. Thank you, God. Won't someone fuck eat that a Beta pussy? Max. Beta Max, dude. Somebody's got to eat this pussy. Yeah. This pussy. Pussy ain't gonna fucking eat itself, dude, Goyles. Paul, Paul, can, Paul, you're the announcer for the porn, dude. <laughs> the Please. Announcer. Won't someone eat this here, pussy? <laughs> now, we done this on Twitter. I feel we like done the this. deal was set. It's fresh PayPal, and ripe. Patreon, yeah, the deal whatever. was set, the and then you tried to change it, you retard. What are you Some, talking about? Somebody fuck this here, pussy. <laughs> You gotta fuck it. You gotta stick your fingers in it. Oh my god, it. this pussy's here, right? Someone needs to fuck it. Will someone Brett. do something? Can something like, happen? Someone spritz this pussy so it glistens. That was you <laughs> with a thousand dollars like just a few days ago. And now you've got nothing. And your brother. I've been quiet up until this point, but. Yeah, go ahead. Six hundred dollars. I'm sorry. I got something to say to say, Brad. Say it. Your brother. Is superior to you, Brett, in every conceivable fucking way. He's even better than you at taking money. Wow. That's hardcore. When he sees $600 sitting on the, the barrel head and on the other side is a guy going, come talk about my crazy fucking brother's dumbass videos for two hours and I'll give you $600. A smart man picks the money up off the barrel head. <laughs> this doesn't even sound like Paul talking. This is crazy. And a dumb man <laughs> leaves the cash there and asks for fucking more. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you, Brett? Are you the smart man? Did TJ come to you with $1,000 and did you go, yes, sir, I'll take it? Or did you go, I could get $2,000? <laughs> Because I'm a fucking genius. I'm that guy in the world, right? I'm the guy that can, like, take a grand and make it two. Because I'm Brett Keen. <laughs> <laughs> and you, what did you do, Brett? You spent your $1,000 on magic beans and what grew in the backyard? Failure! <laughs> the stench of failure on you is thick, <laughs> you boy! <laughs> and yet there is one man in the Keen clan that can stand proud tonight. One man doesn't have to go to bed with his head held in shame, and his name is Justin fucking Keen. Paul, that was beautiful. I wish your voice was always like this. No, I wish your voice was always like this, Paul. Mic it's drop. so beautiful. That's just easier to do than to actually talk in my normal voice. So I'm sorry it was like that. No, no, that was awesome. I meant every take, word of that. that. Was beautiful. Take some medicine here. No, no, it was fucking beautiful, take your, Paul. Take your medicine, Paul. I meant every word of that, Brad. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. Justin Keen, dude. Where are you going? I mean... I must attend. Paul, I, to a few Paul, I just want to chips, commend you on that speech. Shit, or wait. Acid Don't shits. disappear. There's no such thing as weed Acid shits, acid shits, oh, dude, TJ's happens. gonna take them. Acid shits, acid shits. I'm sorry, hit, I'm gonna hit, shut hit, up hit, for a while because my throat hurts. Hit that bong, Paul. Hit the bong, dude. Hits from the bong. Take, take your medicine, Paul. 
By the way, this show may end up going longer than some of our other shows. Take a fucking hit from the ball. I mean, like... Paul, I want to commend your speech, though. I felt like everything you said was yeah. 100% true, and I couldn't agree more, Paul. Everyone, thumbs up for Paul's... For fucking Paul's yeah, amazing whatever. speech. No, 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 because right now, the sentiment is... Paul fucking sucks again. No, no. No, dude. You've won the audience back, Paul. The mob the Thumbs mob, up for the mob Paul. is on your side again, dude. I can't read the chat. Okay. They're just saying they love you, Paul. They're, 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 it's all love, Paul. They want to fucking It is all love. They literally want to shower you in flowers and roses, right? He now, doesn't Paul. believe you guys, but if you if you thumbs up the video, maybe Yeah, see it's going up now. Dude, because you Paul, know what, Paul? God. Paul's like most people. A million people can go, oh. "Paul, you're amazing. Paul, you're amazing." The one person goes, "Paul, you suck. And then Paul go, why do you think I suck? And then it just eats inside. It just worms his way inside his brain. He just Man, goes over all the shit. That's so true about me. Like, I don't, I don't know. It just oscillates back and forth throughout Paul's entire and being. Negativity is like a worm. Eats away the like, man. Like, seriously, I'll have a conversation with Paul, and then later on he'll be like, did we just have a problem back there? I'm like, whatever. Uh, like, I know. Like, Paul, you do, Paul, you do get that, like, that way a lot. Yeah. I will say that in all honesty. I know exactly why. Okay, why? But I don't know that I want to talk about it. Like, it's not that I don't want to reveal it on the podcast. It's that I don't want you guys to go, Paul's being a downer. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, we'll talk so about it, it later. Yeah. Okay, cool. Paul, but say whatever. That like, yeah, I get a little paranoid sometimes. So uh, when, when we first started talking about this, we were at like 700 likes, and now we're at 1,400. Okay. So it's gone up by over 700 likes. Just I mean, it doubled, Paul. It doubled. Fucking it fucking right. doubled, Paul. Right, had it. Are you a numbers person, Paul? Because guess what? That's a lot more. The numbers are in, Paul. Hashtag dream crusher. <laughs> Dude, hymnalysis had it coming. Come on, man. Someone, <laughs> someone. Did hymnalysis, if you're watching this, you had it coming, bitch. Someone did a remix of one of Paul's periscopes rapping about hymnalysis. Oh, dude, this is said, beautiful. I was there when this happened. Or at, least, well, at least one part of it. And set it to music, um, but oh, I don't want to okay. play it because it's copyrighted music. So oh, that sucks. Fuck, dude. That fucking sucks so bad. Copyright. Copyright. It is, oh, though. So it's the Eminem so song. Right. Oh, yeah. It's Stan, dude. Of course. Yeah, yeah. It's Dude, the, the it's minute Paul the started though. doing it. Oh, yeah. The minute you started doing the beat to that, though, I knew what you were talking about. It it was it just fit. Well, yeah. It, There's I mean, no Lucy anymore. Because TJ ate it all. Whatever. Just he's not know. even feeling it, though. Dude, he's feeling it. So, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I re when I went up there, I realized, yeah, I am feeling it, dude. You're so fucking stupid, dude. Yeah, dude, we told you you were gonna feel it. No, man, I don't feel I it. didn't say I wasn't gonna fucking feel it. When did I ever say that? The same Find PJ the moment shit. where I was like, it's always the same shit. We don't affect TJ. Yeah, I'm I didn't don't say shit. TJ. Fuck I'm you. Not, I'm yes, not you drunk. Did. Wait a minute, no, no, no. I'm not yes, drunk. You did. Hey, yes, you did. Can you guys? I can't hear myself <laughs> at all. I, okay, yeah, there I go. <laughs> so, I can't hear my own voice. Paul, you're not even doing anything. I can't hear my own voice. You're not even talking, voice. Paul. You're not Hold even on. talking. <laughs> when I was just quiet a minute ago, That's I couldn't hear myself. What's going on here? Oh, shit. <laughs> this Paul. just doesn't add up. Paul, when you're silent, you don't make any noise. Well, I mean, you probably make some, your body's probably making some noise. You probably just can't detect it. I'm just better connected, to TJ, <laughs> than you are to the goings on in my body. I knew it was starting earlier. You know what? Because mm. you guys are wrong about TJ. You're saying TJ's Bullshit. like, I told a big boisterous lie, and I'm going to defend it, and I'll die on that hill. That's not TJ. That's a kind of TJ, uh, but you're missing a point. Yeah, he's missing your I, well, I think, I think Scotty it, and I have spent more time with TJ than you. No, no. I'll, I'll listen, he's on to something I'll, here. I'll, I'll listen okay. to him. I'll, all right, I'll hear all right. him out. I'll hear him out. It's all, right. all about plausible deniability with TJ. Oh, sure. It's not about winning the argument. Like, he just oh, wants yeah. to be able to go like. I agree. Maybe you're I wrong. didn't win, but you ain't all right. And if he can get there, he feels yeah, completely if absolved <laughs> if of she, any responsibility. Oh, dude, I that's know. true. That is if true. If TJ can fucking, if, if there's a, 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 less, right. a less than that's one true. a million chance. We've spent way more time with TJ. The, I don't know if Paul knows it's what's true. going no, on. No, no, no. Oh, wait, that know. is true. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yeah, I said I, I, said I would hear you. Though. I did. Okay. That's, I said that's I, a topic for Ben talks like this, you guys. I'm Ben. I'm fucking dumbass. I can't. I'm so good with fucking tomato. The the Paul stipulation. Uh, fuck excuse, you, Paul. Your creative me, impulse. Excuse me, TJ. A word, yeah. if I may. Uh, yeah. You haven't spent anywhere near as much time with me as I have. Oh. oh. 
You yeah, pull out you're my dog headphones. Shit that was crazy. I didn't know it was going to Paul, you, you see what I'm saying, Paul? Like, so Let me yell like, into this microphone. D- I've done it before without it going. Okay, you know what, though? <laughs> Paul, uh, uh, you, you can back me up on this. Yeah. I can go after Paul and like uh, maybe start getting Paul going at me, but then TJ will do something inevitably. Like It always has to go back to TJ. It's so t- like Pan, yep. Bacchus, and Loki all mixed into one Big grin. It, ha- it always has to go back to TJ because, like, on, on the outside, he might like, act like he hates it, but is TJ there loves it. Somewhere that I can has sprinkle to be the focus. my magic, malicious. You always dust have to be the focus. TJ. It makes everyone around me descend into a fucking argument. <laughs> And, like, sometimes the answer is no. That's TJ and Ben both. Because sometimes he's dealing with two rational people like me and Scotty, and we go, I see what TJ's doing. I'm not going to let him ruin my night. (laughs) Scotty, let's have a beer somewhere quietly later when it goes to sleep. But sometimes it works. And TJ weaves his web of fucking, like, look what I made. I made duty in my pants in front of everybody. I'm so (laughs) proud of it. Everybody's mad at everybody now. Everybody's yelling, and it was because I, I'm the center of that vortex. Yeah. The biggest argument I remember was when uh, TJ got into the fight with the guy in the subway. Yeah, that's true. TJ was like, <laughs> I don't remember what he, he There was one position TJ would never let go, and then, yeah, that absolved him in his mind. Yeah. From everything. Oh, God. Yeah. On a technicality, you're correct. <laughs> But the jury is out on to whether I'm incorrect, so fuck you, I win anyway. Uh, the, the only reason TJ will, will ever admit to it being wrong or something like that is when everyone is basically just like totally against him and is just kind of like, we that, didn't want to talk to him. When does everyone being against me ever stop me from a posi- No, no, no. no that, it, that is no, true. No, dude, in Europe, when everyone was basically like, TJ, admit what you well, No, no, it was when Ben played the emotional, I won't even get into it. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, yeah, I know. It's a tr- It's Ben. You don't even want to start. You yeah, can't, where do you no, start? That's why. Don't even. I don't know. Even waiting into that Ben shit or so whatever. But oh, know. how how they fear Ben, <laughs> <laughs> dude. You guys are so afraid. of Seasons ben. don't fear the Ben. <laughs> I think there's but one. But the TJ and the Paul do. I think there's one thing that I can <laughs> add to this if I could before we move on, or I'll shut up and we can just say it oral. Paul, just say whatever you want to say, dude. Oral. Say what you uh, need. Say what you need to say, Paul. In the last segment. All right. mm-hmm. Uh, We talked about Brett Keen, and people liked what I had to say. Yeah. About him and his brother. Yes. And how there is a superior Keen. Yes, they liked that. I think we're just having the same argument again, uh, because I think there is a superior Kirk. Yeah. What? And there's an inferior Kirk. Holy shit. And I think it might not be who TJ thinks it is. See, I think, I happen to think Scotty... Is what TJ was supposed to be. Kind of like Whoa. Justin is what Brett could have been. Now, that well, doesn't if make... that's the case, I dodged a bullet. <laughs> Good response. Living in my but... fucking shadow, TJ. Living in my shadow. I'm just dude. saying, there's uh, if it, one if by land, two if by sea, three is for the manatee. Let me tell you a story about me and Scotty, dog. All right. So Scotty comes home from the baby, from the hospital, all newborn Scotty baby. Scotty comes shit. home from the from baby. The shut up. <laughs> I'm on acid, whatever. Scotty comes from the hospital. He's a newborn little baby and shit. And I'm, I tell my mom, I'm like, Mommy, can I feed the baby? And then I grab the bottle from her and I bashed his fucking head. He did. Just to let him know right away, like, you ain't shit, bitch, and you ain't never going to be shit. Wow. You know what the dichotomy between your, your – because I had a younger sister. I, I have the same age. Remus difference. right here, bitch. Romulus. Yeah. Romulus. Remus. Whatever. One of you is Romulus and one of you is I am a god. The he first, is an ant. The first memory I have of my little <clears throat> sister is of her being a toddler. Yeah. And she, I had this nice long hair. My mom let my hair grow out. Right. And she, for the first time, was like kind of trying to walk. And she walked over to me, grabbed two fistfuls of my fucking hair, mm-hmm. and dragged me to the ground. Just went limp. And I laid there going, Mom! And that was the next 18 years of my life. <laughs> she never let go you know of my what? fucking hair. You know what, dude? What? Fucking, you know who's a little piece of shit when he was a kid? Oh. Stevie. It's hard to believe because now he's kind of really? like, he's like, he was oh, a, dude, no, Stevie no. was a terrible he, Like, kid. nowadays, he seems like he's the nice one. 
But when he was a kid, he was a piece of fucking shit, dude. Hold on, hold on. Wouldn't he do, like, wouldn't he be, like, the instigator when you guys get mad? He'd, like, tell on you. Like that yeah, kind yeah. Of oh, shit. Yeah. oh, he was a tattletale, and like, the, but the worst thing about him, you fucking Steve was the biggest tattletale. When he dude. was like a toddler, like from like two to like maybe th- upper three, yeah, four, like five, almost five years old, he would like hit you with shit. Like and like you just be shit. like anything like he name would, something those little like a base, he, like if he the found a baseball bat bats. or something the or, kid versions of ba- like like the like like foam baseball bats no it, he got a fucking real bat in his hands a few times and just hit people with it because he thought it was funny because I remember one time I was sitting there I was eating like some cereal or something and then bam right in the back of my head. <laughs> How old was he? I don't know. Three. Oh, I okay. beat the shit out of him, though. So, I, so wait a minute. Let me well, do, that explains it. Let me let me do a little weed, like weed and fucking Lucy math on this. Yeah. So he's a little bit of TJ. Like TJ is like TJ is now what Stevie was when he was a child. Mm-hmm. I and hit Steve, people. What do I hit you? And, Fuck you. And Stevie was what? Stevie is what TJ was supposed to be in a different timeline. What? Yeah. He's big, and he's gentle, and everybody likes him, and it's easy for him to be liked. But TJ got to work for it. Maybe I was wrong about who the superior Kirk brother. Well, he's not a Kirk brother. Yeah, he's not a Kirk. He ain't got no Kirk in him. Whatever. Then it just makes my story cooler. He's a mestizo. Oh, (sighs) mestizo. An heir to the throne of Paul Atreides is the only heir to the throne of Jude. Stevie knew TJ was garbage before all of us confirmed. Whatever. Um, that is kind of true. He would do that dude, to everybody. Steve, dude, fucking Stevie. It was not exclusive. He didn't target me. He did it to anyone. Actually, TJ and Stevie have, have had a pretty much non-existent or strained relationship until, like, very recently. He did it to everyone. Just oh, mostly no, like, me. Like, like, I remember, like, a few years ago, TJ was like... Fuck Stevie. I pretty much just don't want to be around Stevie. Because, like, his, all his memories of Stevie seem to be, like, just like when he was, like, a little kid. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't think you really talked to or, ever, or, or interacted with Stevie very much. I laughed I laughed when uh, T- about the story when TJ was blackout drunk and he told uh, Stevie or he hated him. And then Stevie cried. <laughs> Yeah. yeah that's it's fucking horrible. Dude, <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> it's the fucking the truth of TJ is coming out like, fuck you, Stevie, you lame, you dumb. Yeah. I hate you because you're yeah. the little one and you get away with shit still. And I don't. I'm hateful because I'm drunk. I can tell TJ's tripping right now because it's poor, legs. Poor, poor sweet like, little fucking Stevie is like, oh, brother, why would you say this to me? What a, it's so true. I'm but a humble mestizo. You know what? what? Am I done? Fuck you, Paul. Okay. It's true, dude. It's what? true. Dude, he's a what? little shit. He's a Crime little fucking shit. Did I commit, TJ, but having the same mother as you. I just want to be your friend, TJ. I love you. TJ's like, fuck Bullshit. you, Stevie. Dude, You're there is Stevie. What worm underneath Stevie my gaze. What? No, he's not. He's a, no, he's a little No, punt. he's fucking not. That's I mean, he's, got, he's, he's nice on the surface, but deep below, uh, okay, the look, is there. Look. Is, T- is Stevie a, lazy? You know what, you know what is that Stevie is? lazy? Yeah, he's really lazy. You know, I'll get, I'll say well, that. Laziness is fine. You know what we call that in the <laughs> real world, TJ? Panache. Panache. Yeah, he's got a little bit of sassy. Is that what they're using panache. in the real world? Everyone's a, like, that guy over there's got panache. He's, he, he's got a little fucking <laughs> yeah, That's how we talk hey. in the real world, TJ. Hey, panache. Paul, Paul, you Montage. Really don't know Whatever. I would say, Horse no, shit. It's, it's, not even, it's not even that, Paul. He's got a little dash of fucking Stevie. something that's just him. It's, it's, and TJ's like, it's all bad. I didn't say it's all bad. I just said he's got a little shit in him, man. No, it, it's that all little, shit. That I'm little sorry, fucking shit bad. that fucking it's hit shit. me in the fucking head with a goddamn what what a stick think, is still there. Think back to the things you did to him. This could I did nothing without retaliation. Was, it, was, it was an act of retaliation, dude. I mean, Whatever. like, if he fucking attacked me, I'd attack him back. Damn right. Stevie's I don't give been a shit. nothing but nice to you, TJ. And, and what you, you Scotty, you had more fights with Stevie than I had. What have you always done? When Steve reached his hand out in friendship, TJ. Smacked it away. You smacked it away. Every time he came with an olive branch, TJ, you lit it on fire. It's like a Whatever. DP therapy session. Happened. It is. Yeah. TJ needs to admit he has hostile and hateful feelings towards Stevie, and he just forgives it, man. You got to forgive Stevie, TJ. 
Forgive what? him, man. Hey, TJ. Dude, forgive Stevie. Yeah, what? You yeah, forgive, forgive him. him. It's not your fault. Let go of the resent. He, does. he really needs fault. to. Um, no. Get rid of it, TJ, man. It's not your fault, yeah, TJ. No. Lay, your hands third eye, TJ. Lay, lay hands around. Lay hands on Paul, lay your hands lay on Lay hands on his neck. Oh, Jesus. Get up, Paul. Get up, Paul. <laughs> get up, Paul. <laughs> you got to get up, Paul. I got to stand. Get up, Paul. Get away from me. Come on, TJ. Jesus. You know the powerful thing, TJ? TJ. Power of forgiveness, TJ. People are gross. TJ. The power. Oh, yeah, forgiveness. Upon All right. Yeah. You forgive okay. Stevie. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. In your heart, TJ, do you yep. forgive Stevie? Yep. Oh, do you yep. love Stevie, oh, TJ? Lordy, Lordy. Do you love him? No, I yep. Do you love Stevie? Yep. Would you embrace Stevie as your brother? Sure. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Do you know who? Do you know who? Yeah. Do you know okay. who uh, That's right. Do you know who uh, TJ reminds me of right now? Daniel Plainview in the church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going, yes, I do. Do you accept the blood of the Lord? Give, yes. Just, give me just the blood. get me out of here yeah, and let me get away. Uh, uh, yeah. And I'll go. Yeah, he he wants to go the whole time. Give me the blood, Lord. <laughs> please. One day, Paul's going to wake up with a gun to his head and be like, I'm your friend, TJ. <laughs> no, no. Oh, oh, damn. No. Hey, TJ. Oh, damn. Who can already do the Daniel Plainview, dude? Who, who's waking up who, bitch? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, you, I could do the voice, so that means I'm more oh, like the character. Oh, okay. Paul who's Daniel. more like the character, TJ, me or you? This could go ben. on forever. Da- da- hey, Daniel Plainview never, ha- never had a fucking unemployed day in his life. Yeah. TJ... TJ, how many yeah. jobs you work, TJ? A nine to five. Uh, Daniel Plainview was a self-made man. He We're wasn't going... working for someone else. Uh, no, that's not true. Oh, At the beginning of the movie, yeah, well, that's Daniel the Plainview was working he saw for the a light. fucking oil company. Then he saw the light and worked for himself. Yeah, and he had a great idea. Yes. And he did the right thing with it. You are all but planets in my orbit. I don't need this shit. Drainage, TJ. Drainage. I drink your milkshake. You ain't drinking shit, bitch. I drink it up. No. It's called I'm drinking the milkshake. No. You no. boy. No. No, it's <laughs> not. Let, let, let me show you how it works, TJ. No. You see, I have a straw. Okay. You got a and, straw. And, and, and you have a straw. Right. And you have a milkshake. You know, Scotty does it better than you, even. And my straw reaches a cool... Okay, I don't think he said it like that. Yeah, watch the fucking movie he does. No, he didn't say it like, a crew! You know, you know, All right, Scotty, go ahead and do it. Better than me. I just did it. I'm do, not, the, do the I drink yeah, milkshake. See, TJ's guy. making a claim for somebody. I'm, I'm, uh, I, uh, you know, I've done it in the past, but I'm fucking so fucking fucked up. Dude, I could just be, <laughs> yeah, I could, I could, I could be Daniel Plainview all night, if that's what you guys would like to hear. Oh, yeah, you totally embody the character. It's no, like I Daniel Daniel. The, 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 one, the, one, the one thing Paul doesn't it. have... Be it. I think you have a. I think you have a really good version. The one thing you don't have that, that I think you need in the role, Paul, is there needs to be more viciousness in you. Paul. Well, whatever. I'm not Daniel Day Lewis. I'm a fat yeah. fucking neck beard. That, oh, there you go, theater. then, Paul. There but and right like, now he sounds like Tone Loke. Yeah. yeah it, <laughs> now yeah. there's a little story I'd like to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty spot on. Which one was Tone Loke? What was his big song? Uh, Wild Thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let her do the wild thing. Yeah. All right, uh, Brett. So I've been I've been dying to ask you um, this this question. Uh, the rind of Zayo de Don. Do you remember? Wow, you remember? Don? Me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. He was ready for that one. Wow. But we have um. Do we have the video of Brett we saying you? that? Yeah. We we do indeed. Where is that? Uh, it's it should be the first one on the list up there. Brett workout? Uh, no, there should be one called the Rind of Zayo de Don. Uh, nope. Actually, maybe this is the wrong playlist. We might be looking at the wrong playlist here. Uh, we got one though. The Rind of Zayo de Don. That's. We've also had Chairman. Was it Chairman Mayo? There it is. The, the so, chairman uh, mail thing was actually the vigilant Christian. Oh, that was okay. Yeah. About, uh, okay. Good to about know. dicks and hands and now ding dongs. We don't we don't say ding dong. Yeah, Zeo de Don. Zeo de Don. Do Don. De Don. It was actually you that said it, Brett. Um, yeah, it's well, a direct. It wasn't, it wasn't us. We can actually show you the video too if you it's, think we're making it up. It's a direct. Uh, it's a direct quote. Let's take a look. The rind of Zeo de Don. It's right there. You were just on it. It's up a little. All right. So I mispronounced. <laughs> uh, that's an understatement. All right. All right. When is it on this? 
People ask me, they say, the only right justification on. atheists have ever had for fucking with me over happens whenever they decide they don't like another atheist out there. Fuck. Well, history. <laughs> Here we go. We're, we're in the zone. Okay. All the way back to the day of Joseph Stalin, atheist dictator, killed 60 million people. How many of those people do you think were other atheists, huh? Here it is. How many atheists do you think got killed during the reign of <laughs> Zeo de Dawn? Okay. <laughs> All right, so first of all, what the fuck is a rind, and who the fuck is Zeo de Dawn? Hmm? What is a rind? <laughs> what, Brett, is a rind, and who the fuck is Zeo de Dawn? Oh. Well, shit, wasn't that a... Was that a video where I was sitting out on the back or something? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. You know what? I wasn't sharing the video with him, so I'll do that. But he heard it, though. He heard himself yeah. say the rind. The well, rind. Yeah, we'll, we'll share it with Brett. Let's go ahead. Okay. What, what the fuck is the rind? First of all. It is fucking stupid. Whoa. Is rind supposed to be rain, first of all? Right. Right? So you you were trying to say the rain of Mao Zedong, or, or what? I don't know. Ryan, Rain, Rune, who gives a fuck? We can, we can back it up again, Brett. Do you guys want to hear it one more time? Because I love, I love the way he lingers on Well, Ryan and Rain are not the like, same oh. word. I mean, words actually do matter, Brett. That's called equivocation. I hear you. This is coming from the guy who stuttered a little bit. Every time. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a little look at that. Let's, yeah, let's, let's hear it one more time because it, it truly is beautiful. I mean, people, how many of those people do you think were other atheists, huh? Uh -huh. Good question. How many atheists do you think got killed during the reign of Zeo de Dawn? <laughs> what a fucked up name that guy's got, right? <laughs> so, you yeah. even, so you can even emphasize the name at that point. Zeo de Dawn. I think the point being made, Brett, if you don't if you don't understand why why it's such an object of ridicule, is because you're talking about something and you can't even pronounce the name of the person you're talking about. I know you, you can say, "Oh, we committed these atrocities," and that, that's what you believe, but you don't even know the name of the person you're talking about. Well, what did Zeo de Dong do, Brett? Yeah, what exactly did he do? What is he responsible for? All right, is this thing working now? I mean, it was well, working before. I hear you. Yeah, oh, every, it's, it's, it's never stopped case. working. What's up? It's never stopped working. I said, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're back here again. <laughs> so what did Zeo de Dong do? What is he known for, Brett? Yeah, um, I don't know. Probably licking ding-dongs as far as I know. Oh, come on, know. Brett. What I mean, well, you, you mentioned you said, him. You said he committed a trust. All right. So, you know, you're hearing this video talking like an authority about, like, you know, these atheists are always killing yeah, each other. Like, how many atheists died during the rind of Zeo de Dong, you know? And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know shit about Zeo de Dong. Like, what did Zeo de Dong do? Yeah, I mean, you're, What's you're, he known you're for? a fucking... I mean, if you just don't know, just say you don't know. That's fine. You're an well, expert on the second. history. I'll hook you up. Here you go. Cool. Are okay. you, oh, oh, you, oh, you got to pull gonna, up the Wikipedia. <laughs> you're going to read us a Wikipedia article? Okay, cool. Cool. Jesus Christ. Zeo de Dong. Keep thinking quick on those feet. We're, we're asking in your, in your words, Brett, not Wikipedia, not somewhere else. Like, what is... Yeah. You, 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 my website, man. Oh, okay. your website. Oh, your website. Which oh, you copied from Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Okay. Cool. Penis. But, Brett, can't you just speak extemporaneously <laughs> about this? Why do you need to go to your website? I mean, you're, you're, you're clearly making a video here. It looks like you're just talking off the top of your... You know, you're going off the dome. Have you, okay, okay, I'll answer that. Have you seen Penis. my list of uh, atheist killers and criminals? And I, I've looked got a yeah. I looked at a bunch of them. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we seen did. them. Yeah, we did. I looked at a bunch of them today, actually. Yeah. Okay, so I can't keep track of every single damn one of these criminals out there. In the right, name. but you don't know who Mao Zedong was? Why do you mention him in this video so offhandedly, like you're just conversationally that, mentioning that Zeo time. Dedong? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't long enough ago for you to have forgotten the rind of Zao Dedong, is it? I mean, how many atheists died well, under the rind? In the picture, it's obvious I'm fucked up that damn wearing pink glasses and everything. Look you're fucked up. Hold on, hold fucked on. Okay, so on wait. The oh. excuse is that you're just you're fucked up. So what are you on here? What? Yeah. What no. drugs are you on in you're this fucked picture? Up. Yeah. I have no clue. Oh uh -huh. no! You don't Come know. Oh no! You, you can't take? go back. You don't know what don't drugs be coy, you take. But, uh, don't be coy, Brett. So, Brett, you'll put any drug into your body. If, if we showed up and had some mysterious pills, you just go, well, fuck it, whatever. 
What happened? No, to clean? no, no, no. I was saying how do you not know what you're taking? I just wasn't on my my ball game that night. Oh, you come weren't on. on your ball game. Yeah, that's what it means when I Wait say I'm fucked up. You mean all the you time. weren't on the ball? Because what you, I wasn't on a ball. I wasn't on my ball game. Isn't a fucking turn of phrase. No. A whole different ball game. That's a turn of phrase. But you're either on the ball. Never mind. All right. So Brett, let me just ask you this. Let me okay. just back away, let me just back off this line of questioning a little bit, and maybe just come at it from a different point of view. Mm-hmm. Uh, your your thing right now is that you're you're mainly you've stopped focusing on videos so much, right? And now you're more focused on uh, writing articles for GodTVRadio.com. Is that true? Yeah, I mean uh, some of it, some of it. I mean you see you see like it seems like you're updating that a lot, a lot recently. Yeah. Like that's that's like your focus right now. Yeah. Um, so we had a question, and it's not pertaining to you specifically, but just your opinion on something in general. And I have to preface this because I don't want you to think we're accusing you of anything, but just in general. What do you think of plagiarism in general? Not pertaining to you, but in general. Well, I've actually put a page together on that as well, if you're interested. Well, I'm, I'm, we're, I'm, I'm, we're interviewing you, Brett, so I'd like to hear from you directly. Yeah, I mean, we could check your pages anytime we want. Yeah. We're here, we're here to interview you, not have you read Wikipedia to us and check your pages. But what do you, you think about I mean? it in general, in general terms? Mm, I, of course, don't think people should do it. I'm a monkey. Well, so what do you consider plagiarism to be? What is, in your personal opinion, what do you consider someone to be a plagiarist, like, what they're doing? Like, what, what is the standard of plagiarism in your mind? <coughs> uh, I guess stealing work without giving credit. Without giving credit. Yeah, well, it's actually claiming someone else's work as your own. So that's the that's the easiest way to say. It. You agree with that? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Sure. Okay. Okay. So, Brett, I mean, what what are you what exactly image are you trying to put forth at this point? Because it seems like you're trying to do like this whole like I'm an intellectual. I'm someone you should take seriously. Yet, I mean, we ask you the most basic questions, and you have no real answers whatsoever he's, other than oh, just, I, I was, I, man, I was I, obviously I fucked up didn't. that day and all this. He's also and, a wholesome family man, too. Well, guys, yeah. I did post a page stating, uh, letting uh-huh. the public know I'm not a professional. Expect there uh-huh. to be problems, issues, uh, sure. all this. Uh-huh. I hope your family dies in a fire. Whoa, wow. Whoa. Yeah. Wow, Brett. That was My pretty goodness, rough. You guys grabbed up some good uh, good audio bites, did you? Fuck you. <laughs> Whoa. Fuck your family. Sounds like Brett was attacking Brett's, someone's family there. Brett's angry. Oh, that's You're a bunch of dirty ass losers. That's one of my favorites right there. <laughs> bunch you guys of got a soundboard ass now, huh? Uh, we've had a soundboard. I was board. talking about Brett. We've had a soundboard for a while. DJ <laughs> is love. I am? Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Brett. <laughs> Uh, Man, we should have just we should have just given this soundboard a thousand dollars. Just interviewed the fucking soundboard, dude. So, Brett, we have a, I, I I think a lot of people have an interesting theory about you. Um, so you admit that you brought up TJ's banana video quite often. You know, I, I would say you have to you admit that's true, would you not? You've talked have about. Have I brought t- up his banana video? Yeah, and and, and the and the videos you've made, you've talked about TJ sticking a banana in his ass. Yes, n- numerous times. Yes, yes, various. Times. Okay. Sure. Um. I think we think it's kind of strange. At least most people think it's strange that you bring up another man's dick and balls and ass a lot. Yeah. And you also call me a sexy bitch. So, I mean, we're wondering, if, is there any attraction to TJ? In our Twitter TJ? messages. Do you, you feel any sort of attraction to TJ? I feel like there is a, definitely a repressed uh, sexual attraction that I, Brett I has think he wants me. to ride that donkey, dude. I think no, so. That's, well, that's, that's, me, that's me being funny, but I do think that uh, there is some sexual frustration from your uh, your perspective, though. Oh, really? Oh. But, but not from here. I'll give you an example why. I'll give you an okay. example okay. why. Okay. I don't no, no, okay. often watch DP, but people have shared clips with me where you talk about dreams that you've had. Yeah. Okay. Right? Dreams of having right. sex? Yeah. yeah. Right. So, it's a joke. Or are you serious? What? What do you? Even, what? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck is going on. So, but Brett, so why do you why why do you mention TJ's penis so often? Yeah, 
I mean, like, look, it's already been revealed that TJ did these things. We, everyone knows that. But so why do you go on and on about his penis? Is what I'm asking. You. Well, I mean, there, people do that in the chat rooms and all that. It's it's no, just but, a, but yeah, a sure. You have held on to the banana but, but thing you've way about it and longer made videos than most about people it, did, and you informed people about it. So why do you? What, what what is the connection that you feel people like? Do you feel like that says something about his character? Or like, what is it, Brad? No, that, I don't. I don't think it hurts you as a person or anything. I just think it's funny. Oh, um, okay. I mean, let's, let's be years. honest. If I were to take a cucumber or a pineapple, shove it up my ass like a uh, evil Nikki, uh -huh. that shit would mm -hmm. be all over DP. That'd be your oh sure, oh, of course, uh, yeah. But, but for like a few months, funny. yeah. But we wouldn't ride into the ground after years. Yeah, I mean, I mean like after point, years and years, you would have done funny. so much other scummy shit and crazy shit that we would have just we'd have so much other yeah. shit to talk about. TJ's micromanagement situation. My micromanagement. That's one of the situation. things he does. He, he when he does his uh king, when he holds King Manatee's court when he does his hangouts his like five six hour hangouts. He'll like when people come in he'll be like, oh have you seen the pictures of TJ's micromanagement? Like he distributes porn of you to people. <laughs> so it's, it goes a little beyond. Like, you just know, jokes. like, just jokes. It's like everybody that comes through one of those fucking long-ass unwatchable hangouts, you're like, hey, have you seen TJ but I just, put a banana I just found this? out today, though, that Brett, um... Brett, uh, d Brett likes me, okay, but yeah, what yeah. he really hates is how I let you, Paul, yeah. just do whatever you want. Exactly, yeah. You've got... Because you're the real piece of shit here, Paul. Yeah, that's the only problem he is that, has is with you, true, is that you, 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 you let me... You, you like yeah. TJ, but yeah. you, don't, you have a thing against Paul. And he hates the little, little, the, uh, the, the, the DP wiki people. All right, Brett, so do you have any final words of wisdom for the, the DP audience out there? Um, well... It's the end of YouTube and the doing videos and all that. I'll blog for a little bit until the point I get bored of it, and that'll be it. So your plan, let's just, we're just making this clear. Your plan Retire is... Retire from all public life. You're just, you're, Brett Keen is tapering off. There's not going to be a public Brett Keen at some point in the near future. You're just going to kind of fade away and live your own life and just uh, be content to have your family and your life, and you're not going to be a, a public figure anymore is that right i think i already faded away uh, years ago okay well actually we agree on that <laughs> yeah the but only I mean, thing the drunken peasants has been your life support system and uh i'm i'm pretty comfortable pulling the plug i don't know how these guys feel but but uh, i'm so skeptical beep. of this anyway well yeah see yeah, Jake, you're mean, talking with certainty yeah, but, like this but, isn't yeah, just but, another but, one no yeah. no this is of course i mean like i don't buy it for a second of course but well, let's ask Brett point blank. So do you intend to retire from any sort of social media presence, period? Just you're going to be done. I'm going to every once in a while do the Twitter and do my blogging like I just pointed out. But it'll get to a point, obviously, where I'll either get bored of it or I'll find more interest. Depends. Okay. So but you're not going to so ever so make a video again. So the door is left open. I might oh, yeah, put an audio file up where people can yeah. hear me. Oh, okay. Once. All right. uh, so that's uh, all no, you had to so say. No. Not so on no. YouTube, though. Not, not on YouTube, oh, okay. Oh, okay. But not on YouTube. I'm sure that'll never happen again. That, all was, right. um, that wasn't what we asked, but it's fine, Brett. <clears throat> all right, Brett. So thank you for being here. Thank you for putting up with the abuse. Um, and thank anyone who watched this thing. I'm sorry that this was so fucking agonizingly painful i mean at um, least you were there with us trying yeah at least at least we were all at least we all went through it together and uh we did our best good I think night they and enjoy, good luck i think they enjoy it way more than you do oh yeah maybe they bye do bye. going through it directly is painful. all right good night brett good, good night, night brett. everybody all right good night guys bye <sighs> thanks for watching everyone thanks <laughs> oh my god <laughs> please never fucking do let's never do this again never dude